Why, hello. How's it going? It's Mothman March. That's right. It is, it's March now. It is actually March. Alrighty. Are you guys ready? Look, it's me. I exist. And I'm barely awake. Barely awake. My hair is everywhere. It's explosive. Explosive hair, dude. Ah, it's m block game time, dude. In fact, I think it's Mothman time. Behold! Old Eggman. With a couple of rotating chests every day. Do these work? They work! They work! And all of this works! Soon. Soon I have to unleash the Mothman. In fact, now. Now I have to unleash the Mothman. It's time. But it's also time for Bezos. And I can't stop him. It's already too late. He's on his way. Rapidly approaching our location. Right now. I know. I know it's horrifying. I can't stop him. He's too fast. He's too fast, Chad. He'll be here soon. Any minute now. Any minute now. Bezos, come on, man. Like, you're late now. Now, now you're late. Now, now I can't even say you're fast anymore. Suzanne's starting. There you are, finally. Ridiculous. Hot in traffic, dude. It's true. Ugh. Any gray heck today? No. Uh, today is a Friday which it is not normal game day. But there may be video games, because I've been invited to video games by friends 
cool friends. So there may be video games today, maybe. You see, I have built the second machine. Remotely. And as such, I can now have remote democracy. No kernel level anti cheat on this bitch. On that bitch. Over there. Away from me. Remote democracy. This is fine. Yep. <laughs> and as such, Rubber Ross made something for us. There it is. <laughs> He's so derpy. <laughs> oh, it's so good. It's so good. It's so good. We're gonna hide that over there for a minute. <laughs> oh, that's good. Beans diver, dude. <laughs> He's a beans diver. too good beans is spreading democracy that's that's why you can't get out of jail dude that's the reason too much goddamn democracy managed democracy mind you wiggle diver is bezos a cryptid yeah probably i mean no you said that and he left so okay for those who don't know i have a long-standing hatred of kernel level anti-cheat so long-standing that I, I don't like playing games that have kernel level any shit. I just won't do it even when they're really good. However, Helldivers 2 is just too goddamn good. So, here's what we did. Remote machine built. My machine. Remote machine runs Helldivers 2. Remote machine pipes Helldivers 2 to my computer. I can now stream Helldivers 2. I played it earlier today over Discord, just to see if this shit would work. And I am already level 8. And well on my way to spreading democracy. So, we can play the game now, and I don't have to have kernel level anti-cheat on my machine. Done! Fish. Finished. I can't even talk. What is this? Karasaki with the 10 gifted subs. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, a little bit of Yar Cloud going on here. True. And, to commemorate this momentous occasion, Rubber Ross has made this. <laughs> it is beans. It's our beans diver, dude. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Yeah, definitely kernel level anti sheet spelled like colonel. Fantastic. He also makes chicken. That's true. Yeah. So it's pretty good. It's pretty good. This is going to become an emote. For sure. Let me go, let me go emotize this. He made a small version one too. I think that's the one that I could use for emote size. Look at him. God, it's so good. We've all got one now. It's fantastic. Uh, where is it? Downloads. Where's the pirate software? Leg end, airy. I agree. You're a bit of a leg end. That's true. That's true. Is it kernel? Getting there. Almost like popcorn. What is that? Wait a minute. Why is there no filter for raids? Wait. Wait, who raided? Wait a minute. Burke Black! The raiding party of 1,355. My god. Burke, what's up, dude? You know, I was telling people, I was telling people when we were watching you the other day when you were doing the, uh, doing when you were doing the the good twitch rivals that you have the superior pirate costume to me i i can't i don't even have a hat i look terrible in a hat it's ridiculous your hat is so pristine i can't even handle it i can't also i think there's a hype train going on right now wait a minute wait a minute you guys want hype train music hold up there you go even a wizard's hat i could be a wizard he hangs out with my other adopted streamers sometimes <laughs> love Burke's content. <laughs> Thank you, Burke. Thank you very much. For all of you who are new, my name is Thor. I make video games, and I teach other people to do the same. Today, I'm replacing Easter. 
because Easter is shit. Easter makes no sense. None. None. We have a rabbit. The rabbit lays eggs. There's chocolate in the eggs. For Jesus. None of this makes sense. None of it. So, I'm replacing the Easter Bunny with Mothman. Mothman, also fuzzy. Also soft. Also lays eggs. But for real this time. Yeah? Good. Good. Mothman. Powerful ass. True. Look it up. It's horrifying. It's very horrifying, actually. So, inside of our block game server, which is my Minecraft server, I've decided to make many different flavors of moth armor. That moth armor will be released from old Eggman. The entire community will be able to obtain Mothman eggs from around the video game. They can then take them to old Eggman for the rest of the entire month and turn them in for cool rewards. Mothman related rewards. Also, they have set bonuses. Hmm. Hmm. You're way too concerned with Mothman's Heine? I think you're not concerned enough. Yeah. Yeah, they're set items. Yeah, they're set items based on the class that you're playing. Also, they look really cool. So. Let me pull these up. These actually don't look like shit. We used the new trim system to try and, like, trim stuff to it. And it looks pretty neat. Like, I don't think that looks shitty, to be honest with you. I think it looks cool. So all of them are themed around actual real moths. And the actual real moth colors come through. So, if we look at the Atlas moth, actually, let's look at the Luna moth, right? It's all green and purple. And if we pull this up, Luna moth. If I can actually pull an image of this. Ah! There we go. I chose the actual colors of real moths. So they're... They're actual moths. That's right. Is there a Death's Head moth? Yes, there is. In fact, that's the one right there. For the warriors. The Death Head moth. And there's a Comet moth, a Limehawk moth, an Atlas moth, and a Luna moth. Mothman. Yeah. Moths are cool, dude. Moths are cool. Here, wait, wait. Let's get the Comet moth, just so you can see this. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, they're amazing looking. Look at that, dude. His wings got it damaged. But look at him. Ridiculous. Incredible. Moths. Mothwing illiterate? We don't have illiterates on the server. Mostly because people found ways to make them do stupid stuff and then break all the stuff in the video game. So I took them away. No flying. But moth event. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Yeah, no more bunnies, only Mothman. Maybe I should replace all the rabbits with moths. You know, I could do that, right? I could just get rid of all the rabbits in the game. Let me just turn all the squids into moths. We can do whatever we want, Chad. No one can stop us now. We can just get rid of all the squid. Turn them into moths. Alright. Let's go change some stuff. Why not both? Why not both? Everything is becoming Moth- well, I mean, it's Mothman March. And it ends in Mothman Easter. It's true. I'm actually replacing March every year with Mothman March. And there's nothing that anyone can do to stop me. I'm actually gonna go to Twitter right now. Mothman... March has begun. It's just gonna be hashtag Mothman March has begun. It's holiday. is real now. It's also a month long. I don't make the rules. There we go. Posted. There it is. Mothman March has begun. This holiday is real now. It's also a month long. I don't make the rules. Done. It's yours, chat. It's all yours. When you stream on multiple platforms, do you pay attention to both chats? Yes, I do. I'm streaming on YouTube and on Twitch at the same time. Are we marching for Mothman? No. It's the month of March. For the entirety of the month of March. It's, it's the first of the March. You check the rules I and I file? I don't have one. I threw it away. If I don't read it, then I don't have to care. 
if I don't look at it, then it's not real. It's true. Yeah, oops, all moths. No. Intentional all moths. Intentional. There it is. Mothman March. I'm gonna go turn this into an emote now, one sec. Should we call it Yard Diver or Yard Democracy? Is it Yard Democracy? I, I feel like it should be Yard Democracy. It's gotta be Yard Democracy, dude. Yeah, Yard Democracy. Actually, mods, can you make a poll? Yard Diver or Yard Democracy? Mods have to. I'm gonna hide for a moment. Democracy 100%, I can't even use it. You guys gotta choose, man. It's up to you. Democracy or Diver? It is. It's already March. It's finally happened. Where are my drop tables? Global drops. Why, hello? There we go. Uh, what was the name of this item, dude? Forget the name of the item. Oh god. I think it's a quest. Is it? It's hidden. Even for me. Oh yeah, I forgot about the cartouche. Don't worry about that. You didn't see that. It's fine. Cartouches are in there somewhere. Probably. It's irrelevant. You saw nothing. Definitely not part of Neath that was getting done. Boop. Alright. Everything in here is good. Also, I've made it so that fishing now only drops boots. For items, for gear. Which I'm fine with. Yeah, fishing no longer drops shitloads of armor. It just drops boots. It drops tier 1 and tier 2 boots. No other armor types can drop from fishing. Only boots. Why only boots? Because it's hilarious. No one- no one loses their pants in the ocean. They lose their boots. Everyone loses their boots. It's gotta be this way. Yeah, dude, dude, it's boots. Let's see what happens. Yard Diver, Yard Democracy. Choose. Remember, vote early, vote often. I lost my car battery in the ocean? I should put a battery in there. Alright. Let's go pull out the spreadsheet. Oh look, it's fishing drop rates. Oh look, it's math. We love math, Chet. In this house, we love math. What is, what is the lily pad based? I'm changing it to one... What's the strong fishing pole rate? I think it's set to ten. This should be one, dude. There we go. Tiny chance as well? Yeah. Do you want to know why they're like this? Watch this. Boop. Wow. Look at it go. This will be good. Is today Thursday? No. Today's Friday, my dude. It's the end of the week. And it's time to release Mothman. So that he may ravage the lands for all of March. Your democracy wins. 
Your democracy has won. Let me add this emote. I don't know if it'll fit. Maybe it will. It did. Your democracy. Done. Rubber Ross. Done. I uploaded it. Why didn't that work? Wait, where did it go? <laughs> what? Twitch. Twitch, where's my emote? Yeah, just put it on tier one. Whatever. Done. Okay. It put it up and then deleted it immediately. There we go. You're a democracy for all of you. Fantastic. Fantastic. Good. Yeah, if it's not showing for you, refresh. If you can't see it, refresh. Some of you I can see it, some of you I can't. That's fine. This is fine. Everything is fine. Why did it say you sent me a DM, but then I looked and there was no DM? Did you DM me and then delete the DM? <laughs> You've baited me into looking at your DM. I've been baited. It was that URL link? F. You dealt with it. Okay, I was like, what? I looked over and it was red and I clicked the red. Streamer vision caught me. Alright, so I need to think about this. I need to think, I need to think about this. Name tag. Let's do five. That seems about right. Let's do strong fishing bowl one. Soggy book should be five. And we'll do ten for that. So in the beginning, it's higher weight. Actually, I think we can do that at twenty. I think it'd be fine. So that by the end. It actually decreases in weight. It doesn't decrease by that much, does it? Nice. What about the Helldivers 2 root kit issue? Ah, friend. You see... I've decided to create a system because I wanted to play Helldivers 2 bad enough that I had to solve the problem. And the way that I solved this puzzle was by having a secondary machine that runs Helldivers 2 on it. And then that secondary machine pipes the information to my primary stream so that I can stream it. And then that goes out to you. So that now I can play the game without putting kernel level anti cheat on my main computer. Instead, it runs on that computer. The sacrificial lamb computer. Not my problem anymore. Isn't there latency? Nah, we tried it earlier. It's great. <laughs> Are you going to rotate different mods every year? Yes. We'll have different loot, different mods, different everything. There's finally on a 2 PC setup only for games that have kernel level anti-cheat. Yes. You'd never play Valorant then? No. Well, I'd play it like this. Work smarter, not harder? No, have a deep fear of something. Create a puzzle for yourself, and then pat yourself on the back when you solve it. That's... That's how that works. Yeah. <laughs> I'll never two stream then? When? It, it may be sooner than you think. All my buddies are trying to get me to play right now. Iron Mouse has invited me to a group. There's many people in it. We're gonna play video games, don't worry. You against Colonel Level Anti Sheet? Yes, very much so. Even as a security professional. So, are you resisting? No, I am. I'm trying to get the Mothman done. Just, just let me do the Mothman. Once, once the Mothman is ready, we can hell dive. Soon. What was I doing in this? Okay, essence water. There we go. I need to put, I need to put the the Mothman stuff in here. What are we gonna put for this thing? How often do we want this to drop? I don't know. 
I don't know how often we want this to drop. I don't know how often we want this to drop. I'm just going to put it at 2,000, wait. Okay, I'm just going to put it there, like that. Oh, look, hi, Bezos. No, Bezos, don't look at me right now. I'm, I, I know, I'm working on it, I know. Mothman will be out soon. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, that should be good. Level 5 and up monsters. Nice, dude. 50 gifted subs. What in the shit? That is so many gifted subs. My god. Oh, we gotta start doing this. Wait, where's the... Where's the audio? Oh god, no. The old speaker bot was hooked up. Ah! Okay, there we go. Now it's now it's the correct speaker bot, maybe? Yes? Good? Yes? Okay, it's hooked up. Wait. Aha! Bosa! Let's see the curse quest, quick. Art. Cooking. Interpretive dance. Which do you decide? Ishi. Wasn't you. It was Bosa 2142. Is it yours? Are you there? One moment. There you are, Bosa. You have to decide. Decide before we can get democracy. Ever had ham soup? Hell yeah. I love some split pea soup with ham in it. Mm. Yeah, I remember Ross made a whole bunch of stuff. For us. He just asked me like if if I wanted one, I was like, yeah. Iron Mouse has one and he has one and I think I think everybody's got one. Let me go look. Yeah, there's like Sea Dog and Ludwig and Selbit, a bunch of people. I've chosen art? Ooh. Alright, here's what you need to do. I'm gonna show you something. Since you wanted art, since you want to have art today. Bosa, and today, today is a curse day. I need you to, I need you to do something. There's, there's something you need to do that's going to get real weird. It's going to mix all of the things that we have today. First, I need you to draw Mothman. All right. But second, you need to draw the Mothman doing our, our salute of the democracy. All right. You need to do, have Mothman animated doing the Helldiver salute. And then also Mothman needs to have my face. There you go. That one right there. Yeah. Yeah. What's a Mothman? Don't worry about it. See that? See that little animation right there? The Yard Democracy? You need to draw that. But Mothman. With my face. It's horrifying. Which angle of Mothman? Whatever angle you want. Whatever one you want. You know. Depends on what you want. How to get girlfriend? Touch grass. Talk to people. Amazingly, I know this may be surprising to you. It might, it might be surprising. The best way to learn to talk to women is to open your mouth and say words at someone who is a woman. That's it. I know it, it sounds difficult, right? It's... <laughs> Insane, right? Anyway, can you do this, Bosa? I can do that? Congratulations. I'm terrified for you. The contract is sealed. Okay, we have our Easter egg of the Mothman. It's moist. It's moist. The global drops. We're good. Fishing. We're good. I think we're good. 
What's what's the next? Oh wait, wait. I have to I have to fix these up. Lily pad. That needs to have a weight of twenty. Good. Name tag. Weight of five. Strong fishing pole. Weight of one. Soggy book. Weight of ten. Lobster sole. Scalable weight of one. Safe. All right. All the modifiers are in. I need to go to the Discord. I need to do a block game announcement. Block gamers. And I need to do this. Take both of these and give you all the statistics for the new fishing drop rates. Close that. Close this. We don't need this anymore. It's done. Putting it on your computer. The Mothman is upon us. Alright. Let me think. Monster drops. Boss drops. Do we have the boss drops done? Let me go look at the bosses. Okay, those drops are done. Krognars. You. Where are my holiday drops? Where are my holiday drops? I know you're in here. Are you actually on the monster? Did I put that on the monster? Am I just like this? Yeah, I did. I need to add a mount to Krogner's Bastion called Bacon. I just want a horse called Bacon. You know what I mean? I feel like that's something I need. I'm gonna use it, it like shoots meat everywhere or something. Also, I found out there was a bug that's been in the game for ages where and I, I didn't know this was happening for whatever reason. I have no idea. No one reported this. Apparently, it's been like this for like six months or more. And I just don't run Krogner's Bastion very often. The wizards that shoot fireballs out of there, at some point, I changed their fireball to the model of a magma slime. And I didn't realize that it was like that. And it's just been that for six months. And the magma slime changes sizes randomly whenever they shoot. So sometimes it shoots this giant flaming like cube of death at you. The size of... I, like a horse. It's... Please report bugs. Please. It's fixed now, by the way. That's fixed. No, I'm not keeping it. No, because it would just blow up. Sometimes the wizard would blow itself up because its spell was so large. Yeah. Yeah, it's fixed. It's not a feature. He would go to shoot the spell, and the hitbox would already be inside of his body and just detonate. Your stream was crazy yesterday? My stream wasn't here yesterday. I was offline yesterday. Yesterday was Thursday, my dude. If you're talking about Wednesday, then yeah. Are you modding Minecraft? I am about to release Mothman into Minecraft. That's an event. It's a silly little event that we do. We do holiday events. By the way... Mothman the boss fight will not appear until halfway through the month. And then, we're watching you? Good. Show them the democracy. I see eagles. Show them democracy. There will be a- there will be a boss fight. It will not be- it's not ready yet. Pirate Suffer's the wisest wizard? Dude, that's the best. I wish. I wish I was the wisest wizard. Okay, holiday drops are in there. We're good on that. Um, let's see. Krognar itself. Okay, that's done. Okay, last piece. Last piece. Let me look at logging. Okay, that's fine. Let's go look at drop tables. 
I put any special drops in here? I did not. Why do I even have this? Global drop tables. Eh? Mm -hmm. Ah, that would have been that would have been dumb. That would have been dumb right there. Look at that. Professions aren't dropping them. That would have been dumb. I'm going to fix this. Good chat. Are you going to add the animated emotes to the Discord? Yes. It's very fun to spread managed democracy with you, Thor. Had a blast, blasting bugs. Yeah! That was fun. Came from your YouTube shorts. Nice. Thank you. There's another one coming out at noon. Many hours from now. Cool nerdy stuff beyond my comprehension. Here, this is all you need to understand, alright? I have a Minecraft server where I get to test weird ideas that I would put into an MMO because it's actually a social sandbox MMO with 34 people in it right now. Sometimes during like peak hours, we get up to 100 people on the server and it runs awesome. So it's just sitting at 20. It's kicking ass, right? Um, right now, I'm releasing an event in which you can dress up like different kinds of moths because it's March. It's Mothman March. And I'm going to open the floodgates in a minute here because the way that I've set everything up, The event is technically now released. Because it hotfixes right into the server and I don't have to take it down. Hell yeah. Oh look, they're all waiting for it. Hi nerds. Are you ready? You know I could do a kill command right now within a radius of five and I could kill the entire server. That'd be great, wouldn't it? Wouldn't that be an awesome way to do this? Oh wait, I'm wearing the Mothman gear. Let me fix that. I'm getting bumped. I'm getting bumped around. Here, let me just... Let me just get blinded for a moment. I don't know what's going to happen when I do this. I need to make sure that the server just actually accepted my changes. You know what? Screw it. We'll find out. This is saved. This is good. That looks fine. This is probably okay. There's a lot of... There's a lot of goat horns going off. It just sounds like goat horns for me. Don't worry about the bitrate. We didn't need bits anyway. The bitrate is irrelevant. They're about to Mothman. Okay, hold up. Hold up. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Try to break the thing. Go. Go into the realm of the Mothman. Go. Jesus. Hey, look. It's Mothman stuff. Did it actually break the eggs? It still broke the eggs. That's fine. I was hoping it wouldn't break the eggs, but it did anyway. This is fine. Sometimes it breaks the eggs, sometimes it doesn't. I have no idea why. We put a flag on it, it still breaks the eggs. I don't care. There's eggs everywhere. Super vanish. Oh yeah, I'm no longer invisible. Let's see the chaos from out here. My god, look at them. I covered the whole tree in eggs, by the way. There's eggs everywhere. Look at them all. Look at them mothmanning. It's a good day. Been bitching your long place recently? It's an amazing time. Thank you. One moment. Look at all these nerds mothmanning, dude. We use TikTok to find more viewers. Wait, what? Will you use TikTok to find more viewers and learners? I am. Um I've tried using TikTok a whole bunch. I also keep trying to apply to TikTok to, to be like a TikTok partner. And every time I do that, they tell me that I have not been in enough prestigious news sources. So like, I just keep giving them more of them. Like I was on MSN. I was also on some like Brazilian national news thing. And they're like, those, those aren't prestigious enough. So I don't really know what to do about that. Basically, TikTok says I'm a bitch. Yeah, that's it. I can't do anything about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, alright, well So, I've applied four times And I've been denied four times so Like, I don't know what to do about this Yeah I just don't 
It's even funnier, too, because like when I re- when I send them those things, they say some of your news sources aren't prestigious enough. And I don't know what that means. I They'd have... What does that mean? What What is... Does it have to... Like, how prestigious... Do I have to be in, like, Forbes? Like, what's going on here? I have no idea. I have no idea. Yeah, I, I need a... Maybe even a Nobel Prize isn't prestigious enough. I have no idea. Yeah, won a streamer award. I don't even know. I have... Uh, Maybe it's about the news you watch. Dude, I don't know. I have no idea what's going on there. Times, I could be Times Person of the Year, and they would probably still deny me. <laughs> I feel like that's how that would go. Is it working? All right, patch notes time. Hold up. Mothman Easter has begun. You can now find special Mothman eggs. These eggs drop from professions and all level 5 plus monsters. Dungeon bosses also drop a small trove of them. There's now an event portal in Yggdrasil to the Mothman realm. Yggdrasil signs have been updated to give more information. Killing dogs no longer sends a death message. You monsters. People, okay. I had to put this in the game because people were breeding dogs just so they could put all the dogs in a pile and kill them all at once to spam the shit out of the server because it would send an alert to everyone saying, Person has killed dog with X weapon. You're monsters. You realize that. Bounties now have a minimum of 100 coin. This had to go in because people found out you could put a bounty of zero coin on someone and it would ping the entire server? God damn it. Newtown plots once again cost 100 coin. We found that players are doing very weird things with towns without a cost. Implementing this again until we find a way to fix this. You know what you did. Nomad rank and beyond can now be now engage in bounties. Any rank below this cannot place bounties. Any rank below this also cannot have bounties placed on them. No more putting bounties on young players. If a player is new, putting a bounty on them to get the entire server to kill them is probably not the best experience for the new player. So, new players can't actually have bounties put on them. And they can't put bounties on other people. Why are you like this? Why? Golem vendors have been redesigned. Wood now trade wood now trades any logs for repair powder instead of money, because you were just milling trees into gold. Stone now trades any stone blocks for repair powder. Again, milling rocks into gold. And metal now trades coin at a rate of one, two, three for copper, iron, gold. Towns can no longer be created in the bazaar. I don't know why people were doing that, but they were, and it was ruining the entire thing. You can no longer lock doors in dungeons. So we found out that you could walk up to any door in the dungeons and you could do slash LWC lock even though you didn't own the door even though it was in a dungeon you could just permanently block off any players from completing the dungeon so that's fixed now next time report that it took us a while to figure out what the hell was going don't stop doing it jesus this entire server is just people doing this and then me fixing it with jake and now little ham little ham is now helping with this too where are so many gamers scum? They're goblins, dude. All of them are goblins. Okay, hold up. What patch note is this? It's not 1036. It's 1040. My god. I don't think there's anything else. Did I change anything else? Oh, wait, 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 wait. There's one more. There we go. Yard democracy, dude. We're going to add that to the patch note. All right. I think we have everything. I think we've got it all. I think it's out. 
It's now up. Published. The patch note is live. It's live! Patch notes. Patch notes. They're out. I place tribute to Thorchan for the goblins. Who made you? What? What does that mean? What does that even mean? What does that even mean? Alright, so for my block game bros, uh, the next patch is actually going to be Neath. That'll be the next big patch. The next content thing that I'm working on is Neath. Uh, it'll likely do be done before the end of the month. I'm kind of excited for that. So, that'll be neat. And I'm excited for it. And these are the upcoming content. So that'll be a thing soon. And yeah, yeah, I think it'll be a fun thing. Is Block Game open to everybody? Yes. Neath is a raid. It's a four to eight man dungeon. It'll be a fun thing. Anyway, I will be right back. Give me just a minute. Beer beer.
Hey, so you guys remember the other day when I was like, I'm going to eat only spicy Indian food for 48 hours and that it would be a problem for future me? You remember that? I'm future me. So you're going to have to give me a couple more minutes. I've survived. I survived. No longer dead. <sighs> I may have had to activate another clone. Maybe. But it's alright. Am I okay? I'm different now. I'm, I'm, I'm different. But I'm the same. Did you wash your hands many times? I survived round one. I think that was not 
Look, let, I'm going to be honest with you. This this has been a boss battle for the last like several hours before the stream even started. I don't think this was round one. You know, like, <laughs> yeah. How many pounds lighter? There better not be any more pounds in there, let me tell you. All right, anyway, Mothman's here. All right. We're good. It's democracy time. I need to hook up all my stuff. Been doing a report for a coding project? So tedious? Yes. Thanks for this event, man. Oh, anytime. So, I, I actually really like doing block game events. Also, I'm going to turn it back to the normal music. Let's go do that real fast. Um, I really like, really, really like doing block game events. They're easy to set up. They're fun to do. And they give you guys something fun to do. Right? Like, they're, they're fun. They're fun for the players. They're fun for me. And now that we have armor trims in the game as a special additive item, by the way, shout out to Jake for getting that done. That's awesome as shit. Um, we do a lot more cool stuff. Like, a lot more cool stuff. Music sounds distorted and warpy. You have to restart. That's going to be on your end. That is a bitrate issue, my dude. If your music sounds weird, you have to run at 1080p. Favorite best chip crisp flavor? I like to take the, the skins off of potatoes and make my own. And I like the skin on them, because they're good that way. Yeah. It's tasty. Don't be upset. I like home chips, man. Delicious. I like to make them in the oven. So what I do is I put it in the oven and I cover it in cheese. Like uh, shredded cheese, usually sharp cheddar. Bacon bits. And then when they come out and they're all delicious as one giant sheet. I can say I only had one chip because it's all connected and because it's all connected it is technically one chip one and then it's not unhealthy anymore it's a singular chip and then I put sour cream on it and then I eat that I only had one chip see good the cheese turns it into a singular chip It's not a life hack. It's something, you know? All right, I need to deploy Helldivers. One moment. How are we gonna do this? I need to, okay. Other machine on. You see nothing. It's running now, I think. This may be working. I don't know. Is it working? I think it's working. I'm going to change the stream stuff in a moment. And then we're going to be doing we're going to be doing alerts all the way through this. So don't worry. One sec. The music has stopped. I know, I know, I know. Thor God, I know. I'm fixing everything. Don't worry. It's happening. The f the infixing is going on. I'm trying to make sure that all this hooks. There's so many things to hook up. Because I'm... I'm deeply paranoid. Can you hear the audio? Is it piping? Is it working? Okay, it's working. Wizard magic. We've done it. We've done it. All right, let me go. Let me go set up the democracy on this stream. I have to change everything. This will not be the entire stream. Maybe we're just gonna play with friends. Democracy. Hell divers.
Level 8 already? Yes. I played earlier today. To test it out. For five hours. Don't worry about it. It was five uh, hours of testing. Has joined squad Had to test it really, really good. You know, you don't want anything to go wrong when it's live. So you gotta really, really test it. You gotta really test it. You know. Oh look, it's Rubber Ross. Oh wait. There we go. Hi, Rubber Ross. How's it going? How did you get on my ship? Do I have just my social shit open? Crab walking, dude. Do you have a tattoo, my dude? No, I don't. I don't have any tattoos at all. Your ship is always open to friends? Yeah, it's Rubber Ross. Is anyone else joining us? Let me look. Oh, wait, I'm getting a call. Oh, hi. Hi. I have to turn on my Discord thing so that they can hear you. Hello. Allied destroyer. Hello. Hello. Squadron. Look, it's Engaging everyone. Orbital thrusters. It's everybody. Hey, yeah. everybody. Have you ever played it before? Yeah. Yeah. Synchronized. yeah. So I started playing today, and I played for five oh, okay, okay. hours, and and just to test, right? You know, just to test it, like to make sure everything's yeah, working to yes. level eight. You know, mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. <laughs> just went level eight in one sitting. It's fine. Yeah, and it, like you can always stop if you want to, right? It's not like yeah. an addiction. Addiction. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's not an addiction. I can stop yeah. anytime. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah, same, yeah that's what same, he said. <laughs> exactly. I feel the same. That's exactly why I'm level twenty six, and I played like thirty hours in, in three days. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Let me get all uh, my stream stuff set up. One sec. Yeah, hold on. I'm fixing my stuff too. Yeah. Oh god, I can't even type, dude. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I agree. <laughs> Mind. Dude, I'm just ready for the democracy. Me That's too. Good. Me That's too. what I'm here for. That's what I'm here for. Alrighty. Everything is set up. Sick. I'm so excited. Hell yeah. It's our first time playing together. Let's go. Yeah. yeah. I'm doing the, sc the yeah. scout armor. I actually found that I really like the scout gameplay. Just like tons is of that, um, intel. Is is that the light armor? Yeah, the light armor yeah. is so good. Yeah, because you can mark it and get data. So, oh, someone said on, yeah. on Connor's chat that the armor is not like it's kind of buggy, so it's better to go for lighter ones. Oh really? Okay, really? I'll look see what the, I have. Yeah, because oh, su supposedly the defense system is not applied correctly, so oh. the lighter ones are better. Interesting. Because okay, I only have. I only have the infiltrator, which I think is the base one. I don't have any others, so maybe I need to get some more light armor. Yeah, I've been using the infiltrator one just because the scout marker, because I, I really like, because we can see how many, you know, enemies are in the location before we drop in. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, I'll keep this one just because I get the extra grenades and it's really good at getting rid of nests. He's Hell already yeah. a pro. He's already a pro. Mm -hmm. What I is the my difficulty? Gun before I'm a pro. Do we want hard? Oh, you want to go, go a higher, higher difficulty? And then, wait, it's, I'm allowed it's to his ship, hard. and we... Okay, can... let's go for hard, let's go for hard, then. Yeah, yeah. Selvin's already used to Connor's recklessness. Yeah, we've been doing <laughs> Helldiver <ready>. difficulty. <laughs> Helldive is kind of crazy, though. It is it's super, nuts. super intense. Yeah. It makes the rest of it look like a walk in the park. Yeah, I've heard that Helldive is insane. Like, completely it's insane. It's so crazy, dude. I think I was running, like, non-stop trying to resurrect people while we were playing last. Oh, it's yeah, painful, dude. Uh, okay, terminate. Okay, wait, what the hell? Man, look at all these all right, options. Okay, yeah. <laughs> this one is good to bring turrets. Uh, cause yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, you I'm know actually, what? I will go heavy on turret. I'll do my part. I'm actually I'll going my turrets part. and landmines, because they love me a landmine. 
Oh, I used to love I... landmines, but then... <laughs> <laughs> oh, you already have the optimization, so I can't do it. Oh, did you want to do it? Huh? No, 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 no. Different oh, optimization. Yeah. The booster, because oh. I only have the one. Oh. oh, yeah, I only have the one, too, so... Can't That's good, it. though. The whole party gets it, yeah. so... Yeah, yeah. Landmines, you're part of the problem? No, I'm part of the solution, all right? And the solution oh, Thor, includes you not looking at your feet when you walk. Not my problem. Thor, <laughs> when we get down, Thor, I'm going to throw down a turret that you can actually man. You should use it. It is so funny. Oh, is that the one where you just start screaming incoherently? You start screaming yeah. like, yeah. yeah. It's really funny. Oh, thank you for those 20 gifted memberships. That's super nice of you. Oh, no, um, no. And fear the shadow of night or oh, dare. No, I need to turn down the game. Oh. I may have had it very loud. That's the way to do it, though. You don't need to hear teammates. You just need to hear yeah, your yeah, yeah. That's true. Dying. That's true. What? Whoa. My real gun. Also, uh, try and find samples, because this one has like 10 samples around it, I think. 15 yeah. Thor, give this thing a try in the middle here. I'm making mines. One moment. <laughs> do it. I need to build all these mines. Have you seen a uh, Bio Titan yet, Thor? Yes, I have, actually. That was the first oh, mission yeah. my friends took me on. I was like, all right, oh, God, I'm level dude. one. It was great. Oh, my goodness. They just threw you in, didn't they? They did. Yeah. I got to eat. Deep end. Here we go. They're coming. They're coming. They're coming. They're they coming. Come. They're coming. I feel oh, like the, the landmines worked. It's glitched. It's in the ground. The landmines are doing work. Is this glitched for anyone else? What, what? Yeah, it's super Am in the I ground. in the ground? <laughs> yeah, you are. yeah, you're in the ground. That's fine. You kind of are, yeah. Oh, cool. That seems fine. Here. It's by the will of, will of democracy. You're good. Don't worry about yeah. it. Where are all the bugs? Yeah, some of them are like kind of short. That's okay. That's just, uh... Oh, no. Oh, my God. Thor, I found all your land. Reloading. Good, good. Pick them up. <laughs> I hear they like that. No, 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 not for me, not for Wait. me. Is that a Vile Titan or is that a Charger? Uh, that's, a, a charger. That's, a, that's a Charger behind there. I can just see a leg. Uh, if I see a Vile Titan, I'll just do the orbital. Resupply's coming yeah. down. I didn't need those nice. legs. They were holding me down. Woo. There we go. Alright, uh... Yeah, Rover oh Ross, you have partial cover, is what chat says. It all makes sense. Yeah. Wow, this is also yeah. underground. Full supplies. What the, <laughs> what the hell? Oh, what's going on yeah, with this level? This, wait a I minute, is it just me, or is there, like, bug. not, like, a lot of bugs? Like, where, where Well, this is bugs? hard mode, so I think we're just being spoiled on difficulty. Yeah. Oh, Thor, I think uh, it's the landmines. I think that's what's doing it. It all makes sense <laughs> now. Have, have, Definitely have the landmines. Have you rebinded your arrow things for the stratagems? Rebinded? What do you mean? Yeah, you can yeah. rebind it to the arrow key so we can like do strategies while you're moving. Oh. I need to do yeah, that. Yeah, it's busted. Yeah, we took a while so to busted. figure that out. Yeah, I'll have to rebind that. Right. Time to die. Is there. I could really use a bug right now. You don't need any bugs. Oh yeah, you you, you pulled that shit out ready. <laughs> yeah, I'm just kind of waiting. My kill count's gonna be so low. I might have to get out and walk around. I hope that's what I'm doing. Now I'm the one with oh, partial wow. cover. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm looking for a sample all around the level. I'm just really I love how slow this turns, oh, holy shit. Not a bugged out charger that can't run. Oh my god. This thing turns so slow. Yeah, there's like nothing here, is there? Yeah. How are we even gonna kill like... all the bugs? Where are they? <laughs> Dude, there's I don't one know. right here by me. Guys, there's a. I never there's a charger. I I say it. Is he underground? 
No, he's just he's stuck in a wall. Nice. No. So what's what's going Logan on this level? Wall. Everything's going inside things. Yeah. Oh, I found a charger. He's stuck here. Yeah, that's that's the one I'm looking at. Oh, okay, oh, you got him out of the wall. Okay, oh, he was yeah. just kind of stuck. Yeah, yeah collision is op optional. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got Ooh. you. We got Ooh. you. No need Samples. To oh, we're leaving the combat zone. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Coming back. Oh, wait. <laughs> How did you die, Bob? Did, you just, did oh you just step it up? I, oh, I, I stepped on the same land! Wait, what's going on? How are you guys dying? That's crazy! You know the mines are working. Yeah, yeah not the way they should, though. <laughs> yeah. Alright, bring me back, bring me back. Got you, I got you. Oh, on a landmine? <laughs> That's on you, you landed on it. I didn't do anything. Two people say mine. I'm okay with this. Did, Efficiency. Efficiency. I wanted some excitement in my life. True. Did it by stepping hey, on. Miles, do you think this is weed? What's weed? Over here where I am. Do you think they're like planting weed the bugs? Oh shit, that does look like weed. What the? Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? Oh shit. Space weed. The ship. The ship. Let's go. Let's go. Wait, I have one last move to do. Oh. Yeah. Let's just leave those behind. Don't worry about it. Wait. <laughs> that works. What'd you do? It's a lot of landmines. So you... It'll be fine. Oh. <laughs> Your mind. Oh Woo. Oh my God. I'm... That was a clean one. It's good. Yeah. It's good. We could, this is just an, a suggestion, an idea even, we could go to one of their ships, either Selbit or Mouse, and then get the even that? harder difficulty. Yeah, that would be That's cool. That's true. Too. I'm okay with this, if you guys want to do that. Yeah, okay, now, let's, uh, we can, like, let's see how many medals we do, because... Yeah, yeah. If we do the three missions, we get uh, bonus, uh, true. bonus medals. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we're getting a bunch of bonuses from this. And, and go for hell diving, because that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, I'm done. It's very oh, yeah, fun. yeah. I think it's worth because uh, our lowest mission gives eight. I think that's awesome. Yeah, I was doing. Um, I was using the anti-material rifle before, and I had a lot of success with that. And then I unlocked more landmines, and I just had to. There's no reason not to at this point. Nice. I'm just gonna lean into the mines as much as I can. Miles, you want to host or do I? Uh, can you do it? Yeah, sure. Yay, thank you. Yeah, do I have all you guys? Uh, uh, I sent. I think I added you when you posted your code. I don't let know. Let me see. I think I added you too. Let me see if I have you. Yeah. Uh, I'm. I'm. Yeah. I'm. Yeah. I am. Yeah. No. I see. You. I see. You. I see. You. We're good. Okay. We're we're friends? Stratagems. Yeah. Yeah. We're friends. We all right. All right. Yeah, yeah. See. Look at all those all right, kills, little... and some of them weren't even my own team. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> All right, we'll all head to Selbit's ship. All right. no How do I join your guys' ship? Uh, uh, shift invite, tab, invite. then, yeah, you can just right click join or wait for an invite. All right. Dude, so many people are playing this game. I even have a friend from high school online right now playing. I feel like just joining his ship and just being like, what's up, Whoa. man? Yeah, dude, it's wild. It's crazy. This game's so popular right now. I love that they have so many, like, premium currency inside of, like, the free stuff. That's really yeah. nice. Oh, by the way, if you can, uh, oh, they just changed the armors, actually. Yep, they did, they did. In the premium oh. currency armors? It, yeah, because there, yep. there was, like, the a super, in the superstore, there was an armor mm. that, uh, raised Ooh. you to, uh, stim, like, the, the thing you... How's the name of the thing that heals you? Uh, it, it makes the stim last longer. Yeah, yeah. Medic, yeah. And, and it gives you two more. So have yeah. six. So I, it looks I like they got an engineering uh, set. I really like that one. Yeah, there is. There is. Yeah, the uh, red one so is really cool. It's weird that the engineer set is like plus grenade capacity instead of anything else. That's so strange. Oh, but that's really yeah. good, actually. That's really it is good. super I, I good. It's useful for nest. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, I think I'm going to get that one. Every time we, we have to clear. Okay, you got. Okay. I would say for us to go against uh, bugs because robots on Helldive are impossible. Yeah, they're so fucking bad. Yes, please. Um, no, no robots. Also, uh, Salvat, I saw this uh, cool trick you can do with your armor. Um, so you know those like little puffy uh, like plants that like shoot gas? Yeah, yeah. So if you actually activate your stim 
and then shoot the ground while standing on them. You go flying and you don't die. So you can just fast travel. All right. Yeah, it's busted. It's so busted for escaping bugs. Uh, Thor, you're, you're the data. last super long. Yeah, you're, you're joining? Yeah, you can find super credits while in missions as well as what people are telling me. I think we found those yeah. like once or twice. That's just nice, you know? Yeah, I like, I like that system a lot too. Yeah, it says I'm yeah, receiving data. There we go. We're good. We're doing it. Cool, cool, cool. Ally engaging orbital thrusters. Yeah, I found from like a game design perspective, they're doing a really good job. Like, just being generous to the player. Makes you feel yep. good about it. Yep. I always find in situations like that, like, when they're being really good to you as a player, eventually I'll just end up buying something. Because I'm like, I you've treated me so well this whole time, I feel more comfortable yeah. actually like buying something from yep. your store because yep. I want to yeah. support you, you know? Yeah, we already bowed yep. to the pay to win. We, we, I, <laughs> I did too, I did too. How do you I'm pay to win pass. this? Is that even a thing? Yeah, yeah. I, I bend the knee, man. I lost. Yep, <laughs> me too. I'm going to hold out as long as I can. What about here? Oh god. I did hold I did hold out like for a whole day and then in the second day it was like I really like what I really want this shotgun and then I got it. An entire day? Man. Yeah, that was that was my my greatest effort. Okay, this yeah. is survival again. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My uh, booster. Let's now. see here. Supply pack. Shield. Uh, oh yeah, I can't stack. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, ready up. Bro, Thor is like playing uh, tower defense right now. <laughs> all this, all yeah, this dude. Is, like, Actually, hold traps. on. Oh wow. I love sentries. So many. So many, look. Bing. We're going. I love the soundtrack for this game. It is so good. It's beautiful. So good. Phenomenal. Chargers and Queens make so sentries die. All you yeah. gotta do yeah. is shoot them before they hit your sentries. It's fine. Alright. Get ready. Ooh. This is gonna get dirty. Oh yeah. Big time. Did you, did you rebind, uh, Thor? What? Did you rebind the arrows? No, I forgot to. It's fine. No, I've okay. got, I've got stuff out. Okay, I trust you. We're having landmines in a moment. I ended Just, up uh, playing Just remember, back. red means dead. True. Yeah. It's a good thing to have in mind. Also, bio titan means dead. Also, chargers means dead. There's a bunch of death. Oh fuck! Oh, there they are. <laughs> oh, it's big. A lasering, a lasering Titan? Oh, Look, that, it's is large. Large. that is a Vile Titan. Oh my god, I died already! What the fuck? Oh my god! <laughs> that Vile Titan came out of nowhere. Just I got you guys. There's two uh, of them. Thank you. Yeah, if you got uh, some uh, orbitals, do it. Oh, I'm gonna land on him. I'm gonna land on him. Take that. Yeah! Nice, nice. Him Killed out. him by landing on him. One of them is down. Yeah, nice, nice. Oh, shit. No, I'm glitched out. I'm stuck. Oh, you're oh, no, I'm out. There I'm out. I got out. I got out. I got out. coming to it. Watch out. I dodged it. I dodged it. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. There are so many bio titans. What is my happening? My whole screen just turned into bug and I was dead. Got you. Now, now you know uh, why we were like, where are the bugs? Oh, <laughs> what did you want? Get the mine. Oh my god! <laughs> Just directly into it, bright reds. Oh, it's the ah, best, I dude. Right on the dude, where? Are you? Oh, dude, I'm gonna, I'm gonna perch. This is the best. Th throw, throw, me the the titan. throw me the only Titan. I got to tell me. Thank you, thank you, mouse. Pay, 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 yabba, yabba, yabba. Uh, oh, he's dead already. Okay, nice. Kill the bugs. They Kill can't get the me bugs. now. I'm on a good oh perch. Oh, another one? How many Bile Titans are we going to deal with? Dude, this is ridiculous. Oh my god, the oh, air is a lot. Oh. oh my god. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. 
Do they just not stop on this level? Kinda, yeah. No, they kinda oh, don't I stop. Myself. Yeah. Just always try to land on them when you're coming back in, because it does massive damage to them. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god. Hi. Oh. <laughs> oh, I, I'm so far away from them. Damn it, I couldn't, I couldn't curve it. The upstrat didn't work. Wait, this is the supply pack. I got it from someone. I'm dropping on the, on the middle. Whoa, okay, I got it. Oh, squibbed. I killed it. I think so, anyway. I landed directly in it. Nice, you did it, yeah. I got an achievement. Landing, landing on them is like the number one killing threat for, for Tyson. Oh, I found someone's shield. Oh, I found samples. Yeah, mine. You, uh, yeah, you can get it. You uh, can get it. I'll, yeah, I'll yeah, I just grabbed it. Okay, okay, okay. Honestly, I probably need it, to be honest. I got dying a lot. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My legs. I didn't need him. Oh. Okay. Well, that sucked. Oh, sorry. I got you. Oh. That's okay. It's okay. Oh, shit. Oh, no. We got we got another battle titan incoming. So down the hill. took me out, dude. I'm so sorry, man. It's oh, so funny. <gasps> Where is there not a battle titan? It's like every direction. Yeah, they're everywhere. They're absolutely. Every oh. I just crawled out of the ground. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, Lenny, one of them. Uh, yeah. Oh my god. Right my real gun. Oh my god. There's nowhere to. There's nowhere to stop. <laughs> uh yeah. That's why I'm having the uh, moving. And, uh, strategy. Right. Oh, yeah. Did we do it? Yeah. Yeah! Just All right. Off. I got this. Don't worry. Oh, God. I didn't need those legs anyway. It's fine. Oh, my God. They better fail. Better. You know what? Got a charger. <laughs> Die! Don't even stop. No! no, no, no. Got your door. Oh my god, wait. It's alright. I'll come back stronger than before. Try landing on the charger, that will help a lot. Yeah, I'm gonna try and do it. I think that's the thing that's on fire. It is. Couldn't see it. Oh, we need to activate the extraction, by the way. <laughs> oh, my god. oh, did we not? In did we not? No. Oh, oh, yeah, I guess. Oh, god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. <laughs> oh my god, there's too many okay, bodies. Uh, okay, go, go for it, go for it, Russ. I got you. Got it, got it, got it. We're there's good, a good. lot of chargers. Jump. There's oh, another wow. bio titan. I got you, give me a second, give me a second. Oh my god! Okay, I yeah, you landed on me. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna get you guys back in Thank here. You, Russ. Oh, what would I do without you, man? Oh, stay dead. Well, oh, God. <laughs> Oh no, no, I'm no, no, give me a backup! Well, <laughs> no! I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. I already I got, got it. Hey, oh, there's yeah, landmines coming. Just don't, uh, step on those. Can't yeah, wait, I'll can't try. wait. Fuck. Okay, shuttle is going out, by the way. We need to go in the shuttle. Oh. Wait, wait, did I not get in the shuttle? No one got in the shuttle. <laughs> I didn't know no, it I got was it. there! I got it. No, I was paying behind. attention. <laughs> Elizabeth did the mission. Yeah, yeah. Not only did I get in the shuttle, but Bezos has, has graced my stream with his presence. Nice. <laughs> While we were escaping. Oh. Oh, At least we had the dog. Oh, you got into the shuttle, I uh, Oh, nice. Nice, okay, okay. Oh, I thought everyone had yeah. died. He was we paying won. attention. We, we did it. Yeah, we, we, we did it. We forgot about <laughs> going out. I yeah. put all the mines on it, too. It'll be fun. What's that, 1K? Yeah, that was that. that was rough, dude. Yeah, no, yeah I have to change my strategy so completely. So that's a lot of metals too. So that's why we do. Oh my god, that's a lot yeah, of currency this was too. One of my worst rounds ever, I think. I did oh like my yeah. six times. I got like yeah, we're just warm up, just warm up. I got like a full level from that though. Good, good. Get ready for the big ones. When we like, we like to do all the optionals. We yeah. got like there was uh, sometimes we get like sixteen hundred uh, XP. It's crazy. I'm gonna rebind my keys right now. 
Go yeah, do definitely. Yeah, super worth it. Um, and then when you when you are rebinding it, the uh, button for bringing up the menu, uh, you got to set it to I think it's press. Is that right? Not hold. I'm getting the most kills. Like, There's nothing sweeter. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. probably yeah, all his turrets. Your mines turrets. were popping off. Your mines, mines were really popping. Cool, off. friendly fire damage too. Yeah. Number one. Mm -hmm. Number one. Yeah, you, you, you see the accidentals. Yeah. Those are the people you kill. Ah. Oops. <laughs> Let's okay. see. All right. I, I gotta use to my metals. Here. Submachine gun. Hmm. What is this one? That's what cool. is that? Got a sniper rifle, marksman rifle set up. All right, I'm gonna rebind this now. Yeah, um, I put mine back. Uh, okay. You guys wanna go search and destroy? Yeah, okay. yeah. Let's do it. That sounds right. awesome. Okay, so, so my uh, mine and Connor's strategy uh, tour is always uh, actually all of us. We always like drop yeah. on top of the of the nest and we just oh yeah start spamming yeah. grenades before the the guys can get kill us. So we're gonna like go straight into it. Sounds good. Yep. It All right, I've got my my stuff start. rebanded now. We're ready. Oh shit! We forgot to get in the pot. So what I feel we should do? Uh, let's start here. Okay. Um. Actually, let me see. Where should we start? So no was the reason why is because I can move and use stratagems yeah. at the same time. Yeah, okay, we, we're dropping here. I'm going like counter, uh, we, we've been clockwise until we go through the, the, the extraction. Actually, I might swap to my scout gear. With big maps like this, the scout gear feels so good because you run faster. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm going to have to get new uh, light armor because uh, that sounds nice. Is that the rubber Ross? It is. Yes. Okay, yeah, where the are music we? is great, dude. Oh yeah, oh, it's very Starship game. Troopers. I love it. Oh my it. god, already? We're gonna get some right next to us. Okay. I got a bunch of samples down here. Nice, nice, nice. That's good. Oh, okay. There's a there's a stalker right and that we need to find it because those stalkers are so annoying. Hmm. Stalker. Oh my god, what the fuck? Yeah. There's, there's stalkers, stalkers everywhere, dude. Yeah, they're dude, everywhere. What the hell? Yeah, we need to find their nest. Well, at least I, I know I, where my I shit is. I think I know where it is. Uh, we, we, can, we can kind of see it. Uh, let me see again. Uh, can we spawn me? Okay. Uh, okay. Someone's shield generator here. I accidentally picked up. Yeah, that's mine. You mm. want it? Oh my yeah, god. No, stalkers just. Yeah, they're super strong. I don't know if my character can, like, survive this super well. I feel like I need more armor than light armor on this. Like, I'm just, like, getting get insta-blapped. Um, Ross, do you still have my shield? Yeah, 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 I can give it to you. Hold on, hold on. Okay, I second. just need to either die or give it to you. Uh, give me yeah. one sec. Uh, wait, how do I uh, drop it again? Was it uh, hold X. Oh, by the way, there's, there's Watch something. out, that's a grenade! Yep. Sorry about that. Oh, my way. Dropped it. It's right here. Thank you. Jesus. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Jesus. Well, um... They're everywhere. It... <laughs> we got this. We got this. Dude, my shotgun is Jesus. awful. I can find it. Yeah. All right, go, it... let's go. The only thing that oh. sucks is that there's incinerary Rocky. shotgun, but it's only in the battle pass. I'm lasering, I'm lasering. Nice, okay, nice, nice. Got, got a Titan, got a Titan. 
I really need my fucking shield. Oh my god, this stalker is following. Okay, they're coming from southwest, the stalker, so we need to go there to find an ass. Right, southwest. Is your shield still where I left no. it? Fine. No! Hey, do you think it's under the Bile Titan body? What? Yeah, where is it? I don't know, oh, dude. God. I dropped it right there. It's showing up in the, in the map, but it is not there. Yeah, I think it's under the Bile Titan. Oh my god, yeah, that probably is. Oh, I see the stalker. Hold up. Uh, can we bring us back, Mouse? Run, 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 run. Damn it. Every time I open up the menu, I just get hit by something. Oh, they... I really need my shoe. Oh my god. Look at those the stalker nests. There's so many of them. Yeah. Yeah, how many stalker nests are there? Jesus. There we go. Oh, that's we a lot got of some landmines. stuff out now. Don't worry about it. Just don't nice. step on those. Nice. <laughs> See, look at that. Got some turrets out, too. We'll be all right. Excellent. Oh, so, but I'm going to try to go with you. Okay, yeah. Oh, wow, my turret yeah, got me in my arm. I didn't need it, though. It's yeah, fine. Yeah, be my careful. I can, I can stim you if you want. Floor, the floor there you go. Bro, Thank you. Stalker so much. Okay, I'm going to stick with you, Thor. We thought my shield I'm really not going to <gasps> oh my god. Holy shit. Yep, I have to kill myself there. Can we go up again, Mom? Sorry? Yeah. Mm. Nice. Oh my god. Yeah, we're gonna go back How down did over I this way. that? Okay, I, I think I see my shoe. It looks like they have one of those spore machines. Oh god. Oh god, there's so many. Oh, the giant oh. mushroom thing? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, hmm. That's gonna be a pain. It is gonna be a pain in the ass. Oh, wait, uh, I can't go Don't go too there. deep into the water because you will drown. Yeah, I think I found the, 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 the stalker nest. Oh, fuck. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I think we can yeah, land it right on that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should take that out. I think it's dead. Might be. No way. I, it's we never dead. touched it. Is uh, it back? I think there there is bug friendly fire sometimes. Yeah. Chargers uh, killed like, a lot of them. Their their own. Interesting. I didn't know about that. Yeah. Got your mouse. I'm trying to hold them off. Diggy, diggy, diggy. Okay. Parking location north. Okay. That's oh. a lot of. Fuck. Oh, oh, this is interesting. Oh, we yeah. found a, we found the mother of like all nests. I think. Oh, wait, no, we didn't. No, we didn't. Those are. Just I got super plants. simples. Okay. Super simples. Tons of them. Be the oh, fuck yeah! Hold on to those. Um, Coming if you die, in. we'll go back for them. Yeah, I got five of them. Um, no, yeah, okay. we've, we've, we've got, we got a nest here. It is not a stalker though. Oh. Fuck. Okay. This is why I love playing the scout because you can just go. You know. Just like fast. Yeah, I can hardly keep up with you. My Fuck. lord, give me a second. <laughs> God, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Bro, those stalkers are carrying. Welcome. It's gonna wade across the bottom. It's fine. Bro, I can't. There's like four oh stalkers God. on me. There's nothing we oh can do. God, this is fucking crazy. So many. Wait, why did I drown? I had full yeah, stamina. I, I, oh I had yeah, full stamina though. It's uh, I you know what? Can I get that those samples? That's what I'm wondering. No, here's the thing that's weird huh. about that though. I thought it was like your stamina runs out and then you drown. Do you just drown? Yeah. yeah. Drown. I drowned. Yeah, I tried to get your your samples and I uh. We didn't need them. They were holding us back. We didn't need them. You're right. Yeah, this is fucked. If we don't fight those stalker nests, there's no way you're gonna win this. There's too many of them. Oh my god. 
Yeah, this is ridiculous. I agree. Oh you my know, God. Um, I didn't understand the mechanics oh around drowning, so now that I do, I'm just gonna stay away from water. Water bad. We should probably mm, split water up. Bad. At least in like two groups. Yeah. Uh, and try and find these nests. Otherwise, we're yeah. so screwed. They're, they're my guess. Stop. My guess is southeast. Judging from where they're coming from, maybe. Yeah. Oh my God. There's so many of them, dude. Well, Frick. Yeah, you get it, Becca. Oh my god. <laughs> the stalkers are insanely strong. Yeah, uh, try summoning as many people as you can oh, real quick. So many. Reinforcing! Okay. Bro. Yeah. This is bad, this is bad. We're coming up, we're coming up. That is so, yeah, I'm so big. Even with my movement speed, right. they're faster so than me. The stalkers are? Yeah, no, they they are Don't always faster that. than the players. You kind of have to deal with them. It's really irritating. The shield is really good against stalkers, but uh, yeah, I lost sure. <laughs> the first fucking Where second. Never sleep. Not today. Pero junio, carajo. Okay, Moss, come with me. Come with me. Let's let's uh, leg it. Okay. Try and find the file titan. File titan. I try not fighting it as much, like just hold the stalkers and let's Requesting split up and find these nests. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yeah. There's so little time though. Oh, oh. oh god, they got another sport oh, chamber oh, thing over there. This, this is a bug outpost. This wouldn't be. Oh my shield, finally! <laughs> Wait, hey, uh, the bug outposts, do they look different? Like the the stalker ones, because I found like a ton of them. Uh, th stalkers usually have like only two. Okay, because uh, I see three here. It's probably a small one, but do it, do it anyway, because we need. To yeah, 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 yeah. There's yeah, yeah. so I'll, much fog. I'll try to run through and get it. Uh, <gasps> if you come to me, Thor, we can help grenade these. Uh, uh one second. Bug things. On my way. Yeah. I'm trying to take out as many of these. As many as I can. Oh god, there's Bro, so many of them. Up. Uh. Uh, okay, we need as soon I... as you come in, Mouse. Calling in reinforcements! Ready? Uh, report me, report <gasps> oh, me. Oh, oh! Hold on, 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 hold on. Okay, yeah, no, wait, they, okay, I'm so far I found the spore machine. <laughs> Battle! Oh my, okay, I oh killed, my, I, I, oh my! I got all the nests, guys. <gasps> yeah, we need oh my god. Ah, uh, uh, damn it. Mouse, like, I'm so far away, I'm trying to go to you, but I'm super far away. Okay, uh, fuck. Oh my god! Throwing what the, the fuck? Ah! Sorry, I might need to bring this in again. No! Oh my god! Oh, that's a spore. Oh. That's a spore. You see like the big mushroom? Yeah, it's you a can spore. Shoot it. Yeah, uh, I, I tried to put a pot on it to see if we could break nah, it. It's okay. They're bullying me! Hey, we got it. We got it. We got it. No, I, yeah, I blew it up. I blew it up with the pod. Nice. Okay. Hey. Okay, nice. I like nice, the bigger nice. complaint. Work. They're bullying me. I used a All resupply right, pod to kill it. <laughs> Actually, I've got an idea. Right. That's the blame, guys. We only need three more to do the objective. Well, I think we got this. Even if we die, if we blow up, it's okay. On my way to eat. One minute left. Destroyer preparing to leave. Oh gosh. Okay, see a bunch of nests. There's a big ass nest here. All right, all right. Let's kill that nest. We got very little time. We only Under a minute. Three, yeah. No. Go, go, go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's so many. Bro, we can do it. No. Holy oh, shit. <laughs> Mouse, up to you. I am uh, Okay. I'm, I'm, only two I'm more. Kind of... Only two more. I did not succumb Where to the criminal level anti cheat. Okay, I, uh, got, got am running Mouse the game on a different computer one, and then piping the video the, uh, into this game. computer. Oh, it's a good day. Fuck. Oh shit. Remote oh, my democracy. God. Okay, Ross, 15 seconds. Just hold and uh, yeah, you, yeah, can, you can call me in. Yep, yep, yep. I got it. I'm very good at running. Yeah. Don't forget to steam if you need to, because uh, yep, yep. uh, resets your stamina. Resource okay. unavailable. You have to be really, really quick. You can do it now! Before I go! Oh, it's too late. Damn it, dude. I... Like, okay. second. No, it's okay. Uh, you just need to, like, explode soon, as I think you got it. If you can extract, we're good, dude. 
I believe. No, you don't need you don't need to extract. You just need to explode the two holes. Even if we all die, if we did, if we do the mission, uh, it's enough. Okay. Is that it right there? I believe uh, in I you. Can't see them. Yeah, that is it. That's, that's it. it. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, there's a go. Okay. bio there's titan. Them. Uh, see him? One on the left first. One on the left. Team up. Okay. Uh, throw. Throw, throw it. Grenade. Throw grenade. Grenade, 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 grenade. What are you doing? Grenade. I'm trying to. I'm trying. I, I'm just fucking out. Steam up. Steam. Oh. Steam. Steam. Yep. I and go for the other one. Ooh. Let's fucking go, Ross. Come on, yes. come on, come on, come on, come on. I believe you, man. Let's, Let's do it. Let's go. Oh. You, did you did it. You did it. You missed it. You missed it. Do it again. Got it. Got it. Got it. No, got it bounced. Woo. No. The ghost. It bounced. It bounced. Go, 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 go. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Even if we all die. Let's fucking go. The Ross clutch. Yeah. I got this. I got this. I don't got this. You still got this. The blue. You still got this. It's the blue. Yeah, the blue. The blue. The blue. Go to the blue. Yeah, now go to the blue. You got this. The only good bug is a dead bug. Oh no. Oh no. He's stuck in the weeds. Run. Oh, I run, forgot you the weeds are actually real. Yeah, run, 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 run. I know. I'm just getting some stamina back. You know. Oh. Making it easy right. for them. Just hold for two minutes. Is, is our, do I need to call it, or is it already? No, yeah, it's, it's already called. It's already called. It's already called. Just run away. Yep. Just run. Oh boy. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh. 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 Fuck him. It's okay. It's okay. We got it. We got it. It's fine. It's fine. Well, we got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. Woo! Hey, I got an achievement for that. Job's done. Fucking stalker nest. Bro, these stalkers are so annoying. I know. Stalkers are awful. Oh my god. Stalkers are terrifying, dude. Yeah. No, we couldn't find their nest. Well, we got, we got the main objective done, you know? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, that was matters. Oh, matter. And it looks like we got an optional objective done, that spore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now I know you can put a resupply on it and just walk away, by the way. If you find one of the spores, just throw a pot at it and leave. Oh, if you, uh, the spores are the easiest ones because you actually can shoot it from anywhere in the map. If you see a giant mushroom, just shoot at it. Eventually, it's going to blow up. That's amazing. And yeah, yeah, I'm playing with uh, Rubber Ross, Iron okay. Mouse, no and Silbit today, is. which is fun. Well done. It's fun. Thor got the most kills again. Oh, I might, I might oh, be good at killing. Good I'm, yeah. I feel like I'm good at killing. The pro killer. A little bit of murder, you know? Yeah, yeah. All right, now we're it. going for a hard one. Oh, this, yeah. this is Wait, that easy. wasn't the hard yeah. one? No, these two were the easiest one. Easy ones. This is the hard one. <laughs> <laughs> Get ready. I have a specific concern. <laughs> I I have Thor's stream open, and as you said that, I saw your eyes do this like <laughs> left right shift. It's very funny. Uh, <laughs> the fear. <laughs> I need to change out my cloak. Oh yeah, gotta get Important. nice. And, gotta get yeah. that fresh fashion. You, you know? can't spread yeah. democracy without looking yeah. good. That's true. You gotta have drip. You gotta have drip. Okay, so this one, uh, I'd say for us to, to drop in the middle, two go down and two go north, uh, two go south and two go north. I agree. Yep. Landmines always help. Mm, <laughs> duck. Okay, I'm going south. I sound like the gold one more, I think. South, south. Oh yeah, I should probably unlock some more stuff after this run. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so it's got like a billion currency now. Uh. Treat yourself. Oh, by the way, the money caps at 50k, so if you're getting close to 50k, it's bad oh, because okay. it doesn't go over that. Hmm. Okay, I should keep an eye on that, man. I've been spending. Oh, right, who's, I who's see. Who's with me? I see X. Okay, let's go, Mouse. He's going north. Oh, yeah. Uh, clear that nest, Ross. You just uh, yep. got into. I'm on it. I'm helping you. And I got crushed. Yeah. I saw that. There's only one left. Requesting orbital. 
I think my incendiary mines are about to drop in. Good to know. To oh god! Okay. I hate trees. Oh, I got fucked by the Bio Titan. I just, yeah, as soon as I just got my swing there. Okay, drop me on the Titan, drop me on the Titan. Yeah, I'll try my best. Oh, oh my uh, god! Uh, I uh, what the? Damn, yeah, I couldn't reach him. No, it's okay. Okay. Going down a sentry! Oh, no. <laughs> oh my god, dude. I went around a rock and then immediately got hit by the Bile Titan. I just climbed into a tree for some reason as I was running. Yeah. Don't worry. Grenade those holes. I got it. Nice, nice, nice. nice. Okay, I need to get my stuff and everything. Mm. Feels nice. good. Oh my god. Alright, I break on my ship. Let's go, Mouse. Southbound. Southbound? On my way to you guys, running through my own mines. Uh, you, you, you and Ross can go north, I think, Thor. Okay, it's we can go north. Up cause, I'm going north. because yeah, uh, the aggro split is, is split up as well, so it's easier for everyone. Alright, on my way to north. Uh, one sec, I'm grabbing my shit as it drops. I'm just dealing with two. Oh, three! Coming. Okay, coming, Thor. Just go, go, go. Actually, we're gonna save that. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Now my bones. You, yeah. yeah, I got my bones. My bones are gone. I didn't need those bones. Holy shit. I, got, I did think. Nice. Okay, Moss, there's an optional thing. Uh, you wanna do it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's west. Okay. Oh, Luckily, it's. This charger is still chasing I don't have any of the you? aggro. No, that's not wrong. I actually do have some of the aggro. We both have a charger each. How fun. Hey, I've had a common sample. Oh. Nice. It's a bullet. We have to, like, hold on for a little while. I cannot die. There's a lot of charger behind me. Oh, yeah. I still don't have any more mines. This is bad. Al, rude. Okay, I, I think there's no stalkers in this level, at least. Yeah, there's no stalkers. There's just a lot of chargers. Do we have anything for armor piercing, Ross? Uh, uh usually I, the, yeah, there's a rail gun. It's the only thing that kills them. It's level 20, though, unfortunately, yeah. <laughs> and I don't have that yet. We Very managed close, to use auto cannons to delete them before, by the way. Yeah, that does oh, there's work. There's also a uh, uh, recoilless uh, rifle. I think it's, uh, it also is, does a good damage mm, to them. Mm, mm. Okay, we did it, Miles. Let's go back. Let's go back. Went back. Let's go east. Oh wait, we bypassed our objective, and I'm dead. Did we? I'm. Yeah, we did. I marked it. I should have marked that earlier, but I was being chased by this horrible thing. There oh we go. I'm running. God, get off me! There we go, dude. Oh, no! my god, oh my god! Oh my god! Wait, where'd you mark? Oh. Where'd you mark? We have two titans on us. Oh my fucking god! All right, objective this is marked. Mouse, what's going on? We'll be all right. We got this. This thing, right? Uh, Verify no. the ore vein. Uh, um, do you have a laser mouse? Uh, yeah. Uh, let's laser the, the ass. Come here. Is this it? We're like right on it. Yeah, I'm. I'm looking for it. You know what, what does it look like? Got it. You got it. Yeah, seismic probe is done. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I'll make my way over to you. I, I've got a bit of the aggro from before, so I'm just, uh... Oh, you know, shit, my laser's on cooldown. Okay, no worries. I got one. Oh, I'm steam. Ow. Okay, so there's only one more. Uh, let's go back to the objective, south. Okay, okay. That's a lot of dudes. Scenery mines are out. Oh my god. <laughs> I got you, Maz, I got you. Thank you, thank you. Damn it, dude. Oh, yeah, try to. Be fine. Oh. Be f oh my god, what? Is I'm dead. Can you oh. uh, bring me, Maz? For me? Yeah. Oh. Nice. Hello. 
request approved. Reinforcements on the way. Falling down a sentry! Oh my god. Oh my, there's so many of them. What the fuck there's is going on? What the hell, dude? It's working. It's working. The mines are beautiful. Well, the only thing that's lucky is that there's a ton of trees. But it's also huh. unlucky that there's a ton of trees. I'm going to be five. Ah! Please go, please go. Please. Ah, okay, I'm dead. Can I bring me mouse again? Alright, alright. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Did we manage to activate that? Oh my god, I got you right before they killed nice. me. Nice, okay. <laughs> I live. Nice job. Okay, Ross, you might have spawned with me, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I am. Go north, go north to, to the tour again. North? Yeah. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, no. yep, yep, yep. I got your mouse. Thank you. I don't know. Wait, oh, I think, I think they spawned you. We have to activate oh, the seismic scale. Okay, 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 wait. Ross, come back here, come back yeah, here. Yeah, come back, yeah, yeah, they, they, they can, they can, they can cooperate. Hi, hi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm here to no. help. <laughs> we had to activate the seismic scan, but there's a bio titan on it. <gasps> Ross, can you get me up? Okay. Or are you dead? No, 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 no. Uh, uh, I no, am good. Me. There's a shoot here, I... uh, Ross, for you. Get the shoot from hey, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Mouse probably wants to get you back since you guys are teaming up. I'm coming, I'm coming. Where's the Where's the shield? Uh, it's on me. Okay, we did the one thing here. Do you like the game? Yes. Oh, yeah. See, it's fun as hell. You have to have anti-tank weapons. I don't have any of those. I have all of these landmines. Oh my god. They're got really it. useful. Nice, get out, get out, get out. Yep, yep, yep. They're I'm really good. Yep, yep, Also, yep. this is chaos. And very okay, fun. Okay, let's just run north. Let's help them. Yep, yep, sounds good. Oh no, I'm stuck in rebels. Don't worry, guys. I'll take the floor. <laughs> got it covered. Woo! <laughs> um, I was, uh, can you bring him back? We're super far. I'm so far away, but... You're good at running, though? No, yeah, yeah just, so uh, I found that, like, yeah, yeah. We're, oh, we're on these types of things, okay, we need to okay, run okay, and okay. just drop, like, tons of stratagems. It's uh, apparently, like, the idea. Of this. Oh, of course I'm using mines. Yeah, they're great. Okay, I'm gonna throw a turret ahead of us in a second. Nice, that works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, we're bringing uh, some friends, by the way. I hope you, you like them. I love friends. Yeah, they're called like four bio titans. Yeah, we met them in town. They're real cool. We have to confirm the scan area using probe interface. So we got to use the interface on the machine. Yeah. Nice. The little right, bring me back. Puzzles. There's only one le last step. There's only one more step left on the thing. For the... Uh, I got you, Mouse. We're getting okay, close. Okay. Nice, nice. Yeah, we're here, we're here. Okay, uh, can I drop on the Titan? I'm gonna try. Try Kill my hardest. Kill this? Oh, no, he was bugged. Oh, damn it, I missed. Oh. Nope. Oh, it's I'm... all Bio Titans. <gasps> Never it's Bio Titans it. all the way down. <laughs> we gotta activate the scan. <laughs> Trying to. It happens, it happens. I think I got it. I think I got it. Uh, I got a reinforcement scan. I, I, acti I activated the scan. Nice, let's fucking go, Ross. Oh, I died doing it. Okay, Woo! now we have to go to the other side of the map, by the way. So let's I'm dead. Uh, just rush to west. It's time to run. <gasps> oh, run! man. That was brutal. I died for democracy. Run. I'm run, you fools. Oh, I think I'm about to kill to a run. bio titan, though. I I tried to get my shield, but I got, I got you guys. Uh, by yes. the Just get the fuck out. There's a bunch of them coming. Run west. Just keep on running. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gotcha. I'll try and bring him to the other direction. Oh, nice place. Yeah. Uh, don't, don't even uh, try and kill him, Thor. Let's just get the fuck out uh, before the. Yeah, yeah, I'm running. I'm running. Yeah. They're pressing us so much. Yeah, yeah. Running, running, running. I have a lot of mines ready. We're good. <laughs> I can't the wait. Mine, the king of mines. King of mines, uh, dude. Can, can, can you uh, nade this? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, let me just... Uh, I'll bring... I'll, I'll get them. I'll get them. Just go. Go for it. I'm getting them. Go on for it. Go on for it. Got him. Uh, there's Sorry, one more, I think. Nice. Yeah, I nice, think nice, I got nice. it. Yeah. Nice, nice. Oh, I died. Doing what okay. I love. 
Do you need to, to get your shit or should I like... No, no, no. I, I already okay. lost everything. Cool. I got you reinforced way up here at the front. Nice, nice. nice. I'm yeah, using the scout you, movement you. to get us all the way up. Sounds we good. We got a mushroom somewhere. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll get it. I'll get it. Oh, I don't have, I don't have ammo No, I, I can kill the mushroom. I can kill the mushroom. Uh, I can mouse, see it. Do you, do you have yeah. a railgun? Uh... Um, Oh my god, no, it's on cooldown right now. Okay, okay, okay. Don't worry, I got the mushroom. Okay, there's two I have mine spores. Yeah, there's two spores, by the way. Two? One, one right, right by the other, yeah. yeah don't shoot it, don't shoot it. I got it, I got it. Don't waste your ammo. Oh, I went too far away. Do you want me to try something? It's dead. No, that'll work, that'll work, that'll work, that'll work. It's super dead. I don't see another one anywhere. Uh, god, it was just... more to the left. Like, they're really close to each other. These mushrooms make it look like an L.A. summer's day. It's a little to the south. Oof. Oh, oh, God. I love that. There it is. There it is. I, I marked it. Oh, yeah. There's samples of the base of the spore. Let me go grab those. Oh, yeah. yeah let's grab those. I'll cover you. My turret dropped right on it, so it's helping a little bit. Oh Watch out for the bow. You don't have aggro. Got a rare sample. I'm resupplying. I'm resupplying uh, and throwing it on the on the thing. Thank you for that sixty dollars to the mods. Dream uh, Dime, That's super nice samples. of you. Thank you. Seriously. Resupplying bomb here. On me. Here we go. We still have another mushroom in here somewhere. I just don't know where it is. Yeah, it is. It is. I found uh, it. I, I found I, it. It's okay. right here. I, I, I marked it. I marked it with the red tag. Hit it with a yeah, resupply. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which place is here? On me. C4. Oh no, I'm C1, saying like hit the, hit the mushroom with it. It'll kill it. If you have a deployable of any kind. Oh, no, I'm just, super far let's away, do yeah. this. I got it. I got you it. You got it. You got it. Thank you, Ross. Yeah, it's, uh, it's going to get a orbital strike in a second. Supplies are here if anyone has seen them. Uh, there's two oh, bio on all the supplies though. Don't come here now. Nice uh, bio titan down. Okay, Thor, I'm, I'm going to spawn a shoe generator for you. Thank you. Oh, I did. The, the guys, the, the, will, the thing missed. I need, I need help. Okay. Ross, the, uh, the, the R3, right? right? Yeah, it's down, it's down. We win. It. Stop it. Yeah, we got it, we got it. No, you killed it. Come here, come here, yeah. Oh, I got it, I got it. Yeah, you got it, dude. Yeah, you got it. I think it's a little slow. Woo! Yeah, it okay, bounces we're, off. We're you have to, like, hit it on a... Yeah, yeah. Oh, at the base. Yeah. Him. <laughs> nice. Okay, Thor, nice, get nice, this, get this, get this, get this. One sec. On the ground. Stimming myself. Okay, nice. landing okay. on the bow titan. Now run, now run. Hit him. Break him. Okay, Break. he didn't like that. He didn't like that. I got a lot of samples now. Are you kidding? Yeah, I dropped samples back at the off. mushroom, but uh, what it's really fuck? if anyone feels confident enough to head back for that. I think hey, I found this. one of those um, <clears throat> those bombs, uh, the hell bombs. Right here. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. Run in. We gotta verify the ore location yeah. still. Oh, fuck. My mines are about to go everywhere. That will help. Uh, I'm lasering them. Mouse, if you have a laser, drop it too. Uh, I'm dead. <laughs> oh, okay. I got you, I got you okay. back. Try land on the Vile Titans if you can, but it might be uh, a little far. Ooh, ooh, it's okay ooh. if you can. Oh, yeah, oh, I might I... die. Hello. Yeah, I'm dead. Nice. Oh, Bio no. Down. Oh, no, we someone, ran out. Yeah, someone needs to go to the machine and, and put the, the thing. Oh, my Run God. It. No, got it. No, got it. Don't worry about it. I'm, try I'm trying. Yeah. It's a Christmas tree. Yeah, it's all lit up for you. It's just one up. Oh, fuck. Thor, Thor, you're flat by. <laughs> it's all lit up. Christmas tree's ready. <laughs> drawing their aggro away, don't worry. I believe. I believe in you. You got this. Okay, one minute, one minute, well, yeah, uh, what do you need, sorry? Uh, believe if you, in me. Okay, if, in if, if, if it's free, go there. Second. We only have like, to tap up one yep, time. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, oh, yep. fuck. This is dangerous. I got it. I got it. I'm pulling worry, the, the pressures away. Man, get out. I got the terminal. Nice. Get out, get out, got get out, get out. I'm gonna go. Watch out for the mines. These red things are killing. They are gonna kill you. Yeah, yeah. I know. I just want to grab the samples because I'm crazy like that. Mines wow, in three I made seconds. Them all step on the mines. That was awesome. <laughs> yeah, mines are great, dude. 
Yeah. Okay, uh, so that's good. I guess I'll come to you, Thor. And one dream, you guys. Mm hmm. All right, oh acquire God. soil scan data. Okay, Ross, if you can uh, re reinforce mouse in the thing, like in the objective. Uh, at the the thing, the blue thing. Gotcha. Yeah, actually, actually, no, the blue thing is is, is stores. Uh, oh, okay. The like you know, you know where where you were. Uh, yeah. Still up, still up. Like, oh. Fuck it, I'm just gonna do this. Nice, yeah, that works. works. Well, better that I <laughs> rest her than uh, went rolling yeah, down a hill without really resing her. Oh, wait, it was, I didn't it was mouse. Oh, it's you! Do I have to yes! get it inside yeah, the it. machine? Oh, you got it. Oh, no way, no way, no way. What? No way. Are you serious? What do you mean? I have no idea. It said the me, but there's no biotype where I am. There's just a body next to you. Oh, no. It wouldn't work. So it wouldn't work. So close. It's okay, it's okay. That's very funny. Oh, we're so really close. close. We're, we're so close. close. We got a lot of optionals though. Not bad. Didn't yeah, get the mains, yeah, but that's sure. okay. Are you liking this? Loving it. Loving it. A lot of managed democracy. Yeah. That's still something. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I will be right back. One second. Oh, that hurts so much. I know, I know. I love the global objective system in this, where like everybody's working together. Yeah. And there's like a game master. It's awesome, honestly. I think it's phenomenal. It's such a cool way to bring a community together as well. Like insanely cool. Welcome aboard. How did I get so many kills? Could it have been the mines, Chet? Hmm? Hmm? I think it's all hmm? of your mines. I think it might be the mines. I had zero mine. accidentals. You I'm guys did well. You didn't step on any mines. <laughs> I'm starting to think you wanted us to stuff on some mines. Well, I mean, I would have the most <laughs> accidentals. I'd be number one, so, you know. <laughs> I'd be that. It was it was so funny. I dropped to the objective, and I'm there, oh. and I see all these red things everywhere, and I'm like, oh, my God. Yeah, Christmas tree. It's great. Well, let me go actually get some upgrades. Let me know if you need anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh. I'm going to go to the bathroom really quick. I'll be right back. Okay. I think the auto cannon is like beast, man. Like, cause we were using that against those chargers before, and it just ripped them apart. But there's, you don't have enough time on Helldiver to just do anything, you know. What is a guard Let's dog see. rover? Oh, I can get a robot that flies oh, yeah, around and a, shoots that's them. That's a laser one. That's really good. Wow, that's sick. I wonder if they'll ever have a suit that, like, makes certain things faster. Like, I want to be able to do more deployments, because I'm more of, like, an engineer support character a lot of the times. Wait, what do you mean? I, I like playing engineers, so, like, I like doing, um, like, turrets and medic okay. stuff more than anything else. Oh, you can, like, you, you, if you go on the ship model, you can upgrade that with yeah. uh, samples. I've been upgrading that with certain things. I don't have enough samples to do anything else right now. I did the um, the one that makes it so my sentry emplacement and resupply stratagems are 10% more cooldown. Because it's just good. Yeah, that's that's what I thought. Yeah, uh, you, that, that, There's a whole line, like the three ones, uh, the three skills mm -hmm. on that category. Mm -hmm. All of them upgrade the sentries a lot. Cooldown time is The best huge. sentry is the autocannon, I think. It's really strong against, against big guys. Yeah, autocannon is really, really yeah. good, but I think I have to be much higher level for that. Yeah, Pretty no, it sure. is. I think it's 20. I think it's 20. It's 13, actually. So I'm I'm getting oh, okay. there. Oh, wait. We're teleporting. Yeah, I'll be switching over to the auto cannon sentry when I can. I think the funniest thing that I've seen with auto cannon sentry is Zaphroth, one of my mods. He was standing like 10 feet away from me, gets shot with the auto cannon, he explodes <laughs> instantly, and his viscera yeah. knocked me out. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> I was like, oh. His body, actually? Yeah, his body That's just crazy. burst, and then I, I, like, all my limbs were broken. I didn't die, though. That's crazy. It was grim. It was, like, uh, point-blank shot, too. The thing that uh, I saw mostly do friendly fire, uh, other than your mind, uh, <laughs> uh, is the Mortar Sentry. It, it oh. kills a lot, but it also yeah. kills a lot of friends, too. Yeah, Mortar Sentry, because uh, you yeah, don't realize yeah. it's going to shoot. Yeah, and like in, in especially in bug planets, because the bugs are always super close to you. So when it targets one bug that's close to you, you're dead. Yeah, that makes sense. 
I think I'm gonna set up a shield generator relay for us. I think I might start bringing one of those. Okay. Oh shit. I think it's survival. Um... And an orbital EMS strike. I'm gonna bring that as well. Because if we can stun all the bugs on an objective, we can just take the objective, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Selbit? Yeah, it's Selbit, Iron Mouse, and Rubber Ross, man. We are hell diving together for democracy. Wait, is Iron Mouse back yet? No, I'm worried for him. Okay. Eradicate the Terminate Swarm. Wow, this whole map is just gas. That seems yep. good, right? A giant fart cloud, planet. Fantastic. I love planet mm. fart. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hope this is not like the dark is that ice, uh, and chat? planet. Because that's so hard to see and there's no spores on it. It's just hard. Oh. Yeah. It's just, it, you can't see. I see uh, Bajos in your chat, Thor. Yeah, Bajos crazy. Great, but, crazy yep. that you guys know each other. Bajo, rubber. I've known Bajo for like, what? What is it, like five, six years now, dude? Um, so I, I think I told you that I used to do animations for the t television show in Australia that he used to host. So good game, yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah, that was like, it, I would have been 19? Oh my God. It's so wild to me because I stream during Australian hours and there's so many people that come mm -hmm. to my chat that are from Australia that don't realize that Bajo streams. So I'm always like, hey, yep, Australians, yep. go look at Bajo. Go look at him. Look at him. So Australians, you see Bajo right there? That's Bajo from Good yep, Game. Go. Yep. Watch yep, him. Yep. Do it. Watch him. Also, he has worms. You know that now. It's true. You can trust me. <laughs> Man. Small world. Thought you wouldn't do it? I am playing this on a secondary machine and piping yeah. it to my main machine so I don't have to deal with Colonel Level Annie Chain on my primary computer. Oh, my cat came hey. to say hello. Hello, kitty. Bypasses. Interesting solution to a difficult problem. Hello. For democracy, by the way. Oh. Okay. What about here? Yeah, I really can't pick a strategic landing point here. Well, I feel like we have yeah, a lot of options, lot of you know? Yeah. yeah. Mm. I feel like maybe in the cloud area? Yeah, it could yeah. be in the cloud would be a good idea. Or, alternatively, the cloud. We that could might go also in the cloud work. and go like a counterclockwise yeah. movement, too. That's mm -hmm. true. Mm -hmm. That is true. Here? Yeah. <laughs> like, when you click, it says, what about here? <laughs> what about here? What about here? What about How about here? here? <laughs> I feel like Mouse has uh, the best spot, actually. What's the issue with that anti cheat? I don't like kernel level anti cheat. So, I run on a different there computer. Ooh. Ooh. I am. So, I feel oh, I like the... my strategy this time should probably be mines. What do you guys think? Mm -mm. Yeah, you know what, Thor? I'll, I'll power it to you, man. I, I feel like Good. I'm, Good. I'm getting used to your mines. I'm glad. I'm glad. Yeah. I do feel you like know, they I have gigantic little, little red, red lights on them. Yeah, yeah. I see like the little red dots on the ground. Oh, well, there, there he goes. That's Thor. No. Oh. The red dot means you have to step on it. That's how it works. Yeah. yeah it's that's candy, what you do actually. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There's like the yellow paint, right? Yellow paint and red dots. <laughs> yeah. See. Yeah. I uh, I just got the 500k bomb, which apparently is pretty dang good. So. Can't wait to use that on a Bile Titan. I'm so happy this setup worked. <laughs> now I can play <laughs> yeah, this game. It's crazy. Crazy what you did to like get around the fact you didn't want to deal with their anti I'm, I'm so Yeah, I was done with it, dude. I didn't want to deal with it at all. Could you like do you mind explaining like in layman terms like what's wrong with it? Because I So kernel like, level anti cheat gives full access to the computer, both hardware and software. Mm -hmm. As a right. security professional Nah. <laughs> so that's, yeah, that's basically that makes sense. I'm like, nah, nah, that's not going to happen. So what I'm doing is I'm running the game on a secondary computer, piping all that data over to my primary computer and then streaming it out to the community from there. That way it's not running the kernel level anti sheet on my main computer. It's running on a burner machine that does nothing, has nothing on it, is irrelevant. Gotcha, gotcha. 
It was also, consequently, the same machine that I used to play everybody's games in the game jam. Uh -huh. Because there were 1,400, you know, samples of unsigned code from the internet. 30 of which had malware. It's great. <laughs> Just wiped it all, started over. Helldiver's machine. Well, 30 that we caught. <laughs> yeah, it's a freedom machine now. That's what it is. It's there for democracy. Welcome back, I'm back, sorry. All hey, Mousy, let's go. Thank ready you. ready to develop, yeah. to deploy ready. some... It's a VMware physical hardware? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's I'm physical ready, hardware. I'm ready. Let's go. I just needed ready, a secondary ready. machine to increase the democracy, that's all. <laughs> to get smart to do stuff like that. I love that we'll drop like bullets being shot at the planet. Yeah. Cute. You are the bullet. Be the bullet. Oh, hey, this level doesn't oh, suck, them. actually. Wow, I... Huh. Where'd all the gas oh, yeah. go? Don't, don't, don't fall down. This is a really good spot you guys got there. Hi, there's mines over there? Yes, sir. Thought you should know. Wait, are we holding this point? Is this the yeah. yeah. The mission oh, is to hold okay, it. excellent, excellent. Damn, I should have brought more turrets. Yeah, I love turrets. I know. My real gun. Uh, usually uh, the bio titans come like on the first wave on this one. Yeah. Mmm, mines. This is a really good spot up here, man. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I, I, I think that oh, this is my favorite map. My favorite survival map. I got killed. Oh! I got killed by my own turret. That makes sense. My gun! Yeah, you usually want to put your turrets oh. on a high spot. Yeah, I'm realizing that now. That was a bit of an oopsie. Okay, later. Don't worry, all that blood was holding you back. It's gone from your body now. Yep, that's right, that's right. Yep. Going down the line. Pulling equipment package. Oh fuck! Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, god. oh, god. oh. Ah! Killed by hey. my own ring. Someone dropped the shield generator back. Who could have that? <laughs> that was me. <laughs> I died. Uh -oh. I watched you get hit by, like, beautiful space lasers. It was good death. Oh, but it was my space laser, too. <laughs> Even better. <laughs> my own space laser. Was it yours, actually? Yeah. No way. <laughs> well, at least Whoops, you went with your choice. Oh. Oh, we got uh, another big boy. I want to try my new missile. Let's see. Okay, uh, behind you, Ross. <laughs> well, it landed. Let's see if it hits him. Don't stand near that. Oh, I totally got a miss. I'm trying to stun him. I'm running out of ammo. That seems good. Yeah, that missed. Well, I bet uh, it looked cool. supplies here for you if you need them. I've got two of them. I ping them. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, I died I to the mine. Fuck. <laughs> Not today. What? Can you spawn me, Ross? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. You can be close here. Nice. Watch out for the mine. Yeah, yeah. No! Um, it was worth it. You good? I got the sight. But the baby didn't die. Oh my god. Dude, it's brutal. Hey, Sam. Oof. Mines. Ooh, nice shield. My, yeah, that was mine, but you can't get it. Uh, dude. <laughs> oh, yeah, you know. No, Thor has it. Requesting sentry. Oh, let him. Let him. Got him. Uh, I think I hit a leg. Yeah. Maybe. 
Oh god. Oh shit, they're mines! Bye bye, run! They're doing their work. As as they should. The mines are scarier than the titans, man. Mines for democracy. I was eliminated by pirate software. Yeah, that happens a lot to me too. <laughs> That's when you know it's working. <laughs> Those kills are just racking up. I'm gonna be number one at any cost. Oh, I'm inside the I'm outside the combat zone. Oh god. Let's go, chat. Got your eyes. Let's see if you can drop. Ah. Yeah, I'll try my best. I dropped to uh, green. Yeah. A little bit to here. Oh my God, there's only charges and types at this point. I hit him. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, just uh, he's oh. not down yet, though. <gasps> Let's go. Oh, now he is. Beautiful. <laughs> ah! The mine! No! I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw you in on top of the Battle Titan. Yeah, that's what I did too. Okay, you should be able to curve that. Hmm. You probably walked away. Hmm. I don't think those were my mines. I think those were somebody else's mines. Yeah, oh. I, I died by pirate software. Just then. I don't even know why I did it. Why are they called mine? mine? <laughs> I didn't need those legs. They were holding me back. It's true. Okay. <clears throat> Let me try oh see God. if I can land this. Oh, we okay. neglected the, the, the terminal, by the way, to get out. Oh, uh, God. Yeah, got double it. whammy. We double dude. whammy. That's yeah. awesome. Uh, well, that can was fucking cool. cool. Oh, I came out with a broken leg, too. It was great. Yeah. Gotcha. Thank you. I'll try and land on the charger. Uh, can, can you protect me? Yeah. Yeah, uh, I'm trying to get a, uh, to get a charger. Let's see if I can. Oh, uh, I missed him. We got it. Reinforcements. Uh, uh, extraction on its way. Um, we got a lot of crushers, man. We sure do. Oh, the ship can't land. Got him. Nice, dude. Running, 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 running to the ship. Nice, that was a good one. That was a clean one. Yeah, it was really good. Woo! Good job. Go, go, go. Yeah. Oh, I forgot the salute. Yeah, always. Yeah. Always for democracy. Is this an ad or is he just playing for funsies? I'm not sponsored by them, dude. I'm playing I'm playing with Selbit, Iron Mouse, and Rubber Ross. We're spreading democracy, my dude. They invited me to come play. And today, I'm playing. Spreading that democracy. Look, we did it. Good job, everyone. Yeah. We really cleaned up those mines out there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. How'd you get around the kernel level anti cheat? I'm playing it on a different computer. Nice. I'm just piping the video over. Awesome. And I got us some symbols, too. Excellent. excellent. Dude, I got a lot of currency from that. Hey, eight medals. Hell yeah. Okay. Oh, oh I, five I samples, too. Yeah. I'll try the new gun. I'll, I'll, I'll get the eight, uh, 80 medals gun now. I just got, like, another okay, full so. level. I'm already level 11, dude. It's crazy. Yeah, I hope tonight I can maybe get to 20. Is That'd the second nice. computer running the game? Yes. Main computer is not running the game. I hope the, the game's worth it. Let's go, Miles. <laughs> yeah. Roll them up. It's all about the finger guns, man. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, kills. Hey, there we go. Accidentals for number one. <laughs> number one. Nice, dude. <laughs> four accidentals is crazy. Glad to have you on board. Okay, we got auto cannon, flamethrower. Is flamethrower already good? Can I get the sword? That's a cool Against cave. bugs, it is, it is okay. Uh, okay. But the, if you have something that sets them on fire already, it's not that good. I gained yeah, access yeah, to page yeah, four, that. so I'm just gonna hold out for the vitality enhancement. Oh yeah, more yeah, mods. yeah. Let me see what I have, because uh, I probably can get something really good now. Um, so I'm on page two of the battle pass. I can get. There's no more types probably of mines. Is... That's upsetting. 
I should probably save for the Breaker Incinerary. Isn't that like really good, Incinerary? I think it is. Yeah, I feel like that'd be really good. Yeah, I'll save oh, up for that. Don't worry, don't worry. Don't feel pressured. Oh, yeah, yeah no worries, no worries. Um, and then I'm just going to check the other one. I've got... Yeah, I'm just going to save for the, the new gun. I'm, I'm not going to spend anything. Uh, but I will buy the... Um, this, use the stratagems. Uh, I'll get the... Uh... You know, I'm going to just try the flamethrower because it looks fun. What the... Hmm. Sure. Okay, I've got time for uh, one more, and then uh, Connor can uh, come sub in for me if he's still around. Is the gas strike oh, yeah. any good? Uh, I haven't used it. People are saying no in my chat. One person said no, mm -hmm. one person mm -hmm. said yes. Not really. Gas is decent. Hmm. Oh, gas is bleh. I just feel like sending a gigantic fart from space seems like it should be really strong, you know? <laughs> You can see if it's right for you. True. Mm hmm. Like I say lines. laser every time. Yeah, no, I can agree with that. Laser's pretty mm. good, damn cool, to be yeah, honest. Laser's with you. really good because it takes care of everything. Yeah. Okay, uh, this is uh, sitting bug holes. We should come like down here. Yeah. And just come up, come up after it. Okay. That's good. Oh, hmm. Here we go. Hmm. Hmm. Good luck. Thank you very much for those 10 gifted subs. What a boss. Thank you. Seriously. Yeah, I gotta get the breaker shotgun still. It is, uh, the breaker is so fucking good, by the way. Yeah. It is really good. Yeah. Yeah, Don't especially the incendiary. Here, so yeah. Okay, well, that's what I'm saving up for right now. Yeah, lighting stuff on fire seems, like, good. <laughs> yeah. Everything it's incendiary awesome. seemed really oh, good I so far. To my weapon. Fuck. All right, we're on an S, by the way. Okay. Uh... Oh, it's a uh, stalker nest. Oh, where? Where Is am it? I? Here? These are stalker nests, I think. Down oh. here where I'm, I'm adding. There's got to be a mushroom okay, coming, nearby, coming. too. Coming down, no, don't kill me, bro. Don't kill me, bro! I'm dead. I got a grenade in there. What? Nice. I got, I got another grenade in there. I got three common samples. Soccer layer's uh, down. Can we get me, bro? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Here. Oh, thank you, Miles. Sorry, oh. zoned out there. Don't put a mice, Miles. What the? Oh, there you are. What the fuck? That was so scary. Got a sample. Are we done there? Yeah, the... For, for the... Stalker? Yes. I'm no. just, uh... It's alright. Okay. I dropped a couple of samples. Get out of here. Alright. Okay. Got killed by Parasol. <laughs> oh. I was trying to grab the samples and I got fucking... Uh, a charger set off all the mines. Nice. Yeah. Means it did its awesome. job. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, ah. Oh! I think I hit its leg. Dang it. Nope. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Somehow well. lived. That's good. Nice. I died again. I'm getting samples. Uh, yeah, I, oh, what? Oh, it oh, was the miners again. Fuck, I didn't see them. <laughs> Where are we headed? Is there any terminated holds of um, any kind? Can you get me, Mouse? 
Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Here. Oh my god. Oh, uh, nope. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, the right. Request approved. Deploying reinforcements. I'm running. Okay. I didn't get it later. Uh, I hit him, but I nice. think he's still. I got a bit on him. I'm trying to see if I can scan uh, out the next location. There's just so much dust. Oh my shit. Nice, we're sent. Of course. Fuck. Is that a thing? It's not a thing. Bug, northeast. There's a brood commander over here. Got it marked. Can it reinforce me, Russ? Yeah. Yep. Or Miles. Oh, Miles got me. Got Miles going. Thank you. I can bring you out here to another location. All right, cause I got holes. Get my shit. There's holes out here. Okay. I did my shield and my rail gun. Oh. Oh, okay. penis rock. Oh, penis rock is good. Yeah. Uh, okay, Thor, t tutorial. Every time you see like a giant penis rock, it has like the rarest samples. Uh, always go to it. Around it, there's like the best, the best samples you can get. All right. It's cool. it's super simple. <laughs> if it looks like a dick, run towards it. I understand. Yeah. Yes. Good. Exactly. This all makes sense. So many samples spread around the mines, and like, they're like baits. Yeah, I, I, I was trying to grab those. Damn it. The only good bug is the dead bug. Ah. Oh. I got two in the hole. Nice, nice, nice. Got it. I got it. No, go, 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 go. I was killed Holy by the bug shit. hole as it exploded. I grabbed your samples. Nice. What? There was no mines there, bro. This has got to be. I, I think the mines are bug because I literally there is nothing there and I just exploded. Yeah, I've had that happen too. I okay, got the uh, got a sample. We call that one the special delivery. Don't worry about it. Secret oh, okay. mines, dude. Did it? Oh, rushed it. Oh, this is not looking good. I love that they gamified death. Like, death in this is a, an advantage. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Um, okay, I see the spore. I'm going to it. You doing this war? Yeah. You got something to throw on it? Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. Got the dust plus the spore is just impossible. Yeah, get it. Can't see shit. Can't see shit. No, sir. I'm blind. Nice. Five Good job. Able to see anything. All right. I found one of those rocks. I just got a Do super sample. Yep. Yeah. The, the got a super sample. 
I'm trying to run away with it. Where the fuck are the rest of these damn holes? I found him. Huh? Over here. Over here. Is it a lot? Yeah. Uh, there's... Uh, it's a big nest, yes. Wait. Okay. I'm going to you? On my way? I'm just applying oh. here, Mouse. Nice. Nice. Okay. I'm away to you guys. We got a lot of bugs on me. There's probably another spore somewhere, by the way. Keep an eye out. There is. The there definitely is. Yeah, I can't see shit. I'm looking for it now. Alright. Oh, I can't believe this <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I feel like you're gonna have like gotcha, gotcha. 11 accidental. Damn it, dude. There's gotta have a spore near here somewhere. Bio Titan. Oh, yeah? Yep. Uh, I don't see him. I marked it. Oh, he's by you. Okay, you're a little far away from me. Where is the other hole? Yeah, I'm searching for the mushroom. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh yeah, I see him, I see him. I can't see anything. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's on this side. It's probably up north. You got a lot of chargers on you right now. Yep. You can see them in the distance. We should honestly go north. We're gonna run out of time. Yep, okay, uh, go north. Yeah, running out of time is not that big of a problem if we manage to do the holes first. Triple see shit. Jesus. Oh, I found a bunch of shit over here. Yeah, I'm trying to that's get apples. There to get my stuff. Yeah, that's yeah, what yeah, I'm yeah. trying to get. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. Oh, here. Did you get my shield? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want it? Do you want it? Yeah, we need. Oh, my God. I always forget the button. It's, uh. No, it's okay. You can, you can get back. I can spawn another one. Don't worry. Don't worry. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah. My yeah, yeah, God. yeah, yeah. Go, 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 go. I pinned under his leg. Oh. Go, go, go. I'm pointing a railgun to uh, Ross if you need it. Yeah, land yeah. on that, land on that crusher. Ooh! You didn't get him. Damn. Come on, shield. Come on, bro. No! God, hold on. Got it. Wait. <sighs> what? There's something up ahead. Can you spawn me, Ross? I need to. Uh, I need to spawn dude, me. Um, unfortunately, I found a landmine. How did you oh, find a mine in this insane. vast yes, landscape? It just. It just it, I have actually, no. Actually, I went to a landmine too, but I couldn't see it. I think there. Yeah. Some of them are bugged. Because it's yeah, not. Yeah, because I. Even off. funnier now. There was no landmine where I landed. It was just like. And it was super died. far away from the mines too. Yeah, yeah. Me too. Me too. Yeah, I was gonna say because like the, I'm not even out here. I think it's the bugs activating, like, a stray landmine, and then me taking the the splash damage, basically. That's my guess, at least. Okay. Oh, yeah, I found another one. Ow! Where are you that you're seeing these? I have no idea. I went back for my stuff and then found another invisible landmine, I guess. I think they're get they may be clipping through the ground or something. Yeah, that's what I made it to extraction, but... I can't okay, find the okay. other bug closing. No, we we need yeah, we need the uh, the holes. I got you guys. Mm. Oh, okay. What the? Just stay, uh, no. Can you get me in 15 okay. seconds? Otherwise, I won't be able to come. Yep. Thank you. Got gotcha. you. Now. <gasps> oh, there's a landmine. What the? Step on it. Don't step on them. Okay. Don't die anymore, guys. <laughs> Don't step on the mines. Oh, I found a metal. Ooh. That's a nice find. Too close, two more holes. 
Or I think and this is samples. Mines are doing work. I think I found my stuff. There's no landmines. What? Yeah, I'm looking so fucking. Dude, there's literally no landmine. How? Did you die? Oh, no, I'm fine, but I, I'm burning. Oh my god, dude. Those things are nasty. Yeah, we need to find some more holes. Just two little more. Yep, minutes. yep, yep. Yeah, I'm looking. I'm looking. Okay. They'll have the gas coming up out of them. Where's I'm mostly just running more? away from a charger right Wait, now. Wait, I think I... No, that's a breach. God damn it. Damn. Uh-oh. Uh, looking, looking, looking. I found it. You found it? Nice. nice. On our way. Okay, wait. Grenade it. Pretty far. There's yeah, only two left. Two. I'm coming, I'm coming. Okay, okay, I did it. Uh, there's only Beautiful, one we left. love that. Where's the other one? Uh, there, there's only one here. Shit. Okay, okay, okay. Holy. ETA, T minus two minutes, 30 seconds. I found it, I found what it. Nice, nice, nice. I got it, I got it, I got it. GG. Okay. Nice, nice. Heading back to the shuttle then. You guys got it? Let's fucking go. Yeah, go, yeah, go yeah, yeah I'm go behind you. Nice. Extraction! Another one over there. I may have shot a bomb. Reloading! I think we... ETA T minus two minutes. Got a sample! I'm getting some samples. Nice, nice. that's super important. Running back. I found some extra like bug holes and I want to take them out. We don't have resupply, so it's better to save our grenades actually. Found yeah, some rare yeah. samples? I mean, depends on how, how many grenades you have. Uh, I have the armor that gives me more. Oh, so. okay, okay, so go for yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, I had extra. We got three chargers coming from the front door. Do south. Uh, I've got a Bile Titan right behind me, guys. This way. Behind me. I see. Here, it. guys. It's horrifying. Yeah. It's not good. Not good. He's cute. He's Whoa. handsome. He's pretty handsome. I mean, look at it. I'll try and keep him stunned uh, with my railgun. Every time he's, yeah, yeah, he yeah. starts oh, spitting. Oh, I think I have a railgun I can assist you with. Hold on. Mm. Okay. Every time he starts spitting, uh, Ross, uh, shoot his mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stunned. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh, my God. Always live, never die. No, I'm dead. Fuck. Oh, I'm dead too. Oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> Tor, just hold on for like 30 seconds. Uh, Don't look behind you. No. Damn it. It beat. Oh, it's okay. You know what? It's okay. <laughs> we did it. We did it. We did it. We'll it was the, the Bio Titan did us in. Mm -hmm. We got some good optionals in there. There was another spore, but we couldn't find the damn thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Maps with like limited visibility are so rough, dude. Yeah, absolutely, dude. But look at all that worthwhile sacrifice. Yeah. Oh. Gotta get the auto cannon. Yeah, I do. Yeah, four four dead. Mission accomplished. We did it. Mission accomplished, and quickly, too. I Ten have to get accidentals, going, guys. new record. New record. Okay. Um, <laughs> Yo, see, ten, maybe message Connor. Ten accidentals. <laughs> yeah, he's on his way. Yeah, he's on his way. And <laughs> ten <laughs> accidentals. Oh, ten my ten God. Ten accidentals is fucking insane. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Those landmines are nutty. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later. Okay, All right, thanks, guys. You heading out? Yeah, I gotta okay, go, guys. Okay, yeah, go for it. Yeah, go for yeah, it. yeah. Alright, take care, guys. Play, right? Bye. All right, Ross. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's coming, he's coming. Bye. Who's coming on? Ally Destroyer. Connor's gonna come on. Nice. Calling. He's like Connor's Boy, little brother. 
Oh yeah, Colin. I forgot. It's not Connor today. Yeah. Colin. He shaved his beard and now he's Colin. Oh, uh, it all makes sense. I saw that. Yeah, you said it'll be in five minutes. Nice. Take that time to yeah. do some stuff. Yeah, do some stuff. Relax. Buy stuff. Yeah, Connor shaved his beard, dude. He shaved his beard. Baby face Connor is a thing now. It's true. HMG emplacement is pretty sick, but there's no way you can sit still on a Helldiver mission. There's no way. The landmines are just so devastatingly strong, I'm man. Rich in the game. You don't understand the hype for this game, man? You know what it is? It's just fun to play. Beyond anything else, they have made every aspect of the game entertaining and enjoyable when you're playing it. As an example, when you die in most games, you're upset. In this one, it means you get to turn into a bullet from the sky and land on something and kill it, right? If your team wipes, as long as you got the main objective done, you win. They've done everything that they can to make it feel good, even in the face of failure. And they've put a whole veneer of, it's democ managed democracy. So they put that like real fun kind of a layer on it as well that just makes it over the top and ridiculous. It's really well done, man. Like, the design is very good. This is where it talks about the games here. Right. If you're talking about the Annie cheat, yeah, I'm running it on a secondary computer and piping the video over to this one. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> Playing Helldivers with Iron Mouse, Silbit, and Sea Dog. But in a minute here, it was, it was Rubber Ross before, and, and uh, Connor's taking his place. Democracy. I was out of get through some of these. Hi. We're here. Is that even going to work? You guys need some democracy. You're damn right, we need democracy. Get on in here, soldier. We need it. We need it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good, good. Nice to, nice to, wait, that's the first time we've spoken? That's true. Uh, well, I think so, right? Yeah, I like no, I, I mean, at, at the Stream Awards, I think that was it. It was only briefly. Oh, God, yeah. I, mean, I, I think it was like a hey. You did, sorry. <laughs> 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 All right, I'm booting it up. You ready for democracy? Bye. I am ready for democracy. Do you uh, think that I shaving think you your beard your eyes open. has made your voice yeah. less manly as well? Do you think that's happened? Shaving your beard has done that? <laughs> I think there's um, there's definitely a chance of that. Oh, well, that's not good. That's terrifying. Uh, what are, yeah, the spirit for democracy remains strong, though. I wonder what I would sound like if I could wear, like, actually grow a beard. I can't, by the way. Have you tried? It's horrifying, yeah. I grow these two, like, islands on my cheeks, like Pikachu. And then I get a racing stripe from the bottom part of my chin to the bottom of my neck. And then there's nothing right above that. And then I get a triangle on my bottom lip. And I get this really thin, like, just just absurd mustache that a 16-year-old would make fun of me for. And that's pretty much how it goes. That's the whole face. That's it. It's kind of like Jigsaw oh meets the, uh, what are, what are those chips? It's like Jigsaw. Yeah, it's like Jigsaw, but facial hair. That's probably the closest I could do. It's great. I think, wow. uh... You know, there's nothing more democratic than using drugs to fix your problem. I think we can get some, some alk meat, some what some the? hard drugs to make sure that you can grow a full beard. What, what the heck? What are the hard drugs that give beard as a side effect? What? <laughs> we have uh, we have four doses of freedom and oh. at least some tea. What what is what? Are, what what do people do on this manly? <laughs> I'm learning a lot right now. I don't now. know what I'm saying. <laughs> I I have I I take medicine not medicine I I take uh, drugs for the finasteride for my hair to stop it from leaving my body uh, and I didn't notice any difference in my facial hair only my my head hair so my dad isn't bald and my grandpa isn't bald so I don't think I'm gonna go bald but I have started to get gray hairs but I'm I'm happy about this because it's all happening from one spot there's a cool it's all coming from one spot. I'm hoping that I get to turn into a wizard, right? Like, that's that's kind of the end game for me. Oh, yeah, like that magic wizard streak. 
Yeah, you get the the wizard gray hair, and I'm excited for it. I th I think gray hair looks great, especially if you have like full hair. Mm. I'm just trying to get that. What? Colin, bro, are you? Did you actually order the the thing you said you were gonna order? Yeah, I just destroyed a car again. Fucking, you're fucking insane. Why I went you, like two yackles. You don't understand, Selbit. This man is a masochist. He destroys his stomach on a daily basis. He's fucking crazy. I'm just I'm just really addicted to like Indian food. I and then the he'll and then he'll message me like, oh my god, my stomach hurts so bad. And I'm like, every day my food. stomach's hurt, but every day I order it again because I'm just I can't help myself. He's well, nuts. if you're still alive. I'm still here and I'm fighting yeah. for democracy, most importantly. Yeah, if he's still alive. What doesn't kill you? Etc. Exactly. I've I've been watching the stream and thought you're a bit of a menace with those mines, oh. huh? bro. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I feel like I'm distributing democracy. You had even accidentals, ten fucking accidentals. I'm just distributing it evenly in a general area. You know, in a general area, there's there's democracy happening. You know, just don't stand there. I was just gonna tell you, Carl, you better watch out, man. You're gonna die. I also get the most kills with it, so, you know, it's sometimes true. they're my teammates, sometimes they're not. Indiscriminate democracy is what's happening. <laughs> Wait, what do you think? What do you think? We drop here on the right one, then we go uh, counterclockwise, do the optional, and do the other eggs. Sure. If we can do the I'm optional, yeah. Right. I'm done with that. Yeah, I'm done with that. Okay, drop, try, try and dropping uh, on top of the egg store, because then they will kill immediately. I do like dropping on top of eggs. This will be fun. So you have two different kinds of mines. If the game let me have more, I would have more, but I can't. Oh, God. <laughs> it's upsetting, yeah, I know. I can you, can you really swarm me when you're dropping them so I know? Sure. Yeah, yeah. You the can't problem, miss them. Yeah. They glow red. The problem, is okay. not, the, the problem is not when they drop. It's after, because they stop glowing. And they just oh, die yeah. out of If I complain too much about the mines, they're gonna use my data from my PC to also, tell me it. off. I don't I know why your message didn't access. go out. I, I, I put in my credit card info. But Toys for Bob is fuck? going independent? Oh that sounds God, awesome. Oh, I'm, oh, okay. This, this is, is already doing good. Yeah, I, I have to jump oh, the God, yeah, sorry, 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 sorry. I have yeah, to Yeah, this is good. Out. Wasn't a mine, though, so... True. <laughs> At least. Uh, I'm bringing you there, I'm bringing you there. Good stuff. No, oh, that's not what I wanted. Oh, right, destroyed uh, well, a nest. Landed on him. Nice. Uh, all right, one more. Okay, done. Nice. I'm going to the west one. Where are we going? West? North. North. North or west? Yeah. Northwest. All right, where are these spores at, huh? I'm, I, I hate the bloody spores. I'm looking for the spores myself. Same. Because I'm scout. If I see a spore, I'm gonna pop it. But you guys won't have to. Yeah, you can get, you can shoot from really far away. Uh, you don't have to shoot them. Guns you take it down eventually. I can drop a mine pod on it, and as the pod falls, it kills it instantly. Oh, nice. Yep. And since they oh, have such low cooldown, it's really useful for it. Ow. Running. Let's get those mines out All here. Right. Oh god, I'm charging already. Oh, we uh, we missed a radar station. Oh, did we? Oh. You wanna go over there? Uh, yeah, keep keep going, keep going uh, north mass. I'm gonna do the radar station. Okay. So that we can see where all the uh, hidden stuff is, so we can get all the valuables. Nice, nice. I want to get all the collectibles. And also get rid of the four. Yes, that would also be good too. Hmm. Oh, you I'm walked across uh, something, Mouse. Mouse, you walked across something. What? What are they? Look, there's a diamond. Hold on. I'll look. Oh my god. I am not okay, seeing this spore thing anywhere, guys. Oh. Visibility is shit. Yep. Oh my god, please don't kill me, bro! I don't wanna die! <laughs> is it this? 
I'm, I'm okay, I'm okay. Tagging map. No. No, oh. no, no, no. Fucking charges body just ragdolled all over me. Bro, there's so many stalkers here, I'm so fucked. Okay, there's a uh, where I am right now, there's a hundred percent of stalker there somewhere. Uh well hopefully I can help you out here and figure out where it is. What is it? Found something. Uh what are you up to, Thor? I am going towards the next eggs, but I'm picking up a right, bunch nice, of nice. stuff along the way. Nothing. Got a sample! Since I'm going scat, I'm trying to get as many of the samples for us as possible. Oh yeah. Yeah, I found it, but they got me. Holy! Did it, did it! Recharge, please. I'm nearly done with the radar station. Nice. I'm on my way to you, Selvich. So we'll be able to see all the beautiful things in just a moment. Oh god, okay. Wow, where did wow, these guys come all from? The sights. Oh, that's a lot of that's a lot of them. Hmm. Interesting. We definitely have a spore nearby. I just don't know where it is. The The stalker mean? No, I'm immoral and I kill myself. Okay. Oh no. Uh, oh, did you call me in? Sure. Uh, cause I, I want to respawn next to you. Okay, got it. Fuckers. Yes! Nice. I, I, hate this, oh. Bro, I hate this stalker so much. And you thought? Yep, yep. Jesus Christ. Uh, I definitely didn't kill myself in my own napalm. That definitely wasn't the thing that happened. Yeah, there's a spore somewhere down the map. Over by that eggs. We were just at. Damn it. I just don't know where it is. Um, yeah, I, I messed up. I was about to do the radar station, which will uh, show us where everything is. Oh, so we'll be yeah. able to find this all right away. How'd you like to chase all freedom? Uh, if you guys want to tell what I you're doing with the optional, colors. explore the rest of that area, because I'm pretty yeah. sure they're going to be off to the northwest. I don't know what, though, but there will be something, I imagine. Bug tunnel breach. Where, where are you going, Mouse? That's my plan. I'm going to the eggs, bro. All right, fair enough. Bug Found a bug hive here. Mark. That is a big hive. Holy. Got one up. Two up. You got ten to go. <laughs> Three up. Oh, I'm dead. I'm so... I'm so screwed. I'm dead. I got three of them. Three of the holes up. Hell bombs. There they go. Uh, who do you want to respawn then? Uh, I don't know where you guys are. You I'm want on me the to get you? North, southeast. Mouse is kind of in the middle. So maybe mouse. I'm super north, yeah. Yeah, I sh you guys can just pop me anywhere. I popped you. I yeah. Really <laughs> Come on over. Democracy has landed. Any spores on site? Attacking map. Southeast. Democracy. Egg time. Oh, there's a nest here. I'll try and clear it. I yeah, I got three of the... Three of the holes on one of the nests I was on. Couldn't get I the other ones. It was just too damn many of the things. It's time to kill. Oh, the radar station is so annoying to do alone. Yeah, because that's all have that to uh, speed the thing, right? <laughs> yeah. uh, I think I got it there. I think I got it just now. I just have to keep going back and forth. Calling yeah, down I got fortification. it. <laughs> I need a all right, there we go. Oh, yeah, the spore's next to you. Tell it. Oh, and there's one really far out. Look at that. Yeah, I, I got mines down. inside of the next egg base. Okay.
Thank you very Good much for those five gifted subs. I I'm, I might go around and pick up all these optional stuff because I think there's a ton of samples that we've missed out on. Yeah, we did miss a lot of samples. Oh my gosh, so many other samples. Almost got all these eggs. Why is that one not dying? Zeg refuses to die. Oh! You killed me! <laughs> Wait, who killed you? Thor <laughs> killed me. Oh, okay, yeah. I wonder how. I got the eggs. I got the eggs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mine menace. Uh, you. You res me, please. Northwest. Do you want me to res or... Oh, Who no, do you, you want? Your stuff in the thaw, right? Oh, yeah. Go oh, to... Yeah, this wrong. yeah C C1. Whoever is C1. Ooh. Sea Dog with the super samples. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Maybe one day we will extract Wait, with them. Why? I picked up all of them. Why does he say I picked oh, up I see some the of fucking them? sport is so far away. What the fuck? Mm. Yeah, it's right in the corner. Uh... Res, please. Uh, okay. Thank you, thank you. Requesting fortifications. You can help me get rid of all no, this. No, 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 no. What's going on here? Oh, mass, one, 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 one more here, one more. I, okay. This thing just came right out of it as I was blocking it. I don't know why, but I still can't see the spore and I'm like so close to it. Oh, finally. Nice. Reloading. Yeah, I can't see the spore either. I know it's down there. Can you shoot me? Got one. If I'm shooting you, it's not on purpose. Nice. Good job on the spore. I'm heading to the eggs. Alright. This, this might be my aim. I'm dead. Requesting sentry. Really? All reinforce. I have, I have reinforce. Said seven samples on me, but I'm so far away, it's not worth it. Uh, I mean, I'm not too far from you. Uh, you want to spawn me? Oh, uh, it's okay. I'll, I'll go pick it up. I'm I'll go pick up your shit. Okay. Go to the go to the top north west and go around and down to pick up all that stuff. I'm running out of ammo. I'm, I'm going to all like the optional stuff, get as many like samples as possible. Okay. I'm waiting on this resupply. It's coming down on me. Yeah, I, ju I just spawned. Uh, I'll yeah, I'll uh -oh. go north northwest. Thor, you want to yeah, get get that port? The uh, southwest. Southwest. Yeah. On it. Southwest. Y'all head down there. Oh, mouse, come to me. Mouse, come to me. I got, yeah. I got stuff to break it down to. Requesting tech pack. I got a long distance to run. Ugh. Oh my god, this terrain right. sucks. What are we doing? Uh, there's a door here. Uh, the charge okay. is nearly dead. On my way. Oh, you brought a lot of them. Yeah! Okay, well, my nuke's dropping. Watch watch out. Getting close on the mushroom. There's a damn thing. Did I die? Found it. No. I'm at I the died. mushroom. I'm at the mushroom. Nice. I yeah, get in the thing and call me down. Calling down fortifications. Calling in Son of a bitch. Calling down a sentry. I'd get out of there, Roger. Nah. Some rare samples. Let's go. Requesting. <laughs> Come on, one of these has to land. Got it. Nice. Um, okay. 
I'm running away. I'm very brave, by the way. There's skins all over the floor. Grab Bravely them. running away. Where? Where the hell? Well, what's up? Oh, there he is. We got this. You guys got those eggs? Uh... No, you got it. You got him. I think you have to get him. Let's walk out of here. We're picking up the samples. Run! Same. Got a sample! Oh, what's over here? Sleep? I'm trying, I want to see what this is. Watch out, watch out, watch out! Oh, God. Hmm? Big guy. Silva, do you see one or see three? I'm C one. All right. Requesting sentry. Oh my god. All good. We got this. Holy shit. Where's extraction on this map? Dropping a pin. South. It's all uh, the way down there. Yeah, it's super south. Okay. You're going to be able to get all those eggs, right? Yeah, when I come down, I'll get him. Perfect. Let's see if there's any other objectives we can do along the map. Uh, what, what did you just call it now? Oh. Laser. Yeah. Oh my god, I got insta-killed mouse. Uh, call me down, mouse. On him. Oh, did you you picked up the super samples right, mouse, for me? They are using the same anti-cheat? Uh, I'm just fine, running fine, this fine. on a secondary computer. No, 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 no. Hmm. Fuck. What? Oh my god, I got killed by you. What is happening? Hmm. Hmm. Call me down, Mouse. Hmm. Alright. Mouse? I just had a yes, little bit of self democracy there, don't worry about it. Oh, who's that? Who's here now? Oh. Yeah, what's up? Uh, your samples are still on you, mouse. Hello? Okay. Oh god, it doesn't even have a head uh, anymore. It's die. Oh, yeah, I can see now everything. This is great. Uh, Do you not okay. have those eggs? Oh. I'm going to come help. Uh, me? No, no, no. Zelda. Oh, I'm, I'm coming to him. Yeah. You just having a little bug problem here? Oh, we can finally see. Wait, is there another mushroom on this map? No. I see no, green gas. Here. Okay, we're good. Start heading to extraction since you guys got the eggs. I'll start reinforcing it now. Oh my god, how many fucking charges so are to kill? Sam. Ooh. <laughs> what? That was fuck. Okay. What I, the? Something happened that I never seen. They're before. not real. My my stratagem got stuck on me, and then it fell <laughs> down on me. I started running away, <laughs> like, huh? and the laser, the blue laser, was stuck on me, so I, I was gonna die eventually. Have been that was. Fucked up. I never saw it before. Did you get wrecked? Well, let's go pick wrecked. up these samples. You know, Helldivers is fun yeah. as hell, man. I really enjoy this. I just saw some super samples that I couldn't interact with. Are they just like ghosts? Oh, yeah. I picked them up, which is weird, because apparently you do still pick them up, but it only says four, but I definitely picked up all six of them. Weird. The super samples only drop in like batches of six. Yeah, that's really weird. Which is why I was, like, very confused. Yeah, there's, like, two there that can't be interacted with. Super strange. 
Oh, they get stuck to the shield? Oh, what the heck? There's, there's really? apples in front of you, Mouse, by the way. You, go, you see them? I'm gonna pick them up. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, we know where the super simple is spawning. It's uh, it's just weird yeah, because two of them couldn't be interacted with. It's just a bug. Yeah, that's the, the, the thing that killed me. It got, it got stuck on my body, and then when, when you drop it, and yeah, I don't oh have to worry God. about kernel level anti cheat, not at all, because I'm running it on a secondary computer. Not my problem. <laughs> Dude, how? Uh, yeah, you left some mines behind. You guys are like heat seeking for those mines. I, I'd say skill issue. <laughs> oh, Wait, it's off all now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my uh, god, I can't believe it. In all this the vast expense. The Geneva Convention is in place for a reason, Thor. Uh, I mean, it's not its not going on here, you know. We just, you know, it's just <laughs> a not, Geneva suggestion right now, all right? Geneva, <laughs> nor do we have a convention. Oh, I wouldn't wait too far south. Okay, hey, we got, got a eggs. we got a bio out wow, here. What? Okay, I died to the mines. There was no mines there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so scared to go in there. Reinforcing! Watch out, mouse! Watch out, mouse! How are you guys even getting mines over there? There's no mines there. I didn't what? even go over there. I am. There's just mines here. I, I, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I dodged every single mine. Do you guys actually. <laughs> Wait, where are you that this is happening? On the edge. The ones that you left a little bit? It's so weird. Uh, somebody dropped some sa How many samples did you drop over there, Salvador, by the way? Seven, but I got them back. Uh, uh someone on, dropped on a north, bunch over there. On north, uh, north, northeast was seven, too. Okay, I'll, I'll go and grab those ones. You go south and grab the other ones. Okay, I got it. Hey, do you guys want me to start oh. extraction or no? Uh, yeah, I think we should be good. Yeah. So okay, I'm start it. also going to put mines out. So, don't step on those. <laughs> Maybe not on the extraction point, but like they're not on the in, extraction in the point. Entrances. They're nearby. Rare sample collected. All right, all right, all right. Just mark a, mark on the map with like uh, three them. Okay. There are going to be mines there. <laughs> Do not mines. I'm starting extraction okay, okay, okay. now. What are those resources that are south? Those have been there for ages. I wonder what those are. Oh, oh we got four minutes. Do you see them? Yeah. Alright, I'm on my way. What are, what are those ones? Because those ones, we, we no one's been there. And that's definitely not a drop, because those were there when I did the, the scan. I've got supplies so, out, I've got curious. everything set up for us once you guys get here. Hey, nice. And also, mine? there's a lot of mines. <laughs> I, yeah, please do not go in the mines. Oh, the mines have exploded. All right. I just saw that. What the hell happened? I don't know. Something touched them. They didn't like it. They're very sensitive. Very sensitive yeah. mines. Okay. Also, the ground oh, is on fire now. <laughs> okay, exactly where I would have walked in. All right, okay. Yep. Uh, I, this is around. why I've marked it multiple times. Please do oh. not step on the mines. Oh my god. The mines are feeling very sensitive today. They don't want hugs. Yeah, they're right, okay. very sensitive. I'm out of the rain with oh, okay. the mines. Okay, the, where's the samples? There's also an, a nest. It's a big ass nest. I don't know if I'm. <laughs> Do you want to clear it? Uh, I mean, I'll come over. Let's see what okay, we can do. Yeah. I mean, we got time, so. Yeah, we got four minutes. Yeah. There's six yeah. left. Well, we got way. two minutes and 40 seconds. We're getting there. I wonder if the samples are, because they're marked on the map. So there must be a significant yeah. amount. Yeah, but I, I can I can get up to get to them, because it's kind of messy right now. Got him. <laughs> Ow! Ow, why would you do this to me? I have one grenade, so let's see what I can get done here. Uh, you want a resupply, maybe? Uh... I did have a resupply left. at the base. Oh. Please, please don't let me in fire, please don't let me in fire! Oh god, I lived. Um, I'm probably gonna die because I have Wait, I have a grenade, I have a grenade! Steam fuck! You got it, you got it. All you fall. You got it? Yeah. Okay, we need, uh, we need to get close. Okay, Three I, got more, samples, I, I got the samples, I got the I don't even know where they are. Please don't let me in fire. Uh, oh god, gonna, you guys' I'm bullets sure are all around me. Stand You're... away from that giant red beam. It will kill you. Okay, oh. I'm, I'm getting out of the corner because I have no grenades anymore. 
I think I survived high. somehow. You did. How did you survive that? So that what I did was nice. I stimmed as it landed. Oh! oh okay. New tech. That. I pinged it. You see it? Hey, there we go. I got the other Let's two. Here. Yeah, I got nice. the other two. Nice. Nice. Let's go, 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 go. Yeah, so if you stim as it lands, I guess you live. Yeah, when you're stimming, you're, 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 uh, yeah, you're immortal. Yeah, you're invulnerable. Nice. I, I framed it. Amazing. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hey, I'm gonna drop mines behind us, so don't be behind us. Uh, okay. Okay, okay. What is behind us? What the fuck? Don't, don't worry about it. If you see beams, stay away from them. What the? How did I get killed by Thor? Uh, mouse is the super supplies, if I'm not mistaken. So I, we definitely wanna. Oh, mouse out of friend. Can you bring back, please? Thanks. Uh, Bow Titan dead. Uh, I've got him in a lovely freeze frame. Yeah, I think I'm bringing another one though. Mines. Who could have dropped all these mines? Yeah, I wonder who it was. <laughs> Why would you light me on fire? You're supposed to be my friend. Oh god. I love being out of ammo. So fun. Let's go, that supplies. Supplies are uh, on me. On you? Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Alright, well, the ship's here. Yeah, fuck it. Let's go to the ship. Everyone got supplies? Everyone got uh, the. the... Like the mold? Okay, get in. Just get in. Trying to get in. I'm trying to get in. La la la. La la la. Fuck you. We got it. We got it. Oh, we got I did not right say just screw it. I'm playing the game on a separate computer. And that computer off the is the one that. running the kernel of the cheat. And my primary yeah, computer really doesn't good. have it on it. Truly pillaged them. This is video piping over from the other machine. Like, I don't have to give oh, a shit. Everything. No any cheat for me. Uh, we, I think we did. Modern problems require modern oh, solutions, Chad. Oh, There's gonna be a lot of XP anyways. Not pre-recorded. You're pre-recorded. That's right. Like 2,500, right? Yeah. IP band? Oh, no. My math is what? terrible. <laughs> I'm just running the game on a different computer. That way I don't have to deal with oh, kernel level energy. I thought it was five times, Super annoying. but it's... Nice. Uh, is there no lag? No. 3.5 times, right? So I guess... Yeah. All right. This one is Modern high, solutions. Right? 20 common samples? Mines. That's fucked! Yeah. We got everything almost. That is a lot, dude. Oh my god. We had a little uh, bit of squad impact. Do you see that? Uh, I gotta go. I gotta go. Oh, all right. But we'll, we'll play next time. We'll play next time. It yeah. was fun. It was fun. Just it's good playing with you, Selbit. I know, bro. But it's like nine thirty in the morning. Oh my God! <laughs> wait, wait. Did you say? Did you say nine thirty? Nine thirty? Is it time wait, for sorry. mines? Nine <laughs> thirty? Uh, yeah, but uh, uh, I'll, I'll see you guys next time. We will surely play more. Yeah, this is a lot of fun. I'll see you around, dude. Wow. Have fun. Try not to die in the mines. Bye. Look, Bye I had the most accidentals and the most kills again. Look at that. 229 kills. Thank you. And I traveled the most distance. Sprinter. Ooh, I got extreme difficulty unlocked now. How did you travel more than me? I was literally just, I was marathoning that entire damn I, thing. Are you wearing a scout armor? Uh, I'm wearing one that allows me to... It's light armor, so I should have... I'm yeah, doing the I same. So. Yeah, I think it was just running the whole time. My strategy yeah, I, is run around in a circle it, while dropping things. You, I think yeah. just not getting hit is the best thing to do. <laughs> I agree. Welcome aboard, yeah, I super agree. I look forward to serving uh, do you want me to invite you guys to my lobby or...? Yeah, yeah I'm done. Let me do my acquisitions real fast, because I've got 41 oh, no. medals now. Which is... <laughs> okay, vitality enhancement. Done. What does this do? Oh, it's a med kit. Hmm. Oh, there's the breaker. Yeah, I need 80 common and 80 rare. 
And then I can call in two nukes at once. Ho, 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 ho. Yeah, if you upgrade upgrade the hangar to the max one, you can call in an extra strike. That means you can call an extra 500 kilogram bomb. I have the breaker now. The breaker is by far the best gun in the game. I'm down. I thought about the, wasn't there an incendiary breaker though? Like something better? Yeah. Uh, there is, but I've I've picked up theirs, and I, I have to say I think the normal breaker still still uh, outshines it. Really? Doesn't like the incendiary breaker. No, no, I like the incendiary, but I actually think that like when you use the breaker, you not only do you stagger the enemies when it hits them, because for some reason it's a shotgun, but it shoots like an assault rifle, uh, and the range is really good. Uh, so it, it there's not really anything it does bad. Which I think is the best thing about it. I now have uh, vitality enhancement. Finally, Ooh, nice. Allied destroyer that helps. That definitely helps. Um, let me. Everyone's saying use the fine. breaker. Yeah, probably gonna use it then. We got this. You'll, you'll see what I mean. The moment the moment you start using it, you'll be like, ah, this makes a lot of sense. <laughs> makes sense. Oh, people are saying incendiary has more ammo, and the fire damage. Yeah. I'm wondering how good the fire damage even is, though. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think most of the time, if you're shooting something, you're, you're generally not shooting just to like put damage out. You're putting, you're trying to get something off of you. True. I think the breaker. You want the stopping power. DPS. Yeah. Yeah. Stopping and, power. And it also right pushes them back. I've been wondering the whole time we've been playing this, like how how long was I in cryo freeze between these? Look, <laughs> how how many eons old am I? Thirty minutes. Thirty minutes. You guys want to do bugs or robots? Uh, I feel like robots. What are you feeling? Because we did, oh, we did so many bugs. Robots. Feeling little robots. Also, thank you for the well, $50 we get back dollars to the, the mods, dude. That is incredibly nice of you. Incoming message from Super Earth. What the thank fuck? Thank you. What is this? Wait, what is... What's up? Huh? Super Earth is contacting us? What's it saying? Oh. Contain the... Oh. Term Wait, if we... I think if we contribute to this, we can get a reward. Is we that need right? to. Am yeah, I we need to. We have to contribute to that planet. That's the, the currently order. active one. Contain the Termit outbreak before the bugs are able to spread further. Yeah, we have to. We have to break down that. And we get forty-five ribbons if we do it. Yeah, let's do it. The uh, whole entire community is trying to break that planet okay. right now. Should we do that? Then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The That's whole community is trying to break that planet right now. So if we can actually do it, then the major order is successful, and the game masters give us lots so. of I think rewards. We to it. Yeah, we, we have to. We, Okay. This Let's is actually that that where I was playing with everybody else before off stream. Is oh, really? this planet? Yeah. Veld, I think okay. it's called. Uh, well, if you guys are down. Yeah, I'm super down. Okay. All right, let's do it. Unless I do it. The Veld system. Um. All right. TTS is not connecting. Why? Yeah, we we are focusing on a lot because we've. Uh, just wanted to say Leveled thank you for putting the, so much effort into block game the anytime. Level for thank you very, very much, Killer Squid. Thank you. It's kind of not really, really beneficial to like block get XP block. or money for us anymore, so we've been focusing on getting samples. And I kind of wish that we focused on getting samples more earlier. Yeah, samples are a big deal. Um, let's start at the tactical, the objective, yeah. and then just go around the circle. To the top. This one's we'll pretty go easy too. Up into we the can, left. Uh, this one's generally not bad, too. I got us the heart. <laughs> All those mines. Don't worry about it. As long as you don't no, step I'm on them, then they're not it. a danger, you know? Alright. Did you ever play Risk of Rain? I love Risk of Rain. I, love I was going to say, you should, I think you, you played the engineer, right? And that's Risk of Rain 2, right? Yes, absolutely. I love the engineer in Risk of Rain 2. And Risk of Rain 1, I played Acrid a lot. Like, Acrid was my oh, jam. 100% okay. my jam. Me and Mouse played a lot of Risk of Rain 2. Yeah. yeah, I love it. Have you played Risk of Rain Returns or whatever it's called? We, we did try it out, but I think I, the I think I to get to Risk Thank of Rain 2, where I kind cool. of really missed the... 3D style a lot. I, I just couldn't get back into the 2D, I think. I think that the new one is actually a lot harder than the first one, too. Like, way harder. Oh, absolutely. We were, we were having a really hard time. <laughs> yeah, it was wrecking me. And I, I had played Risk of Rain 1 a lot, too, so it was like... Wow, I just cut his head off. Uh, destroy all the buildings. Okay. Um, interesting. Ow, I'm already broken. 
Oh, I thought we were doing robots. Uh, we were going to, but then if we contribute towards this one, we get 45 ribbons. Oh, okay. Because there's a, there's a wall going on right now. I don't know if you know about it. I don't know if you heard about this wall. Okay, I instantly love the breaker, but I really don't like these stalkers right, eating all of my lunch. I'm gonna die. That's crazy, yeah. right? These hunters are just eating me, dude. Okay. Uh, well, we got a bit of a problem. There's a bug outbreak on our location. Not to what worry. What the fuck? Yeah, we're What's getting wrecked. I missed it. Joining the play. Yeah, there are stalkers in here too. Oh shit. Uh, but you will notice the breaker is at how we uh, say goated. Uh, it is yeah. very, very good. Uh, okay, um... I'm gonna throw a giant napalm on the area. Let's hope this uh, can help us. Oh god! Oh god, the charger! I'm gonna... You know, mines. Calling down fortifications. Yeah, I got it. I'm gonna... How do we say this? Uh, 500 kilogram bomb. That seems like a good now, idea. Now, Americans watching, you may not know what a kilogram is, but I assure you, it is impressive. Why would you want to kill your gram? That's horrible. It's a horrible thing to do. It's a, it's a measurement of freedom, I, I promise. Mm-hmm. Alright, clear the floor. Okay, nice. I was gonna say, that is so nice now, I can actually see what I'm looking at. You're welcome. Uh, you're also eggs. deserted, so you are also a traitor. It's time to go to the what? eggs. The eggs. So for some reason, I don't know why, guys, the um, TTS is not playing. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on. Please don't here. throw bits hoping to get TTS. Something is wrong. They did update and there's only one building left. So streamer bot today, and it's not it anyway. transmitting data to speaker bot, and I don't know why. So, sorry about that. Yeah. Please don't. Uh-oh. Run, empty. run. What? Reloading. The bomb's about to go off. Uh, you can grab your stuff, though, I think. I want my shit. The bomb didn't go off. For fuck's sake. What the fuck? How did the bomb uh, not go off? God, the bomb didn't go off. That's so frustrating. Was there something wrong with it? Do you guys need do you guys need reinforce up by me? Oh the fucking lines. Yeah, I'm gonna reinforce uh, you up by me. I'm almost at the first eggs, that's why. I reinforce you by me. All good, all good. I have to just go back and uh, throw one grenade. This is so annoying. Uh... Got it. Oh wait, where are we? Oh, we're here. Oh, we are really far out, huh? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was running the whole time so we could get up here. No, no, no. All good, all good, all good. Uh, Miles, do you want to help me with this radar? Uh, yeah, sure. As soon as you resonate. Well, I'll tell you to do that. I'm running through. Bug breach on my fucking ass? Negative what the heck? Are you fucking... Always live, never die. Oh god, oh god, oh god, careful. Look at where you're shooting, careful. Ooh. Oh, file Titan. Oh. Bruh. Bruh. It's so bad, it's I'm all gone down. bad. I'm I'm gonna... Okay, Bob, the, Bob Titan died. That 500 kilogram bomb killed him in one shot. Let's go. Nice, nice. Ow. Go, my beautiful minds. Oh my god. What? Worth. Just run through the mines. It's fine. 
I gave them a minefield. Okay. Watch out, mouse. Mouse, mouse, you can't do it. You can't do it. We have to, we have to uh, redo the thing. We have to switch. manually readjust. I mean, I can tell you, I can tell you what uh, if it's I'm going well. Yeah. yeah. Me. Uh, wrong direction. <laughs> oh, there's a big stretched out thing here. I don't know what it is. Oh, that's the bar Titan. Uh, you good, you good, you good. You good, stop, 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 stop. I stop. Come on, look at me. Okay. Look at go. me. Just keep looking at me, Crusher guy. <laughs> Just keep turning. I'm pulling uh, resupply. Are we done? Just keep turning. Yeah, this area. Um, uh, if you, you want to go help uh, Thor Mouse with that area, I'll go and I'll go and do all the shit. Oh, Thor! I killed the Crusher. He's dead. Are we gonna go to the eggs now? Yeah, we gotta go to the eggs. We're gonna run out of time if we don't do it. I got it marked. Oh wait, there's mines over here. Do not step on the red. Oh, <laughs> thank you for telling Please. me. Please, there's a there's a Q ping on it. Don't look at him. What if I what if I want to just touch one? Uh, I mean you can, but only once. Just a little, just a little touch. Jesus. Oh. Thank you, sidearm. Reloading. Yeah, the breaker's just insane, dude. Ooh. Right? You called it in a hell bomb? Oh. Uh, just to nuke this location. Oh my god, there's a stalker on me. Where, where are you coming from? I think it's so toast. Yeah. Got it. Woo! Uh, yeah, got that, uh, that play. Hi. Hey, did we get a resupply anywhere? Uh, oh. yeah, it's quite far away from you, from you though. Uh, but there's one. Why can we call one in? We still one got a lot more eggs resupply. in here. I just got run over by a bus, dude. Uh, do you, you got a mouse? Nice, good job. Got it. Five structure destroyed. Oh, uh, there's samples on uh, Paul's body as well. Uh, you gotta call him in mouse unless you want me to do it. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, uh, uh. <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying. I feel like that's okay. happening. Right, right. I feel like I'm getting summoned. <laughs> yeah, that sounded like a satanic ritual. Yeah, I mean, it's a ritual to bring me back from the dead, so it's fine. Hmm. No! Yeah, I just Fuck. watched. That was rough. I got body blocked by them. Gosh, they yeah, all they're surrounded the worst. me. That's they're so honestly the worst. Oh, yeah, sorry. I can still wreck me in. I'm going to the next eggs. Man. No, eggs, I'm, eggs, eggs. I'm really ah! good at not dying. I believe. Crying. Is that thing chasing me? Oh, it better not be. Charges really not Calling down fortifications. Yeah, uh, there's gonna be mines right here. Don't go there. Oh no. Yeah, just don't go there. They're very bright and red. Don't worry about. It. I'm just leaving stuff behind me so those things stop chasing me. All right. 
Requesting What's up? Oh, just don't stop chasing me! You got him. Oh god, he has mines? Yes, I do. Come on, come on, man. Come on, man. Coming to you, coming to you. We can, do it. we can deal with this guy. There's a hell bomb here I if you just shoot it and run away. The mines are doing work over there. Come here. Where's he? Got a sample. Got a sample on me? Nice. Oh, what? I mean, what? That's the thing. If they come near you, just shoot it. Alright, I'm in the next set of eggs. Nice. Hi. We are on the complete opposite side of the map because I'm currently trying to grab my stuff and this, all the rare samples that we lost. Because I got murked by those annoying little hunter things. I think this is super sample thing near me. Ooh, you got it? Pretty sure that's one of them. I'm gonna go look. Uh, they're all together, the super samples, so... Yeah, it is a super one, sample thing. Yep. Them. Super sample cluster. Got them all. Nice. Huge. <gasps> My stuff Huge. is here too. Yeah, it's down here. I'm gonna get it. Alright, I'm gonna have a resupply for you guys when you get here. Throwing supply but we definitely here. need to start moving. Yeah, I'm gonna go south and I'll come link back up with you. I'm gonna get rid of these the nests down south. Um... We don't have any on us, so that means that you have all of them on you. I am aware of this. <laughs> <laughs> I just wasn't sure how aware of this you are. <laughs> now you are innately aware of, of it. <laughs> I am very aware of this. Okay, this is oh. good. Game, please. Reload. There's a bio here. Oh, I'm gonna die. Me. Nah, you got it, you got it. Uh, I'm running. You got four stems. I'm running. No way you're dying with four stems. I'm running. Oh, the oh, artillery's yeah, there. That would be very helpful for us. I'm I am putting a lot of... God damn it. Oh, the samples on you. I have to stream on my other POVs. So uh, I'm getting slowed. Get getting a lot of mines out, so that's good. I hate getting slowed like this. It's just rough. So, uh, are uh, you guys, you guys almost something cancels them. Oh, Ooh, nice. Good samples. Uh, how guys? I, I can pretty much run forever against this, but uh, it's getting I spookier every time they get close. Ow! <laughs> Why did that blow up? I never forget the break is your best friend. Yeah. Cleans them up. Okay, we are on the next nest. Should be able to take care of it pretty soon. Okay. Well, I have all these super samples, so if I die, just remember me. If you die, I'm coming for your body. Okay, good. <laughs> just remember me. <laughs> I'll remember the super glasses. samples when I buy my next upgrade. What more could a, what could, what more could a friend want Ooh. than an upgrade? Oh. Upgrade oh. for democracy. Oh, there's so many of them. There's a crusher running after me now. I'm on borrowed time. How many steps you got left? Uh, you got three. Three. You're good, you're good. You're good, you're good. <laughs> walk it off, walk it off. <laughs> I am I am walking it off. There is a bio walk on it its off, way to it you. Off. You know? I see him yeah. slowly disappearing instantly, apparently. Never mind. He just evaporated. I don't know what happened to him. What the fuck? My grenade did shit. You did it. Proud of you. We did. Now come, come over, over to me. You. Hive structure destroyed. Uh, around uh, the area mass, there should be rare samples. Yeah. Oh, no, there's one here. Location. If you cover this cliff, you shall see it on the cliff. Don't jump off. I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying. Need help? I got it. I got it. I got it. We have a problem. Uh... We'll the problem that we're not killing enough because I'm, I'm on about my to way. solve. I got a solution. I, I have a solution. 
Help. Help. Is it more mines? <laughs> I brought it into mines. <laughs> <laughs> Did that fix the problem? Ah, uh, somewhat. It's more mad now, so that's solved that problem. See, I've got a nuke problem, and it, it's that I haven't used it in two minutes, and I need to want- I, I have oh, the yeah. desire. I have a you lot of that. samples now, by the way. I have- I have all of the samples. Hell yeah. Okay, nice. Calling down fortifications! You just need one more Calling egg. down a sentry! I'm just gonna keep playing run in a circle. Uh, yes. You will be on the way. Ow. I think the problem is, is the moment we destroy the, that last egg, I think that's when the game takes that as like, okay, let's spawn everything really dangerous. True. Actually. Why is it, why? Why is it that I missed every single freaking pawn? What am I doing wrong? Uh, you can do a resupply uh, in a little bit. Uh, there's a stem CMS if you need them. Oh, God. No, this is it. No, survive. Survive. God damn it. So, yeah, my my aim for the fucking God no. My aim just sucks in general. Somebody call for the cavalry. No, that's wrong. That's wrong. Oh, I'm that's so slow. I have bad reflexes and I'm I'm not good at looking. I'm so stuff. dead, dude. Oh, there's a lot of mines here. Oh God. Damn it. I was literally about to run in and save you. I was I slowed saw, oh, the entire mines. time, dude. I was slow. Don't step on the mines, please. I'm right in front of you. Let them. What I'm, is I'm shooting them. I'm hoping that. Oh, here we go. They're all coming to me now. Oh, maybe you now. Oh, you, yes, you now. Sorry about that. Uh, you might want to somehow get that charger to me. Ah! Oh, he's running right at me. He's going through every single one of your mines. And he tanked every one of them. Terrifying. Oh, he tanked every one of them. This is. Uh, Damn, these leapers, dude. Leap <laughs> I think this is the, the the game. This is the game's way of telling us that we're fucked. I think in a in a very I think intuitive so. way. I think so. Oh, oh, it's oh, these God. it's these little oh, the little like oh, white God. leaper ones oh, are just God. horrible. They're so horrible to kill. Oh, God. Everything else is doable, but oh, I think I hit it. I think I hit the big one. Oh yes, I think you did. Okay, where is my where are my corpses? Oh, you got the super samples. Good. I did, I did. Time for eggs. Time for eggs. Requesting sentry. Got there's so many mines. Oh, charges is so frustrating. Target is dropping baggage. Ah. Target fire. Dropping baggage. Oh god, there's another one. Where are we? Oh. Me. Oh. I am dead. Oh my god. I'm gonna land on it. I'm gonna land on it. I believe. I expect nothing to left. No, no, where is it going? Why is it going straight down? I was pressing upwards and it was going oh, yes. straight downwards. Is it just a bug? Well, they're all bugs. Uh, no, sometimes uh, in certain areas it will not let you not go down. Uh, like, like, change the direction. I don't know why. Weird. God, this charger is frustrating. Oh my god, why am I being dragged around? Help. Help. I'm gonna go to the objective. We gotta get There's in there and fight in there. A reef of light coming. Oh, there is. Oh, thank I god. I so many things. Oh, I'm so sorry. If you can, uh, drop me in mass. Oh. I'm, trying to pull as, I'm trying to pull as many enemies out of the objective nice. location as possible. Oh. Nice, nice. Uh... Okay, where did you spawn me? I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, but this is the best I can do right now. Oh, I'm trying to see what I'm working with here. Okay, I'm gonna at least sacrifice myself to get rid of some of these nests. Right, I believe, Mouse. Thing. You got this. Oh. 
Oh, hi. That's a lot of dudes hi. next to you. I'm gonna run hi. the other way. You did it. You did it. I did do it. I've been doing it. This is the thing about me. Oh, you gotta, that's what you gotta learn about me. I, I always get it done. Did you get all the uh, super samples? Do we have No, those? I'm gonna go back and get those now. Okay. I'm gonna try to pull everything away. I'm going towards the extraction now. Uh, yeah, we if, got you, if you can, that would be great for me and my mental health right now. Mm. <laughs> like, I would appreciate that. Do you, do you think some mines would help with that equation? Do you think some mines? Okay. Good for you? I think if you feel like it's going to help, let's do it. All right. Well, they're on cooldown, so you'll have to wait. <gasps> okay. Okay. I only you have one, you know. Yeah, I believe in the mines. Nice. Oh, I just picked right, up let me, let me 11 get, comic. Get oh, you acquired it. Shot on that ballot in the face. You may proceed to extraction when ready. All right, on my way to extraction. Uh, to I'm on my way. I'm gonna pop extraction the moment I get there. Cool. Ball Titan is down. I killed the Ball Titan. Please, please don't be deep. At least one good thing. Oh, thank God, it's not deep water. Oh my god, the mines killed me. I'm so sad. I had the super Dude. Oh no. I didn't know where the mines were. They're bright red. I got you, I got I know, you. But it was right over a ledge and I fell off a ledge onto it. <laughs> Go get the samples, I believe. Uh -huh, okay, I'll, I'll grab them, I'll grab them, I'll grab them. God, I I'm, swear I'm almost to extraction. Really I'm almost to there. extraction. I'm getting turrets set up and everything. Requesting sentry. It's crazy. I see them go on the mines. How come it doesn't kill them, but it kills me every time without fail? Huh? <laughs> What's up with that? Calling down fortifications. Uh, Why do they have some kind of mine me. immunity and I don't? Requesting Requesting fortifications. Starting extraction now. On my way. We got a two-minute extraction. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Okay. On my way. On my way. Almost there. All right, well, I'm just going to leave this objective then. Resupply is ready here for you guys. And nice, min minimal mines. Oh, a modest mines, amount of mines. Of mines. Lots of mines. Lots of mines. Wow. Yeah, don't step in those mines. Those are for the enemies, not for you. Not for no, you. I'm just going to go around. If you guys could uh, kindly let me know which uh, area those mines are roughly in so I don't step in them, that'd be great. They are bright red. Oh, I've, I've labeled them. These? I've labeled them just for you. <laughs> Do you see these? Do you see these here? Mines. I see them. I see them. As feel. you can see, one of them is sideways, due to the brilliance of democracy. As you can see. You know. Okay, now that you put it like that, I'm starting to come around. <laughs> one minute. <laughs> did you get all those samples, by the way? I did. Proud of you. Uh, I would rather die than not come back. Don't time, enter. So. The, don't enter where I'm putting the marker. Don't enter that side. Enter okay, over okay. over where I am right now. Enter okay. over here. This is helpful. Um, keep running. Keep running. Get in here. I don't want that turret uh, taking you out either. Let me grab my rail gun. You're the VIP. Don't die. Yeah, come on over, VIP. Oh god, the mines. Look at the mines. Oh, they're beautiful. Okay, see, look now, at the democracy. Yeah, see? The is, is that I realize a charger stepped on probably every single mine like it was some kind of mobile app puzzle. And it breaks their legs. Yeah, it, once it breaks their legs, you can just shoot the legs out from them and they just die. Mm. <laughs> Let me give you one of these. Well, you don't need it, but you can take it. Oh. Careful. Oh, incoming. Yeah, this guy is, uh... Take that shield I just put down. Cool. What's up? You can take this. Oh, well, I'm just gonna not leave. die, I think. Yeah, let's just get out of here. Leave it for the next guy. Get in, get in, get in. Don't lose those samples. Come on. Get in, get in. Hey. I don't Nice. On me. I'm packing. We've done I'm it, Chet. 
democracy. And a really good democracy, too. Proud of you. Well done, everybody. Look at that. Yeah, that was nice. Mm. We got a bunch of optionals, too. Look at that. Yeah, we missed one, though. We all extracted. Good. Yeah! Outpost destroyed. None. F. <laughs> <laughs> right. We didn't need him. It's fine. Give me that four star. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. That's a chunky ah. one. My game crashed. What the fuck? No, the game was holding you back. Right Don't worry. You're stronger now. <laughs> yeah. I may have put mines in your client. I'm sorry about that. Oh, no. Not my files. <laughs> my computer. Time to get off? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> Right. Yeah, it's uh, bed. it's mouse and uh, sea dog right now. Silver had to go to bed. Uh, I'm gonna remove Silver's thing from this. Allied destroyer. And we started with rubber Ross, dude. Holy, sorry, I had to cool off after that big W for democracy. <laughs> uh, this this game makes my PC sound like it's it's going to uh, it's actually orbiting. I had 339 I yeah. kills. Oof. Oof. Woo! And only two I accidentals, I think. I with, 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 the, with the mines that I subjected. The mines just kill so many enemies. And allies, as well. I don't think well. I got the XP, because I Indiscriminate killing. Yeah, yeah. Indiscriminate democracy. True. That, actually, that's the best kind. It's true. Democracy forever. Um, what was I going to say? Okay, I got Ooh, access to- sorry. Oh, wait, I think I have the auto cannon now, but I don't know if I have the auto cannon gun. Oh, I have the auto cannon sentry. Oh, oh yeah, that's good. Very good, very good. That's a nice one. I just love how we're helping our democracy here. We're, we're I, making a difference. I may, unfortunately, have to drop some of my mines because of this. I oh, know. no! It's upsetting, no. I know. Don't yeah, do it's that. really. Don't worry, I'll keep the fire no. ones. Because those ones are, you know... They ruin the ground. Well, they democratize the ground for longer, so I think I'll keep the fire. Ones. I, I, yeah. The thing I like about the tower is that it's more they concentrated democracy in a single point. That's true. Think of it as a, a military base. I can't wait to watch my auto cannon blap one of us instantly. Actually, I'll watch they do, do that as well. They, they do. do. They do do that. So <laughs> It'll probably if, be if you weren't here for it earlier, before the stream, I actually had a buddy, and we were playing together. That was one of my mods, Zephroth, and he got shot by the autocannon sentry off somebody else, and he just exploded and then broke all of my arms and legs. And I survived somehow. His viscera almost killed me. Your your mod is called Zephroth? Zephroth. Oh, I, think, I was like, I don't think no. your mod is, uh, is doing his job. Maybe he is. Maybe he is. Yeah. Well, maybe, would Zephroth be a moderator? I think he could do I think he could be it. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go terminate the illegal broadcast. What do I want to do here? What do I want to do here? Gatling, machine gun, autocannon. He's looking for black materia. That's what I was looking for in the last map. I couldn't find it. I'm ready. I, I know I've reduced my amount of mines and I'm, I'm sorry for that. Yeah. I don't want to let you guys down. It's not enough mines. I, I don't no. mind. <laughs> it's very sad. I, it's I, very I, sad I, I'm not I, running. Oh no, I was I was finding it sad that I couldn't run more mines. Oh, 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 okay. Well, that's yeah. actually the secret tenth difficulty where everyone on the team takes mines and nobody <laughs> knows but what if it's killing. I mean you saw how many kills I got. What if what if that's okay. the strat? Okay, but someone needs to take the Giga Nukes to the Giga Nukes to get rid of the Bile Titans, you know? Oh, got him. Yeah, it's definitely not gonna be me. Leave me alone. With my laser cannon. How did you take two of those to the face? Really? Really? Oh my god, a bug thing spawned here already? You have to be kidding me. I shot that hunter twice with a shotgun and it just came after me and melted me, dude. Just got mulched. Always live, never die. Oh my god. I believe. I oh, believe. I'll tighten already. 
No! I got, oh my god! Sorry, I got a, I got clipped on a, on the charger's leg and it, it got me stuck in it. Cool bones. Oh, oh, god. oh dead in a pit. Oh my god! Dies. Okay, we all try and land on one of the bow titans. Well <laughs> Wait, okay, it let me know near it. Never mind. Oh, I don't even know where oh, it is. Okay. I landed in hell divers three actually. My bad. Yeah, it all makes sense. Tagging <laughs> I'm going to my feet. I'm gonna get my stuff. <laughs> okay, I got mines coming up. Okay, run, run, run my nuke. Running, 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 running. I don't know if I killed it. I, I have a feeling I did. Oh, yeah, it died. Oh, it died real good. That's some That's democracy good. right there. That was good. I've dropped a lot of things behind me while running away. This is good. I'm seeing kills happen, so that means it's working. <laughs> <laughs> that is a good indication, generally. Oh. These crushers have crushed all my turrets. I'm sad now. Yeah, the, the, oh. the annoying thing about the turrets is that I, I, they are really way too weak. They can be killed way too easily, I think. I think it's just those, uh, those just like, ramming ones. Yeah, the mines can't oh, die God. that way, which is useful. But they also don't attract aggro, which is less useful. Yeah. Yeah, it is. it, is, it does feel kind of unfair that they attract aggro. What I try to, like, to do is just put a turret down with mines, so then the enemies are attracted to it and then blow up. Oh my god, there's so oh. many of these things. Using the mine as a sacrifice. <laughs> yeah. I like it, I like it. No, oh. no, we can't swim. No. We can, we can, we can walk across it. Is it, is it shallow enough? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, funny thing. Uh, yeah, about that. Right now. Where are we pumping this thing? Where are we pumping? Oh, where's the... Oh, there it is. I see it. Holy shit. got a lot shit. of common samples. I can lose this shit, though. Oh, God. It's still alive. Dear God. Oh, God. It's a fucking puzzle. Sweet Jesus! Oh my god, what is this? I'm getting resupply oh. for us. Yes, please, please. It's right here. Uh, okay, I'm gonna nuke those charges that are chasing you. And let's hope Thank that they you. fall right into that. Oh, oh yeah, they're gonna get hit right by that. Look at this. This is a beautiful bomb. Whoa. Oh, I killed I feel, like, okay, I feel like that nuke was very close. <laughs> <laughs> the thing about the nuke... That separates it, uh, from... It's like from a the giant mine, really. <laughs> it's, it's just a big mine. It's, it's like a, a, all the mine power in one. <laughs> Ready to liberate! It's really a concentrated democracy. It's true. Okay, we have to do the pumps. I just uh, need to pump myself. Puzzle. This is fantastic. Put mines out. That should work. Oh, yeah, god damn it. Get your mines out. God damn it. I'm not used to the new auto cannon pattern. Calling down a sentry. <laughs> oh, the mines! I, I was on top of them! Means they're working. Down a All right. Okay, I guess we're even now. <laughs> uh, can someone call me back in? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we have to uh, do the pumps. So if you see like a red, like a yellow barrel with a red dot on top of the wheel, we have to turn them. Uh, and that's the mission. 
I'm son of a you? bitch. Okay, it's always a just hunters, man. Okay, charger. One of the charges landed on. Oh, that is a bile titan. That's um. Uh. Please land on a on a charger mouse if you can. Um. Uh. <laughs> would, cer would certainly make my life easier if you did. Well, I'm not dead. Oh, oh, oh! It was, oh, it was uh, Thor. My yeah, it was me. It was me. I got nothing though. There was no way I could oh, hit it from that range. Oh my god. Okay. God, these things are good at drifting, aren't they? There's a bile titan over here and I don't like it. He's very uh, yeah, mean and I, I don't like him. Oh, I thought that was dead. Great, now it's alive. Sometimes they they act like they're fucking dead Ooh, and then it's like they reanimate. Serpentine. God, I can't get to the fucking pump. Reloading. Where is the pump? There's three of them. Huh. You should say I can. Uh, oh my God, the mines! I'm gonna get Vietnam flashbacks. Oh. And I haven't even been there. Uh, if you call me in on that Titan, I'll try and land on it. Jesus. Drop me on a mouse. Uh, uh. I'm, I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying to call you. Uh, I, I think, uh, I think Thor's got me. I've got you, I've got, I you, got you. Let me get you close. Right, nice. Oh, wait, no, that's better. Yep. I got him, I got him. Let me in. Okay, I'm landing on him. He's dead. Nice. Bar Titan is done. He, is he dead? He's not yep, animating dead. on my it, screen. It does that. It, 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 I don't know why, but it stands still. Fantastic. Oh, I see the mines and all of my stuff is scattered around them. Please, for the love of God. Where's my sniper? I have it. Oh, it's just gone. Never mind. Oh my god. Okay, one of the pumps done. Two more to go. Oh my god, there's some plays there. Oh my Christ. The grenade these. Bro, this is fucking ridiculous. Why is there so many? I swear they don't end! Oh. I have an idea. A solution is on its way. Is oh, this? is oh, it more mine? Yeah. It'll blow up on all of them. Get out of the middle. Oh, I'm doing shit. the pump. I did the pump. I did the pump. Get out. Nice, nice, nice. Here it goes. Okay, one more pump. One more pump. One more pump. Where is it? Does anyone know where it is? Wait. Democracy. Wow. Calling down a God, this charger doesn't die. <laughs> That's your mind. Oh god, that's a file titan. Uh, can... Oh, yeah, hey. uh, oh. <laughs> Wow, it's on you. That's so oh, funny. Oh god. I don't think it does anything. No, it kills okay, me. Okay, where, where on earth is the last pump? Jesus. Oh, I see it, I see it. It's on fire. Oh god, it's surrounded by mines. Oh my god. <gasps> Auto cannon's doing work. Throwing supply beacon. Supply beacon's oh. out. Auto cannon's hitting okay, this bio titan. You are gone. Where are we going? <laughs> Did we do this? 
That was an <laughs> awful <laughs> mission. That was an awful. Oh, yeah, I, I, I died. So can you recall me? We gotta do it um, again. Throw me on the battle titan. Throw me back in. I, I want to land on him. Go to the next one. Uh, Mouse, can you throw me on him? Oh. <laughs> oh no! Are uh, you gonna call uh, him? That's fine. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep <laughs> running towards the next objective. Yeah, you do that. Oh my god! Bad was his name. No, I just missed the charger. This, this is some sick kind of joke. I landed in front of everything now. Oh god! Uh, Mouse, could you please um? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, Dropping a pin. Uh, I, I got you. I, gotcha. I got gotcha. you. Uh, just give me one, one second. You got it. Yeah, uh, no worries. You're good. Yeah, you're so good. Yeah, look at that. You can take, you can take all those hits. Yeah. Ah. Okay, uh, Thor, you need to, um, how do we say, uh, revive us again? I'm trying. Reinforcing. There. Maybe the crusher will look at you instead. I will try to land on him. I'm out of ammo completely, by the way. Oh, there's a mushroom. Uh, you can pull in resupplies if you want. I think, uh, oh, one minute. Okay, never mind. Hold up. I can kill this mushroom. Oh, I got, I got the, uh, the paid currency. We've got a sun. Oh, nice. shit. Get out of the plant. Get out of the plant. Down a century. Well, the mushroom is over this way. Last oh, Jesus. Sweet Jesus. Where is it? This is no Jesus. This is democracy. Where is the mushroom? Sweet democracy. God, they're so large. I don't know where the mushroom is. I lost it. Too many oh, spores. Oh, you lost it? Yeah, I don't know where the mushroom is. Uh, I saw it earlier, but I'm in a bit of a issue here. I'm foraging for the largest mushroom. Soon. Oh, found it. I got it. Mushroom's gonna be dead. One sec. Requesting sentry. It's so dead. Going down to yeah. fucking see. Mushroom dead. I'm gonna fucking go AC. Yeah, call me back in one ten. Nice. Um, maybe Thor can call you back in because I'm quite far away. Okay, okay. Thor, call me back Calling in. Calling down can. a sentry! On your... On it. Thank you, thank you. Oh, god damn it. Oh, no. <laughs> it's alright, it's alright. Calling in reinforcements. Go blind because I can't see. I hope you guys wanted friends because I certainly brought them. Wow, thanks. I always oh, no, wanted no friends. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, yeah. I, I, uh, I have a lot of them. Is there another spore? There has to be. There has yeah, to be. Yeah, there is. is oh, I see it. I'm going to get it. Kill it. Drop something on it. Oh, yeah, I see it. Nice. Oh. Clear the shit up. There we go. I see. Going down fortification. Why am I stuck in that? Uh oh, bio titan. Bio titan. Yeah, that shit is. Oh my gosh, and there's a charger. Oh baby. Oh my god. Now, god damn it. Oh my god. It's a puzzle. It's a puzzle. I've started the puzzle. Okay. 
pretty great. Love the mine. Thank you. <laughs> I planted them just for the bugs. Oh, oh god, the mines are killing. Oh my god, they're amazing. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, it seems, uh, it seems I have this. Uh, yeah. under the bag. And, by, and by this, I mean every single enemy on my ass. I got a bunch of samples here. I'm gonna try and do the puzzle more. Come follow me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Engaging terminal. Ooh. Okay, how does this work? Oh, another Bile Titan. That's exactly what I wanted, actually. I'm glad the game, the AI is so smart that it knows exactly what I wanted to fuck me. I actually, actually don't okay. know how this functions. Oh god. Here, somebody else do this puzzle. I actually don't know what the objective good, on good. it is. I've never seen it before. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Yeah, I don't actually I, know I what the objective on it is. Three Does anyone know how to solve it? Uh, more landmines, I think. Is the oh, correct yeah, action. I got the terminal. Soon. I'm gonna get us a resupply. Growing supply beacon. What the fuck? Whoa. Didn't need those legs. It's fine. Oh my god. Auto cannon was doing a lot of damage. Oh, auto cannon took down one of the chargers. Nice. Why can't I burn? I think we got this in the bag. Yeah, I got. I have two bow titans on me, so please, I hope you. Would you guys have no enemies near you? What the? Yeah, this is what I was saying. Is I don't know how this works. Let me try it. I got. I got yeah, the top to one. Connect to the yellow thing. Oh, the yellow one. Yeah, it can't do the local storage. Oh, yeah, oh, yes, oh, then, oh I, see, the, I see. You had it, you had it, and then final one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There yeah, we go. go. You got it, you got it. You got it. Then you got, then you got to open all the door. things. Maybe three of them. You got to open all three of them. Oh. Okay. No way. And then you can touch it. Oh, uh, can someone reinforce me as well? That's always confused. Please. I was like, what is this supposed to be doing? Calling in reinforcements. How do I open this? Oh, there we go. Oh, oh my God. I had, I had so many of them on me. It was ridiculous. Wait, did I open it? Okay, is one it open? Titan, I think dead. Did I land on it? I, is it dead? No! Uh, it's, it appears its leg um, killed me as I spawned. What is oh, happening? Uh, you need to live, Mouse. You are last alive. Oh, what? 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 Why are there suddenly Bio-Titans? Did you bring them to us? I was- I had them alone, and I was trying to do them all. I was trying- I, I got fucked up. Alright, I'm just gonna stay alive, and uh, not do anything, and just run around. Okay. I was trying to interact um, with that- that turning thing, and it just stopped being interactive, and it was still red. I think you guys were playing The Witness, I, 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 and I- I was playing whatever- whatever child, like Doom, except I was the- I was the NPC. Oh man, I think we're screwed. We are screwed. I believe. I believe, Mouse. Oh god. Cooldown is in 54 seconds. Just stay alive. Oh god. Serpentine. Oh, god. Serpentine. Uh, don't run too far from the gun? objective. Don't run too far from me? the objective. I do not have a real gun. Well, I do, but uh, as soon as I. Oh, don't run into that. Down, no. There's That's one mesh there, by the way. Yeah, I. I don't think this is about objectives no. right now. I think it's about staying alive. Ah, yes. No. Yeah. Smart. Hmm. I think right now I just want to try not to die. Fair enough. I think that's a valid. A valid try not to way die. To about the situation. Yeah, it's a pretty good strat, I think. Thirteen seconds left, and then you can summon one of us. Oh, that that Titan is low. I want to land on that boy. That boy. Wait, did he just die? I don't think it did. Uh, I, don't think he just I don't died. think so. Oh, yeah, he's very much animated. He's very <laughs> much alive, but right, he's stepping on in. the landmine. Oh, oh God, why'd you stop? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You can walk and do it, remember? I believe. Uh, oh my God. What is happening? Off. Okay, right. Are you in? Right. Shall we? Reinforcements on the way. 
All right, it's up to you guys. Oh, One of, I, just so looks, I couldn't land on it. So it looks like it's all on mouse. So if you do the objective, we should have this. Okay, hold on. Let me grab my... Uh, some, oh, I'm stuck in a cactus. This is not the objective I wanted. This is... Where uh, are you? Oh, dear. Now you're both being chased. Uh, ah. This chaser, huh? <laughs> uh, he likes to chase. Oh. <gasps> oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Nice. 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 We got time. We got a lot of time. You guys can get me up in one minute. Oh, we're going. No, 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 no. Survive. Stim. I'm trying. Stim mouse. I'm trying. Oh. Can you jump or only throw yourself to the ground? You can only throw yourself to the ground. <laughs> and thank you guys very much for those gifted subs. Thank you. And, uh, yeah, if you're wondering how I'm playing this, I'm playing it on a secondary computer, Ooh, so that computer is running the Kernel Level Anti-Cheat, not my primary oh. one. Feels good, man. My favorite part is when I get stuck underneath the charger. That's an element of danger that I didn't appreciate before. Oh, damn. Now, so I think you got it. You only got a couple of stragglers Sorry on you. This. Yeah, there's nothing big chasing you. Oh, this, this big guy's only dead, too. Oh, he's dead now. Oh, okay, there's another one. Oh, there's always another one. Why is there oh, always another one? How many of the right, valves? I'm calling out an orbital. Now one second, you can get me up. Down. You can get me up. Okay, I got you. Big mask got me. I got you. Boop, 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 boop. I smashed it. Oh, all right. Uh, I, I brought down some supplies. Uh, Another bioplasm. Really far uh, away. Please, please mine outside of the middle, just because I think we're going to be running around the middle a lot. Uh. This can't interact, and I don't know why. I was holding uh, it, you know, it didn't do anything. You have to you have to go at a certain angle. It's a bit weird. No, it's not interactive. Uh, look, I'll show you. Uh, uh we'll get up, like, watch out, watch out, watch out. You know, I, like, near it, I can't actually he's interact with you. it. I'll show, uh, oh, no, he's, okay, I don't know who he's on. I'm just going to try it. You have to, like, perfectly go on it at the right angle. It's so annoying. Where's the last one? Okay, there it is. Can I just sneak this without them noticing? I don't think I can, but I'm gonna try it. Wait, this one was actually glitched. There's a nest on it. That's what I was saying. Like, something's wrong with it. Okay, I think I got it fixed now. Oh, my God, bro. I, I pulled all of them away. I pulled everything away. You guys got time. Do it. Uh, I don't think you got everything. There's some stuff on me, too. Shit. I'm going to just do it, though. I believe. I die, I die. Not have spin. If he dies, he dies. Well, I did it. I don't think it's not. Uh, oh, Stim's here. I pinged it. I pinged it. Where? Oh, okay. I'm going to you. I pinged it. Where's the control panel? Oh, I see it. Whoop, 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 whoop. Watch out, there's a- You are walking right underneath the Bile Titan! Yeah, I know that, I know that, but, but I can't on. see! Six seconds left to resupply, I'll get it out for you guys. And we got okay, an extra reinforce done. though. Done. We are done, we are done here, we are done. We need to go to the last objective. Oh. No, it's not, we're not done. Here we are, look, watch. Hey, okay. Well, there's no more objectives, dude. We just have to transfer E710 to shuttle? Okay, that is an objective. Where are we headed? Right, yeah. uh, just get me when you can. There we go. On our way, let's go. Thank you, thank you. I'll get the resupply at the next location. I'm on my way. 
Does she ever oh use the god. healing? Oh god, wait, there's blind? a bio titan on me. Son of a, a bitch. bitch. What's up? No, nothing. Bio titan, bio titan. Uh, it's trying to slow me with this, like, long range bullshit. Uh, oh yeah, if, it, it looks like it won't hit you, but it, it absolutely will, and if you get caught in it, it will one-shot you. It's so annoying. I think Do they run faster him. than you? Oh! Uh, slightly, yes. Oh. If you're out of sprint. Oh god, it almost killed me. Oh my god. Listen. Please. Oh my god, just let me get away from it. Can you get away from me, please? Oh my oh, god, god, they're all on my ass! Oh. Uh, Mouse, you all gonna wanna run? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna run. I know you're doing that anyway, but uh, I'm about to give this Bow Titan a lovely birthday surprise. Happy birthday! It didn't kill it. It didn't kill it. Jesus what? Christ. Okay, let's try another one. Me. Let's try another surprise. I'm almost that there. Didn't kill it oh my god! Dear God. What is this thing? Liberty gave me! We got this. Requesting sentry. It's still alive! Alright, I have to find the terminal. Oh shit, there's a hole here. This here, this here. And I'm. Where the hell's the terminal? I'm running. I'm running. I'm running. The bio titan's here. Oh god. Found the this terminal though. Oh, uh, I don't think I can get it until this bio titan walks away. Too bad. This is bad. I'll, tr I'll try to see if I can call something onto it. But I I'm hiding from it. Doubt. I'm hoping it leaves. I don't think it can see me. Terminal's activated. Nice. Where is it? Alright. Engage your terminal! There's something we have to activate. Turn all valves indicated by the terminal 1A. Oh, no. Oh, Get the not fucking, the fucking valves. valves. Jesus. Yeah, there's only one valve. There's only one valve. I just don't know really where. Only one? It said it only had one. There was only one that was blocked. Uh, Might be the thing in the middle. Is this it? Is this it? No, that's uh, not it. There should be. It should, it should have like a red light or something. Shit. Maybe it's down. Uh. Why is it not showing on the map? Reloading! Oh dear god. Why is it not fucking show? Where is it? Tagging that. Too damn many of these. Where is this pipe? Good. Alright, I'm looking. Uh, please run. I, I just called a nuke down below us. It should be fine what? if you're up here. No, no, just watch, watch. Check this out. Let me see. The firework's gone. That's pretty it's legit. Lifestyle. That's pretty good. Are you on that? Let's do it again. Round two, baby. It didn't watch die. Fun. Oh, I, I didn't call it on that one. Down I called it on like all of the charges. Oh god, big hole. We need to find that valve. Yeah, we do. Oh, Jesus. I'm looking. Is it here? Is it here? It's here. I found it. I found it. You got it? Yep, I got it. Reloading. 
Okay. Is it is it done? Uh, uh I'll check the control panel. It's external valve still. I don't know if that's yep. done or not. Yeah, no, no, no. It should be uh just I just need to press it if it's the case. I'm on I'm on my way up. I'm going for it. Yep. I got the terminal. So Hi. you have to press to the right and then off. Oh, yeah, you got it. Nice. No, just up. We got it. Your transport incoming. Uh -huh. oh, oh, Reloading. Oh my god. Oh shit. Oh my god, he's putting me up against the wall. Lock the fuel hose. Uh, where's that? Oh, Lock the fuel hose to transfer pump. Oh, that's oh, probably in the very center. Oh god, I died! I jumped right into the fucking bile titan. Uh, if you call me down, I'll, I'll, I'll smash call you it. down. Got you. Good. That's it. We have Good no call. more though. Oh shit! Yeah, it's fine. Wait. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! It won't let me steer. It won't let me steer. No. Oh, no. Me steer. Fire. Yeah. Not want to call this shit over here. Did it? Did it? I did the objective. Rear sample collected. Nice. Another bile titan coming. Nice. Oh god. Oh what the? Okay. I got one. I think I can bring you in. <laughs> I got it deleted. Uh, um, Get us uh, out of there. Yeah, release the fuel transfer. Christ. Okay. Um, oh, no. A little bit of a pickle. Fuel I hose? Mean, gun, Is that the so. thing in the center finally? or? Yeah. You guys got one minute before you can get me up. Yep. Yeah, uh, oh, oh, there's, there's two of them! There's two of them! Oh, this bug's right nuts. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No, I'm slowed. Get me out of this. There's three of them. What are you doing? Oh you fool. Oh. You fucking fuck. We're so fucked. 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 We are. We're so fucked. We are. We're so fucked. It's okay. Survive. Oh. We'll get on time. We'll get on time. No stress. You have six minutes. We're chilling. 25 seconds until someone else can come down. All right, you. I'm you just going to keep on running. Your sentry's up. Running. All right, 13 seconds. There's three of them. Maybe, maybe you can throw four on the Hell Titans. Maybe you could. Trying, trying, gonna try, gonna try. Well, maybe, maybe you I can think throw them the in the objective and you run away. Yeah. I'll try to aim for the objective. <gasps> Did you get well, it off? Well, that was suboptimal. Oh my god. Oh my god. I got it off. Oh. Uh, well, Paul's gonna have a tough time now. <laughs> That was awkward. <laughs> uh, no fucking well, way. Well, I guess I'm going to run in a circle shit. now. How did... Oh my god. Calling down fortifications. <laughs> oh Request my god. Calling down a sentry. Request did you unequip the thing, Mouse? Huh? Because I noticed you stopped running while you do the thing. Yeah, I it, it just wasn't working for me. Ah, I see. It wasn't working you, for you me. You might be able to go to the fuel pump and just unlock it. Uh, it's right in the middle of all those bio titans. Oh, There's shit. no way. Yeah, you're right. Uh, yeah, you, you don't need supplies, by the way. They will like fall on everything. Yeah, I just put them out there so we can have it on cooldown. Oh, true, true. I think all my turrets are taking... Right. No, no, no. I don't have anything aggro yeah, right now. Are they taking all the aggro? Are you able to sneak in there? Do you think? I can just chill. Yeah, sneak, sneak the sneaker. We got five minutes, so I can just get you guys up in 43 seconds, right. and that'll be a lot safer. That's all I need to hear. I, I got nukes to go when I'm when I'm up. Do they not Perfect. know where you are? Maybe? No, they don't. Do they? <laughs> I escaped using my turrets. Maybe you, maybe you don't have aggro anymore. I don't. Wait. Nothing should be able to see me here. Oh, wait, no, they do. Wait, no, they're looking for me. Oh, no, they know where you are, I think. Yeah, I think they found you. 
Oh no. That's all right. Well, Bought us a bunch of time. Worth. Only ten seconds, partner. We get her done. Get her done. I'll get you. I'll all get right, you as I'm close up. to the center as possible. All right, let's do it. I fancy a battle title too. All right, you're in. All right, well, if you can aggro them, I'll I'll go and uh, do a Leroy Jenkins over there. I mean, I'll, I'll try. All right, I pissed them all off. You got this. Go, go, go. All right, let's see where I am. Okay, so let's take stock here. What's going on? All right, so we got a Bile Titan on the objective. That's great for me. Uh, he's climbing. He's actually doing parkour. Never mind. Maybe I can do this. It's gonna keep running. It's gonna keep running. Running's pretty good. Got some cardio in, you know. Did I do it? Did I get it off? I did. Proud of you. You did it! Yeah! I think I did do it. Holy shit. Holy shit. Crazy. <laughs> Some democracy. Oh god, he stole right on me! He's alive! I thought for sure that would kill him! Run! Oh. How are they withstanding this much democracy? <laughs> this wasn't in the manual! Oh my god! Liberty, save me! Holding down a sentry! Growing supply beacon! Oh my god! You almost got this? Oh. Lock the fuel hose. Oh my god, again? What? Pulling in reinforcements. Thank you. Got you up. Oh my god. The worst place to drop. <laughs> Ow. Come on, come on, come on. There's so much bile. Nice. Welcome. Oh You're welcome, gentlemen. Nice. Great job. Uh, now we gotta get the fuck out of here somehow. Right, I'm, I'm running. running. All Titans on me. Oh, I'm running away. One minute left. I will kill them. It is my mission. Do it. A god given right to kill a Bile Titan in my own backyard. Uh, I got I got 15 on my Giga Nuke, so <laughs> Bile Titan is being served on the menu. Dropping a pin. Northwest. All right. I'm running out of ammo, but that's okay. Can't turn well, can you? We have two Bile Titans down. Nice. Found something. I'm getting better at fighting those crushers. It kind of sucks that the only way to reliably kill crushers is with railgun. No, uh, you can actually like run. If you circle back and you run directly at them, they can't turn. So then you just shoot them in the ass. Yeah, but you actually don't get a damage multiplier for shooting them in the ass for some reason. It seems to be the only way to like kill them fast is with uh, exposing their leg, which you can only like reliably do with the railgun for some reason. You see. I don't know why that's like the only way. Yeah, there's no damage bonus. Come on. Nice, he got stuck on a rock. Problem is I gotta get through this damn water first. Alright, come on. Fight me then. Nothing left. 
Bleed out. Come on. You're already dead, bud. Half your body's gone. Man, they just don't quit. We got him. I killed the crusher that was chasing after me using that. ETA minus one minute. Shuttle's inbound. We might actually get out of here. Uh, I think I'm about a minute away if I'm lucky. I believe. I too believe. I would put celebratory minds out, but I can't. Oh wait, there's seconds. already mines here. Fantastic. ETA T minus 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Mm, I think I'll make it. Who am I going to? T minus 20 seconds. To where uh, I, I am. I, I do. The blue light, the blue light. I'm on my way. Come on over. ETA T minus 10 seconds. I thought it was at the objective. Ugh. There we go. Yeah. Oh, I picked up a rare sample. Hell yeah. Oh, they're coming. You guys are a fan of charges, by the way. Oh, God. I don't know if I'm a fan. That. Oh, ship is coming. Gotta say, I'm not a fan of the incendiary breaker. I like the breaker breaker better. The incendiary breaker one's not as good. Breaker is the best. Yeah, the breaker's amazing. Oh, I like the incendiary breaker. We got it. Yeah, I love that the ship shoots as it comes down. That's fantastic. Yeah. We did it! Yay! That is the finest democracy given I've seen in a hot minute. <laughs> Oof. Oh my god, that was when we destroyed that radio. That felt like an, an hour ago. <laughs> I guess it was technically 42 minutes ago. My goodness. That was good. We did it. A good job. Hell yeah. That's a lot of points. And we got the objective, so we got all our medals too. Pay for the samples. That's a lot of medals. My knees hurt watching. Don't worry about it. I just, if I die, I'll just have new knees. You know? Perfect. Yeah. Brand new knees. Ooh, what's your new title now, Mouse? That you're 31. Space Chief Prime. But I have that one. Hmm. I want to see Why which one I'm going to get. Yeah, wait, mine's Space Chief. Wait, why do I have Space Chief Prime? Why do I have that? I don't know you. I don't know. There's oh, nothing sweeter than victory in the name of freedom. I'll change my... See? I drop my mines, I lose kills. Unfortunate. <laughs> Unfortunate. <laughs> yeah. It's the first time all night. Mine's fault now, huh? Yeah. Oh, I could be a death captain. Death Captain, okay, that's pretty sick. 92.8% yeah. accuracy. Yeah, you know, I shoot a few bullets. Stratagems. What can I unlock? I got 22,000. Rocket Sentry? Hmm. I swear I did be. I feel like that's a good idea. We could just be sentries all day. Five hundred kilogram bomb. You can only do that once. Yeah, uh, yeah. multiple times though. It's like every two minutes. It's very good. Uh, that's the one I've been using. It's it's very very good. Well, I've got it now. Uh hell fucking yeah. Hell and yeah. if you get the first upgrade on the hangar, it reduces the cooldown on all of the eagle stuff, so the ships by fifty percent. It's ridiculous. That's it's insane. Such a huge bar. That's insane. Yeah, and then the, the, the very final one oh. is that you get to do an additional one. So you get a 50% cooldown, and then you can also call in two. So you can call in two 5 kilogram bombs. It's ridiculous. That's insane. That's uh, so what I'm trying to work towards right now. That's a really good idea. I'm going to look to see what I can do to upgrade my ship. Don't have enough to upgrade yet. It is frustrating. It does take 
a lot. What feels like an extremely long time. But that's okay, because we've got ten of those super resources. So, like, that's a really nice grab. Man, I used the anti rifle that round, and I swear I killed 60 bugs with it, but I guess I didn't. So. <sighs> All right, I'm ready whenever you guys are. Yeah. Or if you need a minute, I'll go get a cup of tea. I'm going to use the bathroom real fast. I will be right back. I'll get a cup of okay. tea then. I'll be here by myself. Staring at the planet. <laughs> yeah, I have chat. I want chat. It's cool. It's fine. We got each other, chat. Yes, they're not a liberty. Aren't you exhausted? No. Me oh. exhausted? I don't think so. I am back. Welcome back. Welcome back, welcome back. <laughs> My chat's uh asking me if I'm tired and I'm like, no. No. No, I'm not tired either. I just don't get it. Did you wash your hands? Yes, I washed my hands, Chad. <laughs> I am not a follower of Nurgle, I know. Ew. Colonel of Landy Sheet? Yeah, I'm playing on a separate computer. You're just seeing the video. It's not even on my primary machine. Hey. What time is it for me? It's 8 a.m., 8.47. 8.47 a.m. Nice voice. I know. His voice is nice. Mine is garbage. Your voice <laughs> is fine. <laughs> no. <laughs> I would take you more for a follower of Zinch. Maybe. It might be true. It's hard to get that any cheat off the kernel. After I install the game. No, the kernel level anti cheat I don't have to worry about. I just installed the game on a separate machine and I'm piping the video to my primary machine so that you guys can see it. Easy peasy. <laughs> see? My chance saying your voice is great, Mouse. Aww. See? Your chat is so nice. Thank you. It's true. They are nice. They're goblins, but they're nice <laughs> goblins. It's true. Oh. Yeah, they're goblins. Goblins. Who's a goblin? My, all of my chat. chat. Many oh. goblins. Together nice. they have seven brain cells, and they have to split them evenly amongst themselves. Horrifying, really. Wow. Yeah, they got the power of necromancy when I gave them the seventh one. I don't think that was a good okay. idea, actually. That's concerning. I, I it feel was like concerning. I would uninstall that. Yeah, I, I can't now. It's permanent. Yeah. Oh. Let's go <laughs> this way. I'm going to start this uh -huh. way, and I'm going to go around. <laughs> Okay. We're gonna because we're gonna do the side objectives. I'm sorry for pressuring you, Thor, to get in the pod. I but democracy doesn't wait. I'm getting stuff. Uh I got a helmet. <laughs> Are you ready? Yes. My body is ready. <laughs> uh... Shield generator base seems like a good idea. I'm gonna start doing more support stuff to help out. I did like the mm, auto. Yeah, cannon. I think that's great for objectives. I feel like incendiary mines really help. That's a good idea. He loves his mines. Question is, who? Who do they help? I feel like they help <laughs> destroy the bugs, spread democracy, <laughs> and get rid of unwanted teammates. Uh -huh. Ah, mm. I was complaining an awful lot. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> they were really good at shutting me up. <laughs> you know. The mines do. They're doing their job, you know. Blowing up when people touch you got it. We're under control. Uh, I took the anti-rifle because I, I swear it says that the, the daily challenge changes. However, I have... Every single day I've had the same daily challenge, so I'm not... I am not convinced. I don't oh, actually... On the stalker's nest. Do we have daily challenges? I didn't even know that. Uh, no, it's just if you want extra... Uh, oh my gosh. Oh, Jesus. Okay, goodbye, stalkers. All right, we're, we're done. All right. Uh, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Go, uh, go west, go west. West. Oh god, a bile titan's here already. Oh my god, already? What the... <laughs> what the... I'm dead. Ooh, I'm not. That's a nice mine. Thank you. I am pretty good with mines. Like I don't land on it now. Hi. I'm respawning you. I that's a good hit. idea. Oh, thank you. Uh, I landed on one of the bar titans, but it still didn't kill it. Oh, God. Oh, there's mines. And I walked over some incendiary grenades. <laughs> okay. Hold on now. I have a solution to this. It's called Bigger Bomb Wins. It's a pretty good okay. idea, yeah. Okay, I'm going to this oh, uh, God, secondary they both, objective. They both stood directly on top of it. Nice job. I think we got both of them. I think they both died in one. Nice. Nice. Did they really? Oh my God, yes, we got both the bar titans in one nice. new. Nice. To establish a communication uplink. Oh, one bomb time. That shield looks fun. Got a shield. Doesn't let the bug in. Oh, maybe it does. Man, it'd be really cool if I stopped climbing oh. garbage. That'd be great. I have the bomb. I'm gonna put the bomb there. Oh, I killed myself. I'm a moron. I thought I was out of range. Oh, man, that's so annoying. Uh, if you call me in, I'll try and land on a charger. Oh, oh we all died. Wait, no. Did we all die? Yeah, Hunter got me. Oh, wait, no, I didn't die. I didn't die somehow. All you. All you. Nice. Uh, we're both dead. Reinforcements out. Thank you. I got a hell bomb. Thank you, God, my partner. Oh, God damn it. Wait, did we get this ob objective? Oh. We didn't yet. Uh, I'm going to yeah, do the hell bomb. I, uh, we'll get it. I landed oh, on wait. one charger. Somebody already did the hell bomb. I don't know who. I got it. Are you Okay, are you so the problem with the hell bomb is that they can destroy it. So we need to do it, like, very quickly. Well, good luck. I can put a generator over the top of it so they can't. Where'd it land? Dang it. Oh, there's another stalker's nest as well somewhere, and I don't know where. Oh, shit. Oh my god, the stalker killed me. Oh my god. Oh, damn it! Sorry, I, I don't have my shield, so I'm really struggling. Shields? Um, my bad, I died again. We could have shields in this game? <laughs> yeah, we've been we've been using a personal shield. Yeah, yeah, the backpack. It's really good. Alright, all right. Um someone can bring me in at any point would be appreciated. Mouse I got, got me. You. Are you I was busy being oh, completely yeah, knocked out, it's fine. What did I land on here? Oh, Oh. oh, that is <gasps> Bile Titan. F. Too many damn oh, Bile Titans. We need, like, a solution to Bile Titans, I think. Uh, normally Railgun, but, uh... Hmm. Oh, I think I missed it. Oh, okay. oh I think it's I think uh, it's dead. You killed one, one of them. Bile Titan is dead. 
One of them is dead. I'm dead to the okay. other one. If you get me back in, I can land on it. Okay. Yep, already done. I got you. Nice, nice. But, uh... uh... <laughs> Just out of range. All good, all good. I am on fire. Not in a good way. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm just stuck in a pile of bodies oh, on fire, God. dude. Oh my God! God. Again. <laughs> There's nothing I can do. Okay, I'm gonna land on this bottom and it's done. I gotta see my shield, Jesus! Can't see the bottom oh, at all. Holy, holy, yeah, holy! Yeah, I couldn't shit. see anything. Oh my God, I'm so far away. Alright, you're just gonna go back over there. Oh my god, the mines! <laughs> there was only one mine left and I found it somehow! Wow! <laughs> oh, right of you. goodness, Rock! Uh, did you, did you come in, okay? <laughs> oh, fuck Yeah! Me. Oh my right. god, get off of me. Jesus oh, yeah, Christ. The fast. You, you have to stem, and then... Oh, fuck. Uh, yeah, I found a, some of the super rare samples, but I died. Okay, well, we'll, we'll pick them up. We really gotta get this communication yeah, yeah. uplink going, or we're gonna lose. Yeah. Oh! Good. Good. All right, what do you guys good. need help with? Everything? Oh, mines. Everything? Oh my God, it's should we just object? Hey, should we just abandon this side objective? This is not a main objective. Uh, we're spending a lot of resources on this. Yeah. I'm gonna get out of here. Um. Okay, where is the next primary? Okay, I'm going towards the computer. You got it, because I think if I if I just keep them all on here, I think either way. It'll make it easier for us, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh believe. my god, there are so many mines you put down here. I know. <laughs> Isn't it great? Oh I'm actually god. surrounded. I'm actually oh, out. we did it! Destroy yeah, Rogue Research Station. I, I literally couldn't get away from them. There's so many. I think I found the stalker nest. Nice. Alright, nice. if you call me in, I'll help you with it. God, it's the fourth time in a row I died to a mine. <laughs> I'll land on the other part of it. There we go. Nice. Taking care of. Trying to escape. You shoot the mines? Yeah, I, I know we can. It's a lot of the time I actually... You, I swear some of them are in the floor. I can't see them. What? Yeah, they some are. of them I can see. Well, then I'm out of here. Did you get the rest of those? There's a couple of pits I didn't get. I got one. A lot of samples here. Oh, I got a stalker. Stalker, no! Oh, fuck. fuck again. Oh, shit. Oh. Jesus. Uh, yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting destroyed. Uh, if you can, someone can call me in, that'd be great. Uh, oh my I, god, I, I, oh my god. This oh is, no, you went in the water. This is awful. Oh no. This is so, oh. Lived. I am the football. How did we spawn on two different stalkers' nests? It's almost impressive how fucked we are. So the thing about the shield I found is it pulls all the oh, enemies inside of it. Here. They want to attack it. Okay. So if I do that, I can actually do a like a 500 kilogram bomb on it. That is, if I don't accidentally drop the bomb. Son of a bitch. Oh my god, these stalkers, dude. 
go away. The stalkers what are like probably the hunters. That? It's I threw a 500 kilogram bomb. It's just the most annoying enemy in the game because they are faster than you. They slow you and they appear out of nowhere. They are the worst thing to kill. Is it my shield here? What the fuck is it? Fuck. Oh my oh, lord. Oh god. Yeah, it's these. It's everything, dude. And pretty much any map that I found that we we find stalkers it just ends up being a huge problem. I don't know what we can do about that. Uh, this. That was a pretty good use of that, yeah. Yeah, you can get me a backup, by the way. Oh, okay. Ah! Oh. Oh, oh, stalker. I called down the little terminal thingy. Popped one for you. You gotta be kidding me. Oh. Uh oh. Where is my death? What shield? a death, dude. What a death. Well. Where the fuck is my shield? Don't worry about your shield. You're dying to a bile. Nah, I, I can survive a lot with the shield. Yeah, but you don't have it. Run. You got it. Oh, you man. got it. Chargers after you. Run directly at it. There you go. There's a lot of mines. Look out for the mines. Oh my god. Oh my god. Told you. <laughs> hey, your shield's gone. Uh, it, it goes out temporarily. It'll come back. Yeah, it took, a, it took the explosion, huh? Oh my god, there's mines everywhere scattered all over, all over the place. Where are around. you going? I'm getting the supplies. <laughs> He's crazy. We're gonna Still get everything. This is hilarious. Hell divers, is it happening? Yeah, I'm playing with uh Sea Dog and Iron Mass right now. I gotta uh I can pull you in, in 19 seconds. We're killing and so call many. Me, so this is great. There's another stalker's nest? How? Oh, I know, no. dude, they're everywhere. Like, I found one earlier and I was trying to take it out, but there's just too many. The stalkers are just obnoxious, man. It, like, if we get a map with two stalkers in us, it's just... It's unbearable. I, I've actually never even seen three. I've never even seen that. Do I, we have three? I, I'm level 30. <laughs> I've never seen three in one map. Did we get three on this okay. map, or...? Yeah, we have three. You gotta be kidding me. No wonder there's so damn many of them. That sucks. Oh. oh my god, what was that? I don't know what happened just there, but oh, you... No, run. It's time to run. Oh! Fuck. Oh! Okay, don't die. I believe. Wait, what, 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 what are you doing? I can't move! What's I can't move! Why can't I move? I actually can't oh, move. I actually oh god, can't he's move. stuck. I can see it. I can see it. Your legs are... Are you oh busted? Oh my what? god. What? <laughs> I watched that happen. You were just spinning wildly. Found the stalker's nest, by the way. I'm not even gonna bother. I believe. I'm just gonna run. This has been the worst! So, my chat wants to know, was your chat open, C-Dog? Were you just typing wildly into chat? In-game? <laughs> <laughs> we may have a keyboard smash moment. He's gone. I'm gonna go look at his stream. Did he actually leave? Oh, I think he walked away. He's not even. He's not even streaming right now. No, no. I thought he was streaming. I thought he was streaming. I think he stormed off. Oh, it's so funny. Oh, it's so funny. He might have rage quit. <laughs> Dude, that was the, I could see the most, like, he was just standing there, unable to move. I could see it happening. It had to oh be my so God. frustrating. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, oh, you can get me. How do I disable chat in this game? There should be no reason to have text in this game. <laughs> it was the chat. <laughs> oh, it's How so good. How did I actually good. pull that up? Oh, it's so good. I need to, I need to uninstall that. Hell Diver Devs, you listen to this? Uninstall like that. No one needs the chat, all right? No one's going to to each other. I love okay. texting. Alright, that, that stock is getting a number, huh? Yeah, this guy really doesn't like me. How does the stalker do no damage to you, Mouse? I don't understand how that's happening. I have no fucking idea. But I'm screaming as if it is. I think if you jump, turn around, you might be able to stop him from doing that, that combo he does. There's another one. Trying to lead them away, but I, I can't. I got nothing. <laughs> you got it. You got a mouse. Give him a smack. Give him a little smack. Trust. There you go. There you go. Okay, I put a shield to see if I can draw them away. It's on the other side. Yep. Go down. Jump across. No, mm. dive! You need to dive, mouse! Well. Fuck me. Not very democratic. It's not democratic to walk. That's I feel like the, the best strat you can Listen, have is by opening the chat. You know what? You open though. the chat in the game. <laughs> Doubled. Right? I don't want to hear it from you. This, right? <laughs> I don't want to hear it from you. It's a valid strat, you know? Got to communicate with your teammates. <laughs> Alright, 10 seconds and I'm up. No chat. No chat that this time. Fuck him. I, can't I, I have the SSSD out. hard drive. The triple S. Nice. I don't uh, know what we to have do to take it. that all the way to the final objective. <laughs> nice. Oh, no, 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 wait. no, no, it's not. No, no, I, wait. Uh, yeah, yeah, it is actually. I lied. Yeah, it is. What do I do I with it? run. Where am I running? You gotta go all the way to the final objective. I don't know if you know where that is on the map. I don't. There's so many things. Uh, how do I explain this? Um, the up arrow right at the end. I need to get rid of this stalker's nest, because I think, like, that is one of our biggest problems right now. Yeah? Okay, I'm going to try and run it to the extraction. All right, there we go. Now we're all happy, right? We're all happy. No more stalkers. No more I stalkers. really hate stalkers. Thank you. Well, we have no more nests now. All three nests are gone. So once you kill the remaining stalkers that are alive and spawned, uh, we should be good. Good. I'm running this box all the way to the up arrow where you told me to take it. Yep, that's correct. My chat is telling me that you're wrong. Wait, what? Uh, is that not right? Do you not normally do that? I'm supposed to take it to the computer icon and you've sent me halfway across the map, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm on my way. My, my true plan has been revealed. The, 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 Finally, no more mines. I can oh, finally I walk in peace. I can't believe Connor's a bug. It all makes sense. Okay, actually though, there are normally missions we have to do this, so I'm, I'm trolling, but yeah, okay, my bad. Come back. <laughs> it's all good. I'm on my way. Thankfully, I have scout armor, so like, <laughs> We're I'm all fast. Trying our best right now. So it's all democratic. Yeah, it's pretty good. A lot of democracy happening. It's good, guys. Ah. I oh, wish I could be injured so I could stim myself so I had full run. I hear a lot of bad in front of me. What What's going on over there, guys? Oh, this, uh... Ooh, I don't know how to describe this. <laughs> It's bad. I can see that. Um, I'm gonna go this way? Oh, I can't. Okay. Let's just, uh... Let's just hope. Whichever way you wanted to go, you cannot go that way. <laughs> Al? Well, my mines are doing work. Okay, where am I taking this thing? Now that I'm here. Uh, it says to put the SSD... Oh, the maybe there's a, there should something? be a tower, perhaps, actually. A tower. Somewhere? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Tower? Oh my god, oh my god. This? Yeah, like a, a oh, I did tower it. next to it. There should be a box you can put uh, I did it. it, I did it. It's in there. Nice, nice, nice. 
And then you need to go back okay. to the, uh, I think the terminal. Go to the term. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, I'm getting reamed by these charges! God, get off. Get off that thing. Did he just say... What? Oh, Wild Titan killed me. Fuck. Sorry, guys. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. We're trying our best. No, no. Stim, stim, stim. Oh. Mouse, you gotta bring me in. We gotta, we gotta get that cooldown going. This game has so many bugs. It's true. They're everywhere, as you can see. <laughs> oh my god. One of them just eviscerated me. Unfortunate. Someone should contact the devs. Yeah, uh, while you're out of devs, remove the chat feature. The yeah, devs, can you remove all of the bugs? Thanks. There's so <laughs> many of them, as you can see. It's overrun. Ah! Can't believe it's lazy devs, right? Yeah, insane. <laughs> whoa, whoa. How did you survive? Wait, did oh you survive? Oh my god! Oh no, you didn't. It changed the camera I to- did. Oh, wait, no, you did survive. What the hell? I'm a freaking warrior, baby! Marcus and baby, we're done. Did you do it? Are you we guys done? do it? The terminal to activate the wait, tower. No, no, no. There's, there's one last thing. There's one last- It's a puzzle. I know, I know, I know. I'm trying to- I got you it. Got it. You got it. Aim at me. Aim nice. at me. Nice. Nice. I got it, I got it, I got it. No, the vines! Cross! Oh, my God. Oh, we are so fucked, Connor. I have no stems. You have two stims. No, no, I don't. Do you know oh, yeah, you don't. Oh, is it showing my I own don't... corpse? Oh, wait, we're yeah. dead. Hmm. Uh, can you call a resupply in front of you? Like, throw it as far away in front of you as you can. <gasps> Just I'm... believe in democracy. Believe in the me that believes in you. You got this. Okay, nice, 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 nice. You got it, you got it. Grab him the stem right away. Oh! Huh? Oh. oh my god. <laughs> oh. Okay, okay, guys. Um, they have no slots. mines next run, actually. They have no <laughs> mines. I feel like... I feel like the mines were not as impactful as chat. <laughs> That was definitely impactful. I think the seven deaths I had to the mines, though, were definitely a Why are you... two of the success. Have you tried uninstalling Mine Magnet? That that might help you. I think I... getting rid of that. <laughs> now, I you know I don't I don't <laughs> I don't harass game devs unless they put the mines physically in my game and they join my lobby and they put mines when I have no lives left. <laughs> <laughs> How many deaths did you do? How many, how many accidental, huh? <laughs> Four accidentals. All of them were me! I think they were all you, yeah. Aboard, it's amazing how, <laughs> how Mouse doesn't get hit the by the mines. I wonder, yeah. what could be causing it? Mouse that? is a traitor for democracy. I'm trying to what, do these objectives. What could be causing I'm not a traitor. What, what are you talking about? It's called, I look at the floor. I, listen, I jumped from a bile titan. I didn't have the luxury of looking at the floor. Did you I did mean, you remember to equip eyes? You know, I mean that's part of your loadout. You should have that. <laughs> you know when you jump. You know when you jump away from I was a bile one, titan. You I'm can you can choose away. the direction and where you jump. You know that, right? Yeah, yeah, I know. But the problem is that I don't have the luxury of looking where I'm jumping. That's that. That's that. That's the problem. Mm, mm. Oh yeah. Ballistic shield backpack. What is the what is the shield backpack you guys use? What's that one called? Cause it's not the ballistic one. Uh, it's the shield generator back yeah, pack. Yeah. You get it at level twenty. Oh, I Very good. It's so it's good. It's so good. It's probably the single most useful thing in the game. I think the cool. five hundred kilogram bomb was pretty sick. That actually worked out really well for certain stuff. Uh, yeah. I mean, it it pretty consistently kills. Uh. The bio titans. The, the bile titans. Yeah. yeah. And and also on the bots, it kills them pretty consistently too. Speaking of bots, let's try it. Yeah, oh let's do it. God. Let's get to the creek. The bots. 
The autocannon's amazing. I actually have the autocannon sentry as well. If we're doing bots, I'm going to do rocket sentry, autocannon sentry. Let's see if we can do, like, a defense mission. Uh, yep, yeah, that's what we're going to do first. I like defense missions a lot. Like, just sit on a point, make a bunch of turrets. And They're then I can the, use mods. the easiest to farm pretty much everything with. Um, we're going to the creek. The creek is notorious, because this is where real men have forged. Real democracy is spread. Hmm. Oh my God. None of that tied democracy. Real stuff, you know. I love that it has this giant counter on your screen that forces you to pay attention to me. That's true. <laughs> it does, actually. It's enormous. Look at it. It's so oh. big and obtrusive. I hate the there are no bugs now. So I honestly, you know, if I were to say, mine's probably not even like, a, a factor, really. Hey, where do you think we should draw? Mostly. We have all these options, you know? <laughs> Okay, I really liked the shield generator. I really like these. Yeah. Yeah, shield generator seems to be insane, even for bugs, like the Tyranids, they're running directly into it. And then they just kind of sit there in a cluster inside, attacking. Help but, uh, but notice, Thor, you're running some mines there. <laughs> I, I might be running a few mines. Right. I mean, it is a defense mission, so... Thankfully, I won't be putting them in the base. They'll be outside the base, where you shouldn't okay. be. <laughs> but if you manage to hit the mines now, then I, I don't know what I would do. Okay, Mostly just, if I hit them now, it's my own fault. At, at this point, I'd probably just point and laugh. Frankly, is it? That's the only move I have. I'm gonna spend most of my time running around trying to get the, uh, because there are actually, I think, 10 or 15 samples on this that are very easy to pick up. So, so you're saying I should put the, the mines near those to secure them? Alright, understood. Uh, well, I, um. There's a lot of things that I would do. Hmm. I don't know if I. Uh, uh, the cooldown's long on those mines. Honestly, you might want to save them right till the end. How about that? <laughs> it's a really long call. I wouldn't want you to waste it, you know? <laughs> Ow, I just broke my ankles. Christ. You didn't need them. Holding you back. Yeah, you're true. Real democracy can be spread without ankles. Oh Putting a lot of mines down? Samples. They're normally down at the lower levels where all the enemies are, but they... Are they, are they, are they like a six pack of beer? What the heck? I put a lot of mines down there. Requesting fortifications! Hmm. Oh. Ah, bubbles. My favorite. So I've got a big bubble here. Oh. The big problem? Big bubble. The, these uh, these robots are deforesting. Oh. They're literally not hitting anything. They're just going for trees. What what is up with that? I have I no idea. It. A lot of cannons going on out here. Um, hey, mortar those mines are, doing are extremely OP on this level because uh, mortars Notice. just absolutely decimate the robots. Ah. ah, instead of uh, picking up the supplies, I emote it. That's... That's interesting, it's, though. It's always good that. to salute as you die. Increases <laughs> democracy, <laughs> you know? Uh, can somebody recall me, please? Right. I got you, I got you. Me, 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 me. Oh. oh, I just missed that guy. Jesus. Those things are horrifying. Oh, boy. Oh, God. Sorry, I died again. The flamethrower guy spewed on me. Shit. Oh, I'm trying to get that little... A little democracy. Ooh. 
Pull me in, that'd be great. Hey, we did it. Yay! Where do we extract? Bring me in. Bring me in. Please, somebody. Somebody, I want to get out of here. Oh, any of you guys? Mouse? Oh, God. Oh, God. I got you. So I don't have really good guns for these robots. Uh, the breaker is actually the best gun for them. It doesn't feel like it does anything. Uh, you have to hit them in the head, which makes it very frustrating to yeah. hit them with. Oh my god, the flamethrower guys! Oh, I died again. Fuck hey me. guys, I cleared the mines for you. With my body. You land on your own mines, is that why? With my body, yeah. Oh, nice, yeah, yeah. That's oh. good. I, I, I've been using that strategy all night. It's a pretty good strat. Um, I don't know where I am, but I'm sure. Oh, here it we does go. Clear them out. Like I, I can't argue it doesn't do that. Okay, I've escaped. Oh my! Oh my God! I'm. My samples. I did it. Well. I define it. Uh, I escaped. You're a in a field, in a field of mines. Democracy. I ensured democracy would live on, despite my companions falling on the battlefield. I fail to see how democracy is being spread this way, though. Hey, this is this you is my moment. I'm a hero, it. all right. Let me, you know. <laughs> <laughs> hero. Hero to all those young kids who aspire one day to break the Geneva Convention it's and true. commit their very own war crimes. That's yeah, exactly. See, now it's even more inspiring. Look at that. that. When I develop a game, I'm putting the Red Cross in it just to spite them. I don't think it's a good idea. They'll come after you, actually. <laughs> Unironically. What are they gonna they do? Sue me? Yeah, just... Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they're very, they're very willing to do that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna upload it on a second PC. <laughs> it's actually <laughs> that's true. It's actually wild how many people have, like, had to take that out of games. It's crazy. I'm, I'm impressed that they're so committed to it. I think I would have given up a long time ago. Like, guys, is it really that big of a deal? It's a red hey, cross. Kids can I got it. zero like, <laughs> accidentals on that one. Wow. <laughs> yeah, because I think killing yourself doesn't count. It's true. It's true. Just efficient. It gets the job done. I had to clear the mines, guys. Okay, what is this armor? Engineering. More grenade. I think there was a new grenade I can get on the next page. I mean, you spend 16 more medals. Yeah. God, I, I can unlock this sniper, but everyone told me it's trash. So I'm just sad because I'm going to unlock it and it's going to be ass. Tesla Tower, huh? Hmm. It's mm. crazy how everything mm. that I thought sounded lame as fuck, you're going through it and you're like, this sounds awesome. And I was like, that sounds awful. <laughs> I mean, it looks cool as shit. <laughs> it does. It does look cool. And then my chat told me they were like, actually, it's just a, it's just a team killing device. <laughs> it's just oh. Well, then I'm definitely in. It's literally all it does, apparently. <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't think you should have said it like that to him. Yeah, I, now I guess I should have said it. it. He's making the perfect team killing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I don't think it's team killing. All right, I think it's I think it's making sure that the team pays attention. It's a good hmm. idea. Okay, let, okay. <laughs> I could pay attention on my exams as as a kid. I don't need mines around my desk. I believe. I, don't think that I believe in you. I brought a shield as well. Okay. Nice. All right. Yeah, I was a big fan of Command and Conquer. Got to bring the Tesla Tower. It's true. <laughs> great game. It's great. Uh, game. I don't think the um, 
the design of the towers and whatnot is exactly the same. Are they really? I hope they zap everything. I, if, if I die to that tower once, I'm, 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 I'm having a mental breakdown. <laughs> so, throw the tower at your feet. Got it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Holy shit. Can somebody bring me back in? That was fast. I put Bro. a bunch of stuff down. Holy shit. Did they really just throw on me? That is so unfair. I killed one wow, of them. Wow, that was fast. Uh, they literally all dropped on me from a ship while I was getting my supplies. Can you can you call me in, please? please? You know, I called you in. Could you call oh, me? God. Got you. Uh. <laughs> How did you die there? Bruh. Uh. There's so many of them. What the hell is my shit? The robots. I swear to God, I swear to God. All right, I got you guys. We're good. Hey. That is a tank. Oh. That is a tank. We gotta get out of here. Look at all, look at all the, all the landmines. Oh God. Ow, ow. Wow, robots kill you fast, man. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. They kill you real fast. Holy shit. Ooh. Give me up. Okay, hold on. What is that? Are you bombing oh, them? Oh, oh my. yeah. Are you dropping my, me after the bomb lands? My lord. Yes, please. If the tank lived, okay, my hope was if the tank lived, you'd finish it, but it, 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 it died. Okay. A successful use of the bomb, if I do so myself. Yeah, pretty good. Ah, yes, the mines everywhere. Oh, the mines goodness. are doing work right now. See? Oh, my. Reinforcing! Uh, oh. Yes, the mines are doing work, it would seem. I think we have killed actually more of us with the mines than them. Not at all. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm stuck inside of a body. What's what's it's happening probably here? Probably mine. Ah! ah, another mine. I need more armor penetrating rounds. Ah, uh, the game doesn't give them to us. You have to either shoot the head or just explode everything. It's very frustrating. The robots just don't break to these. The anti-material round was really good for this. Like, really, really good for this. Anti-material rifle, rather. I've done 19 missions and I didn't even know that existed. What's up? Oh god, that's another mine. Oh, the robots are better than me and not going into them. Reinforcing? Oh You're coming back in. <laughs> Holy shit. I don't even know what just happened there, but that sucked. My bones fell out. Ah. Yes, the rockets. My favorite. These are killing me super fast, man. I got something done. <laughs> I think robots are dramatically, dramatically harder to kill. Oh, oh there's some throw grenades too, by the way. Yeah, I've noticed. Yeah, some people were complaining it wasn't hot enough, so they added grenades. <laughs> 
Those people are monsters. <laughs> I'm kidding. It, it, oh, a tank just dropped. That's on me. Wow, of this stage, I think it's on top of me. That tank's donezo. I potted him. Ah, uh, mines. I just saw a bunch of mines. <laughs> I just destroyed that tank in one hit. No, or not. <laughs> How did that tank not die from a, a pod hit directly? Uh, I think it's like a Bile Titan, so it has like, I think it takes two hits. Calling down fortification. Got a second one hitting it. That <laughs> tank's going down. Brushed it. Or oh my not. Gosh. <laughs> two direct hits. Reinforcing. Ah. This is very concerning. You see, I wanted to do the objective, but it seems like there's a minefield on it. I want oh, to kill this yeah, tank, yeah, but it just yeah, won't die. die. <laughs> hey, that tank isn't going to die. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what we're supposed to do with that, that tank, man. I hit it like four times with pods. 500 kilogram. Pretty good use. It's pretty much the only thing that kills it is a 500 kilogram. All right, let's get out of here. Are you going to use grenades on the vent is what they're saying. Also, it's off. nuke to the face. <laughs> yeah, nuking it from orbit seems easier. Oh, no, certainly. I think Mouse is imploding. Oh my god! Oh. God, it's like even the basic, like mid tier enemies with the rockets are just so strong. Oh my uh, god. Mouse, can you call me in? That'd be great. Or oh, someone. Anyone? Oh yeah, you, 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 you want me to call you yes. in? Yes, please. Did you do it? Yeah, I did it. Nice. Please oh, land on that large man. Uh, yep, he's dead. Robots are terrifying. The guy who was Gatling gunning someone, he's, he's dead. Oh. 110 millimeter rocket pods insta kill tanks and hulks. I'm gonna have to bring those next time. 110 millimeter what? Rocket pods. It's another one of the call downs. Whoa! And it's like a shorter one than the 500 How? kilogram. How? I died to a mine. <laughs> where, are the, where are you even at? There are mines. How is that even possible? I was going to the other objective area. Oh God! I spawned on the near the tank. Uh oh. I'm on my oh. way to the objective. Me too. I'm gonna aggro them. Please just do the thing. I'm on my way. Objective critical stratagem available. Requesting air support. What the? What are we supposed to do here? Oh. Calling down objective equipment. Seismic probe so is coming out. Crater and call in a probe. Yeah, I'm doing it now. Reinforcing you. Tesla Tower's coming out. No! Oh, the tank! Oh, jeez. Well, I did aggro him, at least. The Tesla Tower looks cool as hell, but I don't know how effective it is. You seem to have to, like, put it behind cover so they walk into its path. Yeah. It's kind of useful, but you have to have walls yeah, yeah. and stuff. One, situation. One mass, and you'll be done. Uh -oh. oh, gosh, I'm dead. Well, they seem to be going towards it, but it seems like they also kill it pretty easily. Careful, Mouse. Don't run, don't run into that tower. I'm not, I'm not. Uh, okay. 
I think uh, if you are able to at any point, literally the last objective you need is to uh, go to that device and press like go. Oh my god. Oh, that's scary watching the POV. Stem, stem. Warning, you are leaving the mission area. Oh my god. 30 seconds, 30 seconds, thumb up. I'm trying to get back into the damn area. Uh, I mean, you're gonna have to get them out first. I think you have to, like, do a run around. I'm trying to do. Never mind. All right, you can recall me. You can call me in. Or you can call me in. Yep. Oh, nice, nice. Shit. Sorry, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't uh, oh. spam unless it was important. Oh god! Oh god! Ah. Ah, yes, yes, this is great. I love landing in the middle of all the rocket enemies. Oh, God. I died. No. Be alive. I, I, I dropped in the fucking rocket, dudes. Oh, my God, they're oh, sniping man. the shit out of me. Oh. They're just too good at sniping. Like, it's ridiculous, actually. Yeah, we're on, like, a two difficulty lower as well than the bugs. This is the AI future we were all afraid of. It's too late. The robots. Wait. Am I out of combat? Did I escape? I think oh, I did. Be. You still need to go back and uh, click the thing once, and then you can go to the next objective, though. Yeah, but I can. Oh, gee. What is that? They just arrived. Did you ah. see that? Oh, that was a cyberpunk exist. spawn. Yeah, that was a cyberpunk spawn. Cop suddenly teleporting inside of my body. Ridiculous. Alright, 20 seconds, you bring mouse in. Yep. I'm trying to oh God. trying to survive. I don't have any more stims. I got nothing, man. Ten seconds, ten seconds. Get ready, mass. Ready, ready. Calling down a sentry. Alright, go, go. Calling in Got you. Nice. Just another two minutes before I can die again. I believe. Preferably to mine. My tots and pears are with you. Thank you, Chet. Thank you. Okay. I do love tots. I need a resupply real bad. I got two clips of shotgun and that's it. Uh, are, you, are you near the objective mouse? I'm on my way. Ooh, just one little touch of that panel and it's good to go. I'm gonna try my hardest to touch it. Oh, if you have uh, the shield, don't get to call in for yourself. I'm on my way to touch it. Nice. He's gonna cook it. Sample collected. Just <laughs> a uh, dramatic pass. Don't Man. run into the into the mines. Like Where is bullet. it? Where's the thing? Oh, is it this? Yeah. It's uh, this thing. Go up to the panel, touch and press oh, up, and it should be done. Me. Done. All right, nice. And then you can leave now. You can leave. Yeah, there you go. Right. Democracy. Last, last thing you can do is go to the final area. Democracy. Get that oil running. Hey, thank you for the twenty dollars to the mods. You the guys are. Final area. Oh. Ah. Amazing. Yes, that is the um. How do we say this? Uh, bullshit enemy who shoots rockets. Oh, you can shoot that hellbomb mask behind you. Well, uh, no, I don't have time. It would kill all of them instantly. Survive, oh, survive. They just survive. Did that to you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. Whoa. Honor, I Physics. swear to God. Physics. We love physics. 
That's why we use the hell bomb. Uh, it actually is a hell boost. We call it. That's true. I don't even question. know what happened How there, but it was amazing. You told me to turn around and do something, and I died. Like once, Max. Oh, that is a. <laughs> you got new friends. Uh, you can bring me in. Hold on. Nope. Never mind. Did Never listen to the man the that always died. I'm alive. Oh no, on the mines! This just is cool. Just be careful, just don't fall in the mines. Okay, um, right here. So I got you right when I died. Yeah, that was impressive. Tech back inbound. Calling down a support weapon. Why don't you go get that hell bomb now? It's gone. Oh. People in my chat are saying that people are using Stream Deck for inputting stratagems. <laughs> yeah, but that's true. lame. That is I, super I need lame. The, Type of dude. I need, the, I need the tears, the blood, the sweat. That's that is me. lame. You gotta, you gotta type them, dude. You gotta. It's part Nothing, of it. Not, you gotta feel earned when you DDR. One hundred percent agree. I feel like the whole point of this game is that. You scream, try to do DDR, and you fail. Spot outpost spotted. Raise your naga. <laughs> Don't tell him shit. Sending in an eagle. I may be dead. But democracy lives on. Hey, man. Well, you come back in 10 seconds, so don't, don't get comfortable with dying. I'm ready. Nah, no, I, I, I have not programmed my Naga for stratagems. I have... I have all my V2B shit on my Naga. I found that the, the arc thing is awful, by the way. I'm not gonna, yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna use it. That. Like, I, I thought it would be cool. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, robots, electricity, like, this will totally be cool. No, it's hey, awful. Hey, I'll, I'll, never, I'll never beat you down for one of the try. But the mines now, are great. But if you do it I two love the times mines. in a row, then I'll, then I'll complain. <laughs> yeah, that's the yump. The yump is not on the Naga. Okay, where are we? Where are we? Where are we doing this thing? Where are we drilling for oil? Where is it? No, no mines! Don't do that here! No, this is the objective, Thor. I know. <laughs> no! Oh, we're gonna not <laughs> no, no, we He's can't do the hit. objective, Thor. We can do the objective now. It's Control. all lit up. You can okay, see you go everything. Do it. You go do it. I'm not doing it. Where is you it? You get in there. All right. Find out. Oh, I'm <laughs> dead. No, if only there was not I don't know, a minefield right there. <laughs> Maybe I can do it. I believe. Just go between the mines, you know. All right, play that, play that one song from uh, Ocean's 12 when he goes between the lasers. I believe in you. You can do this. I can't even climb up here. Go around. See? Just go between the mines. Between the mines. Oh. Now you've just created fire. Now you have a problem. See, these are napalm mines. Yeah. Oh my god. Where there you is go. it? There you go. There you go. You're doing it. You're doing great. You're doing it. That's a bad idea. Those mines are going to go off now. That's why I'm trying to run away, but you put more mines here! You can, uh, you can bring me back now if you like. Reinforcing. Oh, look at that! Oh, great! This is awesome! I'd love to use this. That's a great idea. The fire oh, is really in the me. way of the iPad, actually. Oh, no! Look, the mines are saving you now. Look at that. Oh. I got killed by a mine. 
I don't know how, though. I know what? how. <laughs> this you thing know. has run into every single mine and hasn't died, Thor. I'm trying to... The best. He's luring you to a false sense of security. What That's what it is. See, look, he's dead now. All of the enemies have ignored your minds. <laughs> hey, look at that. Oh, and this... Oh. <laughs> Wait, that's another tower! Go on, we're racing! I think we did great. Oh, the enemies walked into that one. Good job, everyone. Great hustle. <laughs> that was I great. I can't do this anymore, man. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> You're a communist! Oh. You don't like democracy! <laughs> democracy. <laughs> democracy won today. It's true. No. <laughs> wow. My oh. god! <laughs> hey, I got the most number of kills. What happened there? <laughs> Because I was dead most of the time, because you killed me five times, Thor. You shots fired, shots times. hit. You know? Accidentals also got number one in that I, one. I didn't have time to shoot. What's I happened? was dying to your mind. What's happening? You, you really know how to keep somebody on their toes. It's true. Well, office toes, actually. You didn't have toes. <laughs> Not after I was done. I can't oh, do any more of this. Toes is gone. I can't, Super I can't, Earth I needs I you. can't do this anymore. Super Earth needs you. You would have turned your back on Super Earth. Oh, look, I've been promoted to Master Sergeant for my valor. Nice. <laughs> I'm demoting you on the spot. You're a cadet. Uh, what can we get for this? Uh, I am going to go uh, and... Because uh, I got I have to do a sponsored stream in like two hours. So I'm probably going to start getting ready and boot up my stream. Fair. And do some, uh, some stuff. Okay. So I'll leave you guys to your democracy. Oh, I think this is going to be my ulti because I've been live for almost 12 hours. Well, I mean, <laughs> I'm going to go on in a second. So you, if you want to ping pong them to me, I could, I'm go, not, I'm not I could go back to making video games. We could we could end <laughs> it for now. <laughs> I yeah, suggest yeah. you don't have mines or Tesla towers or anything in your game, though. We'll do you do think this there's again a, soon. What is the other fourth worst thing you think is in the game? Is it mortar sentries? <laughs> I could add mortar sentries. <laughs> I think uh, I, you'll figure it out. I, you'll find the full thing the next time we play. I have no doubt about it. I feel no like it's going to be mortar sentries. Yeah. I, I, God. Oh, God. Good use. <laughs> it was very fun playing together, though. It's a good time. Yeah, I had a great I've never time. Had I did too. Control teammates in my life. I think you did a great <laughs> job today. <laughs> oh, my God. We did a great You job. were out there sweeping mines all day, man. Proud of you. <laughs> Keeping the other hell divers safe. My sponsor's gonna be like, why is he pissed off this entire stream? <laughs> we should <laughs> we want a refund. He's angry. <laughs> he's, why is he so we mad? actually just don't want that. This guy's a brand risk. He he's talking about Geneva conventions and war crimes. We're just trying to promote <laughs> um, Candy Crush. I don't know. It's not my sponsor, by the way. Mm. Well, I had a great time. Thank you for playing with us, Thor. That was fun. That I was did fun, too. Though. I, I, yeah, it was a lot of rage fun. aside, it was very fun. I hope I hope you got many clips out of my anger. I did. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm right, sure well, the I'm goblins are I'm happy then. But no, I had a good time. We should definitely do this again. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, let's play again soon. <laughs> Maybe next time I'll have something unlocked other than mines, too. That might help. <laughs> yes, please. Like more please. mines. I'm excited. That's true. That's true. We could have even more. <laughs> all right, all right. I'll, I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay. Right, see you. Right. Bye. Bye. I had a great time. Thank you. I did too. Playing. Yeah. yeah. I'll see you around. Yeah. Okay, bye. Bye. Hell yeah. All right. I'm going to get stuff set up. We're going to get back to making video games. That was a lot of fun. That was a fun session. I dug that a lot. Whoop. Boop. Boop. Thor's an honorary VTuber? I don't think that's how that works, man.
So we have a serious problem here. And I have a great deal of concern about it. I can't do TTS. Whoop. Okay, everything's working. Okay, so I have a serious problem. Uh, we can't do TTS. At all. It is showing me this horrific thing. Yeah. I can't do TTS. That doesn't work. So... That sucks. I didn't do anything. They updated from alpha to beta. And now I can't actually connect speaker bot to it. Yeah, the music's... It's going. It's actually just a heartbound OST music right now. Yeah, so I don't know what to do. Um, I'm going to go let them know. Because this is not great. We're gonna connect, connect to Google PPS. Yeah, yeah some super wrong here. I'm gonna see if I can get it to force update again. Is it possible to downgrade the version? I don't know. Check for updates. There's no new version. Yeah, because when I try to connect this Google Cloud TTS. Google Voice Key. Fatal UI exception encountered. Visit StreamerBot's Discord server. Put in support for your issue. Nothing is found. In a new thread. Also be prepared to send your log files for review. Yeah, they want the logs. One sec. Tools. SpeakerBot. Logs. Excuse me. I just sent them over the logs. Something's real broke. Yeah, if you guys want to donate to me right now, do it to pally.gg. 100% um, of that will go to the moderators. And then I just won't get anything today. That's fine. I will be paid in your ad revenue. Yeah, it still says Helldivers. I gotta change it. I'm switching it over right now. Don't worry. It's, it's being fixed. I have to go switch it over on YouTube as well. That was a lot of fun, though. I had a blast, man. Most of that blast was centered around Sea Dog. So there was that. But I still had a blast. You know. <laughs> uh, he did. Kind of got democratized, that's true. How did you like the game? Loved it. Really, really loved it. Better than Pineapple, for sure. See, this is a running gag. Game Dev QA. Let's go pull this up. Go make games. So you're gonna figure out what's going on here. Looks like it needs to enable billing? Wait, what? Switch accounts. Select. Continue. Okay, this might actually fix it. We might actually have this fixed. It may have been a billing issue. You know, because of 
Google. Oh, it worked. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, it was a billing issue. It was a billing issue. Google TTS is ridiculously cheap, though, so this is fine. Yeah, it had locked me out of billing for whatever reason. I don't really know why. All right. We can get back into the queue. I don't know how many there are. Oh, God, there's a lot of them. It's a lot of them. Let's see. And Olga with 500 bits said, Hello, Janus. What are your what? thoughts on the very big disk? Seems to me like a fantastic future tool for archivists and hoarders. The very big disc. Who made you this? God damn it, dude. Yeah, the debt is enormous. We're gonna we're gonna burn it. I'm burning the debt. X Dovos with 500 bits said, "What is a good way to find tutorials or how tos for more complex game mechanic setups when the existing YT tutorials aren't providing a good answer for the current problem?" So generally, what I do is I try to think of how can I use all the different puzzle pieces together in a way that makes that kind of shit right. It's easy to get caught in the trap of, like, I need to do this perfectly, but sometimes we can't do it perfectly, and that's okay. Like, it's completely okay, right? So, I'll form a project, whatever I want to do. I'll move forward until I get stuck, and I'm going to get stuck, right? And when I do get stuck, I'm going to go and do the documentation and be like, hey, are there any components here that could possibly make the thing I'm trying to make? Sometimes that doesn't work, right? And you go, oh, well, shit, that's not going to help me. So then you go to a tutorial, which is kind of where you're at now. Did you refer to the documentation first? Have you not found the right tutorial? Because here's the thing. Tutorials largely won't give you exactly what you need. They'll give you components so you can put those together so you might be able to move forward. And once you find the tutorial that gives you the right components, then you can move forward until you get stuck again. It's kind of how the idea goes. The whole point of this loop here is to get you unstuck, not to teach you everything about the feature. And to be real, your solutions in the beginning aren't going to be good. So my solutions aren't good. You go back and you're like, why did I, why did I do that? Why did I do that? And then you push it to prod on a Friday night, and that's perfect, right? Everybody loves that. Everybody loves that. If it's Godot, honestly, the documentation I feel needs some slight improvement. Godot's in, uh, documentation is really, really good. It just rapidly becomes out of date as people are working on that stuff. I think that's one of the most difficult things about it. Is like, Godot has so much forward momentum, so because of that, documentation is going to go out of date really quick. They're really good too. Yeah. Push to broad on a Friday? Yes, it is. That's the good time. That's when you know you're spreading democracy. Evangeline with $5 said your favorite Aurora is back after a rough week. I was mm. curious since I've not seen it talked about. How easy is it to get into mobile hotspot Wi-Fi? Depends. Depends on the scenario. But to be real with you, Wi-Fi is kind of a meme. And, and here's the reason why. This is a simple one. How many of you guys have ever gone to a place and you see a Wi-Fi connection and it's like, oh, guest Wi-Fi, right? And then maybe you're at, I don't know, a Starbucks and it says guest Wi-Fi is available there. And then you connect to it because they said guest Wi-Fi is available there and it's named Starbucks Guest, right? And you're like, wow, that's totally fine. And it connects you to the internet and everything's fine and it uses the exact password that they said it was going to use. Well, there's no guarantee that it's actually the network that you think it is. See... I have this thing called a pineapple, Wi-Fi pineapple. It connects to that network and then replicates it and suppresses it. So now you're actually connecting to me and I'm connecting to there and I see everything that you do. Never, never do any kind of critical browsing on a PVP enabled network. Don't. Yeah. Hack 5 stuff is great, dude. In fact, I watched a video recently where somebody turned a Flipper Zero into a Hack 5. They turned one of these in, or into a, a Wi-Fi pineapple. They turned it into a pineapple. And I was like, that's hilarious shit. That's hilarious shit. What do you define as critical browsing? Are you logging into your social media accounts or your bank? Right? Basic shit. Are you logging into, like, bullshit you don't care about? Fine. Are you using the same password on bullshit you don't care about on your critical accounts? Not fine. Stop doing that. Use different shit. Thank you for the $77.77 of the mods. Holy shit, dude. That is outrageous. Kurosaki with 500 bits said, Ya, cheer 500, hey Thor. Hope things are going well with the new ferrets. We launched our first game on Steam on the 16th and the amount of scam emails have been tiring. I remember you talking about one good place to offer keys through, but I can remember the name or find the VOD where you mentioned it. 
Kimi. What was it called? Our game is Abyssal Frontier. It's the Eldritch Horror VN with the hidden dating sim mode. So, key mailer is probably the best place I've ever found for developers to actually pass out their keys, and the reason why is this. When I first released my game on key mailer, we actually found one of those keys for sale on G2A. We contacted the owner of key mailer and we said, hey, the only place we've been putting out keys is on your website. And he said, that's not okay. He went and bought the key, found out who had actually gotten the key through his website, and banned them from the service, and then gave the key back to us, so we burned the key. Insane. Next level support. Incredible, honestly. Didn't need to do any of that shit. He was totally out the $10 to buy that key. Awesome. Incredible. And I, I just kept using their service as a result. And it's paid dividends, right? Yeah. What is this? Tortoise TTS is local TTS where you train your custom voice. Runs lives locally, so you're not tied to any TTS service. It's completely free to use. Hmm, I'm going to have to look into that. Thank you, Eureka. Thank you very much. Yo collabed up T with 500 bits said hi Thor, so I've been wondering about Skelepathy, is Wolverine completely immune to Skelepathy because of the coating of adamantium over his entire skeletal structure? Or he is hypersensitive because the adamantium acts like an antenna? I have not gotten many nights sleep because of this. It actually makes him stronger, that's right. See, skele Skelepathy can go through any material, you can reach all the way in there, right? So it goes right through the adamantium. When he finally dies, which he will eventually. That healing factor will fail him. That skeleton is going to be the most powerful warrior in the skeleton war, and I'm terrified for that day. Terrified. Truly horrifying. It'll be able to command whole armies with its intense skelepathy that it is trained, basically just wearing weights the whole time, right? Finally, the flesh is removed. The skeleton revealed. Wolverine becomes the most powerful Skelepathic thing in the universe. T-800, yes. What if he wears a tin hat? A tin foil hat? Won't protect you. That only protects you from the government and their birds. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't work. We're about to get Bezos, by the way. And during that, I'm gonna go get water. Beer B.
I have returned. I have returned. Alright. More TTS. I gotta burn this cube. Frito man. Bandito 58 with 500 bits said, Hey Thor. Underpaid Hi. SWE from a while back. Learning more backend to diversify, found boot.dev. It's a gamified self guided boot camp focused on backend concepts. The quests, leveling up, and iBear named boots help me stay attached. How do you stay motivated to learn after a long day of work? Much love again. If you're having trouble staying motivated to learn after a long day of work, honestly, come home, do a one-hour nap, or do a shower. Once you do this, you actually can change the way that you feel about the rest of the day because it's a new day. Right? Not really a new day, but a new day. And what you've done is you've created a whole new day inside of your day. You get two days at once. Then when you go to bed for real, you wake up and you go back to your work every day, right? This allows you to have that barrier between the two projects, and it makes life a lot easier, so I definitely would do that. Also, thank you for those 10 gifted subs. That is outrageous. It's incredibly nice of you. Yeah, shower is the way to do it, man. Yeah, it's a reset. You need a reset between your two stuff. Yeah, shower is overpowered for it, for sure. More days in one day. What, did you not know how I get all this work done? I just have more days in my day, dude. Just have extra days. Just generate another day. Yeah. Take a one-hour nap in the shower. I don't know if that's a good idea. I don't know if that's a good idea. Yeah. You shower every day? No. No, I don't. You know how I handle mine? I used to do it with a shower. I used to I used to have like a one like one hour nap or have a shower like that. I don't do that anymore. You know what I do? I turn these lights off. When these lights go off, that means I'm not on stream anymore. It means I'm working very, very hard. And I turn my music on, I turn my lights off, I change my environment, and I go back into heavy work mode. As long as these lights are on, I'm in stream mode. As long as those lights are off, I'm programming and my brain is gone. Only in there. Yep. Have love yourself, dude. Have love yourself. I wish it worked that way to me. For me, it will. You have to train yourself to do it. To be real with you, a, a lot of doing this stuff is training yourself to certain stimuli. It's training yourself to react that way. You condition yourself. Exactly. I've conditioned myself to react in certain ways under certain circumstances so I can get my work done. And I do that all the time. It's 100% Pavloving yourself. It is. You ring the bell, I do the code. That's, that's how it works, right? I'm salivating already. Fantastic. Well done. <laughs> yeah. You have to reframe your bet. You, you do. You train yourself like you would a dog. You know, this is work time. I do work here. When I sit in this spot, working is happening, right? And that's when I hear this sound, I sit. You know, it's the same. It's exactly the same. 100% the same. What are you coding? Well, right now we're actually going through questions, but I got a whole bunch of stuff done today, which is good. I got a whole bunch of stuff done today. So let's do Game Maker Studio. I got out the entire Mothman. The entire Mothman event. Which is exciting. I hope you guys like it, by the way. Almost 300%. I can't do it until the house is resolved. Which it should be resolved on the 8th. Actually, let me make sure that there's no emails that I have to handle right now. Oh, my signature is requested on something. I did it. I did it, chat. Signature done. What made you start coding? I... This is going to sound really weird. How many of you guys are 3D modelers? How many of you guys do 3D modeling? For 3D modelers, when they start doing stuff, have you ever looked at a lamp post and you go, I know how many polygons are in that. I know how many vertices that is. Ever see that before? You're walking around in real life and you get that? As a programmer, you know what I got? When I looked at a bird, I was like, I could make that bird work. 
It's exactly the same. It's exactly the same. Little bit of a god complex. Exactly the same, though. Yeah. Yeah, I could make a bird work. Oh, it's all coming down to the wire, man. My fear is enormous. Send your Thor, it's time. What? What is this emote? Dear God. Fear. How much RAM does a bird need? All of it. Every bit of it. I have a deep and horrifying fear. My fear is large. Just bought 11 chicks on Monday, racing chicks for the first time. Nice, dude. Hell yeah. Alright, I'm gonna t pin the TTS. I'm gonna set that manual. There we go. Let's start hitting this. Meany Harson with Ron25.00 said I saw you adjusted the price of games based on country. Imma Short, is it worth doing this for smaller countries than Brazil, like Romania or Bulgaria? Is it worth doing for smaller countries like than Brazil, like Romania or Bulgaria? Yes. Anytime you make a game more accessible, you do two things, right? So let's say that we're dealing with price, and we're making sure that price makes sense for that region. You said, you know, this works for Brazil, but does it work for Romania and Bulgaria? Yes, absolutely. And the reason why is this. You can either make the price affordable, or people are going to pirate your game. Do you want to make some money, or no money? That's... That's the whole thing. Do you want to make some money? Or none? Because that's exactly how that works. If you don't make your game affordable and available to people, they will pirate it. It's not them being jerks. It's an issue of economics. It costs too much, or they can't get it because it's a distribution issue. It's a service issue. Piracy is generally a service issue. Outside of that, there's very few people that just pirate to be jerks. They do it out of desperation. They're not able to get your game, so they pirate it instead. This is largely why people in Brazil pirate games, because the purchasing power of, of people in Brazil is very low. Same thing's going to go for Romania, same thing's going to go for Bulgaria. Make sure that your game is affordable for people there. And the way that you do this is you need to determine exactly how much expendable, disposable income that those people have. Disposable income is the important thing. Stuff they don't use for basic subsistence. Stuff they don't use for housing and food and water. You're looking at their entertainment fund. Whatever's left over that they use for entertainment on a monthly basis. So the best thing you can do, talk to people in that region. Ask them. See what they do. See how much they have left over and make sure the price makes sense to everybody that you talk to. And if it doesn't, then you got some work to do, you know? Yeah, AAA games are insanely expensive in a lot of these countries. Makes no sense.
Steam calcs all that for you? Mm, Steam does an okay job, Kiana. Steam does an okay job. It doesn't do a perfect job. It tries its best. There's a lot of games that, like a lot of prices that just don't make a huge amount of sense. Um, we had to do our prices manually in Brazil as a result because it was, like, when you actually calculate it out, it's something like 30% less in Brazil based on USD, but it was something like two times the normal price of an indie game in Brazil. So, like, we had to do it manually. A lot of that shit has to be done manually. You've got to look into it. Emmanuel Vega with $5 said good morning Thor. Good Had morning. to put a pause on my GDD because my PC sometimes crashes. No! What I'm doing is coming up with ideas for creatures for the game. That's awesome. I want to see your creature ideas. You can change your game's prices by the country? Yeah, here. Here. Uh, Heartbound. Whoop. Hey, look, it's Harpound. Here's all the prices by region. Dun -dun. So yeah, you can change each one of these manually if you like, or you can let Steam handle it for you. Either way it works. Price of Harpound is really good, by the way. Thank you. Yeah, if it's not okay in a region, just let me know. Um, I remember Poland, it was way too expensive for a while. So we actually reduced the price in Poland, and people were very happy about that. It was way too expensive for people in Poland. How much have you made from this game? I think we've sold about 60,000 copies. I don't know the exact amount of money from that because we sell a lot of copies in other countries and that's reduced price. Also, we sell a lot of our copies when I put the game off on 20% off sale. So, I'd have to look into it. I actually don't know. The way that I do handle the money, though, is pretty simple. So, the way that I do this is 100% of the money that Steam sends us, which they don't send us 100% of the cash. They take 30%. I take 50% of that for me. Shay, our artist, gets 25%. Steiner Musician gets 25%. Of the OST, 100% of the OST goes to Stein. When the art book is made, 100% of the art book is going to go to Shay. And of my portion, I pay for all the software and the hardware for the team. They get to keep that in their name, and I pay for all the legal fees, such as getting trademarks and so on and so forth. So I take on the most amount of risk, and they get paid every month whether they're working or not. Hey, Is this a clip? Maybe. Three people did the whole game? Yeah. I did all the programming, writing, and design, and I work on it every day. Much to the, uh, displeasure of people in the Steam forums thinking that I'm lazy and don't give a shit. I think, I think the most interesting narrative that I've seen lately is people saying, oh, you're a full-time streamer now, so you don't work on games. I work 16 hours a day. I sleep 5 hours a day. I have 3 hours of free time. Some days, I play a video game. It's called wanting to do something else. Thursdays, I work 16 hours a day off stream. I don't have a weekend. I haven't had a weekend in 10 years. So, yeah. I work every day. Every day. And I stream every day but Thursday. So, yes. I do work on the game. Quite a lot. Which is why this whole environment's done. The demo is free, you goblins. You should work 24 hours a day and sleep 4 hours a day. Where am I going to steal that other 4 hours? Oh wait, Persona! That's how we get it. We get the extra 4 hours from Persona. Now it makes sense. I can work 24 hours a day and then sleep the other 4 hours. There we go, we just sleep right through it. Sleep right through it, and then I get to wake up as a weird coffin that oozes. That seems like a good idea, right? Yeah. It's starting to work out, I think. Yeah. Sorry but not complete. No, it's not complete. Would you like to see how much it is complete? Heartbound is in development. It's in early access on Steam. Let me see if I can find this for you. Uh, pirate software, Heartbound, and... Heartbound completion. There we go. Boop! Behold! The master sheet. This is all of Heartbound that's finished. In art, programming, sound, design, uh, English, French, Brazilian, Portuguese, Spanish, Russian, Japanese, and Portugal Portuguese, which we will be adding. Portugal Bros, you'll get both versions of Portuguese. Enjoy. And then from there, you can see every one of the environments that we work on, every one of the sections that's finished, and Russian had to stop because our, unfortunately, our translator lives in Moscow. Because our translator lives in Moscow, because of the sanctions, I can't pay them. 
which sucks. And before any of you guys are like, crypto, yeah, so that would be a federal offense, and I would go to federal prison, and then I would get a federal roommate that I don't want. I'm not into that. I don't, I don't want to force a roommate from the federal government, so I'm not going to do that. Yeah, it's not a smart thing to do. Cannot legally pay them. Yeah, yeah, it's not good. So with that in mind, these are the last two areas that need to be finished for the next major update. And I've been working in this one here, and we've got the programming at about 70% now. So we're almost there. Really excited for this. Really excited. Give the money to me, and I pay him for you. No, see, that's not how that works. Here's, here's what you should understand. The federal government will find out. And when the federal government does find out, I go to federal prison. So instead of doing that, what I've done is I reached out to our, our Russian translator and I said, stop all the work. We're just going to wait for this whole thing to end, right? Yeah, it's been a long time. It's been a couple of years now. Not the best. So we're still going to wait. And that's just going to be how that is. Unfortunately, most of our Russian fans can't buy the game anyway because they've been cut off from the Swift banking system. It makes it very, very hard for them to, you know, charge up their Steam wallets. While there are options for people in Russia to do this, the grand majority of people cannot buy the game. And that's it. You need a Ukrainian translator? Not right now. I'm not adding any other languages right now. We want to add Portugal Portuguese, and I think that's the last one for now. The other ones that are kind of on the docket are going to be um, Arabic is going to be a big one. Italian is going to be a big one. And we want to try German, even though I know the puns are just a mess in German, which is rough, you know. Okay, but hear me out. What if they didn't? Yeah, nah. See, I don't break the law, because if I broke the law, I'd be in jail. Yeah, not the best idea. Not the best idea, you know. Not the best. I offer myself for Italian. Doesn't work that way. What about Swedish? Swedish wasn't on the docket yet. Yeah. I do it, so I do it based on analytics, where we see how many people are generally engaging with their stuff from that general region. And then we, you know, up it or down it, the priority based on that. Work and stream from prison? Look, no. I know Kai Sinet did that entire thing where he was locked in a prison for seven days. I don't want to get actually locked in a prison for seven years, right? Like, it's not it's not a good plan. You know, <laughs> sending money to a sanctioned target in wartime is not a great way to be. It's not very... Yeah, seven years is the optimistic side of it. Move the translator to the U.S.? I don't think I can do that. Use bail money? What does that even mean? Yeah, what are you in for? I translated a video game. Ooh. What time do you wake up at every day? Usually 12.30 and the stream starts at 1. Usually. Next. Percy Gabriel 3 with 500 bits said, Ya, cheer 500, good morning, you beautiful man. Good morning. I told you a while back that I'm going to school for cybersecurity, but I forgot to mention I'm doing it all online. I'm getting super unmotivated. Can you give a motivational speech? Thanks for everything, man. A while back that you're going to school for cybersecurity, but I forgot to mention I'm doing it all online. That's great. That means that you have more room for other activities. Commute is a bitch, to be real with you. Commuting is the death of interest a lot of the times because you spend so many extra hours doing that alone that you miss out on good opportunities to do other stuff. You get a couple hours back every day, even though you're a full-time student. That's awesome. Use that to go hit some bounty programs. Use that to go into our Discord in the, you know, the hacking section and learn some stuff from resources. Use it. You get that is a gift to get that shit back. Fully online, done. Awesome. That is a great way to be, man. Yeah, you work from home like a commute is amazing. Agreed. <sighs> Something the wise with 500 bits said, would you ever consider acquiring small game projects slash facilitating them the way Valve has further down the road? Would the potential problems of that involvement be worth giving people the support to make their game as good as it could be? 
Yes, I've actually thought about a lot of different ways that I can do this. There's a couple different ideas that I have in terms of helping to publish games. Where I find a lot of the times publishing houses cost a lot of money. So usually you get between 30 to 70%. That's a pretty average deal, uh, sometimes in perpetuity. That's some scary shit. That's really, really scary. So what I'd want to do instead is to teach people how to publish their game without that. And I don't know if I even need to do that in an official capacity. Maybe just teach people how to run their shit through things like develop.games so that they don't need a publisher. My hope is that we get to a time where a publisher's only thing that they need to do is open your game up to other geolocations. And that you can publish your game outside of those areas. So, for instance, getting into China is incredibly important for a lot of games. To get into China, you have to have a company that acts as you in China. You can't just publish it there yourself. So having a publisher there makes sense. It always makes sense. With that in mind, having a publisher outside of that, what do you need them for? Is that a Gurn? Hack the planet, Gurn. I was telling people about you the other day. But yeah, so like with that in mind, like, what do you need a publisher for is a big one. And I always think about that a lot. There are reasons to have a publisher, but they're kind of few. So like geolocation. Releasing a game in certain regions that you don't have access to. That's a big one. That's a really big one. Uh, sometimes marketing is a big one. But if you're going to market a game through a publisher, you have an unknown result to a defined cost. You have a potential for that to work. And you have to be thinking very, very hard about if the name of that studio, that publishing studio, actually matches up to the marketing. For instance, Devolver Digital, you know the name. Because you know Devolver Digital, you know that games that they release as a publishing house are likely very good. They're highly selective. They choose games that kick ass, right? So that carries the name. If you found a marketing house or a publishing house that contacted you and was like, I want to sell your game. And you're like, I've never heard of you. And they're like, we're going to do all the marketing. A little spooky, right? A little bit spooky at that point. It's not good. That's a really scary one. Because you've never heard of them. So how the hell are they going to market a game to somebody? If you've never heard of them, they're probably not doing a good job. Right? So I think that's a that's an important thing to understand. Yeah, Devolver's a great publisher. Here's the other thing. Steam is already a publisher. They handle all the distribution for you. They handle the Steam forums for you. So they actually have an entire community management system in there. They handle all of the uploads for being able to release patches. They handle Steam trading cards. They handle the work sp workshop. They handle local co-op being remote. There's so much shit that Steam does for you already. It's ridiculous. L-Take? What about is an L-Take? You saying that Steam is bad for developers? Funny Muffin? Or are we just saying L-Take and chat to be edgy? Do you have something to back that? No, I, I love engaging with the one guy. Because you get a one guy in chat, and I just I pile up on him. He's got nothing. He's choking. Dude's choking. Unfortunate. Deeply unfortunate. So, with that in mind, let's take a look at Steam. What does Steam do for you as a dev? They allow you to release your game. They allow you to... Here, here's a good one. You know the Steam trading cards? Do you know the community market fee that goes with that? Do you know that goes to the devs? Every time someone buys or sells a trading card on Steam, I get the money. If it's for my games. Yep. Yes. And that's not a small amount of money either. The larger your game becomes, the more people are trading those cards. And the more that they trade those cards, the more money you make off of community market fees. It's ridiculous, actually. I don't know how much of a cut we get of it, but it's not a small amount of money. When people buy and sell trading cards in mass, we get cash from that. And it's great. It's like a really awesome thing. People trade those? Oh yeah, there's a whole market fee for every one of them. People sell and buy those, all kinds of stuff. And it's great, to be real with you. Absolutely great. You know what else Steam does? Here's a good one. Why do we put our games on sale for 20% off or more, chat? Why would I only ever do a sale for 20% off or more? 
it emails every person that has the game wishlisted. That's a marketing burst. It's enormous. Our sales usually increase by like 800 to 1,000% during one of those. If you make your game on sale for 15%, you get none of this. Zero. Because it does nothing. We've tried. It does nothing. 19% does nothing. And they're protecting you, the customer, from shitty developers. Because otherwise, I'd just make this minus 1% every time, and it would email you every time. Valve protects you. Lord Gaben protects the customer first every single time. It's awesome. It's a really good way to be. Can't confirm or refuse to buy games at full price? Totally fair. If you can get 20% off, might as well. Why does 15% do nothing? Because 15% doesn't email everybody who's wishlisted the game. Wishlisting, like people who wishlist, when they get an email and they get told like, hey, this is 20% off, that's huge. That's a huge marketing burst. Here's another one. Do you know your game gets five visibility rounds? You know what those visibility rounds do? Those five visibility rounds let you go on front page of Steam for one million impressions. At any time, you can pop these. When you leave early access, you actually get to go on front page for 1.5 million impressions for free, and it doesn't count as one of your visibility rounds. If your game sells enough copies, they actually give you more of these. That's just part of the system. Every game gets five. Every one of them. Yeah. Five visibility rounds, five VRs. Yeah. Some crazy shit that Steam does, man. On top of that, they let you did, do digital distribution, downloads, up like you know, updates, any of that kind of stuff for free. They don't charge you bandwidth costs for that. I could have a million different copies of Heartbound every single day forever and just keep updating them, and Steam will pay for all of that bandwidth. Not me. Not me even a little bit. But here's another one. Steam takes 30%, right? But it doesn't. It actually doesn't. If you get a Steam key made, let's say I want 5,000 Steam keys as a developer. Let's say that my game is $10. How much did this cost me to get 5,000 keys for my own game? What was the cost? Zero dollars. Zero dollars. Now, let's say that I go and take those 5,000 keys and I sell them on Humble Bundle. How much of a cut does Steam take? How much of a cut does Steam take when I sell my keys on a third-party platform? Zero percent. Steam only takes a cut when you sell the game through Steam. And they're still on the hook for all the bandwidth. They're still on the hook for storing the game. They're still on the hook for all of your updates. Is that even allowed? Yes. In fact, it's intended. Do you know why? Because they do this specifically so that they can get new customers. It's called a loss leader. They lose money on that initial transaction, hoping to get a new customer from outside of Steam to go and join Steam and then maybe buy other games. This is how Valve has operated forever. And us as developers, we benefit from this. We benefit from this immensely. So the 30% is only from sales directly through Steam. Valve should hire you to explain this stuff? No, they shouldn't. You want to know why? Check this shit out. You can do it yourself. All of their documentation, everything, is fully public. All of it. If I can click on the damn thing. Ah, ah, there we go. Check it out. Documentation is here. Yeah, they have a partner FAQ that is available to everyone, whether or not you have a partner account or not. And you can go and look up every single thing I've been talking about. All of it. Enjoy. Yep. I ain't reading all that. Well, then you don't get to learn. I ain't learning. Learn. Go learn. Go learn, you goblins. Did you know that in the ethical hacking and cybersecurity industry, the act of breaking into energy grid systems, like what you do if the DOE is referred to in technical terms as hitting the gritty? Shut up. <laughs> hitting the gritty. Oh my god, dude. That's so funny. They're trashing our rights. You're the best. 8-Bit Alex with £20 said my dog lost his battle with the triglavian tumors. In his memory, I propose a nerd challenge. <laughs> 
50 pounds to the mods for each part of his pedigree name you know the origin of. His name was Rumble Tiberius Spengler. Answers in next TTS. Rumble Tiberius Spengler. Wasn't Rumble a Transformer? I think he was purple. Like a Gen 1. I think I'm right about that. Am I right about that? Yeah, I think Rumble is that. And I think... Tiberius is Star Trek. Spangler is Ghostbusters. Unless you have a different Spangler. That's a really specific name, though. I think that's Ghostbusters. Tiberius is Star Trek. Yeah. I'm gonna say Rumble... Yeah. Final answer. Rumble Gen 1... Yeah, I would say Gen 1 Transformers. The purple one. He was purple. Yeah. Final answer. Final answer. Final answer. Tiberius was an Emperor? Yeah, but I think Tiberius was in Star Trek. Spangler was in Ghostbusters? I think that's right. Jeanette with 500 bits said Morning Thor, father of the ferrets. This hmm. is Mothman talking. I was wondering oh. why people are compared me to Easter Bunny. I lays eggs, You're fuzzy. he lays eggs. But my eggs doesn't taste of chocolate. Yeah, they it do. It tasted of beans. Does children no. know this? Also remember chat. 31th is the Mothman Easter. Thor smells of moths. He is my cousin. It is true. Also Jeanette is cool. Is it $189 from Rumble Tiberius Spangler? Holy shit. That is a lot. That is that is a lot of money, dude. Thank you very much. To the moderators too. You kick ass. I know Tiberius was Roman M like I know I know. I know. I know Tiberius was a Roman emperor, but I think we're talking about nerd culture, not history. Which I guess those could be different kinds of nerd, right? I'm pretty sure. Because Tiberius Star Trek, let me go look up Star Trek real fast. Yeah, Tiberius Star Trek. Do you know why? Do you know why? What do you think James Kirk's middle name is? James Tiberius Kirk. Named after... That Roman Emperor. Y'all aren't nerds. The Joker with 500 bits said I neglected to check the minimum requirements to run Palworld, and it turns out that Mew Machine doesn't meet the requirement. Mew so Machine? imagine my surprise that the game runs just fine. Do you think I'm hurting my machine by continuing to play the game normally? Um, no, generally. I mean, unless your temps are super high, you should probably check your temperatures, to be real with you. I think that's one of the biggest things. I would really check your temperatures. If your temperatures are fine, then you should be fine. Yeah. Who doesn't know that? Non-Star Trek fans? I love Star Trek. We passed the Bally Threshold? Wait, what? What happened to Helldivers 2? We played for like, I don't know, six and a half hours? Everybody else went to bed! It was just me and Mouse being up, right? I think Mouse had been streaming for 12 hours at that point. Did you guys hit the pally goal? No shit. Holy shit, dude. We set this up in November. You guys have given $20,000 to the moderators. Since November. That is outrageous. Connor's streaming. I, I, he, had a, he has to go and do a sponsored thing. Which makes sense. Doesn't Helldivers use a rootkit for the anti-cheat? They use... Um, uh, God, why is my brain turned off? They use kernel level anti cheat, and what I did was this because I don't like kernel level anti cheat. So I set up a secondary computer, and that secondary computer runs Helldivers two, and then I pipe the video from that computer over to my main computer, where I get to stream it to you. And then this, I actually have the command set up directly into my setup, so then I don't have any problems. <laughs> <laughs> and then the stream goes out to you, and then this is isolated in its own bullshit, 
and now I can play any game that has kernel level anti cheat and never have to care about it. Wonderful. Wonderful. Is kernel is the, kernel is that bad? I'm a hacker. I don't like anyone having control over my machine but me. I am the sovereign emperor of this PC. And no one, no one will stop me from being so at any given time, ever. I am I am the one. I am the administrator. No one is above me on my machine. Except for Microsoft? No, I bend Microsoft to my will. I am the administrator of this machine. No one will stop me. None. Not even the ferrets? No, not even beans. Yeah. Not even beans. Not even a little bit. Do you any white or black hats? I don't own hats. I don't look good in hats. Thurocracy. Hmm, thurocracy. 8-Bit Alex with £10 said Rumble. From G1 Transformers. Tiberius. From Captain Kirk. Spengler. From Egon, Egon Spengler, Spengler of yes. the Ghostbusters. Yes! Got them all. Feels good, man. Gandalf was a gray hat wizard. He became Gandalf the White. He did. He was shining in the sun. It's terrifying, actually. We got him. James T. Kirk. You know, my favorite my favorite thing about James Kirk was? Is that... And I guess this is... My favorite thing about Kirk was my least favorite thing about Kirk. Is that there never seemed to be any continuity with Kirk. Where, like, every episode was just, like, wacky space adventure. Some shit was going to happen, right? And, like, that was hilarious to me. But then if you look at Next Generation, I love Next Generation because Picard started as a jackass. And then, by the end, he was awesome. You can actually see Picard have the full hero's journey and become, like, a good leader over time because he was just a big piece of shit in the beginning. It was awesome to watch. It was a great story, you know. But with Kirk, it was like, nah. He's just, he's whatever every time. He's probably kissing some green woman now. Like, that's what Kirk did, you know. Was he? Oh, yeah. No, go watch the beginning of Next Generation. He was a dick. He was a huge dick. DS9? Uh, it's good. It's just not Picard good. Hi, Duper. What's up? I'm new to Star Trek. Where should I start? Go watch all of, all of it from the very beginning. Just binge the whole damn thing. It'll take you a couple of weekends. Shut up, Wesley. Yeah. Bezos wants his 30%. He takes 45. But he delivers money into everyone's pockets. So, it's more like Christmas Bezos. How do I stop playing League of Legends? Love yourself. Talk to your doctor about your salt intake. Yeah, I worry about that. It's not good. League of Legends is not good for you. Really. Dangerous. How do I get TTS? First, you have to read. That's the difficult part. You have to attach eyes to your loadout. Yeah. Before you engage in the chat. It's a rough one. But it's pinned. It's pinned above the chat. How do you read? I never learned. I have no idea. Loadout failed to build. F. Like Honor Test, dude. <laughs> I, ha I had to mines and Tesla him at the last moment because I knew the party was winding down and I was like, if I don't do this right now, then I'm never going to get to do it. So I just, that last moment is like, oh, there's the objective. Mines. And he's like, you put them all over the objective. I was like, I know. <laughs> you speak any other languages? I speak English and bad English. Mostly the bad part. Yeah. Can you play Pacific Drive, please? Not today. I got work to do. I got a lot of work done earlier today. That was kind of nice. I actually... So those who don't know, I've actually been up for, at the time the stream started, I was up for 12 hours. So I've been up for 17 hours and 45 minutes right now. So the first 12 hours I had of the day was actually setting up the rest of the Mothman event so that people in Block Game could have fun with that. It looks like there's a lot of people on there. It's like 40 people on the server right now. So I know they're having fun, which is good. I do need to go check on the server to make sure it didn't blow up. 
But that was my day today so far. It's just working on that. I've been up for, yeah, it's been about 12 hours before the stream started. I did not take a nap, no. You did not drop a pineapple in the shuttle? No, I dropped mines all over the place. I, technically, I was spreading democracy. Liberally. Yeah, just everywhere. Indiscriminate democracy. It's a good time. Gray Ryan 93 with 500 bits said happy birthday, Thor. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let's see if this server exploded. Did you ever go on vacations? Chad is sending me on a forced vacation to TwitchCon. Outside of that, no. I don't... I'm going to be real with you. This is going to be a weird thing to say. I don't do a lot of stuff for myself. And I haven't. But it's not because I want to and I just don't have time. I just like working. Like a lot. I just... I just like working. I like doing that. You can't force vacation me. It's not going to work. Check the telegram for block game news. Oh, no. Did something explode? Why are they dying in the event room? Did you get them all their stuff back? Did everybody get their stuff back? God damn it. This is a bad buck. You clowns. I swear to God. Where is this? How did you fail this? This is bad, man. Just like a keep inventory one. There it is. Nope. Nope. Keep inventory. There we go. Okay. There we go. Now you won't have a problem in here. Man. <laughs> Little ham, did you guys get all the loot back for all those people who died and lost everything? Is he a music playlist? All this music is from our game, Heartbound. I'm reading the uh, the Telegram chat. Damn it! How do you die in Yggdrasil? I think they probably starved to death. <clears throat> What's your weekly schedule look like? So every day I work sixteen hours a day. Then I have three hours of free time. Then I sleep for five hours. I do this every day. Thursday is no different. Thursday is exactly like every other day. I just don't stream on that day. That's it. Nobody asked for their loot while reporting the issue, so probably they got it back on their own. Can you make sure of that? I'd like to make sure of that just so we don't have any players get left behind. When do you play games? Either on stream or not at all, usually. Like, to be honest with you, today was the first time in... I think this week was the first time in the last maybe year that I've gotten to play games off stream. It's just not a thing I do a lot of the times because that three hours, usually half of that three hours is used for the ferrets. And instead I, I played video game. You do play Pacific Drive. I usually get 30 minutes of game time a day if I can do it. And that 30 minutes is usually spent on a game like Pacific Drive or anything like that. What's for breakfast? There's a funny story about that. I had to leave the stream for about 30 minutes today. And the reason why is because past me thought it would be a great idea to eat nothing but incredibly spicy Indian food for 48 hours. 
realizing that future me would have to foot the bill of this engagement. I'm future me. It's a fun experience. It's great. Yeah. Yeah. About Shay time? I hang out with Shay every day. <sighs> Common colon L, true. Did you achieve lift? It was mostly just shitting and crying. You know what I was supposed to do with the stream rewards, but failed to do so. Let's go find out why these monsters aren't dropping things. Drop tables. Global drops. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I think I know why they weren't dropping. I forgot to do this. Hey guys, I bet those are dropping now. As long as the monsters are over level 5, they should drop. Yeah. I forgot to reload it. I forgot to hotfix it in for the monsters. What the hell is- what the hell is that? What the hell is that? What the hell is this? Alright, whatever. Yeah, they should be dropping stuff now. Don't worry about it from Thor always makes me worry more. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Anti-Cupid 511 with 510 bits said, Hey Thor was interested in what the position was called when you worked for the government. Was it sure. Red Team or something entirely else? I was considered a pen tester, and that was it. Although we were Red Teamers. I'm, my prior job before that was Senior Red Team Specialist. So yeah, we were a Red Team, a standing Red Team for the United States Department of Energy. Uh, I hacked power plants for the federal government, and that's pretty much all I can tell you about the job. Wish I could tell you more. But I can't, so I won't, because they'll make me go into a weird, weird problem where I have to deal with it, and I don't want to deal with it. Also, I changed the way that we do x-ray on the server, so now when people x-ray, I had to ban a guy, actually. So, I had to ban a guy for using x-ray to find chess, so now the underworld looks like this. So that's cool. It'll probably still work, it's just going to be way more annoying for people, which is quite hilarious. It used to look less annoying, but now it's really, really annoying. And I find that to be very funny. Yeah. Very funny. Random block faces? Pretty much everywhere, yeah. Like, pretty much all over the place. There's still a couple things I gotta fix. Like, this This is probably gotta get fixed. The geodes shouldn't really be showing. Because geodes are important. Yeah, chest ESP is a thing. But here's the problem, right? When you're going around the world using chest ESP... We have three moderators now. Myself, Jake, and Little Ham. And you know what Little Ham does? Sits on Minecraft and follows you. Silently. Like a ghost. As do I. All the time. So when we see you walk out into the middle of the ocean, dig straight down and suddenly find a chest out of random because you found a buried... Who, who could have known that I could find a buried treasure right here in the middle of the ocean? Who could... You get banned for three days. The next time you do it, it'll be permanent. Don't forget that. Don't forget that. Yeah. Not the smartest move. But yeah, we, we kind of pay attention in this house. Just a little bit. Just the tad. I don't think Sunken Cell's zombies will drop this. What are you, what are you nerds doing? Did they just crouch at each other to show each other that they weren't dangerous? That's kind of legit. Friendships are being born in this chat right now. Look at this. Wait, is the machine broken? Hold up, I'll fix it. We gotta figure out how to fix this shit. It's super annoying. Wait for it. Wait for it. It's going. Uh, doing it. It's doing it. Alright, the machine is working. Yeah, I'm hotfixing it right now. Shit. I don't know why these keep breaking. I need to find a better way to make a clock. We're just gonna have to do it with plugins. Once we moved over to 1.20.2, everything in here was broken, dude. 
Yeah, fix it in Prague. It's not on it's not on a chunk border, it just turns off randomly. And in fact, it's even worse than that. We've actually had someone sitting here for like five hours staring at it, and it still turns off randomly. That's just obnoxious. What if they enable an x-ray resource bag? Then we watch them and we catch them through heuristics, which we do all the time. Amazingly, when players can see exactly where the loot is, they kind of act like dipshits and go straight for it. You know, through anything. And it makes it really easy to see that they're doing this. None of these people end up being clever. Someone eventually will be clever and it's going to be harder to catch them. But I'm going to I'm gonna show you something that explains my entire position on this. You ready for this? Let me, let me go grab this for you. See that? That's every single person that does this shit. You're not as clever as you think you are. There it is. This is exactly how this works every time. They're like, ah, no one's going to notice me. No one's, and I'm banned. Every time. Every time. There's always a way to catch you. And I may not get you today. I may not get you tomorrow. But I've got a lot of time. And I will get you. I will. Or one of the other moderators will. Eventually. You gotta win every time. We just gotta win once, man. Can you stream block game? Hell yeah, do it. Have fun. Latte's tube adventure is so good. I'm actually so proud of Latte. Here, let me go pull that up. If you guys didn't know, Latte is actually one of our ferrets that is um got Dim, disseminated idiopathic myofasciitis, and this is his first time going in the tube. Look at him go. Look at him go. That's his first time doing it. He's never done it before. He was never able to, because he didn't have the strength to do it, and he even backed up. Look at him. He's like, nope, 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 nope. I'm going to back up now. He didn't actually have the strength to do this before, and it's really cool. He um he was so far behind Mocha in terms of his treatment that we were worried he wasn't going to make it. And there were a number of times where he had to hook him up to oxygen at home, had to bring an oxygen tank home to be able to help him with that. And there were a number of times where he thought we were going to lose him. In fact, he almost died at the clinic not too long ago. And what ended up happening was we gave him his, his chemo because you have to give him chemo to suppress the bone marrow to try and combat DIM. And he started like coughing a little bit and one of Shay's coworkers is like hey your ferret's coughing a little bit and Shay went to go check and he was turning blue he was actually running out of oxygen he couldn't breathe so they they fixed him up real fast as fast as they could and he recovered which he would have died right there if, if that coworker didn't notice so pretty crazy shit honestly yeah does this mean Mocha's a tuber now Mocha's good I think Mocha beats him up here there's Mocha right there Mocha's like, wow, wow, wow. Mocha had the exact same problem. Mocha actually used to be just as broken as Latte. First turn blue, all mammals do when they don't have oxygen. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of what happens, dude. <laughs> we don't get enough oxygen, you turn blue and die. That's, whoop, <laughs> you know? They ever get stuck in the tube? No, not really. Mocha beat up beans the other day? That's good. I know that's funny, but it's it's good because it means that Mocha is starting to fight other ferrets and trying to, you know, carve out a place for himself, which is a good thing. What's dim? Disseminated idiopathic myofasciitis. It's a rare condition, which we don't understand the cause of quite yet. There's not enough research done on this. But basically the way that it works is your body produces neutrophils as a part of your immune system. And it's the same for ferrets. These are produced in bone marrow. Right? Now... In a dim ferret, or in a normal ferret, you'll have under 2,000 blood count of neutrophils. Under. In a dim ferret, they have 160,000 plus, usually. And what happens here is the neutrophils are being produced and attacking their own body. It's an autoimmune disorder. So their body's attacking itself. It destroys other muscles. It destroys other soft tissues. And they die. They die a slow, weird death where they basically disintegrate. Organs and all. It's horrible. So what we did was we talked to a vet in Oregon, who is the foremost research person for that. We figured out a treatment plan to suppress the bone marrow. We use a combination of chemotherapy and a number of antibiotics. And the reason we do this is those antibiotics keep their immune system running to a good capacity, and the chemo suppresses the bone marrow. 
Bone marrow is where neutrophils are created. So it reduces the neutrophil count. It also reduces the blood cell count, which can kill them. So what we do is we give them iron supplements to help keep their blood, blood count up. And if their blood count goes too low, we can do a transfusion. Now, transfusions in ferrets are very easy. And the reason why is because ferrets don't have blood types. Any ferret can be a donor for any other ferret. And we got a lot of ferrets. So, if something goes terribly wrong, we can save him. The only time we wouldn't be able to save him is if he does it when everyone's asleep. And that's, I'm worried about that every single day, man. There's nothing, I know there's nothing I can do if that happens, but I am constantly afraid of it anyway. Yeah. Why is this my math class? What are you talking about? This is your math class. You see two, you see two numbers on your screen and you're overwhelmed? Jesus. Wait till this guy gets taxes. Eesh. What about marrow donation then? It's not really about donating marrow. It's actually we have to suppress the bone marrow to make it weaker. Marrow donation is incredibly risky, incredibly expensive. The risk of rejection is enormous. So. I thought ferrets had two years of lifespan to the guinea pigs. No, 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 no. Uh, U.S. ferrets live about five years. With proper care, they can live up to 10. Uh, EU ferrets usually start at around mid middle of about 10 years. So no, they're not a, a short-lived animal. Um, in the U.S., they're a lot shorter-lived because of bad genetics is the biggest problem. But for instance, Max, one of the ferrets that we took care of, he lived to reach 10. Max lived to 10, man. And he got the good ending. He, uh, he was euthanized around all of his friends and family when his body finally did give out. And it was shitty. It was sad to see him go, but he made it a very, very long time. 10 years. Are you pins in the flipper zero? I have one. It's a tool. It's a weapon. Use it when you are legally allowed to do so. Don't be a dipshit. You wouldn't play with a gun, so don't play with this. If you don't know what you're doing, you can hurt someone. Or kill them. What do you use it for? Pen testing. How can you kill someone with it? Ever heard of an insulin pump? You know, a lot of insulin pumps actually work over Bluetooth. You know, that thing can actually scan and basically denial of service Bluetooth devices. And then a person's insulin pump turns off. Which is exactly what keeps happening to people who go to conventions that have insulin pumps. Because dipshits use this thinking they're being clever. Yeah, it's not very smart. It happens a lot. It's actually really shit. So yeah. That's how you can kill someone with the Flipper Zero. And it's not a laughing matter. It's dumb as shit. It's really, really, really stupid. Yep. What is it used for normally? Pen testing. Finding vulnerabilities in systems. So that you can turn them in. Alright. Are you guys getting... Eggs? Are you getting... Egg drops... Off monsters? No? Yep. Systems you own or are authorized to test on. No, systems you own and are authorized to test on or systems you are authorized to test on. Because you are not authorized to test on all systems that you own. There's all kinds of shit. EULA, TOS, all that. Alright, level 5 plus mobs. Drop them. If you kill a skeleton, you get an egg. Yes. Let's be clear. If the flipper didn't exist, people would still be doing the same attacks? No. Here's the reason why. They made it accessible to the average human being. I'll give you an example. I can do everything the flipper could do five years ago. I could do it before the flipper even came out because I'm a pen tester. I'm a hacker. I know all of the tools and I have all of the tools. That's kind of how that works, right? I can do replay attacks using my hacker F. I can do any of the, you know, rerouting attacks using my Wi-Fi pineapple. I can do all of the cloning stuff using my Proxmark. But this does all of that. Not in the best capacity. It's a little bit weaker, but it can be added on to. And the average human being can get one. It just made it more accessible. That's the only difference. 
That's the only difference. Yeah, Wi-Fi Pineapple. Crazy tool. Wi-Fi Pineapple lets me mimic any of the nearby access nodes and then reroute the traffic directly through that so that you're connecting to me instead of connecting directly to the internet like you thought you were. I see all your shit. Yeah, yeah. You just have to use it carefully. You have to use it correctly. And a lot of people are dumb. They don't know. All right. Looks like this is likely working. Cool skeletons, bro. Evolutionary pressure on security? No. I guess the basic thing is this. It's not a toy. And I think a lot of people treat it as a toy. And they think like, oh, it's a toy. I can give it to a kid. They can have some fun with it. That's a weapon, dude. And you really have to see it that way. And I find that a lot of people don't really see it that way. They don't treat it with respect. And that's an issue. Is that only on unsecure networks? No. Anything that I can gain access to, I could use a Wi-Fi pineapple for. For instance, if I deauth somebody else and then take the actual access token that they have and reauth back to the network, I can likely run that through that and then act as the middleman for that. It's a normal one. I do a lot of Wi-Fi related vulnerability shit, and that's a pretty easy way to do it. Depending on the router, depending on the network setup, depending on how it works, there's all kinds of different methods that I could use. Wi-Fi pineapples are illegal here in Brazil? Yeah. Owning one likely would show intent in Brazil. It would make sense. Why not require a license to own it? Well, that's kind of unprecedented, right? Kind of unprecedented. Some places might move towards that kind of a model, but I don't know if all of them will. And to be real with you, the law takes a little while to catch up. It does. And what we've seen here is, well, the law has taken a little while to catch up. Kind of sucks, but it's what it is. How many years did it take to have that knowledge you do? I've been a hacker for 20 years. Long time. Yeah. Yo, Should be a background check? with I love agree. with 10 pounds said hi Thor. I'm hi. 39 years old and I'm trying to do a career pivot to programming from DevOps but no one is taking me seriously in interviews even though I can prove my coding skills. How to stay motivated. When you say no one's taking you seriously, what do you mean? How do you know? Are you asking for feedback at the end of the interview? Are you saying, hey, I'd like to hear back from you? You're telling them, hey, even if this is a no, even if it ends up being that, I would really love to keep in touch and find out how I can improve going forward if that is the case. Ask for that. And if you do get a no, reach back out to them and say, hey, is there a way that I could get a little bit of feedback on why it was a no so I can do better in the future? That kind of positive, you know, proactive approach does a lot of good. It's going to teach you something, and they might have a second chance, you know. You might have a second chance with them. No oh, shit, hair? No. Don't have hair envy. Bald. Wax your head. Put it in the sun. Blind people with it. Now you're a super villain. I almost said hero. Might be a hero, depending on who you blind. See? It's great. Might need more projects, but yeah, I mean, it really comes down to your, your application. It comes down to getting feedback from the people who are actually reviewing you and keeping trying, you know, like, I think something you have to understand is it may be demoralizing sometimes. It may be demoralizing to be like, well, nobody likes me. I don't think it's like that. It's just you don't have the skill set they're looking for. In a market where there are so many layoffs right now, it's highly competitive to get a new job. So you really can't look at it in a way where you're diminishing yourself just because you're not getting a job. Really can't. It's not a good way to be. It's going to be devastating for you. And that's that, you know. How do you join the server? It's mc.blockgame.info is the domain. In fact, what is the TPS right now? Ooh, it's chugging. Look at him go! Wow, wait. The boss is shooting at me. <laughs> Even though I'm invisible. That seems fine, you know? Don't worry about it. Don't don't worry about it. They're flying around killing it. Here, I'm just gonna... Just gonna go in here. 
Hey, bud. How's it going? See this? This is a secret hidden skeleton. You know what the secret hidden skeleton is doing? He's hiding in here, secretly. Do you know why? Because the secret hidden skeleton in here is actually the boss. That's right. See that health at the top? See how he just took damage? He's actually a secret boss skeleton. And when they beat this fight in a moment here, he's going to die and shoot all the loot up in the air. Yeah. I actually use secret hidden skeletons all the time. How does he take damage? When he detects that all of his children are dead. Which were those cubes out there. See? Hey. He's like, oh wait, all my dudes are dead. I'm going to make some new dudes. And he makes some new dudes and he takes 50 damage. I think he only takes 10 damage, actually. But yeah, I use these guys all over the place. He's actually basically just a health bar. That's all he is. What's well, not hit anymore? They're all over the place. Are the skeletons using sclepathy? Technically, yes. They're using sclepathy to go and detect the other cubes that are out here that they were killing, which, by the way, are also actually skeletons. They just look like cubes. You see, the whole game is basically skeletons. You may not realize that, but it's, it's all skeletons. All the way down. It always has been. Yeah, they're just flying weird skeletons. Every one of them is. Skele cubes? Skele game, yeah. It is skelepathy all the way down, unironically. The reason why I do this is I largely learned it at, at Blizzard, right? So World of Warcraft actually uses bunnies and elementals for basically everything. When you see a boss that creates a ring of something on the floor that you're supposed to get out of, that your healers are screaming at you about, it's likely an invisible elemental that's standing there casting it. Just keeping that effect alive. Or a bunny. Usually an elemental when it's in effect. Bunnies are used for other things like triggers. The bunnies will die and then certain things will happen. It happens all the time. Like WoW is made of a bunch of invisible units that are doing things. So I did the exact same thing. And it works great. Makes life easy. Yeah, a lot of it's a proxy. A lot of it is. Like here, I'll give you an example. You remember Ice Crown Citadel when they're like the, the walls? Were, oh, we got ads. God damn. I'm going to start taking questions through the ads because we're way behind. That just break? Aililf with 500 oh, bits said, Hey Thor, I've been in a rough spot in my life recently and it's affecting my life and I feel stuck. I am having trouble accepting some realities in life and have tried to focus on other things like finally making a game. But even then my thoughts get to me and make me feel incapable. I've started on a 2D horror visual novel and find myself giving up when I can get the output I want. Do you have any advice on what I can do to improve my state and focus? Yeah, most definitely. So, you said you are you never tried focusing on other things, like finally finishing a game. But even my thoughts get to me and make me feel incapable. No. There's a little voice in the back of your head that's there trying to protect you from making a mistake where you might look foolish or you might feel bad. The problem is it's in overdrive and you're letting it take the wheel. That little fear is there for everybody. It's there for every single person. I have it too. Every time I go to do something, there's a little voice in the back of my head that's like, don't do it. Don't do it. It's not going to work out. It's not going to work out. And you know what I do? I turn to it and I go, shut the hell up. Sit in the corner. You're a big bitch. We're going to try this anyway. And if we fail, we get to learn something. And it goes, mm. you get to learn something when you lose. Losing is great. You get to learn all kinds of shit when you lose. It's a fantastic thing to go through. And you have to understand, shifting your focus, shifting the way that you feel about loss, about failure, is a part of this process. You want to fail. You want to fail in small ways, when the stakes aren't that high, right? When it's tiny, tiny stakes. So that later, in the future, when it really matters, you can go into that going, I already failed a bunch of times. I'm not going to fail here, because I know exactly why I failed there. And you might fail in small ways, but at that point, you would have learned how to adapt so well that when you fail during that big thing, you're going to dodge right around it. And I know that because I went through the same process. And I went through the same feeling of not being good enough throughout all of it. In fact, I still get the same thing. I just don't listen to the voice all the time. Which you shouldn't. Sometimes you should. That voice is important. It stops you from doing dumb shit, like jumping off a cliff. Because the back of your head says, hey, you shouldn't do that, you'll die. And you're like, nah, bitch, I could do that, and then you die. Like, so, like, do listen to it sometimes, but be realistic about it. Take a look at what it's saying and go, is that real? Do I know that what it's saying is true? Or am I just afraid? 
of looking silly, of looking foolish. It's okay to look silly and foolish once in a while. Look how many times I blew up on landmines tonight playing, you know, hell divers. Look how many times Connor blew up on landmines that I threw tonight, right? Well done, by the way. Democracy. Democracy. That's just kind of how it is. It's okay to have those because it's fun. It's silly. Laugh at yourself a little bit. Have a good time and learn some shit. You get better every time. That that emote is amazing. I can't I can't thank Rubber Ross enough for that, dude. That emote is hilarious. It's fantastic. The Connor deaths were kind of because of you, though. Ah, that, details, details. Details, details. That sounds like paperwork. Nah, not my job. My job's killing bugs. And robots. Sometimes. Jazor with 500 bits said Shea confirmed Peepo on the Discord Yard Cheer 500. Peepo. By the way, um, new ferret, Peepo has had the tail tumor removed. We didn't have to remove the whole tail, which is great. I'm really excited about this. Very happy. And I have two images to show you. One, actually I have three images to show you. One is them shaving Peepo's tail. Little shave tail. Very funny. And two is the tail nubbin. So there's now a tail nubbin that has to heal. So most, about half the tail was removed. And then three is this ridiculous image that I found on the internet. There you go. I present to you the heavier. That's right. It's um, it's a partner to the lighter. Enjoy that. It's for you. Yeah. The heavier. Thanks, internet. Where can I get one? I don't know. Too powerful. Warp 2, God, what is it called? Mothman. So the Mothman Den is the new place. It looks like these didn't break. So I guess that's good. There's got to be like a... a thing. Block trampling is set to deny. Yes. You having a freak out over there? You're just vibrating wildly? Very nice. Proud of you. Is this is this what we're... That's weird. Your neck shouldn't bend like that. I'm going to get an old priest and a young priest to fix this. Yeah, it's not good. Oh. I don't like any of that. Yeah, I don't like any of that. Started explaining something about Ice Grand Citadel before the ads. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you remember the fight in, a fight in Ice Grand Citadel against the Lich King? And do you remember how the, the platform actually broke off into little pieces and those pieces would fall? Like the edges of the platform would fall away? Do you want to know what did that? When the platform was up, there was actually a little elemental there. When the little elemental died, the platform would fall down. There was a bug really early on where that elemental was not flagged correctly. So if somebody threw a Sarnite bomb, it would kill the invisible ad and make that section of the environment go back up. It was like killing it would cause the platform to go back up. That's what it was. Killing it would cause the platform to go back up. Not the reverse. Yeah. So when it was dead, the platform was up. When it was alive, the platform was down. And that's all that it was. Are you guys... Is he dying to poison? What's happening here? Are you guys just eating pufferfish to die in here? What is this death cult? What? Why? Why are you... Why are you doing this? I know it gives you poison for 60 seconds, but... It's not a cult. What do you... Pufferfish has no use. It's gonna. I mean, like... What? They're out healing it? No, dude. It is a percentage of maximum HP. Yeah, it does a percentage of max HP. It's... No. Oh! Oh! 
You know no one can save you, right? Like... Oh my god. This is grim. What's the matter with my server, dude? How many are on there? 71? Jesus Christ. What the hell am I looking at? They're all doing it. Look at them. Grandfather Nurgle is pleased? That's grim, dude. It's not for Mothman. Mothman doesn't need a blood ritual. Oh, God. Maybe I should make a blood ritual for Mothman. You know what I should do? I should make it that in order to summon the boss, everybody has to, like, right-click this object, and it kills one of you at random and then summons Mothman out of your death. Like, he just bursts out of your body. That's how that'll work. I'm gonna do that. We have an arena for this. Warp arena. Let me go to the arena real fast. This arena is actually for world bosses. For us to, like, have world bosses in here. And what I'll likely do is I'll put, like, a Mothman egg in the center. And then when you interact with it, whoever interacts with, with it goes into a list. And then everybody else gets teleported out. And, the, and one person at random gets killed. That's how it'll work. Yeah. Classic Warlock Demon Spawn. Where's that arena? You have to go find it. It's in Midgard. It's a big spooky area. Enjoy that. It's pretty good. There's also beds in here to, so that you can, like, restock. Can't solo that way? True. You can't solo that way. Imagine that. Playing an MMO together. Man. Who would have thought? Who would, have, who would have thought that we'd want you to play a social sandbox MMO with other people? It's almost like every change I make to this game is for you to have to do that every time. Surprising. Really, really surprising. Yeah. I know. I know it's surprising. Yeah, massive multiplayer game with other people. Who could have known? That all these people are playing together. Yeah. Social Sand MMORPG. It actually used to be a, sa a Social Sand MMORPG before I nerfed archaeology. Because basically all anyone would do is they would go to the beach and they would dig up all of the sand and then throw it away. Because it was like the most profitable way to play the game. Moody Mood, thank you for the 10 gifted subs. It's very nice of you. You mean I gotta be social? I mean, you don't have to be. It's just better if you are. Yeah. Play Soma? No. Maybe they're playing solo? Maybe they are. Maybe they are. How to become more social? Talk to people. Put yourself out there. It's going to be really awkward at first. You're not going to know what you're doing. You might fail and fumble a couple of times. But when you do, when people start to act a little bit awkward around you, say, hey man, I'm like a super big introvert, and I'm doing my best right now, and I don't think I'm doing very well. And the moment you do that... That's fine. A lot of people will understand. They'll be like, hey, I'm an introvert. I'm probably making jokes that don't land. I'm sorry. <laughs> works. It works a lot. Like, you'd be surprised at how many people are more willing to talk to someone when they realize they're an introvert and, like, just kind of help them out. Yeah. Find yourself an extrovert. Extroverts can be really helpful for that. I'm an introvert. You know that? Did you know that I'm, like, a super big introvert? I'm great online. I can do whatever the hell I want online. I can just hang out, say stupid jokes, all that kind of shit. In person, I'm like, hi, I'm... I do... I do things. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> like, that's me. That's me in person. Uh, the Streamer Awards was the most amount of social activity that I had for, like, years. Oh, wow, the server's eating shit. Nice. What's going on over here? Let's go look at that. Why is it dying? I would like to know. I bet someone's attacking again. They probably are. Ooh. Ooh. Actually, wait a minute. I have an idea. I have an idea. Wait for this. We're going to open that. What do we got? You going to give me anything fun? Gonna give me anything fun? Ooh, look at that. It's upset. It's upset. What the... What? What the what? What the what? 
What happened there? Alright, so let's check this out. I'm going to go into here. And we should have... God, what is it called? Is this Core Wars? No. No, something exploded. I don't know what it is yet. See that right there? That is what we call an anomaly. Where the player base remains the same, but this shoots into the floor. So that's a problem. Amount of entities? Entities is fine. 3,800 is about what I expected. This is about what I expected. I'm not too worried about that. Not too worried about this. Zombies might be a little hot. I think what I might do is I might reduce the number of entities across the entire server. That may work. But even then, entities versus DPS is... I guess that's correlative? It looks like it might be correlative. It might. Chickens are the devil. That's true. Now the zombies are hot? It's true. Terrifying, I know. So I think what we'll end up doing is we'll probably reduce that amount. And we won't have as big of a problem. Definite is? No, see, that's where thing gets a little chunky there, right? That's a little bit weird. That's a little bit weird, because this you would expect that to stay down, right? No. Was the CPU issue fixed? Yes, it was. Yes, it was. We got up to 100 players. It was awesome. It was mirrored, but now it's not. Now we got a problem. Yeah, nah. No. Nope. What's the max capacity of your server? We actually had 100 people on at 20 TPS the other day, which was sick. Shockbite is awesome, dude. They are doing some kick-ass work. And I am... What is that? Don't ping me with sound. You cursed goblin thing. It pinged me with sound. I'm not a fan. See, your Twitch is raising tier 1 sub prices in Australia, Canada, and the UK on the 28th? No? What the shit? Hold up. This is something you never want to see. This is something you never want to see. Updates to subscription pricing. I'm going to send this to my Aussie buddies and be like... As a couple of words in there. Because that's going to be what that is. Where is this? Twitch streamers rely on our monetization tools to reach their goals and build their communities. Subscriptions are one of the most important ways that viewers support their favorite channels. We have not increased channel sub prices since their inception. And many markets saw reduced prices in 2021. This year, we are updating prices to in several countries to help streamer revenue keep pace with the rising costs. Be gone. Be gone, Foden. Beginning March 28th, we'll be updating Tier 1 subscriptions and gift sub prices on the web in Australia, Canada, and the UK. We're updating all three tiers of subscription and gift sub, sub prices on the web in Turkey. Blow our new... Wait, wait. Didn't Twitch just get banned in Turkey? <laughs> Turkey currently has the ban. Did it get unbanned? Has it actually been unbanned? No, 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 no. Turkey actually banned uh, Twitch because they said that Twitch contained gambling content. And then they unbanned Kick, which was an odd move. They unbanned yesterday. You got an article for that? Because I can't find anything. It's just a bunch of... To be real with you, it's a bunch of shitty journalism that's saying that Twitch shut down in Turkey, which is not the same as the Turkish government banning Twitch. Yeah, it's not really the same at all, frankly. So, cool journalism, bro. Very nice. It's just a shitload of that. When did you start streaming? Seven years ago. And then no one could stop me. Yeah, I'm just stuck like this now. Couldn't find any article articles in English? Just send me the one that's not in English. We'll translate it. It's not a big deal. 
Bringing in line with American prices. Well, kind of. Mm, let's see this. USD to AUD, right? United States dollars, five. Australian dollars, 7.66. See, that's where we have a problem. But we have a problem that's worse than this. And you know what it is? The average purchasing power of somebody in Australia is about the same on a per dollar basis as a U.S. person. Even though their currency is worth less than the United States dollar, they have about as many Australian dollars left over for entertainment as U.S. people have left over for inter entertainment. Their purchasing power is roughly equivalent to ours, but their currency is worth less. So when we try to change prices on an international scale, guess what happens? They stop paying. And I'll give you an example of this, because I know this. If we go to Heartbound Price History... Not now. There we go. And we pull this up. You'll see that I did something down here, which is I reduced the price of the game in Australia to 10 Australian dollars, which is exactly equivalent to the 10 US dollars that it costs. Why? Because the average purchasing power in Australia is equivalent to the US dollar. Even though it's worth 35% less in USD when we make the conversion, the average price for an Australian is roughly equivalent based on the amount of expendable income that they have. Ta da So this change, I think this is going to be really negatively impactful for people who stream to an Australian audience, which is me. <laughs> and many others on this platform, like Cardboard Cowboy and Bajo and so on. So I don't know how this is going to go. Here, let's, let's get an anecdotal poll going. Anecdotal information, right? How many of you, Australians, are no longer going to sub the channels after this change? It is a dollar more, but it's still a dollar more, right? Because when we look at this, this is quite a lot of money over time, especially if you have multiple subs. One of the ferrets just did a backflip. What the hell was that? We're basically paying shipping for subscriptions in Australia? Yeah, that's kind of how I feel about it, too. Canada went up in price. United Kingdom went up in price. That's a bit weird. Especially because the United Kingdom, like, let's go pull this up. To USD. You've got 499 which means that's going to come out to $6.31. At the current exchange rate, this is $6.31 US. This is $5.04 US. Changing this... Price, not that great. Not that great. UK price is VAT, yeah, and we absorb that cost anytime we sell anything else. So why is this a thing? Doesn't make any sense. Our cost of living is so high at the moment. One dollar is actually a lot. Yeah, it is. It is for a lot of people. Does that mean US price is next to increase? I don't know. I think... This is already going to ruffle a lot of feathers, right? It's going to. This is already going to ruffle a lot of feathers. There's already going to be a lot of people that are hurting over this. And if we go to... Let's go to Twitch Tracker real fast. I'm interested to see the reasoning as to why. What this likely means to me... And this is not a good place to be, right? This is not a good scenario to have. It scares me for one reason. Because it means that Twitch is in such a financially bad situation that they are willing to sacrifice goodwill from the community for a temporary potential boost in money. That's not a good spot. That worries me. Anytime a company is willing to sacrifice goodwill for cash flow, something is wrong. That's always been this way? No, it hasn't. It hasn't. That's a dangerous move. It's a losing long-term move overall. It's a losing long-term move. Short-term, it might increase the amount of revenue. It might. So I'm, I'm concerned about that. That worries me, right? We see this all the time in business. People will go and do this, you know, places will go and increase prices on people, all kinds of shit. Don't Twitch risk that quite often? No, they try to do things a little bit too fast sometimes. They try to do things a little bit too loose sometimes where... They're trying to update something and it just doesn't work out. They have an environment where they can try and fail, which is good. That's a good thing for innovation. Things like this, 
it's very directly a monetization change. It's not really a, I hope this works, I hope people like this change. It's it's a, we need more money from this region change. And I, I think that's concerning. Yeah. Can confirm, not a good sign, financial controller. Yeah, that's kind of how I feel about it, right? I, I'm always concerned about moves like this because you're selling out the goodwill of the people on the platform. Does it have a runoff effect? For a little while, yeah. Eventually, people get used to the new price and they start paying it. Everything's fine. As long as the rest of the market is moving in step together. But for that moment, you're going to lose people. You are. I remember when they removed anonymous bits, which at the time was like 12% of my income on the platform, by the way. And there were a number of people in my community who stated they would never buy bits and subs again. And they never did. It's, it's been like over a year. They never bought bits and subs again. They still hang out. They're still here. They just refuse to actually buy into the platform because of that change. This is that same kind of a change. Why'd they remove it? They said it was because of abuse. But the problem with, with anonymous bits is that you couldn't have a name. You couldn't have an image. You couldn't have a message with it. So how do you abuse a streamer using that? I don't know. Now, by comparison... Anonymous subs, refunds, doesn't matter. Twitch can still see them. You're anonymous to the streamer, not to the platform. You know that, right? TTS still didn't work? No, there was no message. There's no message with it. How do you have TTS with no message? Like, let's look at this logically for a moment, right? Army Combat Me Medic, thank you for the 10 gifted subs. Use a VPN. Your payment information is on file. How do you think you buy bits? It doesn't matter if you're using a VPN. Money laundering, you can't... Okay, let me explain something to you about how money laundering works, because you're going down into quicksand right now, and I'm watching you, and I'm going I'm to reach out, and I'm going to try and save you from whatever that thought is right there. All right, we're going to save you from that. The way that money laundering works is you have somebody, like a streamer, and you have somebody who's a criminal, who's about to make that streamer a criminal. That person says, hey, I'm going to give you 5,000 bits. You just give me 40 of those dollars back. Right? And we call it even. That's how it works. You end up taking $10, whatever it is, or maybe even that, maybe it'd be, maybe it'd be more than that, right? Because it's going to be like 50 bucks for that. You'd be like, oh yeah, okay. You get like 10 bucks out of it. Or maybe even make more. Maybe make 30 bucks out of it. Maybe you make 30%, which is usually the case, because money laundering generally needs to have an amount of 70%. Well, what happens when this happens? Streamer gets jail time. Why? Because they're laundering money. Because these guys have stolen credit cards, and they're using that to buy bits, sending it to the streamer, and the streamer is then sending them money back, which is money laundering and a federal crime. That's how money laundering worked. The streamer has to be in on it. And the idea that there's money laundering going on because of anonymous bits is insane. Because it's not anonymous from the platform. The platform sees who is doing this. It's actually still tied to your account. Do you know how I know that? Because I have access to the API. You know what the API does? When you actually send this? It has a little flag that says, is anonymous? Is anon? And that was turned on or off. And if it was turned on, you know what it would do? Which is really funny. Let's say you had thrown an exact amount of 5,361 bits over the lifetime of your account. And then you threw 100 anonymous bits. You know what it would show through that, that message that would come to me? 5,461. And then when you threw one bit, when you weren't anonymous, it would change to 5,362. As if you never threw the 100. It calculated in your total and then removed it on the next one. Shit's not anonymous, dude. Shit was never anonymous. Twitch knows exactly who you are when you're using that system. You also have your payment information on file when they do it. It's not that hard. I think it was for back charging, cancel charging. No, you can do the same thing with normal bits. This doesn't change anything. It doesn't change anything. None of this has changed. None of it at all. Whether you're using anonymous bits or normal bits, it's exactly the same experience. What's the point then? I don't know, because it doesn't make any sense. However, as an example of this, if you gave bits, anonymous bits, you could have no name, no image, 
No message. Couldn't be abused. It's also not anonymous from the platform. So, nothing you can do, right? Now, they kept in anonymous subs. Anonymous subs have one piece with this that it's allowed to do. It's the name. And you can't ban a person for giving you anonymous subs because you don't know who they are. You also can't report them because you don't know who they are. The only thing you can do is report the badly named account that was given the sub. So why'd they get rid of anonymous bits, but not anonymous subs? I don't have a solution to that. That doesn't make any goddamn sense. A little bit weird. They make more money through subs? Mm, I don't know. No profit in bits? Also don't know. From a streamer perspective, they can ban and if botted with consistent bits after one after another, could that have been the reason? Consistent bits one after another? Oh no, someone is throwing dollars at me over and over again. I wonder I wonder what a stream that existed like that would be like. Let's go to the next message. Guitar that Guru someone Six with made money 500 for. bits said, Hey Thor, first time catching the live stream. Just wanted to thank you for being the inspiration you are. Thank you. Thank you. You're awesome. Wow, this is really tanking. Um, looks like 10 people dropped offline. I think it is actually the entities. The more that I look at this. Entity total is probably going to be a problem. I will likely change this around. We're going to go into here. It's likely just too many entities because we switched this around before. Too many squids. It's always the squids. Entity zombie is taxing the shit out of the server. Yeah, I'm not surprised, Jake. Let's go into it. Um, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to reduce the total number of, of uh, monsters from 70 to 30. That's what we had it before, and it ran like butter, right? It was great. So we can fix this. We can definitely fix this. Hi. Look, he's here. Terrifying, I know. Give one more thread to entities instead of chunk generation? How do I give a thread to entities? How do I do that? I actually don't know how to do that. I started playing Minecraft two years ago and I hated it, so I made an MMO in it. So we could play fun. Play the video game. Stream avatars bust. Happens all the time. Can't you set it in paper? Where? Where do I set that? Are we in config? Is it under paper world defaults? Or is it in global? Thread. Is it IO threads or worker threads? That's part of the chunk system. I hate Minecraft. I'm going to turn into something not shit two years later. I mean, we've been playing it for the last two years. We've been having a blast. What's your favorite MMORPG? Mm, Secret World. Easy. I love the shit out of the game. Emmy, Emmy Differs with the three raid. Thank you very much. And Marina Tentacles. Thank you for the raiding party of 24. Yeah, Secret World was awesome as hell. I love the hell out of that game, dude. I 100%ed that. I beat every single quest in the entire game. All of it. That's the only MMO I've ever 100%ed in my life. I beat it all. I loved that game. I loved the shit out of that game. Yeah, shame about what happened to it. I don't like the new version at all. They kind of ruined the, com like the uh, combat system. Makes me sad. When are we getting the bread recipe? Go and watch Onigiri's video. It's already out. Is that the conspiracy theory MMO? Yes. It is all of the myths and legends of real life brought into a video game. It's cool as shit. Is your cheese bread recipe originally sourdough or just dry packet yeast, non-sourdough like on a like Giri stream? Oh, Giri used, used dry packet yeast. I actually cultivate my own yeast for different types of bread. So, I have a number of yeast cultures that I use. Right now, I don't have any running because I'm getting ready to move sometime soon. I'm kind of packing everything up and getting it all done. But yeah. Have you considered using App Dynamics to track down the reason performance is tanking? We already have everything we need. We can actually see all of it. If you go up here and you look at this, bam. Wait for it. Wham. 
Look, it shows you everything. And what are we seeing? We're seeing that entities are taking up 40% of the server usage. Shit. And which enemy is it? Uh, Zombie. It's a zombie. The zombie's doing it. The zombies are shitting on the server. There's too many zombies. The server has zombitis. It's not good. Also, it looks like Chunk Provider is being a bitch. Which I guess is fine. Chunk Provider is usually a big bitch about things. Plague took out the server? Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. Plague took out the server. Just a little bit. So let me keep looking at the thread system in his and see if we can find out what's going on here. Maybe we can figure it out. Chat threads. Don't care about that. IO threads for the chunk system. Okay, so that's not going to be in there. Paper will default. Let's do thread. Thread. Monster. Let's just change the spawn limits to 30. And call that shit a day. Love this song, dude. Alright. I think we got most of it fixed. We're gonna have to restart the server, though. I can't hotfix this one, buds. There's not much I can do about it. It's gonna make me sad. I have to, to restart in the middle of Mothman March, but... You know how it is. Is it spigot or is it bucket? I think it's bucket. It is bucket! We're changing that back to 30. Saved. Glorious goblins. The Mothman restart is upon us. Whitelist on. See you in 60 seconds. And wait, I want you to see this. I want you all to see it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Kick all. <laughs> there we go. Done. Restarting the server. Oh, wait. I have to, like, look at my servers. Uh, block game production. Uh, restart. Uh, console. You love to see it. Sometimes it happens. How do you cultivate yeast? So the way that you do it is pretty easy, actually. What you do is you take white flour and wheat flour. And you put them in a 50-50 combination, right? Then you add a new 50. And that new 50 is the exact weight of all of these as water. You put them into a mason jar. You take cheesecloth, put it over the top of the mason jar, and then you screw on the lid, but you keep that little hole spot in the middle where you just take that panel out of it so there's, like, air breathing through the cheesecloth. Then this thing goes from, like, there to there in 24 hours, and it'll smell like a foot. Like a gross ham. And you take that top part off, and you scrape it off, and you throw it away. And then you put more white and wheat flour together, and you mix it up, and you add it back in about the same amount and it just keeps doubling and it keeps smelling like a foot and then slowly over time slowly over time it stops smelling like a foot and it starts smelling like apples and when it smells like sweet apples you got it you've cultivated wild yeast and you've trained it to not be a whiny baby anymore because it no longer is producing toxins to defend itself and instead it smells delicious congratulations you now have yeast to use in anything that you want to make Someone put a tra tramp stamp on the Mothman statue last night? Mothman March. Amazing. 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 Alright, the server is back up. Let me go see what's going on. Whoop. Whitelist. Off. Spark. Profiler. Open. Oh look, the server is exploding with human beings. Hmm, this is probably good for the server, isn't it? Alright. Yeah, that's probably good for the server. I think that's 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 probably good for the server, right? That's that's probably good for the server. Alright, we're just gonna wait here. You know, every time somebody logs in it hits the database to pull all their data. We should probably cache that. <laughs> yeah.
That's pretty funny. Bullshoe. That's pretty damn funny, actually. They did. They actually put a tramp stamp on the Mothman statue. Insane. Why does the Mothman statue have such a dump truck? Ridiculous, actually. Unmanned for Twitch in Turkey, not my source. Okay, let's go see. What is this sport skeeta, dude? Giving Twitch a taste of their own medicine, community reacts to Turkey supposedly unblocking Amazon owned streaming platform after almost a week. What? Wait, what? What the hell is that statement? Whose statement is that? The hell is this? Hold up. Giving Twitch a taste of their own medicine. Community reacts to Turkey supposedly unblocking Amazon own streaming platform after almost a week. What the hell is that quote? Where is that from? Kick seemingly got its ban lifted after a couple days. Now that Twitch has also reportedly been unbanned, the online community has many things to say. Some are making fun of the whole situation by pointing out how the purple platform is known for handing out bans to content creators and that Turkey had just given them a taste of their own medicine. Is, is that where we're at? We're like, haha, ha, banned you back. Is that like what people actually think? Really? Jesus Christ. Did this entire website get one guide? Yeah, the most scholarly news outlet. Did this entire website get one guide by this singular Reddit post? <laughs> that has three upvotes. I hate the internet. Who wrote this? I don't know. Somebody who shouldn't be writing that. Well, at least it, it's likely been unbanned. That is embarrassing. Yeah, it is. Journalism. See, dude, this is the biggest problem that I have, is, like, getting proper news sources is so shit now. It's so shit to get proper news sources. It's the worst, frankly. So, like, seeing stuff like this, I'm not surprised, but I am disappointed. And I'm routinely disappointed by shit like this. It just bothers the hell out of me to see that. It's very sad and stupid. Yeah. Just dumb. Lane develops with 500 bits said Yarchir 500 assuming I have an Ooh. application with kernel level anti-cheat installed on my machine. Can I trust the uninstaller to fully remove it when I'm ready to set up a similar setup like yours? Uh, depends. Depends. Results may vary on that one. Yeah. You're gonna have to find out for that specific situation. Um, it's really re results may vary. Yeah, it is. There are tools out there that can help you with that process, but again, results may vary. Yep. What hosting provider do you use for the MC server? Let me show you. We actually use Shockbyte, and they gave me an affiliate code, which is nice. So I'm going to link this to you, because I think it gives you discounts. I'm pretty sure it does. I may be wrong about that, but I may also be right. Got it. Yeah, we use Shockbyte. So Shockbyte actually reached out to us and said, hey, we're going to be able to help you get like a way better server set up. And I was like, prove it. And then they showed me what they had. And um, I was like, wow, that's way cheaper. It's way better. And we went to go use it and it broke. It actually didn't work at all. So I contacted them because we have a, uh, like a Discord channel set up for this. And we were trying to figure it out. And we actually troubleshooted through the entire thing. We found a crazy bug too. So if you have an AMD processor, which this server is an AMD processor, and you're containerized, meaning that you're running it inside of a container, and you're using Java 17.0.2, guess what happens? It thinks you have one thread available, and the server runs like dog shit. So that was interesting. Um, we found out that by switching this over to Java version 18, we now have 24 threads again. <laughs> That one took forever to figure out, by the way. We were like, what the shit? It took like four days of just like ripping our hair out to figure it all out. And uh, the server now can actually have up to 100 people on it at 20 TPS as a result of this change. So we went from 30 people at like 5 TPS to 100 people at 20, which is huge. And 20 TPS is perfect server performance. It's 100% server performance. So 
Yeah, thanks to a commander in Twitch chat, by the way. That's true. That's true. I don't know who it was. But whoever you are, you know who you are. You're beautiful. So thank you. Yeah. Usually updating stuff works best. I don't know about that one. I don't know. I don't know about that one. It's not good. How did you get this to this conclusion? Uh, somebody was talking about it in chat. And when they were talking about it in chat, we actually went and go, I went to go talk to them. We looked at a, a, a bug that was actually logged for Java. And then we went and tried it on the server and it just worked perfectly. We we're like, holy shit. So ChatMD, regrettably, was correct. It's upsetting. Yeah, it's upsetting. So we can actually see this is now sitting at like a good solid 20 TPS. Even though we're currently at 61 players. So we'll see if this thing takes a dive. We kind of got to wait and soak it. See what happens. Regrettably. Yes, regrettably. Tyrogandio with 500 bits said, Yar cult, here are your duties. Chat, Yar cult. Buy the demo, unleash the ferrets, revel in the Goblin Queen's wisdom, give thine bits, unveil the crypto secrets, recognize no. the memes, enlarge the community, donate to the mods, Yar cult. If you haven't figured what you get, read this message for yourself. Who made you this way? Who made you? Th you could be any other way. You know that, right? You know you don't have to be like this. Enlarge the community, dude. Oh, you're a gnome. You're def You're a hundred percent a gnome. Yeah, you're a gnome. That's what you are. Dralance with five hundred bits said, "Yar cheer five hundred. Hey Thor, thank Hi. you for your Spotify work playlist." Yeah. I've been working on my GDD and finding that I'm not making it as big as I thought it was. Thank you for making this community as awesome as it is. Being so new to any coding what is this, aha, moment that I keep hearing about and how in the world is it supposed to sink in. I get that everyone learns differently and silver bullets are not a thing. Well, number one, community is only good because of you guys. Like, we're here to guide the community to make them not, you know, not allow dumbasses in, right? People are big pieces of shit. Like, we're here to be like, nope, and you just prune that thing off, right? Constantly fighting the garbage that enters the internet. But you guys, you made the community special in the first place. That's kind of the whole point. So without you, and without you acting the way that you do, this place would not exist. So thank you for being kick-ass. 100%. No, don't clip that Chad MD was correct. God damn it. I was just, I was just complimenting you. Yeah, I just, I was just, even with me here? Yes, technically. Yeah. Yeah. What do you mean silver bullets aren't a thing? So they, they said also, what is this aha moment I keep hearing about in the world that is supposed to sink in? Aha moments happen all the time. It's every time you solve the puzzle. Every time you have something that's broken and you find a solution to it. That's the aha moment, right? And these happen constantly. All kinds of, of moments throughout all of your creativity forever. You will constantly be finding these things. Anytime you solve the puzzle, that's your aha moment. That's all it is. And over time... Your aha moments get a little bit farther and farther apart, and the puzzles get harder and harder, but they feel just as sweet as they did in the beginning. I love solving puzzles by making things. It's great, honestly. So, yeah. Bobia123 with 500 bits said, Hey Thor, maybe you've heard about the recent DDoS attacks in the LCK, LOL Esports. TL. DR this huge esports broadcast is struggling the last few days due to a DDoS attacks. Mm. I was wondering if you think they can do anything to put a stop to it. There's a ton of devices used in broadcast, there's a ton of people working on it. What would they need to do to protect themselves properly? Well, let's go take a look at this. Um bup, 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 bup. Recent DDoS attacks in the LCK, LOL Esports. TLDR, this huge esports broadcast is struggling the last few days due to a DDoS attack. So if you think they could do anything to put a stop to it. There's a ton of devices used in broadcast. There's a ton of people working on it. What would they need to do to protect themselves properly? Make themselves completely iso isolated. The only way that you can handle this kind of stuff is by having on-site infrastructure that is not connected to the general internet. That's it. If you want to have a tournament, you have on-site infrastructure for the tournament. It is air-gapped from the rest of the internet. That is how you handle this. Yeah, LAN. LAN tournament. That is the way to do it. Because the moment you put any in infrastructure on the internet, you are now immediately going to get hit. Always. Always. You are you are putting your boat in the ocean when it should be in a pond. And that's 
that's all that it is. Yep. Yep. It's better for the players, too. It's faster for the players. It is. What do you think the best way to get started learning game dev? YouTube University? Go and go to develop.games, my website. It is free. There is no paywall. There are no ads. Just go there and read everything. It's free. And then join our Discord. That's also free. Discord.gg slash pirate software. I don't believe in monetary walls for you to learn shit. Ever. I miss the good old days of proper LAN parties. Yeah, LAN parties are huge, man. It's a good thing. Is it possible to bypass IP whitelisting? Depends on what you're doing. You could make it think you're something else. There's all kinds of different ways there, but it, it really depends, man. It depends on what you're doing. You can also crash whatever's doing the whitelisting by overloading the shit out of it and maybe get passed through that. DDoS isn't always just to bring down the entire service. DDoS can sometimes be there to bring down a specific security component so you can bypass it. That happens all the time. So, Land parties the good old days now. The Xbox is a retro console. Thought you should know. Oh yeah, no, you're totally right about this, Jake. Yeah... That's a huge amount of usage. That would make sense. Well, how do we update? <laughs> Legitimately, I don't think we can. Let's see here. Let's see here. Do 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 old yeah and shrek is 23 years old king sea town thank you the rating party too hope you're having a wonderful day will you be bringing out uk us eu etc block game servers no they're all on the same server yeah there'd be no reason to change that i was here earlier i thought you weren't playing due to kernel level any cheat aha you're right you know what is playing? Another computer. See, if we want to stop kernel level anti cheat, we can't really stop kernel level anti cheat. So, what I did instead was I put the game on another computer, my Helldivers 2 computer. And then that computer runs the game and feeds the video over to my computer, which I use to stream to you. And that computer is just a dummy, it's just there to do that. And the inputs are actually fed from my devices directly over to that other computer. It's not a VM. It's a physical secondary computer. The Sacrifice Machine. And that machine, I frankly don't give a shit about because it's never been used to log into anything of note. Nor does it have anything of note on it. Nor will it ever. This is now my sacrificial lamb. Anytime I want to play a game that has kernel level anti-cheat on it, I'm going to put it on the Helldiver computer. Because that's what it feels like playing a game with kernel level anti-cheat. It feels like you're a Helldiver diving down into a bug-infested shitlord world and then trying to survive it that's how i feel about it. it's the hell box yes it's the hell box that's what it is it's my hell diver computer that's what it does it dives into hell and it survives kernel level anti-cheat so now i get to have managed democracy remotely remote managed democracy fantastic fantastic wonderful thank you hell diver machine we're all very proud. Also, we have a new emote from Rubber Ross. Rubber Ross made a, uh, a Yard Democracy emote, so thank you, Rubber Ross, for doing that. You're fantastic. We got to play Helldivers with him earlier today. We were all democratizing together, and now we have a fantastic little emote for it. Oh, that's very funny. You put it on its own VLAN? Wouldn't you like to know my network setup? Are you trying to map my network remotely? 
You have no idea how many layers there are to this onion, bud. The point is to make a maze. And the sysadmin's a minotaur. Let's see if this worked. Eh? Almost? Are we shitting the bed? We're shitting the bed a little bit, but we're sitting at 62 users. So what's going wrong here? Lots of pigs. I don't like how many pigs that is. Who's got a big goddamn pig farm? Which one of you literal goblins is running a pig farm the size of space? Fix the threads? There's no threads for this. If you can find me an option to, like, make it so that mobs have their own threads in Minecraft, please. I would shit myself for that. Because I don't see that anywhere. Hmm. Yeah, the entities are taking up, like, 30% of the server usage. And which one is it? I bet it's gonna be zombies. Zombies. Entity player is one of them. Well, isn't that interesting? Huh. Guessing we fixed the squid overpopulation? That's correct. We had the hell divers on it. Also, I've realized something. Iron Mouse is also part of the No Sleep Forever Club, and I think that's fantastic. So, now I, I have another buddy that also never sleeps and likes to stream forever, which is great. So, expect many more hell divings going forward. Yeah. That you said you slept? You fool. You believed me? <laughs> <laughs> Who believes me? A little bit of hell dipping, you know? Yeah, and it was fun. It was fun. I, I really enjoyed that. Mouse is also super into Minecraft? Hell yeah. You still look at Blister Critter just yet? I have not. Yeah, Thor never sleeps. Crux knows. Once you put a puzzle in front of me, I don't sleep. Like, that's kind of how that goes. I, I legit do not sleep when there's a puzzle in front of me, because if there's a puzzle in front of me, I, I all the cylinders turn on, and there isn't a cylinder left over for sleep. So the sleep happens happens afterwards, and it's usually involuntary. It's, did we win? We did? Oh. And then that's it. Like, that's... And then they take pictures of me, because that's pretty much... it. It's like a... It's like a high-performance car, just... And then the race is over, and you just turn it off, you know? <laughs> the brain runs at a million miles an hour. Do you solve Rubik's Cubes? No, I solve uh, cryptographic puzzles. Ciphers. Crux knows everything. Because Crux is on the psychoholics. With me. And we're giant nerds. We do this thing where we go to DEF CON and we don't sleep. Yeah, we don't sleep at all. Have you tried playing Temetsi? Temetsi? No? I don't know what that is. I've never never heard of that. I'm wondering how long you've gone without sleep. 72 hours. That's kind of my limit. I could do more than that, but I don't want to because things start to get weird. So 72 hours is like, I'm good here. That's the longest I've ever done because it starts to get very strange. I burn at around 30? Yeah, no. 72 hours is the maximum that I do, and I do it during DEF CON every time. I don't sleep for three days straight, usually. And then we just hammer. The creature in the corner starts talking back. No, it's more like one of those things where you get time dilation when you move. Like, the the problem that I always run into at around like 70 hours, 65 hours, somewhere there, is that when you turn your head, it has lag. And like, your head is over here and you're aware of what's in front of you, but the image does this. And that's not right. That feels bad in your brain parts. And then it makes me want to vomit. So what I end up doing is instead of turning my head like that, I look directly at the computer screen and keep cracking all the puzzles that we're doing. And then I don't get the weird frames. As long as I don't turn my head, 
There's no weird frames. And if I do have to turn my head, I go farther and farther into the puzzle sphere, deeper into DEF CON, I will close my eyes and then turn and then talk to people. I don't know if they ever noticed that, but that's how you fix it. <laughs> that's probably healthy. It's probably fun. Yeah, your brain drops to 60 hertz. I feel like that's probably true. Yeah. Dude, no, don't worry about it. It's fine. As long as you don't think about it, it's not an issue. Yeah. That's not a fix, that's avoidance, which in and of itself could be a fix. Tax avoidance, a fix. You fix it by sleeping? No, you fix it by doing this, and then you don't have to sleep. Enable V-Sync? That could work. Tax evasion crime. Tax avoidance. Legal. Good. Done by everyone. If you ignore everyone, then there's no problem. True, actually. That's not false at all, actually. I could simply just ignore everyone. It makes sense. Sci-T with 1000 bits said Doom can now be run in a provable VM. Crypto sound Doom. Thoughts on use as Antui cheat. I'm looking to apply my skills with Decentral Systems and Crypto to game preservation. Advice. What? What are you trying to make? Decentralized Systems and Crypto? For what? In what direction? Under what guidance? Are you making something from this? Are you trying to build video games? Don't. Number one. But two, Decentralized Systems and cryptogra like Cryptography... Not bad ideas, but if you're dealing with cryptocurrency, what specifically are you adding to that area? Blockchain is already a ledger. doesn't really need any type of advancement on it, unless you're trying to run a, a network for doing transactions quicker. But if you're trying to do it as the backbone of a video game in any way, or backbone of any type of software in terms of database storage and using a ledger in that way, stop it. Get some help. Don't do that. So I'm interested in what it is that you're specifically doing in this regard, because I'm not sure. There's so many different areas to go there. How useful can ChatGPT get B when coding? It's a pretty good way to reflect your opinions and ideas back at yourself. If you need somebody to explain something to you, ChatGPT can do that. And if you use a screen reader with an AI voice, it gets even funnier, because then you can make it say anything in any voice you want to. For instance, just have Morgan Freeman teach you about quantum theory. Fine. And have him explain it to you like you're five, while insulting you the entire time. See? It's great. What is this, dude? What? What the shit did I just read? Can I be configuring the terminal for me, please? Nah. I could send you a fork bomb. Would you like that? Would that be nice? <laughs> Would you like a little bit of RMRF? A little bit of delete Windows 32? Whoop, 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 whoop. This is weird, dude. White House urges developers to dump C and C++. What the shit am I reading? This is like something I should talk to Prime Engine about. When did this come out? Three days ago. Two days ago. Why well, can't I Prime sub? Something probably wrong with Twitch. Refresh your page and try again if you really want to sub to me. Which is nice of you, so thank you. I know there's still ads. We're waiting. Bezos has got his icy grip on the stream. You inspired me to keep doing better? You can do better. I believe in you. Do it. 
All right, so this is a weird one. White House urges developers to dump C and C++. Biden administration calls for developers to embrace memory-safe programming languages and move away from those that cause buffer overflows and other memory access vulnerabilities. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say this right now, and this is probably the best way that I can put this. If Joe Biden knows what a buffer overflow is, I will buy a hat, deep fry it, and eat it live on stream. That's my statement on this. One of those chip ads? No. So waiting for the controller pizza? I have to do that, actually. That's the debt. What kind of hat? Probably like a ridiculous hat, like a big mariachi hat, you know? Cowboy hat? I could eat that. Leather and all. What are you goblins doing? Oh my god. Ferret taco is happening. Are you out of water? Hold up. I gotta give the ferrets water. They're out of water. They spilled it everywhere because they're dumbasses. One moment. I have returned. The ferrets now have water. But yeah, but yeah, to be real with you, um, with, with the, with, I don't like the government getting in the way of technology. I don't like the government getting involved in technology. Every time the government has an idea where they want to help with something, they largely shit in their own hands, walk into the room, and then clap all over your own ceiling. And everyone else is there who are experts on things to pick it up afterwards. I'm not very interested in that. That being said, this is an article on the internet, and likely to be bullshit. So, let's go see. Biden administration. Article. Let's go see where this goes. Let's do a little bit of investigation. White House Office of National Cyber Director, ONCD, in a report released Monday, called on developers to reduce the risk of cyber attacks by using programming languages that don't have memory safe vulner safety vulnerabilities. Technology companies can prevent entire classes of vulnerabilities from entering the digital ecosystem by adopting memory safe programming languages, the White House said in a news release. Memory safe programming languages are protected from software bugs and vulnerabilities related to memory access, including buffer overflows, out of bounds reads, and memory leaks.
Is this, this smells like the same argument when people say Rust is a bugless programming language? I hate the government. I'm just going to be super real with you. I detest the government. Stay out of our shit. Go back to building roads and schools. Fund that shit. Leave technology alone. You don't know what you're doing. Holy shit. Let's go read this. Back to building blocks, a path towards secure and measurable software. Memory safe programming languages. This is 16 pages long. I bet it costs more than any of us make combined. Since many cybersecurity issues start with the line of code, one of the most effective ways to... Since, <laughs> since many cybersecurity issues start with a line of code, we're off to a wonderful start, Chet. We're off to a fantastic start with this article. And remember, this was written... Path towards secure and measurable software... By the White House. It was written by the White House. <laughs> Since many cybersecurity issues start with a line of code, one of the most effective ways to address those issues is by examining the programming language itself, ensuring that a programming language includes certain properties, such as memory or type safety. It means software built upon the foundation that automatically inherits the safe security those features provide. You, you can still make this wrong. Oh my god. Did you guys just throw all the water all over? Oh my god. Hey Shay. I gave them new water and they threw it all over the floor. The whole bowl. They're doing a thing where they want to get under the water. Because they're idiots and they're all wet now. And the whole floor is ruined. I gave him like an entire like two, three cups of water. That whole bowl was full. Yeah. Look at him. Yeah, I don't know what he's doing. Yeah, they need clip-ons. We could go to the store today. I have a meeting at 12.30 and then we'll go after that. The ferrets are soaked. They need new blankets and everything now. Yeah. It's just Kalua. Oh my god, goblin animal. Cybersecurity solutions should be informed by engineering best practices and technology manufacturers. Building software can tackle this issue by consistently using secure building blocks. This, this is just going to be a lot of buzzwords, isn't it? It's going to be a lot of buzzwords that don't make a lot of sense. These are from the, yeah, this is from the same people that ask if TikTok accesses your Wi-Fi. Are you wet? Why do you smell? Oh, you smell like wet. You smell like wet. Oh, poor little. Why are you so wild? Why do you need to flip the water bowl? You want to just don't destroy my microphone, you goblin. You goblin creature. God, he's so nuts. Look at him. You got claws on these back feet? You got claws. Enough. Enough. Why are you insane? I know you're bored, but you're in quarantine right now. And you've been in quarantine for one more one more week. And then after that, you get to come out and go crazy. Yeah. You get to come out and go crazy. He's already going crazy. It's not working. I hear, I hear Moose and they're trying to flip a bull too. Yeah, they're all flipping bulls. They're bull flippers today. They're the worst right now. That's because they're bored. When they get bored, they want to flip bulls. Is TikTok in my Wi-Fi? Yeah, no, this, this bothers me, man. I, I think the reason it bothers me is because it's another... It's another instance in which the government is trying to butt its head into something, knows partially what it's talking about, enough to fool people that are not technically savvy. And when you have issues like this, anytime this kind of a thing happens, there's going to be a percentage of the population that believes everything that they're saying is exactly correct and that there's no other route forward. And I know this because I got to see this throughout my entire career. Not government related, most of the time, but management related. As an example of this, when I was on StarCraft II, they wanted me to build an automation framework to be able to test the StarCraft II editor. Management demanded that I make this in Ruby on Rails. Why would you build an automation framework in Ruby on Rails? 
No, not just Ruby. Ruby on Rails, specifically. And I was like, I'm not doing that. He's like, oh, you're going to do it. So then I built it in Python and told him it was Ruby on Rails, and he was very happy about it. And never knew the difference. This reeks of that. This reeks of that. That's what it reeks of. And I think this is the biggest problem for this. Can you comment on the experts who voice support for statements of support for software measurability and memory safety? Memory safety is not a bad thing. What is a bad thing here, Mad Dog, is the government getting involved in the technology sector. I'm not a fan of that. Especially when the government doesn't hire people to manage this correctly. That can lead to a lot of really bad outcomes. I don't... You'll, you'll find this pretty quickly. I don't like the government very much. Who knew? Maybe, maybe because, I don't know, I've been a hacker for 20 years, and I worked for the government, so I know how stupid it is from the inside. Right? It's a little bit dumb over there. Yeah. The government can't find its own ass half the time. So having things like this concerns me, regardless of how their messaging is, regardless of the way that it is. It's a problem because you know what the first thing that people thought was? I shouldn't use C and C++. Are we just going to deprecate all C and C++ tools now? Is that what we're doing? Yeah. Dump C and C++ in favor of is another Y2K for no... Yeah, exactly. It's just ridiculous. So I, I find this to be very strange. Oh, little one. I hold her. That's eight. Hi. All that tried to... Give Hello. An actual round tail tip Hello. Than <laughs> Hello. You got your tail removed. It's mostly gone. Boop. <laughs> no tail. Half gone. Little goofy. That's okay though. It'll be okay. She keeps trying to hold it up like she still has the thing on it. I know. Yeah. She's used to holding it up because of the heavy weight on the end of it. Peepo. Yeah, peepo. Peepo. No peep. No peep. Look how happy she is though. She's all good. I'm so sorry about your tail, little one. I'm so sorry. Here you go. I don't know how old she is. She looks old and acts old, and Jazz said she acted old in the anesthesia, but her teeth don't look old. Yeah, she might not be old. I'm thinking like three. Three with Rowaning. Yeah. Age is like cheese. Huh? Yes. So is so is Peepo? No, I was saying she ages like cheese, the ferret cheese. She, she is like, cheese is a ferret. I was like, yes? No, because cheese is not aging very well. No. Whoa! There's a huge spider on my wall. One moment, don't kill it. Leave it alone. I'm going to go put this in the enclosure. One moment. I've returned. There's a very large spider in my house. It is now in the enclosure with the rest of the uh, Madagascar hissing cockroaches. But yeah. So I, I think the thing that really bothers me about this has nothing to do with the actual technology behind it. it. has nothing to do with the advice. It has to do with the fact that the government is getting involved with this in a more hands-on way that may change the way that people feel about certain languages going forward. I, I've noticed this quite a lot, that many things like this are happening right now where there's very big names, there's very big groups, the government, 
people like the CEO of NVIDIA that are trying to tell people not to be a programmer or to not use certain languages or not use certain technologies. Bitch, I will make things in basic if I want to. And there is not a damn thing you can do about it. What are you going to do? Come to my house and remove the keyboard from my hands? Eat shit. That's how I feel about that. It, it bothers the living hell out of me. No, people should still be programmers, regardless of AI. No, people should keep using these languages because there's a shitload of infrastructure that is being used right now that uses them, and we need that. And no, I don't want the government in my shit. Go away. And that's how I feel about that. Like, hands down. No matter what goes on, I hate all of that. If the company doesn't do X, they won't insure. Blech. Disincentivizing is not the same as banning? No, it's not the same as banning. Disincentivizing that kind of behavior is not okay, though. It doesn't make sense. It's just another way to control the market in a way that I don't think is correct, frankly. Should all mechanics stop being mechanics because of EVs? Exactly. It's ridiculous. An absurd thing. What if they outlaw Java? <laughs> Minecraft will have a word about that, dude. Isn't this just an advisory? Yeah. Which language are, languages are frowned upon? They were frowning upon um, anything that's not memory safe. Godot jump scare raid. Expired popsicle. Thank you for the rating party of twenty. But no, I'm not. I'm not a fan of that. You'll find really quickly that I always keep the exact same thing. Yeah, what are they going to do? Ban Chrome? Gado jump scare. But C sharp is okay? Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah, of course C sharp is okay, because it's just C plus, 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 plus. It's got two more pluses. How could it not be okay, dude? Ridiculous. Spagata, what the hell is that? Dude, what is that? Oh, it's Peeve. Of course it is. That emote is terrifying. That emote is terrifying. Assembly is the only language needed? You know? You're wrong. <laughs> Midnight64 with 500 bits said I was recently told that all anti-cheats are kernel level. Would you be no. able to explain this better? No, they are not. All anti-cheats are not kernel level. No. No. Kernel level anti-cheat is there specifically so that it can read all of the hardware inputs and all of the software that is going on on your computer at the same time. Other anti-cheats are not kernel level. No. No, no, no. Yes, technically wrong. 100% technically wrong. There are anti-cheat methods that are built inside of the specific client so that the specific client can go and detect if you are cheating inside of that client based on injected software. I'll give you an example. Warden is anti-cheat. Warden is only inside of the context of World of Warcraft. Within the memory space of World of Warcraft. No, not all anti-cheats are kernel level. That is 100% incorrect. Ugh. They're still cheating in Helldivers 2? Haven't seen it yet. Are you kernel level? Yes. In fact, I'm streaming from inside your house right now. Wise Town with 500 bits said you might know kernel level anti cheat, but have you heard of colon level anti cheat? I hope not. I hope not. Yeah, it's terrifying. Deeply terrifying. Now that's scary, it is. It's horrifying, really. <laughs> Joni, dear God. You didn't think I'd see that, did you? Please keep the cat the chat English. I don't know how to read Arabic. I'm sorry. I have no idea what that says. 
Google Translate. I'm gonna do it now. I'm Google Translating you. What? Arabic. What does that even mean? What does that even mean? What does that even mean? I've translated it. And Google doesn't understand it at all. It seems vaguely offensive. It's like vaguely offensive threats. I don't know. I don't know, Evil Notion. That's what I'm confused about. Are you trying to say something offensive? The language barrier is so large that I don't even know if you're mad at me. I can't even tell. Nala is still cool with 500 bits said, Hey, Thor, you ever hear of a game called Vintage Story? Yes. It's a wilderness survival sandbox game with eldritch horror themes. Please, yes. let me know what you think of it. HTTPS colon slash slash www.vintagestory.at slash. I think it's awesome as shit. Um, I, I think that Vintage Story is actually really, really amazing. It originally, I believe, used to be a Minecraft mod, and they split it off to make it its own game. And I'm very excited about it. It's actually quite cool, honestly. And for me, that sort of thing is really compelling and neat, because I could split off block game eventually and just do the same thing, just keep all of our data, right? And I, I find that to be very fun, very interesting. And one day I might just do it. You know? One day I might. Maybe block game will be its own thing. Vintage Story is your primary game at the moment? Hell yeah. It's pretty neat. It's actually pretty neat. Is a cactus the logical evolution of a cucumber stuck in a desert? Cactus is actually a sub-variant of cucumber, but only if it's a long one. If it's a round one, it's a sub-variant of basketball. Yeah. Common misconception. Yeah. Nick Van Riven with 7 euros said, Hi Thor, I was born Hi. on this day in 1987, which means I am now 37. Oh. Also, I forgot the name of that movie with Morgan Freeman and Brad Pitt. Remember? Made you this way. Also, I was born in 1987 on July 17th, so my birthday is 7-1787, unironically. Oh, is that the primogen? Hey, the Primogen. We were talking about this. Did you see this thing about the White House? Did you see the C++ thing? Did you see that? Primogen, I want your take on this. I want to know. I want to know. Because my take on it is I don't like the government. I don't like the government in my shit. I don't like the government doing anything. I want to know. You did a video on it? How do you feel about it? He didn't make C illegal. I just don't like the government. I've never liked the government. I don't like the government at all. And I definitely don't like the government telling me which programming languages are good. Why is this week about like weird overlord programming advice shit? What is What the hell is going on, frankly? I'm calling you via Discord? All right. I'm turning on my Discord call. I'm snoozing Jeff Bezos immediately. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Okay, they can hear you. Yeah, so, like, dude, I, I looked at this and I was like, the, the first reaction that I had to this was shock and awe, being like, oh, God, they're doing it again. And then the mm -hmm. second one was, why? Why is the government in this shit again? Why is the government bothering people again? The last time this happened, they had senators on this on the floor asking for more nerds to explain why new internet laws could damage the economy. Specifically, nerds. So, so my general take is pretty simple, which is actually, it. I don't know how this happened, but we fundamentally have the same take, mm -hmm. which is the government is so inept that I don't think they're going to be able to execute anything reasonable I mean, I like I like the idea, right? We should all have safer sure. software, and the most secure software should probably use Rust, right? Like I like it in net the network side of things. Like that's all good and fine and dandy, but the government never does anything well, right? Everything no. ends up like the DMV. So last thing I want is the DMV of Rust <laughs> making software. Dude, imagine if you have to get like a license for your code from the government before you can launch it. 
you like might I, have to apply. Go stand in line yeah. at the Rust DMV. Want to be a game developer? Get your software license from the government. Right. <laughs> Prove to me your code is type safe. <laughs> there you go. That I mean, you you pretty much have the same thought as I do, which is this. It's, it's just weird. People will be motivated because of security. I yeah. don't think having any government agency telling you you should be worried about security is going to make you worry about security. No, and I, I think the worst part about it is we spent tax dollars on this. I know this is only a 16-page document. Well, I guess 19-page because there's a million. How much money went into this? Millions. A lot of goddamn money. Like, a lot. And the, the reason why I look at this kind of shit, I'm just like, what the hell? I don't like the government on a good day. I don't like the government in my shit. Blame me. I'm a hacker. I've been a hacker for 20 years. Amazingly, people from our culture don't like the government a lot of the times because they do stupid shit with money and we get to watch them do it and we just cry deeply and then just keep, you know, abiding by Nurk's sip to make sure that all the government still works in certain areas. So, like, yeah. I I don't like this at all. I, I hate it. And the idea that the government is moving in this direction of, like, hey, we're going to teach cybersecurity solutions. We're going to, you know, teach you how to have code that is unhackable. It's It's not even in a good direction either. Because how much of the infrastructure is running on C and C++ right now? There's shitloads, oh, man. The world. The, the currently world the world is. runs on C++, so the changeup is impossible. So imagine what's going to happen if people listen to this. Imagine if they start doing programs to try and teach people other languages at the young young level, right? Where they're like, oh yeah, don't do that because that'll be you know outmoded eventually. And then you have this aging infrastructure that's just rotting with like no new people that are working on it. That's the stuff that I worry about. I don't, what is up with this week? You have the NVIDIA CEO acting like a clown ass, and now you have the federal government acting like a clown ass. What, well, you why missed is- actually one more. You missed one more. Did you know that Elon opened up a lawsuit this morning suing OpenAI, saying that they have traded out their original charter for the good of mankind, but instead is profiting Microsoft. It, it's this has been the greatest week ever. Of, what is happening, dude? We've hit peaks. We've hit peak insanity. I think is what it is. is no, that, no, 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 no. It's not peak. It's not peak yet. This is we're just only halfway up. What we're seeing is <laughs> we, we're seeing the the roller coaster reaching the top. It's about to go over. Now we're going to see the real shit, right? It's all it's all the pieces setting up for the dumbassery ahead. Is kind of how I feel about that because this. Because they can't just make these statements without doing something about it. So now we're yeah. going to see them do something about it. Maybe. Do you want to hear the? Uh, do you want to hear like the the tinfoil hat theory behind this? I love tinfoil hat. Let's hear it. You you do like conspiracy? So the conspiracy oh, running is that they're going to use this document for when the election happens to claim that there was rigging in the election. Okay, that's a weird. That's a heavy that's conspiracy. Like, that's a heavy conspiracy. But people, I already see it. I've seen it a few times now. Going, oh man, this is intense. Like, Dude. imagine how that's going. They didn't use Rust, therefore we got hacked. Like, imagine if that's the future we. Imagine hear. if they're like American elections were stolen because they use C. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that actually might we like. Imagine if that's the future. Like, how hilarious will that be? I mean, the, the way that I always feel about it is the dumbest answer is likely the correct one most of the time. Yeah. So like. If that happens, I'll probably just sit here in the, and just stare into the middle distance, you know, phasing out of reality when it does. But that, God, I don't want the tinfoil to be right on that because that's a that's yeah. a funny outcome. That's deeply hilarious. But, but it's but, also just like it's it, just the worst possible. Outcome. It's I the really worst. It's the worst it's, outcome. I just hope it's a bunch of people. I mean, my big takeaway is: Did you see who ran this? Uh, this C little piece of research. Sorry, someone said <laughs> CNN is C the new QAnon. <laughs> <laughs> that's so good oh. that's tweet worthy um, seeing on is the new q and on god damn it but uh the 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 person who wrote this uh legislation i think this is really like the fundamental you know it's like, not even I legislation like, though it's just an advisory right there's no advisory yeah the, no action the to come out heading senator is 78 years old that probably doesn't use the internet like that's yeah. the reality is that I, I appreciate wisdom with age and all those kind of things, but specifically in technology, it seems like there's kind of like a lacking in the upper echelons of age. Yeah, I, know, have like a, a, I have a very harsh stance on that. I don't think that anyone, and this is this is my only political stance that I have, if you're over the age of retirement, you shouldn't hold public office. That's how I feel about that. Can we invert it a little bit? What happened if it? you have to be able to run a mile in under seven minutes? <laughs> Dude, no one would be in office. Look at them. It's impossible. <laughs> 
Oh man! Be like that's it. If you want to be in office, you got to be physically aggressive. Uh, you got ten minutes. Make that mile happen right now, Grandpa. Good, good job. Sixteen minute mile there, Mister President. If you if you get it in seven minutes, you get to stay president. You got two weeks. You know? <laughs> yeah, you got two weeks to train. <laughs> oh my God! Yeah. What if you just had you get President Camacho that way though? We can't have that. Well, Maybe I mean, we can. We can't, I mean, we could. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna give us electrolytes. That's what plants crave, dude. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm super ready. But yeah, this 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 ends up being super concerning to me because I just don't I don't like the government in anything, frankly. I don't yeah. I don't like them dealing with any especially technology stuff because they just ham fish the shit out of it all the time. Yep. They the tanks that they generally have, they could have the right idea. They could have the right you know, idea going forward of like, hey, you know, we should move to more safe programming languages. We should more to move to more safe architecture, but the way in which they do it, the road in which they get there is generally terrible. That doesn't you make any sense. want to hear a fun sense. little story about this? Sure. Uh, do, you, do you know how taxes are filed after Enron? What changed specifically? Because I don't know that, Rome. So the SEC decided, okay, we're going to be hip. We're going to get into technology. And so the standard became HTML 3.2, right? Because that was the standard during that time. And they mm -hmm. created something called XBRL, which is a markup language to be able to ensure that another thing like Enron cannot happen programmatically. You'll be able to detect if somebody's cooking the books or not. Within with or actually still today it's html 3.2 and has not been updated and there's entire companies around how complicated it was the revolutionary idea to make taxes better and safer is now just a giant cottage market in which there's oh, yeah. companies that now have to try to help you file your 10ks and 10qs I, I wish we had a system there's a number of other countries that actually have systems so the government just sends you a bill at the end of the year because they already have all your information anyway and i I wish we had a system that was more simple like that. Much, much more simple. They'd be like, "Here's." I actually like the system with the, uh, uh, how much do you, how much do you think you owe us? This much? Up, you're wrong. Jail. I like that one. <laughs> yeah, I that's think that a, that's what we have system. right now. It, for those who don't know, if you're in the United, if you're not in the United States, the way that we do our taxes is quite hilarious. We're basically it's a bet between you and the government, and for a lot of people, that bet is like, "Well, I made this much money." They're like, "No, you didn't." pay us the rest you go to jail and it's like it's just a bet every time where th yep. they know the amount you're supposed to do and you're supposed to know the amount too and if the amounts don't match up enough then they're like mm, audit time oh i got ads look we were talking about money and bezos appeared who knew who would guess hey i got one thing to send to you that also just came out yesterday i actually forgot i didn't even i forgot to read this today mm -hmm. on stream but look at that little uh, article i just sent you isn't it kind of crazy after all of uh, all those talk by uh, Jensen, what did they just huh. release? Huh. Hey, everybody, stop programming so you can use our product to become a programmer. <laughs> Isn't that just crazy convenient that they uh, that Jensen says all these comments about coding, and then one day later they drop an article for their new LLM coder, Star Coder? I get a minute and twenty seconds, and then I'm going to bring this up to the chat because this is this is busted, dude. I got ads. <laughs> it does feel a little bit like a rigged game, doesn't it? <laughs> it's 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 a lot of bit like a rigged game. There's always some bullshit behind the veil, dude. There always is, and it's it's easy to figure out. It's easy to understand that that's going on, and it's deeply depressing. How did how many hours did you stream today, by the way? Four. I did four. Oh, and yeah. then I, I I do want to tell you my uh, great idea for a play to lose game. Do you like this idea? Any game that's pay to win is play to lose, but continue. Oh, sorry, sorry. Pay to lose. I said, did I oh, say pay, pay to, lose. to lose? Yeah. Pay to lose. It's a. We're calling it the troll toll. The troll toll. What does this mean? Explain. It's it's pretty good. All right. Uh, well, you have your ads in progress. You want me to tell you now? Yes. Okay. So the general idea is I'm going to make a tower defense, a team one, team two tower defense, where the middle slowly opens up and you can build towers. The towers have limited ammo. Uh, so if you build a tower on top of a tower, your ammo effectively doubles plus some initial starting amount, and your tower has a lifetime. First side to run out of towers loses. You attack each other's towers, and creeps start walking across to kill your towers or to use your ammo. And if a creep reaches the other side, you randomly lose just any random tower. It could be any of them. So fun idea. Like a fun like A, a versus B game. Very kind of clever. Chat had a really lot of good ideas. But then I realized you have to make it pay to win because that's what you do. But then we came up with a better idea. Pay to lose. If you're on a team and you wish to hurt your own team and be a troll, you pay a $5 bit charge and you will delete one of your team's towers randomly. Pay to lose. That would work. And I hate it. 
I hate it very much. It's so funny because it, it would work even better like if, to be real with you. You could make it even cheaper than that. You could make it like 20 cents. You make it like incredibly low barrier to entry cost and you would just get millions of transactions. You'd get it's wrecked so in the payment processing fees, but man, would it work. It's what? so funny. You know what? Yeah, let's take chat, it. It's, let's it's take only it worse. a Twitch chat game, so it's one game at a time. I'm not gonna like distribute this as like a whole thing, but it's it's just really funny. This idea of having... I'm gonna expand this. We're gonna make it even worse. You ready? Okay, yeah, I'm ready. So you don't pay any money because we get wrecked in the payment processing fees. You watch an ad, and when you watch an ad, you watch a short ad, and it forces someone on the opposing team to watch a long ad. So by watching an ad, it's you like effectively blind level? an enemy team. Yeah. Yeah, it's exactly it. You watch an ad so it blinds an enemy team member so he can't engage with the game for like two full minutes of ads. And you just watch oh, 30 seconds of ads. Oh, that is there so we go. smart. There the we go. The prisoner's dilemma is hilarious. You have to give up control for one minute for them to give up control for two minutes. Yeah, there we go. Yep. It's just people watching oh. ads competitively. It's competitive ad watching is what it is. We'd be billionaires instantly. We would literally be billionaires. This is the greatest idea that has ever existed. You realize this, right? Satan will be impressed. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready. We'll make it. Competitive ad watching. I can't wait to see this as the new eSport. We should pitch it as an eSport. That's, that goes well for games, right? We'll have like a Team Liquid show up. Yeah. We'll get everybody involved. There'll be we have to sell the licensing rights. On. You know, you have to, you have oh, to get $24 million per team. And then it's like competitive ad watching, right? You know? Yeah. Oh, I That's love this works. idea. And then if someone tries to do like our game emulation, we could strike it down. We we have to you add know. something else too, like something that delivers QR codes to the opponent. There's got to be something in there, you know. Like maybe you have to play password game for three rounds so that you can actually <laughs> progress and use your towers again. Oh you man, Boga so, on this dude. <laughs> there's there's some good things in here. The troll toll is real here. So All right, anyway, so, so you what we have here is we NVIDIA have business. yeah we have the CEO of Nvidia telling everyone not to become a programmer and that the AI is going to replace them eventually and it, it'll open it up so that everybody can be a programmer and then the next day. They launch unlock your LLM coding potential with Starcoder 2. So they launch a product to do this. Hmm. Yep. Tell everybody not to code and then give them effectively Copilot 2. Nobody should code unless you're using our tool. That's, I mean, but that it's like, it's, if you think about it, it's brilliant. They're in the craziest position because we've had right now what we have are a bunch of companies trying to buy GPUs from NVIDIA to be able to train these LLMs. And so NVIDIA really is the pickaxe salesman, whereas there's a bunch of gold uh, gold diggers out there, right? Yeah. But then all of a sudden, NVIDIA just decided they're so good at producing pickaxes, they're going to also gold dig. <laughs> Yeah. Like it's actually, it, I wonder what this is going to do to them. So like a major concern is anytime you have one of these people that produce the pickaxes also get into your business. And in, sometimes it can really hurt your business doing that. It backfires really hard now too. A competitor. Yep. They're so. a competitor in their own game. And like, you're going to create a conflict of interest really, really quick with that. And the first conflict, the first conflict of interest that I see is a GPU manufacturer company trying to encourage people not to be programmers. Like <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah. Right. That's, that's the weirdest like if you told me that i'd be like oh what what year of the onion did you get that from like that doesn't make any damn sense that's insane oh it is. man so none of this i mean now that i look like obviously looking backwards this isn't surprising and i think that's just i mean honestly what i take from this is uh, a lot of encouragement knowing that like knowing what i know about llms their accuracy and all that and the amount of people yep. are pushing it when it gets to this level of peak pushing that typically means we're hitting like that nice period where everyone will be insane for a moment and then it'll crash. That's usually how I hopefully feel about this. This is like the again, this is John McAfee uh tweeting Bitcoin or uh yeah. plumber coin coins, and you're like, All right, we've reached it. We've reached the peak. So I feel like this is almost peak. Yeah, no, I, I can kind of agree with that. I think it's very, very strange um to see this in, in real time. And I think there's a lot of weird sort of focuses aligning. You've got the federal government, you've got the White House, you know, making claims about programming languages. You have very high ranking figures inside of like the development world community, like the CEO of NVIDIA making claims like this. You have everybody trying to rush towards this. Do you remember when NFTs hit the market? You remember that? Oh, I do. I do. It smells like this. We're, it smells yeah, just like this. The money is so heavy. Yeah. But the productivity hasn't quite been realized, like what you're actually getting out of it. I think 
my favorite part about the NFT rush was everybody did it. The internet instantly rejected all of it and just shit on them, right? And then, like, a couple of companies that were a little late to the game started to straggle in over the next several months. So, like, Arizona Ice Tea did it. They made Arizona NFTs, which was hilarious. Right. But they were also, like, three weeks into everyone rejecting it from the internet when everyone else had backed away. And they're like, hey, everyone, we got one. Too. Oh, the room is on fire. So, like... <laughs> I'm kind of waiting for that moment now where you're going to have all these companies like, oh, we're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. And then they find out that like a lot of this isn't profitable when you do it that way. And it's like conflicting with their business and the image of their business. And then like one guy straggles in maybe Arizona IST builds their own LLM, you know, like I'm waiting. Yeah. I'm waiting to see this. Either way, I really do. I, I do hope that uh, we have some return to sanity that people do realize that hard skills are ex still extremely valuable. Yes. Like I was just programming today on stream. Uh, using Golang, and I can fly extremely fast. And I use I use Copilot because I think it's really useful for boilerplate generation. Mm -hmm. And so it's like I'm using one to s show how fast you can move with it. Yeah, it's like it's very very useful. But I wouldn't I don't let it program right. Like that's the danger. Like you do you not realize the thing that's it's like don't use it for the main activity. It's it's just a side player. It's a side player to teach you other ways of building the same system. It's a tool to augment mm -hmm. you. And I, I find a lot of the times when people start to fully rely on the systems like that, it becomes addictive. Because like, oh, I'll just go to the machine. The machine will do it for me. But the machine doesn't have context for a lot of this stuff, will li largely architect inefficient code that cannot be used at scale, or create systems that don't break the rules in the right areas for the given moment because you mm -hmm. can break the rules in certain areas for increased efficiency. And I think that's, yeah, it's sloppy code. Sloppy code is the best way to put this, right? So like when we have systems like this, we're like, oh yeah, don't be a programmer anymore. Just let the machine do it. Okay, write a bunch of real shit code that nobody knows how to debug. Fantastic, right? Yeah. You, have you ever walked into somebody else's code and there's no commenting? There's no anything? Everything's written like shit? And you're like, wow. Yeah. Something is broken. Let me spend the next 50 years trying to reverse engineer this. That's everything generated. Everything automatically generated by AI. Because you didn't build it. You don't know where the trees are. This isn't your forest. So, like, yeah. this kind of shit is real weird to see. It's really strange. And it's not even one of those things of, like, oh, I'm a programmer. I feel like I'm going to get outmoded. No, bitch. I'm going to keep coding stuff, and I'm going to watch all of this burn and laugh at it, right? Like, because it doesn't make any yeah. sense right now. Uh, here's a here's a kind of an interesting thing too is that right now if you look at copilot or any of these items uh they're really generating about like the the median that is on github mm -hmm. and so that means as we keep on feeding github with more code generated by copilot it's going to get awful that means the median technically needs the shift and it's going to have to shift left which means gonna that it's going to become 45 percent, 40 percent, 30 you're gonna have a negative resonance issue dude like you're going to get huge amounts of noise compared Shift to signal. Left will be real. It's it going to be, be bad. real and it's coming. Because it, if you don't understand what we're talking about, they're going to be feeding, that same code is going to be re-entering the place where this is pulling from. You're poisoning the well. Yeah. You, you're actually, you're inbreeding code is what's happening there. It's not good. Like it ends up being really, really bad. And it, it will slowly outmode itself because if it's pulling from the same source that it's feeding into, it's going to turn shit really yeah. quick. Yeah, it's inbred code. Legitimately inbred code. Yeah, not it's good. A very, it, it's a very interesting kind of like dilemma because it is nice to know <laughs> what like, what does the 50% coder think this code should look like? It's kind of like a cool little signal. You can go, oh, okay, I can, see, I can see why you'd think this way or why you do it this way, but I like it this way. But that's, it's going to go downwards and I, I, I'm just curious how that's going to affect. And I'm mostly worried about new people because I've been around code long enough to kind of like immediately get my hackles up going, oh, something's wrong. I may not be able to say why it's wrong, but I know something is going to be like hurtful down the road. But what does this do to someone that's new that has no context on, you know, they don't have the 15 years of- They don't know. Making bad decisions behind yeah. them like I do. <laughs> they're going to look at something like this. They're going to think it's the, the know-all be-all because it knows a little bit better than them at the time. And they will use it and they will adopt all of the signals that it has. And I, I could see, and it's going to take them years to unlearn it, right? It's going to take them years yeah. to unlearn it. And I, I think that's a huge, huge disadvantage, frankly. So I'm, I'm waiting to see how this, this pans out with it. I don't see anything positive here. I don't. Because of the fact that it, it will have, you know, signal issue going forward. It will have the fact that it, there's too much noise in that signal and it just will increase you know, the entropy is going to increase on this. And then on top of all of it, 
I know people are going to take it as a source of truth. They will. Yeah. And that's not smart. I have smart. this theory. I have this, I call it the, it's, it's, it's a bimodal graph where effectively there will be two modes or two distributions in a graph. And you can just imagine that the x-axis is uh, is experience or quality engineer. And the y-axis is how many people are in these two groups. So you have these two kind of normal distributions that exist. It'll be this permanent junior class just due to L- this is like my theory of the LLM the, like the result of LLMs over the next decade is that you'll have yeah you'll effectively yeah like separated two boobs right there you go and so one side will be the senior plus plus that are able to get better at an ex- at like an exceptional rate because they have all the experience and they can use LLMs to get faster on things they don't know what they're doing fast mm-hmm. and juniors will remain in this rut because they're constantly getting hit with this 35 45% code and they don't know how to decipher what's good or bad, so that it takes them significant. So you're saying the juniors would be right here. Yeah, yeah, juniors would be on the Who's one mode. Here? Yeah, you had it correct. Well, I, well, remember the y-axis is how many people fall into the bucket, and oh. the x-axis is skill. So you can imagine that seniors are on one side, juniors are on the other yep. side, and so that's kind of like my my. This is a theory, obviously. I don't know if this is true or not, but I, I feel like there's going to be a future in the next few years where we have this really sharp contrast between people who grew up with the LLMs helping them code and people who grew up without it, where one will be able to use it very effectively and the other group will be uh, effectively held beholden to how good the LLM is. I could see that. You want to know where we see that already? We see that in the the offensive security space. People who are self-taught are generally sought after because we look at the world differently. We look at problem solving completely differently. And it's already a thing that happens inside of the offensive security space. If you are self-taught, you are more sought after than anyone else. That if you went to college to do the exact same stuff, you will be hired over someone who went to college if you are self-taught. It happens all wow. the time in offensive security. And it's been like that for a long time. Because the Batman belt that you build as, an, as a self-taught offensive security specialist is very different. Which means that you see problems no one else sees. You are invaluable yeah. because of your different perspective. And it's not the same perspective as others. It's very, very important. It's why I ended up getting all the jobs that I have because I'm fully self-taught in that regard. And that's that was an advantage for me. Massive advantage. So I can see yeah. this happening that way. Where people who are trained on LLMs, if they're all exactly the same, you're going to have the same kind of an issue. That is to say, yeah. if the LLMs have enough signal coherence where they're the same every time, which... I'm a little bit worried about code idiocracy where it's just going to slowly degrade over time. I think that's highly likely depending on how often they sample, right? The more yep. that they sample from the code base on, you know, GitHub or whatever else it's going to be, the more likely it's going to be to degrade, frankly, because people are going to be feeding that same code back into GitHub and then pulling it back out and it's going to turn to shit. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit of welcome to Costco. I love you. Here's my code. Yeah. A little bit of that. Yeah. It is interesting because there's a real, I mean, one of the hardest parts I've had with just learning myself is a like learned bias, uh, learned anchor bias. I, someone who I really respect says a thing and it's just like I, without realizing, especially in my younger years, I would anchor my perspective of how to code based on what they say. And like, Mm. I don't necessarily mean to do those things. It's just like, that's a natural process of learning is that you kind of anchor yourself to these people you respect. And, you know, you could imagine the same thing happens here is that with self-taught security people, there's no anchor. They go around, they have to kind of figure out all the things. So their anchor is like, much, you know, they get a lot more different ways to look at something. Whereas you go through school, you're anchoring to your professors, which they may or may not be security experts. Yeah, I think that's one of the biggest things, too, is I, I think there's a certain part of your career where you realize I can't anchor myself to this anymore. I found a better mm-hmm. way. Like the person that I looked up to this whole time doesn't know what I know now. And yeah. I, I'm worried that they won't have that moment with this if they're running completely off of LLMs because the LLM is going to get worse while their professors and things may get better over time. Mm-hmm. Their idols in programming may get better over time and the LLM will get worse. That is, that's not great. Yeah. <laughs> that's it's, concerning. It's just an interesting thought to have, which is, you know, I, I'm just, it will be very neat to see what, what it looks like in, in yeah. five years. And this is, this is the a, best. Hope this is a best. what if, right? It's obviously a yeah. big what if. We don't know. Maybe they have a way to fix the signal coherence. Maybe they have a way to, to solve that kind of a problem going forward. But it's hard to tell considering the way that this is going. If you open the floodgates on something like this to poison its own well, where you're having it shit directly where it eats, which is exactly what's happening if you take any type of AI-generated code and put it back on GitHub and then use... GitHub is the source yeah. of truth to train AI-generated code. 
it's shitting where it's eating. That's what it's doing. And it's just going to get bad real yeah. fast. I assume these people are smart and they know what they're doing. I, I mean, they have to be smart enough to already invent what they did. What they do. True. I mean, LLMs feel magical still to me. Like I'm just shocked at how well they work. I oh, mean, yeah. word calculators are still super impressive to me. So I, you know, I assume they're going to not overfit the model, but who who knows what's going to happen? Yeah, I mean, at that point, you'd have to have you'd have to have it trained on better code. But where do you get it? <laughs> That'd yeah, be kind of fun. You need the with, code without Copilot. We'll pay you hundreds of thousands of dollars to build open source. The same kind Your of thing is even true. Is no Copilot. Yeah, the same kind of a thing is even true with with AI generated art. You know. If you're training it completely on that, there has to be some kind of degradation eventually or some yeah. kind of hurdle that it can't get over. We haven't really seen that wall yet with art, but I I feel like code is different in that regard. Art has to be aesthetically pleasing. Aesthetically pleasing is different than functionally sound. Yeah, and I've, and there's if, two axes versus one. In this yeah, one. and even art is still broken on a functionally sound, sound you know, state. We still get hands that are warped and weird. We still get dogs that transfer one paw to another, and even in Sora, like functionally sound still isn't even there. And we want to translate that over to programming. Yeah, uh. yeah you know, and the art thing is the art thing is at least a little bit more obvious in the sense that when I see AI generated art, I do kind of have almost like a, a reaction to it. it yeah, I just. I, even like even simple things like you know they just do just a simple picture that's not uh like not hard like uh, uh, potion bottles a lot yeah. of times or these like more simple things i look at it and go ah oh, you know like it, there's something that's so unique so uniquely average about this image i can't put my finger on it but it bothers me like it's it's like it has all the aesthetics of some like cool art form without all the skill or uniqueness to it i don't know how to describe it other than i get like bothered by it no, I can understand. It's it's a little bit of an uncanny thing. Uh, there are certain yeah. traits for the art that won't look correct a lot of the times, but we're coming to a point where people are missing those more and more, where it's becoming hyper realistic. Sora actually saw like it largely fooled many many different people, but if you sit down and you look at it really closely, like wait a minute, the fur doesn't move right. Wait a yeah. minute, the eyes don't move right. Wait a minute, the limbs don't move right, and it it takes that extra second of analysis. But that's for a visual medium where we're all experts at it. And the reason we're experts at it is because we're really good at pattern recognition. That's kind of why our species has survived. We're fantastic at pattern recognition. Now, that doesn't really correlate to code for the grand majority of the public. So because of this, you don't have the same kind of a, I guess, God, what is it called? It's like a... It's a, it's a term for making sure that the training model gets more healthy over time, and I can't remember the term for this. It's not a know. smell test thing. It's a fitness. That's what it is. The fitness can't increase in the code base. The fitness does increase because it doesn't pass the uncanny valley test. And it goes, ooh, that doesn't look right. But with code, unless you have somebody that understands why that rule was broken in the first place, which could be unique based on different programmers because there's such a wide base of knowledge there, the fitness is never going to go up. The fitness yeah. will go up when it comes to art because everyone can see that it's wrong. So I'm waiting to see how that goes. Like there has to be, there has to be some kind of a, a way for them to fix the signal or not. Maybe they just don't have a solution for this. Don't know. It's, it's interesting because some people love clean code. Some people hate clean code. Some people love procedural. Some people like functional programming. Some people like OOP. Some people like lots of inheritance OOP. One level OOP. Like, you're Excuse right me, none of that, that is allowed. None of that, the White House said. Yeah. We're not allowed to, no, one way to make code, one. There's Strux and Rust and that's it. Uh, but it's like, th that's a real problem in the sense of like, how do you even have, how, who who we can even gauge the fitness of code? Yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's, so, it's too wide. It's so more unique in some sense that it, it would be very difficult. The best way that I can, I can compare that to for anybody else who's not, you know, a programmer or not technically minded about this stuff, imagine art styles, different styles of art, pixel art, you know, sketch art, um, fully, you know, oil painted. It's the same as having different styles of code. We can all make the same image, but we do it in very, very different ways. So when you're trying to take that sort of a method, right? Imagine if AI art said, well, this style of art just isn't efficient enough. And it cut it out of the equation that would eventually die. Whether it was correct or not is irrelevant. It would eventually die because people wouldn't be exposed to it anymore. If they're all using the same tool to train themselves. Now you have a problem and that's, the exact same thing we're going to see with code. It's the dumbing down of code like this. If they don't, you know, if they don't have a solution yeah. for 
the AI learning from where it shits, frankly. Yeah. Interesting stuff. Yeah. I, I mean, I like it. But uh, unfortunately, hopefully no one gets affected by the Jensen words, and hopefully everyone in your chat understands that learn, strive to be great. Yep. Uh, you know, it, it, it's a, it's a, it's a one-step-at-a-time process, and expect 10 years, don't expect 10 days. Yeah. Get I actually it. put out a tweet about this, too. I'm going to read this off real quick, just if you can find this thing. Yeah. Maybe so with I, some wisdom. I said, it doesn't matter if AI might do it in the future. Do it now anyway. We went through the entire 70s and 80s believing the future would be flying cars and nobody would need to work. Retrofuturism exists when that for sure future does not. Invest in yourself, adapt to what actually happens, not what we think might. And that's the most important thing here. If anyone ever tells you not to learn, you tell them to shut up. Hands down. Learn. Yeah. Learn at every chance you can. Learn every programming language you can. Learn every art style that you can. Learn how to do voice acting and writing. Train yourself. Be good at those things. Be shit at the things at first and temper yourself to be better. And anyone who tells you otherwise wants to sell you a product. Thanks. Thanks for Absolutely. that. Absolutely. You know, it's pretty good. It's pretty good to see that coming from NVIDIA. Legitimately selling you a product. They, 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 they unironically lived up to the princess bride hey yeah. don't worry this won't be pain anymore there's no more pain <laughs> they're trying to sell you something <laughs> than they did 100 trying to sell you something and anybody who tells you not to learn shit is trying to sell you something they're trying to sell you a solution where they are taking out the work involved yeah in work and i'm sorry but training yourself and learning things is work there's no way around that nothing is going to take that away we all That's have we somewhere deep inside of us this like you know, like I understand how the brave new world comes about, right? Yeah. Because pain in some sense does suck, right? We all have some weird thing inside of us that does, you know, like have pain avoidance just kind of built in. And so like I understand why these things are so palatable to hear because I myself would love something that makes me faster and faster and better and better. I have to think higher and higher level to be able to move faster and faster and faster. And so it's like I, I totally get the sell. And I and part of me hopes that part of these cells are actually correct and we can move faster and build more things that I want to build rather than struggling as much with the details. Uh, and so I, I I mean I get the cell. I just I really hope that what what it doesn't do is the inverse is that in Brave New World everyone just becomes a Sonoma addict, right? They don't yeah. actually they don't you know alleviate the pain that they need to alleviate to be able to live good lives, but instead they just become you know pleasure goblins. Yeah, that's the that's the big concern. Somebody said, I, I do think there is a healthy complement between this and actual learning. Yes, I agree. You should use both. The The problem comes when people become lazy and they use this as a replacement for actual understanding. And the moment that happens, they go and take that and they'll go put it back up on GitHub. And they're like, look at this code that I made. And then the language learning model is using GitHub as the source of truth. And oh, the cycle repeats. And the like the like at that point, the incoherence increases dramatically. Right. Yeah. I shit the bed. Well, go clean your bed. That's right. You don't have to sleep in shit. Love yourself. Nice way, first message, by I, the way. Yeah. I super appreciate this. Is that I, I very I feel like uh, in today's modern programming world, there's a lot of people that are you, they get upset if you say you should do more than forty hours in your craft. You you know like there's these really hard cutoffs and all this. And I understand why some people don't want to. I, I don't ever blame somebody for not wanting to do that. But it, like, I don't want to generate a culture where you shouldn't have to, right? It's kind of like the answer. No, you shouldn't have to do that to be good at it. It's like, I, I don't see any other way. Like, we should, w hopefully you want to be good at something, right? You work an incredible amount of hours a week. I work so 112 it's, it's, hours a week. It, yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it's a rarity in our field right now for people to uh... think that that is good at all. And you'll often be called toxic for, you know, promoting that. And, and well, this is kind of like, this I don't is expect anyone else to do what I'm doing. In fact, I, I yeah. tell them not to. I, I tell them directly, do not do what I'm doing. I do this because it, it makes me happy. You yeah. can do whatever the hell you want. Don't work 16 hours a day like me. That's the ridiculous shit. I do it because this is what I like to do. But yeah. it's also what it requires to be what you have done, right? Like in some sense, yeah. it's almost like, I hate the word gatekeeping because 99% of it's crap, but telling yeah. someone not to work hard, you almost always hear the person who says that. They'll say, oh, when I was younger, I worked really, really hard. And you're like, well, then how did you get to the point in your life? Well, I spent... You know, like for the first few years, putting in like 80 hours a week to really get good at this stuff. And you're like, oh, okay, so why shouldn't I do that? Bingo. And you don't have to. Like no one has to. to do that. But it, there's just a shortcut in life that exists.
<laughs> you it's know, a shortcut, a shortcut, but it's <laughs> it's a tough shortcut, man. It's, it's through the it's, it's through one. the it's through the brambles, right? And yeah. like that is one of the things I always tell people is like, don't do what I'm doing because it's overwhelming for you at first. Build up to that. Spend two hours a day doing a thing, spending three hours a day doing a thing, four hours a day doing a thing. And if you keep doing that more and more and more, and you have a repetition and you keep fitting with that repeti repetition, you will get better at the thing. Yeah. And that's how that works. A lot of shit in life is a time sink. Almost yeah. everything is a time sink. And people go like, oh, I can't learn that. I'm too dumb. Yeah, you're too dumb right now in that specific area. You just haven't yeah. learned it yet. It's not that you can't learn it. You haven't learned it yet. And that's that, right? I like working how much I do. I do 16 hours a day every day. And a large part of that is on stream. Thursdays, I only work off stream. I have three hours of free time to myself. And then I sleep for five hours. I get up and do it again. And today, you wouldn't know it, but... I actually was up 12 hours before the stream started. The stream started at 1 a.m., so I've been streaming for about nine hours since that, which means I've been up for 21 hours now, right? But, like, for me, this is a normal day of work. For you guys, it's horrifying. It freaks people out. They're like, oh, shit, you know? I'm able to talk about these types of subjects after being awake for 21 hours. But that's just how I am. That's how I've always been. I've been working this way for most of my life. I'm at this point where I feel fine doing this. Because I drink water, I take care of myself, and everything is fine. Is this a good thing? For me, it is. I really enjoy that. He's lying. He doesn't sleep. You'll never prove that. No one has any pictures. You'll never. You'll never prove that ever. As a fact, when I when I hung out with you in LA, I did not see you sleep. So I actually have no That's proof true. you sleep. That is true, actually. Yeah, no one got to see. I saw you fall asleep. I saw Primogen <laughs> fall asleep, and then Theo took a picture of him. It was funny. <laughs> I fell asleep in fourteen seconds flat. You did. You fell on the bed and just like boop. <laughs> he had a pillow over his face. You could have died that way. It's terrifying. Well, Theo, Theo charged me for a uh, uh, dark mode, so I didn't pay. So I had to put oh, a pillow over my oh, face. Oh, that's true. Yeah, that is part of that. Yeah. You have to. You had to build your own dark mode. Sucks. Yeah, sucks. sucks. <laughs> Can't believe he's doing that. <laughs> oh, it's so ridiculous, dude. Oh man. But no, this is this is a weird weird future for me. I think it's a strange direction. I don't agree with it. And what, yeah. I, what I know of general human behavior is that people will largely go to the most easy route and that sets the foundation for how they treat all learning going forward. And if the easy route is both ineffective and wrong, you're going to have a whole generation of idiot programmers. Yeah. And that is the scariest thing I could possibly think of, frankly. It's one really nice part about having the platform that we do have because we have the chance to kind of hopefully correct some of these things being said uh, because right now it's really hard. I mean, as a new programmer, if I heard that, I think I'd be pretty uh, disheartened. So I am happy that there is counter voices. And that's kind of like the hope I have is that yeah. we don't have to say we're 16 hours a day for seven days a week, but we can say, Hey, it's hard work. It's hard. You can do it. Yep. It's just hard. Like, and you can, the like, shortcut will be great when you get good and you use these tools. It'll be fantastic, but don't, don't sell yourself short, you know? Yep. The, like the w the way that I feel about this, if you guys want to know what I did like this week, right? I like in this in this last week, it was like go to the stream rewards. It was do the stuff on Block Wars. It was um, get home, work on building a corporation so we can actually pay the mods. Set up all the investment accounts so the mods are going to be able to get ben benefits. Build out all the stuff for the update to Block Games so that we can actually have an event for for Mothman Easter, right? Because the Easter Bunny sucks. Now we have Mothman instead. We've got all of the stuff for doing Twitch Rivals over two days. It's building all the stuff so I can get the house so that I can actually go and build the ferret rescue on that so we can expand the rescue up to 100 ferrets. It's taking in 10 new ferrets to the rescue. All this is done in like 14 days. And like the reason I work 16 hours a day is because I got a billion spinning plates. Some of those things I can delegate away, which is why we have the moderation team of 14 people. And some of those things I can't delegate away because it takes me being there to fix that. Because as, um, the, as the figurehead, I know exactly what needs to be done to make sure that that goes forward. How many? 10 new ferrets came into the rescue this last week. We, I run a ferret rescue in Washington State. We have 33 ferrets. We're going to be expanding that up to 100 of the next year. In fact, we've been working with the Humane Society to be able to get ones in so that we can make sure that they go to a correct home, which is with us, right? A lot of them come in with medical issues. In fact, we just had the tail removed off of one of them because they had a chordoma, which is a spinal tumor. And now she's got half a tail, but she's doing fine and she will survive as a result of this because she had a big old tumor. It was like huge at the tip of her tail. It's ridiculous. Do they meow? They make a duking noise. It's like grunting almost. It's quite funny. Is her name Peepo? Yes, it is. Her name is People. But like the reason I work so much is because I've got a lot of shit going on. 
Yeah. You don't have to have a lot of shit going on in the beginning. You don't. And if you can't, you know, abide by that much time, you don't need to. I do it because I have a lot of objectives. And the way that I see the world is a very simple lens. The way that I see it is I have a limited amount of time on Earth. So I'm going to use all of it. And no one's going to stop me from you doing that. No one. No matter how much they say that I should stop, I'm going to fit directly within the means that my physical form allows me to, and I'm going to keep kicking some ass until I can't anymore. That's it. And I've been doing that my whole life. Yeah, and there's a lot of people that are in, you could almost say, identical situations, but it looks a little bit different in the sense that they have kids, they're trying to make a late life change. They have effectively mm-hmm. the same situation you do, you know, uh, being with their kids, being with their family, being with their wives, being with all that, you know, the whole nine yards to the situation. That does take a lot of time and so it's like all right so how do you you have to approach life similarly you got to think of how do you squeeze this out and how do you do everything well because you don't want to do your ferret rescue poorly no. you know you don't want to do any of these things poorly and and that's that's i think the biggest secret at least for me especially growing up because i was not very great in my marriage early on and a lot of that's because i had the wrong amount of focus and so it, it became this thing where i realized that everything needs its special focus and you got to be able to do it and so I do work a lot, but some of that work is just loving my kids and being there. Yeah. Sometimes that's hard. You know, sometimes that's yeah. fantastic. Somebody in chat actually asked, how do you deal with burnout? And the way that I deal with burnout is this. I find that largely burnout is caused by not seeing the impact of your work a lot of the time. Because the moment you see that what you're doing is causing progression within the business that you work for or progression within your own life or like you're getting raises or whatever it is going to be, the moment you see the impact of what you do, Burnout falls away real fast. I see the impact every single day. It's not even a dopamine hit. It's me knowing that I'm moving in a direction. I'm not being stagnant. I'm not staying still. And I can see that impact every day that I talk to you. A big driving force in my life is the fact that we have a community around this that talks to me about all the things that I'm doing and tells me the impact of my work directly. You guys do it all the time. That impact drives me forward. The fact that I have that at all times is incredibly important. If you are experiencing burnout, one of the best things you can do, go talk to your boss and ask him what your impact is. If you're doing a good job or a bad job, if you're doing a good job, tell him to detail how so that you can understand the impact that you're having on the business and on your team. If he tells you no, that you're doing a bad job, ask him for goals so that you can fix that. Now you have a goal so that you can have more impact. You win either way, man. You always win with communication. And we got ads. Bezos is here. He was excited about people getting fired. <laughs> he seems a little excited. Look at that face. Yeah, look at him, well, dude. I think it's been great. I got to yeah. get to work. Oh, work. I know. I know. Mm. Stinky. Mm. Mm. Yeah. I still, yeah. I, yeah. I'm happy we're on the same page again somehow, magically, with both the government. <laughs> I'm just getting like into this and Jensen. Fantastic. <laughs> I'm always I, I'm always very pleased to hear this. Yeah. Uh, well, you have a good day. And hey, tell the goblins. Uh, I, I hear that. I see a couple blue crowns in your chat. I don't know if, if they know this, Brown but idea. blue crowns actually can be used to redeem something called a Twitch Prime sub. Oh, wow. Look at that. Yeah. Look at him. Look at him just shilling away for big prime. Look at him. Look at him, chat. <laughs> you wouldn't even have to have a Bezos ad right now. By That's using, true. By executing the authority of your blue crown on true. the pirate software. Holy the, shit. Look at him go. Pirate soft. Prime, what is that? It could be anything. Could be anything. Who knows? Yeah. Who knows I don't what even that know what is? Prime stands for. Yeah. Could be Primogen. So we you guys should give be. your Prime subs to the Primogen. I mean, it, okay, it's in his name. That's not fair. <laughs> that's, that is not fair. Okay. I may stream on Twitch, and my name is Prime, which makes me Amazon Prime. But I don't think that that's. Are you what branded by for. Amazon now? I'm just going to start calling you Amazon Prime. <laughs> I'm now awesome. wearing an Amazon hoodie at all times. This is fun. All right, you have a good one. Take yeah, care. you have a good one too, man. And Take I'll talk goblins. to you later. Also, we have the uh, the YouTube is set up, but I know. it's not I'm, public I'm yet. Much excited. We're making Explain a much for those who don't know. We're making a podcast, and yes, yes, it is called Hack and Stash because that's a great name. <laughs> it is a great name. I haven't told anybody, and now you have told them. So I've now told I them all. Say it. They all know it. Okay. They all know it. Yeah, it's called Hack and Stash. It's a great name. I, I love that name, by the way. It's because he can grow a mustache, and I hack things, and I, yeah. I can't, I can't, I can't grow a mustache. Hack, but I can stash. I can't grow a mustache. Yeah, you can't stash, but you can hack. It's it's, it's, it's it works out. There we go. Hack and stash. Hack, hack and, and stash. cash. That's pretty funny. Hack and cash is pretty good too. Anyway, I will see you later. You have a good day. Peace. Enjoy your uh, your human job. I'm gonna try. <laughs> Let's see. 
Oh, man. Good old Primogen, dude. Uh, he traded his mustache for a deep voice. Hmm. That's true. I probably did. I guess that's going to be good. That was that was from you guys, too. That'd be a ferret pun. Silly stash stuff. It is. It is. It's also a pun on hack and slash, which is good. Game types. Oh, man. But no, I think this is a really weird timeline, man. I'm glad I'm glad to have Primogen around so we can talk about this stuff. It's made it so compelling. It's good shit. Interesting. Interesting. How many users on the server? How much is going on? Let's go look at this. Boop. Gimme. Oh my god, it's still world entities, man. What is this shit? That's grim. What's happening here? It's a third of the server. Why are there so many zombies? Uh, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I have an idea. What if we stopped interacting with the AI of these zombies? Because I'm pretty sure I'm overriding the AI for these. Maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm not overriding the AI for this. Am I not? Grandpa, dude. Little grandpa. So I noticed something inside of the logs here. And the thing what I'm seeing here is if you look at Entity Zombie, Entity Zombie is actually running off of Tick, Entity Zombie AI Step, Entity Monster AI Step, Entity Insentient AI Step, Entity Living AI Step, Entity Insentient Server AI Step. What you're seeing down this is it's actually pulling out the Pathfinding system. So it can do Pathfinder Gold, Tick, and Pathfinder Wrapped can use. Can use is it checking to see if it can pick up objects of some kind. And it also looks like it's doing nearest attackable target. So if I could actually cancel all of the AI steps and then replace them with my own, I could remove this. Because I don't think that's necessary which could be up to maybe 20% of the server's resource usage. Let's find out. Now we can kill that AI, dude. Watch me. It's not the correct course of action until we test it. Let's find out if this works. Let's find out if this works. So what you're seeing here is I'm actually clearing all the AI goal selectors that they have. I'm clearing all of the AI target selectors. The concern that I have is that it's actually still allowing the vanilla ones to go through, clearing them, and then running it again. I don't know if it is. We're going to find out. We might. How do you kill that which is already dead? A lot of Cheetos. There's two deaths at the end of the day. There's the real death. And there's the death when you actually give up. So don't die the little death. It's not worth it. Hi. Ow. Wow, he's a big bastard. Well, it's working. 
I'm on fire. Huh. Well, the AI is functional. Oh, wait. I'm dumb. I forgot to reload it. Are you gonna fight me? All right. We're good. ARPG Minecraft? A little bit more than that. So, I really got bored of Minecraft within about five seconds of downloading it. Like, I really got bored of it. I think Minecraft sucks. Generally. I don't think it's very fun at all in vanilla. I think it's really goddamn boring. So, I started Minecraft two years ago, immediately threw it in the trash, and then started building an MMO. And now two years later, I work on it with Jake and Little Ham, and it's a side project that's a lot of fun. And we have, like, full professions and gear and stats, and in fact, right now, we're, we're doing a an entire event around Mothman. As you can see, like this. Hello, old Eggman. This is actually, like, Mothman themed gear and sets with, like, Mothman bonuses. Because Mothman. Yeah, it's just something fun. It's something- it's free, too. There's no monetization of any kind. In fact, Warp Mothman? Is that- just face downwards? Yeah, let me fix that. Set Warp Mothman's Den. There we go. Mothman mentioned, dude. Yeah, so this is a weird one. You know, also, this is broken right now, so there's no daily quest, because we're trying to figure out what the hell's going wrong there. If I ungive up, does that mean I resurrected? Am I a necromancer? Yes. You become a necromancer when you give up on yourself, and then you redeem yourself, and then you are actually going to live forever, because once you've redeemed yourself after you give up on yourself, you can do anything. And everything that you do at that point becomes inspiring to other people, and they live on beyond you, doing other shit. And that process repeats. So believe in yourself. Because you... Believing in yourself could cause someone else to believe in themselves. And then you are immortal. Yeah. Yep. Just makes you undead, not a necromancer. I could be a lich if I want to. There's nothing you can do about it. Have you tried uncommenting the daily quest that init line? Yeah, I know, right? That'd be a great line to uncomment, right? Unfortunately, I learned all of my code from ChatGPT, so... I'm a little bit lost now. Unfortunate, right? Real, real rough. Real, real rough. Dealing with that. Believe in the me that believes in you. Yeah, damn right. Okay, next alert. Crux702 with 500 bits said, Thor, did you Crux. remember to submit your contest app for DEFCON? If not, do so today as it's due today. Shit. I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish it in time. I might do it next year then. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it in time. I have a lot of pieces that need to be fixed first. Because the idea that I had around it, the original idea for the flow, didn't work properly. So I had to rewrite different sections of flow for it. But that's okay. I'm okay with that. I want to get it right. Not just get it done. If that makes sense. No, I didn't forget the homework. I want to get it right, not just get it done. Is this modded Minecraft or vanilla? It's fully vanilla. You just play the game. 1.20.2 is the version. Yeah, I'm making a puzzle challenge for DEFCON. I really, 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 really want to do that. I am very excited for it. Aren't we supposed to tell you to believe in yourself? Submitting it today now? With that one, it's not about believing in myself. It's about making sure that I'm a good DM. I want to be a good dungeon master for my players. And I know that what I have to offer right now is not able to be what I want it to be. And the reason why is because of the Cambrian explosion and all the other plates that I had to start spinning immediately. I'm basically taking this year and realizing the first quarter of this year is kind of a mess. And the reason that it's kind of a mess is because there are so many things I have to do now to stabilize after all of you arrived here. And it is wonderful that you are here. It is phenomenal. But I do have to spend extra time to fix everything as a result of that. And that's pretty normal, right? When you're running a business, when other people rely on you, when you have employees that, you know, their livelihoods are at stake, then yeah. I'll do all that stuff instead. That's higher priority. Where do you download block game? You don't. You just get Minecraft and then you play the video game. mc.blockgame.info is the domain. 
That's how you get on the server. Thoughts on Hytale? Hytale concerns me. Here's the reason why. Let me show you this. So we go to Hytale, and we look at their blog. You can see that they had a general standard of once every month, maybe three times a month of updates. All the way to 2020. And then something changed. You see this here? Two updates in 2021. One update in 2022. Two updates in 2023. Guess what changed? In 2020, in April, they were bought by Riot. And they changed their entire public communication system at the start of the next year. That does not feel good to me. That concerns me. Not because anything is inherently going wrong, not because we have proof that something's going wrong, but that harsh change in communication, the year, the start of the next year after they were purchased, worries me a lot. Riot bought a Minecraft server? No, Riot bought Hypixel, which is the owner of one of the largest sets of Minecraft servers around, dude. And the creators of Hytale. So, yeah, they're owned by Riot now. It's a little concerning. Why? I don't know. I don't know why. It's a little concerning. Freaks me out. I do think Hytale is cool as shit. I would love to make stuff in Hytale. But this concerns me. This concerns me. And I, I think that's normal as a consumer to just be like, me. I don't know. That's a little worrisome. Riot concerns me. I don't think Riot inherently concerns me. I just think that... Like, I think it's easy to get caught up in the thing of, like, oh, company bad. But, like, you can acquire another company and do right by them. You can acquire another company and keep them going in the right direction. Because if you're going to spend all the money to buy them, you might as well let them do what they're doing because it was already working well enough that you wanted to buy them, right? Generally. Unless you're buying them for some other technology reason where you want to repackage a part of their system to sell as a product. Like Twitch. What, are you coding something in Minecraft? I am actually building out some stuff for our block game server, yes. I just released a new event today, which is Mothman Easter. And I'm thinking about removing all the AI goal selector stuff, or actually removing all the baseline AI for a bunch of different monsters. To see if we can figure anything out to change this. Riot is a cool company. Everything they do except for LOL is actually very good, actually. I think they do a good job, but... Again, it's not about my faith or lack of faith in Riot. It is about the change in communication from a known entity because Riot purchased them. Or aligning with the same time period in which Riot purchased them. May not even be because of them, frankly. Can we get a Mothman emoji? That'd be kind of cool. Yeah. You ever see Tabletop Simulator? Yeah, I use it to play D&D, actually. It's fantastic. Awesome shit. Ugh. Sorry if you missed it. Any chance you talked about what happened yesterday with WoW Season of Discovery and streamers basically friendly DDoSing Blizzard? I didn't know anything about this, but that's a pretty common thing when you have problems like that, right? If the... Who here doesn't... Actually, here's a good one. Who here doesn't understand how logins work in infrastructure for a video game? Who doesn't know anything about this? Who has never seen anything for this? So, have you ever been in a video game where you can't log in, but players on the server are still there, and they're still logged in? But you can't log in, but players are still playing? So, this is the authentication layer, and this is the game server layer. We're going to simplify this a little bit. This is not a perfect representation of this, but this is a simplified version. Authentication servers are servers, too. So... If a bunch of people are trying to log in and the authentication servers go down, players are still in the game and everything is fine. But here's what happens. Here's where it all goes to shit. What ends up happening is all those players, do you think they sit there and wait patiently so they can get into the video game? They start spamming F5, my dude. They start spamming logins over and over again and shitting on the server constantly. That's exactly what happens. And that's what we call a hug of death. It is a friendly DDoS of the servers. Players who have legitimate interest to get in the game, but they increase the amount of usage by thousands of percent. And then, you're really underwater. There's only a couple ways you can fix this. Have expanding, you know, server infrastructure, maybe elastic server infrastructure, so you can just kind of scale it up really easily, which is incredibly expensive. Or, wait for all of them to get bored, and hope the servers can 
not be on fire so much, right? Yeah, it's not the best. It's really not the neither of those things is good. Feels like deja vu. Yeah. Helldivers last week. That's a good example of that. Helldivers is an awesome game. It's fun as shit. Yeah. F5 is a ping not to log in. I know you you understand what I was meaning, which is F5 refresh page. If you want it to be completely direct, then web page control F5 clear cache. But if you want a rules lawyer, fine. You understood what I was talking about. How about client side cooldown? Client side cooldown. What did you just say to me? Nothing should ever be client side. No, no, bad. This might be the reason they're still quiet about stuff. Engine rewrites plus Fleck and hiring more engineers. Sure, it could be that. But again, as a consumer, the only thing that I can see is that the business model has changed in terms of communication to people like me right around the time that they were purchased by another entity. It's concerning, right? Freaks me out. Why a queue service in front of the auth services does not work? Queuing services in front of the auth services does work. That's pretty common. Having a queuing server to run all that kind of stuff. But again, it's more infrastructure. It's more cost. It's more, you know, pain in case it goes down. We've even seen the queuing system break down. I, I think that actually happened with Wayfinder, where they had a certain number of people that could possibly be in the queue. And once it got over that size of queue, then everything went to shit and it dumped everyone out of the queue. And now you have a lot of angry people trying to get back in the queue. My favorite one was New World, where you would sit in the queue for 11 hours and then it would fail. <laughs> and you'd get back in the queue for another 11 hours, which was like, oh, dear God, that is that is a nightmare. And remember, that was owned by Amazon. So if anyone is bitching about like, well, just use AWS. Bro, Amazon couldn't solve this because there's no real solution to this. Welcome to games. Final Fantasy 14 when Ed Walker came out? Yeah. It's very common. Very, very common. All right. K0J3Y with 20 euros said, Hey Thor, I've Hi. been lurking for the last three months and your content helped me through a really tough time. I'm glad. You're awesome, dude. I was no, wondering awesome. if you have played Guild Wars 1 or 2. Yes. Because they're my favorite MMOs. I Cheers. actually have Guild Wars 2. I played Guild Wars 1 as well. I got the collector's edition of Guild Wars 2 with the little statue and everything, so I still have that. It's kind of cool. Been truly inspirational my journey to making my own games. Do you recommend learning Python first and then C Sharp? I don't recommend learning a programming language first. What I recommend is you coming up with a project idea for something you want to make, determining what framework you want to make that in, and then determining what language works for that framework. For games, it's game design document first, then it's engine that supports the kind of game you want to make, and then it's language that is usable inside of that engine. This will allow you to create the kind of things you want to create and choose a language that works with that. Remember, languages are tools like a hammer or a saw or a screwdriver, right? We don't learn hammer. We learn how to build a house. It's the same. Yeah. Anytime, dude. Anytime. I find too often there are too many people that'll be like, don't talk to me about that. Go learn some shit. Where are they supposed to learn it? I'm always going to answer your questions as much as I possibly can. Thoughts on using a... Gone... Thoughts on using a certain engine versus building your own? Yeah, so there's only a couple of times when you want to build your own engine. When you want to build your own engine... Give me some reasons, chat. Why would one build their own engine? Why would one build their own engine? Let's hear, let's hear some stuff. To learn, there's a good one. You want to build it to learn graphics pipelines and everything else, physics systems, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Features. That's correct. You want to have custom features that are not available anywhere else in the market. 100% profit? Mm, no. And here's the reason why. The cost of building an engine and maintaining that engine largely outweighs that unless you're a massive studio. Now you got a problem. To flex? Dog shit. Ego doesn't work here. You look dumb. You spend a lot of money. No one respects you anyway. Backfires. Efficiency? I'm going to put that under features. You want to waste a lot of time? No, it's not wasted. You learn some shit. That's definitely positive. Licensing? If you wanted to build your own engine to license it out, you have to keep it maintained. Keeping it maintained means that you have to sit there and make sure that it still works with all of the other current systems involved, especially across different platforms and maybe with interfacing with different consoles as well. So I'll give you an example of why we make a game engine. This is this is a good reason, right? 
Let's go grab a game real fast. That game is Noita. Noita is a good example of when to make your own custom engine. Check this out. See this? Every single pixel is a material. All of them interact with each other. This is a good example of when to make a custom engine. That shit's outrageous. It is outrageous. Every pixel is a material. It is the Falling Everything engine that they created specifically for this. It's Powder Game. It's actually created by the same person who made Powder Game. But now you're a wizard that dies constantly. It's quite funny. It's a fun game. That's a bad example. It's not a bad example. This is a good example. The reason why is because the efficiency required to pull off what they were trying to do would be impossible in most other engines, if not all other engines. This is a great example for this. I'll give you another example for this. Fez. At the time, this was revolutionary to see what Fez could do. It's brilliant. It's a 2D platformer that takes place in 3D space. It's insane. And it took a custom engine at the time to do this. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Existing implementations have limits, correct. Custom implementations do not. It's very smart. Is it an XNA? No, it's not. FezDev is jackass? I don't care. The behavior of the developer is irrelevant to the brilliance of this creation. I don't give a shit what the man's takes are. I care about the fact that this was a custom engine, and it was largely effective because of that custom engine. That's that. Yeah. Fez is brilliant. They all fit into features label? Yes, they do. That is features related and efficiency related. If you want to do something to learn, then yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. But the reason that we're looking at these ones is because they fit into features. A lot of the engines to learn aren't going to be out there in a product or game that you can actually find. Yeah, Factorial, great example. Awesome. And that's that. Yes, it is using XNA as a base and then a rendering layer. Let's go pull this up. Fez. Custom engine. Doot, 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 doot. It uses the Trixel engine. Bedard wrote Fez in Microsoft Visual C Sharp Express and XNA Game Studio Express. He coded the level editor and the game engine Trixel, which converts 2D tiles, trials, into four sided 3D voxels. Trixels, that is correct. So, yeah, he built a custom system for doing that. You don't have to build the entire engine, you can build components. And in this case, he built a component to allow that to work. I don't know what Space Engineers is made in. Engines would also be useful if you're working on a brand that's a uh, brand new platform. That could work, but building a platform-specific engine, you could run into some weird oddities there, especially in terms of porting. The, right now, we can make games that are largely able to hit many different areas of the market, right? We can make games that can be on Steam, that can be on console, that can be on mobile, all off the same engine. So... When you're trading all of that to be efficient on a single console, a single platform, you might run into some problems, right? You might run into some weird issues with that. And it's largely going to be issues of performance or issues of compatibility with different, you know, platforms, which means it's going to limit the amount of sales you can get. Yeah, Fez is a brilliant game. Yeah, Phil Fish is kind of... I, I think Phil Fish suffered from one thing. Do you know what it was? Phil Fish suffered from a single thing, I think. He did not want to adapt. He didn't suffer from success. He didn't want to adapt. And that's all that is. A man can have any takes or interests or ideas about the world that he wants. Any human being can, regardless of who they are. But when people told him that they didn't like that, he said, well, eat shit. And in some ways, people would be like, oh, based. But in other ways, people are like, I don't like your take either. And it really depends on the general internet will feel one way or another based on how widely accepted that take is. He just had a bad take. And he died on the hill. And when the heat got too hot because people kept being, you know, really aggressive about it, he left the internet and canceled Fez too. That was about that, right? What happened to the Fez dev? He didn't like certain types of games. Specifically games, uh, games created by people in Japan. And he just hated it. He didn't fail to adapt. He was doxxed. That's like a day on the internet that ends in Y, but that's every day on the internet. No, he he failed to adapt 100%. Yet doxing isn't what happens if you don't fail to adapt. If you adapt and people like the things that you're doing, it's much less likely. And, and when it does happen, the clever response, the proper response is, oh, thank God, 
I had forgotten where I lived. Thanks for reminding me. And because that's that's all you can do at that point. Like, what are they? They're not going to unknow where you live. Like, won't matter at that point. I wish you the best of luck. I'm sure you're making what you're making is going to be amazing. Can't wait to see it on book bookstore shelves. Oh, you're taking a chip chips. I was like, wait, what? Docs, there was a leak from Polytron and how the judges of the game Fest had stock in Polytron, which was Fest's company. Yeah, somebody said doxed, which is not really what we were talking about. I lost my house a while ago. Can you tell me where it is? Hmm. Good. Clever. Clever. Space Engineer's engine was released nine years ago. Nine years before Space Engineer's release. Probably has not been built for Space Engineers. Interesting. Yeah, he just didn't like Japanese games. He thought Japanese games were bad. And there was a really popular clip at the time where th there was a Japanese developer who was going up and asking uh, a panel about stuff. And it was basically ripped into. Like, they basically ripped into the guy for no reason, you know. I, I think the way that I handle these types of things is wildly different. And the way that I generally handle these things is I want you to make things. I want you to make bad things. Because the best way that you're going to make good things is by making bad things. And I find that to be important. Generally. I want you to make bad stuff. I do. I want you to make terrible stuff. Because the more that you do that, the better you're going to get, the better you're going to move forward. And to be real with you, the better you're going to roll with the punches when people have shitty takes about the stuff that you do. You'll realize, well, that's one opinion of that. Let's file that over into feedback that's highly aggressive and move forward and see if other people feel the same. That's it. Make bad things. He's talking about Doug Doug. Doug Doug's awesome, dude. He does cool shit. He's making all kinds of stuff today. Unless you're life's favorite. Wait, what? Life's favorite and make epic game first try? That's kind of one of the funny things. Like, I'll give you an example. How many of you guys have never heard of me before the last, like, five months? How many of you guys have never heard of me from the last five months? You're like, wow, this guy came out of nowhere, right? Holy shit. Overnight success. Yeah, like, grand majority of you. Let me show you something. Wow, look at that seven-year overnight success, my dude. I've been streaming since 2017. Let's go to my streams. For the first two and a half years, I basically didn't skip a day. Seven days a week. Then I got COVID. <laughs> and it really wrecked me. Then I finally got better from COVID. And now we're here. And I can actually stream again. And the channel exploded because of uh, YouTube shorts. So like, to be real with you, there's no such thing as I did it perfectly the first time. That's insane rare. That's insane. 2017 was just last year. No, that was seven years ago, dude. We're in 2024 now. It's over. Yeah. By the way, um, Shrek is 23 years old now, by the way. He came out in 2021. Yeah. Shrek came out in 2021. It's over. It's over. You're old now. You're ancient. But yeah, to be real with you, like this is this is sort of what this is at this point, right? Like you have that seven year overnight success. So the idea of you did it right perfectly on the first try, we generally make fun of that and call it beginner's luck because you can't replicate it. The reason you can't replicate it is because you have no repetition. You don't know why it did well. It doesn't stick. It never sticks. Which is why you see a lot of these things not be able to follow up on it when they have a lightning flash of success. They don't know what caused it. Because they don't have the runway, the experience, the understanding to learn why. And that's that, right? Yeah, 2024 to 20, minus 2021 is 21. It all makes sense. 2001. 2001 was, was Shrek. Yeah. How did you manage to push through streaming with very little viewers? Would you just talk into the void? No, I loved it. At first, I was really scared. I think I, think I stopped being scared around here. Yeah, I think it was around 2020. The reason why is I was terrified that people would hate me. They thought I was, think I was boring or any of this kind of stuff. And my anxiety leaked over into the stream. And it reduced the overall quality of the stream dramatically. I, at one point, I had like 90 viewers, and I went down to like 20, somewhere in here. Yeah, 23 right there. And then I started getting better. I started to realize like I'm the problem. Like I, The best way that I put it is this. How many of you are bronze in League of Legends, and you think your whole team is, your, is the problem? Your team is what's holding you back from climbing in League of Because if you just had a team that wasn't a piece of shit, you could get out of bronze. No, dude, you're the problem. You're the reason you're in bronze. 
You're the reason you're in bronze. That's how that works. You are bad at the game. That is why you're in bronze. And you're toxic to your team members, and you don't work with them, which is why you're still in bronze. It's exactly the same for anything else. It's exactly the same. Shut up, I'm not. No, you are. You're shit at the game. And the moment you realize you're shit at the game, you start going, okay, well, how can I be better at the game? How can I get more comfortable streaming? How can I get better at programming? How can I make this more efficient? How can I write better? How can I make a more compelling narrative? How can I voice act better? What, are the, what is the way that that person holds their face when they're voice acting to get that kind of a sound? That's what that is. You're the reason I'm still in bronze? No, you're the reason you're still in bronze. Stop being in bronze. Take ownership of that failure and use it as fuel to get better. The moment you start realizing that these types of things can be changed by you, and it's not a choice that's happening outside of yourself, it's something that you can do, you can affect that change, you will get better at everything. 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 So, stop blaming somebody else. Kick some ass. No, I'm the reason you're still in bronze. I'm the reason you're still in bronze. This guy's just out there throwing, dude. Blame him. <laughs> oh, man. Surrounded by Idiots is the book title here. I don't even know that book. I don't read. <laughs> I read very rarely. Oh, the enemy is the equal inner me. I mean, it's that's really what it is, though. Like, I'm here now because I wanted to learn to be better. And you guys decided to stay. I can't do this without you, and I wouldn't be here if I didn't try. So, thank you. Oh my god, I read my message. I read a lot of messages. I just don't respond to all of them. Yeah, here, let me give you an example of this. We're gonna we're gonna go down a trip down memory lane. You ready for this? We may have ads during this. I may have to stop. I want to show you this. See all these games? See all these games, Jet? See these? I want you to look, look at how ridiculous these names are. Pimp My Dungeon, right? Yeah, I'm going to show you this. Fart Hotel. See this game right here? Fart Hotel? You see that? See Fart Hotel? Yeah, this is Scott Cawthon's Wikipedia page. It was actually released the same year that he launched Five Nights at Freddy's. It's actually not a joke. That's actually, that's actually completely true. He launched Five Nights at Freddy's the same year that he launched Fart Hotel. These are the games that he worked on before Five Nights at Freddy's. It's outrageous, frankly. There's Fart Hotel. Wild, right? Like, look at that. And then Five Nights at Freddy's started. Go make shit. Stop worrying about it. Here you go. Yeah, Rage Quit. Good thing he didn't. Exactly. So these games are wild, dude. I'm gonna go use the bathroom. I'll be right back. Turned. I burned the queue. Potato19 with 500 bits said yard cheer 100 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 if you were given 24 hours of absolute dictatorial power over the world and unlimited budget, how would you use it?
Hmm. I'd stop all the fighting over dust on a ball of shit in space. Immediately. And move us towards doing something much more worthwhile. Advancing technology is the best thing we can possibly do. It doesn't make any sense for us to fight over garbage. Which is what we do on a daily basis. Pieces of land when we could have everything in the stars. It's short-sighted. Like most things you see. We're sacrificing long-term gains for short-term gains. And everybody suffers as a result. Disappointing. The underscore underscore Kaz with 500 bits said Ya cheer 500 Thor I want to say thank you inspiring me to try my hand making my own video game. I've decided to start working on my own 2D metroidvania using Godot. While I am confident I can stumble my way through the coding the artistic portion of development currently seems like an insurmountable obstacle. I want yeah. a simple hand drawn flat shading art style. Do you have okay. any advice on how I can improve or chip away at this challenge and break it into more yeah. manageable tasks and goals? The style that you're talking about actually already exists in games. So if we go and look this up for, um, oh, what is it called? Suits, a business RPG. Let me show you some weird styled games, right? So like you, you said you're inspiring me to make, try my hand at making my own video game. I've decided to start working on my own 2D Metroidvania using Godot. Well, I'm confident I can stumble my way through coding. The artistic portion of development really seems like an insurmountable obstacle. Let's look at some weird games. Let's look at Suits, a business RPG, right? Look at this game. It's drawn by hand and pen. The whole game is. And then scanned into a computer. It's an RPG. Wild, right? Weird. Would you recommend to be a not safe for work game dev? You'll be largely judged by people who don't look highly on not safe for work art, but it's whatever. Do what you're going to do, man. It's a weird game. Let's go look at another one. I'm going to show you another one. Don't worry about your art looking weird. Looking weird is actually like there's a whole section of the internet that loves this shit. Look at Hylix. Hylix is actually claymation that has been, a picture has been taken of it and that it's been deep fried. I mean, look at it. This game is weird. Like, look at it. It's a weird game. Watch him throw a frozen burrito. I may have seen this commercial a lot of times. That frozen burrito was made out of clay. Weird, right? Yeah, Ilex is freaking rad, dude. Weird is unique. Yes, all of this is made out of clay. It's freaking awesome. They even have Hylix too. Check this shit out. So, like, if you're trying to make a weird art style, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it looking weird. Weird sells. Weird is good. Because no one's ever seen it before. And look how they evolved this. Like, it's nuts now. Look at look at the wild monsters. Look at the ha those hands, by the way. That's how you cast spells in the game. Watch this. This is a spell you can cast in the game. It's called casting banana. Look at this. This is the animation in-game for casting that. It's using the banana. Like, this is not some joke thing for the trailer. This is what the game looks like. It's wild, dude. Are those real models? I think in in um, I think in Hylix two they are three D models. In Hylix one they are claymation. In Hylix two I think they're three D models made to look like claymation. And they're brilliant. Like it's so wild. This game is nuts, right? But like, look at that man. It's like a fever dream. Who's the guy who did all this stuff for um, Monty Python? The dude who did all the, the weird animations for Monty Python. What was his name? It's slipping my head right now. Terry Gilliam. This is like Terry Gilliam's like acid fever dream. Is what it reminds me of. It's so weird. It's so weird. And I love the shit out of it, man. What's the game called? Hylix 2? I implore you, play Hylix and Hylix 2. These games are wild. I'm going to link these in chat. This is the second one in the series. How much does it even cost right now? 15 bucks. Let me go look at Hylix. I think Hylix is like mad cheap now. So yeah, if you're trying to make a weird game, go make a weird game. And don't worry, a Hylix one is $3, dude. 
There's actually a Monty Python game? Hell yeah. Terry Gilliam's a genius. So, like, to be real with you, don't worry about your art not measuring up. Don't worry about that inside voice saying it's not good enough. Just worry about making stuff. Like, worry about making stuff and, and trying things and giving it to somebody else. And largely, if you do have a weird esoteric art style, there's going to be some people that think it's shit. That's okay. Your work doesn't have to be for everyone. As long as it's for you, that's okay. That's it. And if it's for you and maybe a handful of other people, great. And as you go forward, maybe take some of the ideas they have and make your stuff better. Right? Listening to feedback is key. Running that community so that you can understand your own work and make your own work better is absolutely imperative. So do it. Make stuff. Limitendia with 500 bits said hello Mr. Pirate Thorftware. Congrats to the award. Last year I was close to quit programming because I felt so dumb for not understanding code fully it was really frustrating. Shortly yeah. after I found your shorts and the next day your stream, now I'm in the middle of making my first fart hotel. Hell you yeah. You're a W sum. Let's make shitty games goblins. Damn when right. we get an eighth brain cell, will we be a gobite? Worm regards, Lee met 10 deep. I'm terrified, actually, you probably will be a gobite. So somebody said, do you, do you ever feel do you ever feel upset answering the same questions over and over? No. And the reason why is because I'm answering the same questions over and over to different people. Let's say that I only answered one kind of a question every day. And yet there's thousands of people coming in here. How many people do you think have been here in the last hour? In the last 30 days? In the last two months? We have 9,000 people in the channel right now, and there's another 1,200 over on YouTube. On Twitch alone, in the last 30 days, we've had 2.6 million unique accounts. 2.6 million. If you've stayed here throughout the entirety of the stream, you're in the minority. There are always people shuffling in and out of a channel, regardless of what's going on. That's how that works. So that standard of, there's this many people in the stream, is not the whole thing. It's a massive amount of people shuffling in and out. People that are leaving and coming back and leaving and coming back. So answering those questions over and over is totally fine. I do that specifically because there's a lot of you that weren't here the last time it was asked even if it was 30 seconds ago, even if it was 10 seconds ago, because there's a massive amount of churn in here. It's like that on every channel. You just don't realize it. That's the whole point. How many stable viewers? I don't know. There's at least one of you. <laughs> uh, what's the 2.6 million unique viewers? Troy Tech with 500 bits said you are so bald that blind people need a welding mask to look at you. Jesus. I love how you work hard to keep upgrading TTS for us goblins. I do. Did you know Dr. Seuss is a rapper? When you what? go to Japan for trash taste sock AYY doesn't have hops by the way. Connor has strong opinions on pizza crust and bone in chicken. Watch what? out for feisty Latinas member the movie Explorers I have published a book that has all of my grandpa's poetry https colon slash slash www.amazon.com slash docs dash journey dash grief dash adolphus dash bailey dash ebook slash dp slash b079 Thank you for the five gifted subs Thank you for the five gifted subs Smut budgie, it's very nice of you the feisty Latina thing is so funny, dude. It's so funny. I saw everything about that. Oh, if you guys if you guys missed it, um, uh, Iron Mouse actually invited me on to go play Helldivers today. And I, I set up a secondary machine so I could play Helldivers without worrying about the kernel level anti-cheat. So we did that. And then I got to play with, um, who is it? It was Rubber Ross and Selbit and Sea Dog and Iron Mouse. And we had a blast. An absolute blast. But the thing that was really funny about it Oh, yeah. Rubber Ross made that emote for us, too. We got that. But uh, the, the thing that made me laugh about it the most is I just relentlessly trolled Connor with mines. <laughs> just relentlessly. Because he couldn't see them, even though they're bright red and glowing. It was very funny. And then in the last moment, I put that a Tesla coil behind a wall. So he was running away from the mines, and he tried to run around the wall to get away from the mines, and he died to the Tesla coil. <laughs> it was so funny. It was so funny. The rage. I I think at first he thought it was really funny, and by the end he was actually tilted. <laughs> it was a great first impression, by the way. I'm just saying. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Can't wait to play more. You know, together. 
It'll be fantastic. Oh, man. It was so funny. It was so funny, dude. You're evil? No, no, I'm not evil. I'm competitive. And I wanted to get to the top of the leaderboards for most amount of team kills. All right? That's not, that's not evil. That's efficient. It's different. It's different. I'm a hell dive. All right? Got to be number one. It's important. You play, have you played Sheepy? No, I've not. I was meeting my goals. That's true. We're going to be playing that a lot, by the way. He's already banned you? What do you mean he's already banned me? Banned me from what? It's very funny. Understandable? Yes. There's a difference between going, being evil and being trolly. Trolly is fun. Did you say I in a team? No. I the whole time I was saying that I was doing it because we were we were spreading democracy for everyone. It was it was making sure to have a, a nice even distribution of democracy, otherwise known as minds. Just even distribution of democracy. Yeah, Mouse was laughing her ass off the whole time. <laughs> oh, it was so funny. It was so good. Democracy sucks. Heretic. Get that man. Feed him to the bugs. Yeah. It was very fun. It was very fun. Have you heard of Tunnet? Oh, is that the one where you can actually make... Is that the robot in the tunnel game? Where you can make, like, networking stuff? It's a mix of basic networking packet filtering and horror in an alternative universe where actual switches, bridges don't exist. Is that correct? Tunnet... I think Tunnet was the game I was thinking about. Let me look this up. It is. Yeah, no, 100% is. Yeah, this game is sick. This game is cool as hell. I love this. Here. It's weird. It's fun, but I'm not a Cisco expert. Yeah. Yeah. You played something or sell it? Yeah. Is that content somewhere for me to watch async? In this stream. Yeah, it was here earlier today. Selbit's really good, dude. I've known Selbit for a super long time. I think it was like five or six years ago he played Heartbound. And um, he's just a super nice guy. He's really nice. And I actually, I talked about his game recently. And then um, he he was like so excited that I was talking about it. And the dev team was so excited I was talking about it. Because I, I love what they're doing. I love the game that we're, you guys with your Vs. And then um, I said a nice thing to him on Twitter. And then he said a nice thing to me on Twitter. And then all the people from Brazil wrote Fofo on there. Which I guess basically means that you're you're acting cute. But you think people think you're tough. But you're actually being cute. And I thought that was hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was just a wall of fofo, fofo, fofo. Yeah, Brazil mentioned. Maybe one day I'll go to Brazil. It's very funny to me. Fofo literally translates to cute. Yeah, it was just a mile of this. There, I think the thing that was really funny to me, I don't understand, like, full Brazilian culture, but somebody had been making all these pictures of, like, a Grim Reaper, and the Grim Reaper's, like, there just with, like, a little text that just says Fofo. I don't understand what this means. Like, I understand the context of, like, oh, that's cute. But what does it mean when the Grim Reaper is like, cute? You know, like, what? What? <laughs> Explain to me the Brazilian context to this. Because it got really weird and esoteric. And I was like, well, I think that's good, right? There's, like, a... There's like a when the Grim Reaper said, is it good? I don't know if it's good anymore. Yeah, Brazilian memes are really esoteric. That's true. I can see that. It's very funny. Argues vision with 500 bits said hi Thor. I love Brazil. I plan on starting my professional online presence with creating some accounts with my real name. Okay. This includes Reddit, GitHub, a new email somewhere, etc. I also thought of using the same name across the platforms. However, the combinations and variations of my real name are all taken as usernames. Ew. Adding the birth year may have drawbacks with time. Should I go for other numbers? What would be your advice to resolve this nickname issue? This is generally why we use a handle. Handles are pretty normal. The handle of pirate software, while very common, is generally not used, as funny as that is. Mostly because I have them all now. Well, most of them anyway. There's very few that I don't have anymore. But yeah, classic nickname issue is generally solved by a handle. Go by a name on the internet. Tie that to your real name. It's kind of how it is. My full name is Jason Thor Hall. My middle name is Thor, and that's what I go by. My online alias is pirate software. Largely, anyway. Sometimes it has to do with a sandwich. Sometimes, but not always. We've seen your 200 accounts on TikTok. Yeah, it happens all the time. Constantly. Stealing your identity now? Good luck. Have it. We'll see what happens. 
<laughs> uh, Pratate software, I know, right? It's very funny. Wrong, you're Goblin Lord. You guys keep sending me mail to Goblin Lord. And the USPS, while delivering my mail, still bitches about this. Why are you like this? You could be any other way. Gomlet, goblins, every one of you. I swear to God. Throw the infinite in his museum of pirate software? No, no, no. I can just, can I just rent your identity? You just want to be me for like a little bit? Here's what I'll do, all right? I'm going to eat another two days of spicy Indian food. And then when that comes back around to the finding out portion, I'll let you be me for the next several hours. Eh? Eh? It's pretty good, right? It's a good deal. That happened today. I was very angry at past me, but past me was smug about it. So, there's that. Visual underscore sanity with 500 bits said, Good day, Thor. Do you have recommendations for people of sanctioned countries to publish on Steam? Mm. I have friends with an amazing ability and amazing games, but it hurts to think that what is blocking them is their spawn point. Of course, I would understand if this is legal advice and you can't answer. I don't have any legal advice that I can give you here, but I can empathize with the situation. Um, the idea that there are content creators out there, there are people who are making things, making games, and they can't share their vision with the world because of geopolitics is reprehensible to me. It is disgusting. People didn't choose their spawn point, regardless of the actions of their government. And I hope that we live to see a time where this is, again, no longer an issue. Though I don't know if we will. It may be a very long time. And it's really shit to see. And it's further shit to see that when somebody is from a particular country, there are people that are willing to just say, you're worthless because you're from that country. That's not fair. They didn't choose that. And that's a part of themselves that they cannot change, regardless of their own personal feelings, whether they agree or disagree with the actions of their government. And it's sad. It's really sad. And when you do those types of things, you open up the door for them to do that back to you. You diminish not just them, but yourself. You diminish all of humanity to a petty feud over something that someone else can't control. And that's just sad. Sad and terrible. So I hope for the people who are in Russia, I hope for the people who are in Iran, that one day you guys will be reconnected to the rest of the world and be able to do things like publish games on Steam. Because the actions of your government are not your actions. And whether you agree or disagree with it, I wish that we didn't live in a time where you couldn't make games for the rest of the world simply because of something outside of your control. That's not fair. Never will be. Yeah. There are too many people that treat people badly based on their spawn point. They didn't choose that. I'm losing a lot of storytellers because of it. It's beyond just storytellers, too. There's a whole culture you're losing there. I love mythology. I love the shit out of mythology. There's a whole world of interesting mythology and culture that we are missing because of the fact that we're cut off now. And it's sad. It's unnecessary and sad. You didn't add Gaza to that list, just saying. If you need me to add every single country that's currently under threat, every country that's locked in a war right now, for you to be happy with the fact that I don't think that anyone should be treated badly because of their spawn point, then you're in the wrong place and you look like a jackass right now. Gonzalo Reyes with $4.99 said this is random but was thinking about an X and came Harry for comfort. Thinking about X and came here for comfort? That's okay. You know, sometimes it's tough. I think about my exes. Nothing wrong with that. You know, the only thing you can do is make sure that you don't get caught in a mire where you're no longer moving forward because of the mistakes of the past. It's okay to make mistakes. It's okay to learn from those mistakes, right? And as you do that, as you learn from those mistakes and you kind of move forward from it, you will get better and better at identifying those and working on yourself to make sure that you are in a good spot for a new relationship, right? It's very, very common where people will get out of a bad relationship and they're like, I'm never going to do that again. I'm never going to be in a relationship again. And they're overly defensive and the next relationship suffers as a result. Find the things that you did right. Find the things you did wrong. Be honest with yourself about it. And don't force another relationship just to get past the last one. It's just going to lose you friends, frankly. 
It's not helpful. What's up? Oh, but it's not your day to go to work. Your day to stay home. It's the weekend. What are you gonna do? You already told them yes, didn't you? Never getting those emotes, am I? Never getting all those emotes, am I? Mm, 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 mm. Starting a fight on purpose. <laughs> what do you thought is about McDonald's making an anime? I don't know. Let's um Let's go pull this up. There we go. McDonald's making an anime. This is real, by the way. This is made by KFC. And it's actually unironically good. I was deeply entertained playing this. I played it for two and a half hours on stream. It was actually very fun. Also, I was turned down by the colonel at the end. I struck out. That's right. So if McDonald's makes an anime, and it's anywhere close to the quality of I Love You, Colonel Sanders, great. Yeah, the publisher is unironically KFC by a company named PSYOP, which is amazing, actually. Have you played Dream Daddy? No. I played a bunch of weird dating sims at one point. Like, I played How to Pull Boyfriend and, like, someone where you turn into a cat, and then I played I Love You, Colonel Sanders, because it's hilarious. Yeah. It's hilarious to me. KFC? <laughs> They're really playing in the joke. I, I'm interested to see a McDonald's anime. I don't know. I watch anime all the time. Play it? Not right now. Look at it, though. Colonel Sanders lifts a large bucket above his head. Its contents glimmer in the light. I mean, look at it, dude. Just... You want to know something disappointing as hell, though? KFC chicken is shit now. It's not good anymore here in the United States. It's, it's like garbage tier. You know what's better chicken? Albertson's Supermarket, their deli, has really good chicken tenders for no reason. I don't know why they're so good at Albertson's, but holy shit, they're amazing. Like, what happened there? I don't understand. Apparently in Japan, KFC is god tier, by the way. Anyone here from Japan? Because I've heard, yeah, I've heard that in Japan, KFC is like absolute god tier. And people eat it on Christmas. As like a Christmas special dinner. Which is wild to me, right? Because here it's just so bad. Everything in, in Japan tastes better. Hmm. Hmm. KFC in Malaysia is God tier? I remember when we used to have God tier fast food in the United States, and now it's just sad. Rotterdam KFC has good chicken? Well, I'll likely be... I'm planning to go to TwitchCon EU. So because of that, I should be at Rotterdam, which means I can try the mystery KFC. And if it turns out to be good, I'll report back. Or I'll cry full of sadness. I sent a book to you? What book? KFC where I live sucks. Oh, that's sad. I used to I used to grow up on stuff. Like I grew up on um Arby's, man. And we had Arby's and it was like the five for five dollars thing, where like a five roast beef for five bucks, and then like it was shit. It was like eating a napkin. It was like eating a folded napkin that tasted faintly of meat, right? But it was fine. Now it's like the same, but also it's $5 per sandwich. And you're like... It still tastes like a folded napkin that smells faintly of meat. Like, it's still there, but it's not... It's not cheap anymore. None of this shit is cheap anymore. It's crazy how expensive everything is. So, like, I just don't eat out. I just make food. I just cook for myself. In fact, I want to I want to make food with Onigiri again sometime soon. I need a message on Aguirre. Oh? Oh, Jake, that is a brilliant idea. Are you here, Jake? Jake. You brilliant human being. Round of applause for Jake. 
That's called a race condition, my dude. I think you may have solved that. Which is why it's intermittent, and it happens in regards to the database on the live server, but not on your test server. Because the database is slightly behind it. Here's what you need to do to fix this. You need to make it wait for that return, and it will fix all of these problems. Because if it removes you from parties, applies your current quest to the save file, then saves your data to the database, it needs to wait for a return saying that the database is finished, then it unloads your save file. Yeah. Async action, man. Async action. You could do it asynchron asynchronously. You could. But you're going to run into these issues. And before you put an artificial delay on it. <laughs> you have ways of solving this now. This actually, yeah, this sounds like a race condition. It does. I'm excited to see how you solve this. Christmas in Japan is hearing last Christmas for seven, seven, seven million times. There's a, God, as long as they don't defrost there, right? It's going to happen. You see CEO of Kellogg's brand about their new campaign, Cereal for Dinner. We call that dessert. Have you ever looked at how much sugar is in cereal? Unironically. Like, go look. That's just dessert. Yeah. Yeah, it's just dessert. You're eating candy. You're just eating candy. Like 99% of those, those are just candy. It's just candy. It's disappointing. Noita. Next. Nemesis Morse with 1,500 bits said just want to say I stopped making games six years ago, thinking about starting again thanks to you. You can. So yeah, thanks for the inspiration smiley face. You're awesome as hell. Keep it up, man. Seriously. Norgui with 500 bits said, Hey Thor, my Hello. manager at work scapegoated me, and I've decided to part with my current career with nothing new lined up, but watching this stream, and the encouragement I've found here makes me excited for the future instead of feeling anxious. While the future is uncertain, I'm certain in my own capabilities. Thanks a ton, Thor. That's always a devastating blow. I hope that when you're going through a situation like that and you plan to move somewhere else, go to a different career or, or maybe change jobs within your same career, that you don't punish the people who are your managers in the future based on the crimes of the manager that you have now. It's a really terrible feeling and it breaks a lot of trust. Don't let that break your trust forever with other people. It's easy to fall into that trap. It's not worth it. So good luck and kick some ass. We got ads in a moment. Yeah, going to a new job as a new job. Yeah. Is streaming the answer for introverts? It helps me. I'm a big introvert. Have you looked at Ylands? I don't know who that is. Nope. Your five ads. Dustin Gunter. That's right. I said it. Now what are you going to do? What is from the new manager? Is the same as the last one? Really killing my expectations in my field? Human beings are largely creatures of pattern. If you see the same thing happen multiple times, you'll largely believe that every outcome is exactly the same. But statistically speaking, some of you are going to get really shitty experiences one after the other. It doesn't mean that all of them are shitty. It means that those individualized experiences are shitty. Try to take from it anything that you can in terms of red flags, behavioral traits, things that don't make sense to you, things that you want to stay away from. I, for instance, really don't like when people act erratically. I like it when people act in kind of a standard fashion, where I can get a read on somebody, and then I understand the kind of person that they are. When they start acting erratically, I tend to shy away, because I go, I don't know what you're going to do, and that's spooky. This is kind of how the way that I handle that, right? And sometimes people will act erratically under very emotional distress. If I don't have a reason to tie to that erratic behavior, I take a step back. That's how that works, right? Doesn't like bards confirm? Eh, bards are pretty easy. They're just going to seduce the dragon, let's be honest. What if their consistency is just erratical to you? No, I mean, this happens after knowing someone for a while, right? It happens after knowing someone for a while. Erratic behavior is dangerous behavior for me. So, yeah, everybody's got their own things that they think are good or bad in another person. Every single one of them, right? And you have to figure out what your limits are. Every human being has their own limitations. They have their own flags. They have their own things that don't work or do work. It's part of the puzzle piece that is you. The other components that can actually apply themselves to your puzzle piece which ones fit right 
Aren't goblins pretty erratic? Nah, you guys are like a big, gigantic, amorphous goblin, generally. I feel like, I feel like you're just one big goblin. Yeah, I feel like you're one big goblin. Oh, hello. How are you doing, Pepper? What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, you want to leap? You want to leap? Aha! What are you doing? You can't hear me at all. You're deaf. Yeah. You're a deaf animal. You're very cute, though. Oh, you want to get to your friend? Is that what you want? Ooh. Ooh. Trying to. Hello, salt. You can hear me, can't you? Yeah, you can. <laughs> what you doing? You shaky. Little shaky body. A little worried. Wanna see them? Look at that, it's chat. Look at them all. No, you're done. You wanna go run? You Salt and Pepper. Pepper is uh, fully deaf and has Wardenburg syndrome. And Salt is very scared of everything. We don't know why yet. Yeah. Ah, cute animals. Yeah, ferrets are good. We run a ferret rescue here in Washington State. Actually, how many of you guys don't know about my ferret rescue? Who doesn't know about this? Who's never seen the ferret rescue? Uh huh? Uh huh? Pepper is deaf just like mouse. Exact same syndrome. Wardenburg syndrome is pretty common. Among uh, Marshall's ferrets. Normal shit. Uh, bad genetics causes that. So here in Washington State, we actually run a ferret rescue called Snail's House. Which I'm going to pull over here. This is actually the ferret rescue. So you can see it at any time on twitch.tv slash ferret software or ferrets.live. You can see the rough housing down there because being goblins. Um, there's a whole bunch of different ferrets here. We actually are building a website to have all of these different images on there, so you can click those and you can learn about every single one of them. We take in ferrets that are only up for euthanasia, ones that are not going to survive without our intervention. We pay for all of the medical treatment, all of the care, and Shea is an exotic vet assistant, so they get all that stuff in-house on top of going to the clinic. I do all the research for nutrition and behavior. So, like, I work quite a lot to make sure that they have all the things that they need. Shea works quite a lot to make sure that they have all the things that they need. And they stay with us for the rest of their lives and basically lead the best possible lives little wigglers can. This year, I am actually in the process of buying a new house, which is going to be in seven days, hopefully, on the 8th. We will close. And that land, we will be building a facility to have up to 100 ferrets in it, which I'm really really hoping it all resolves because it's terrifying is that a non-profit no so we did something really interesting here would you like to see see this right here see there's 912 people watching the stream right now you don't have to sub or throw bits you don't have to donate it runs completely off of ad revenue through twitch all of it you watching this stream makes this possible just watching the stream the ad revenue for the channel does all of this. How that works? You watch the channel, it plays ads, and it pays for all of this. That's it. We decided to do a rescue in a very different way. And we learned from Alvea's Sanctuary on how to do this. And we decided to run it without being a nonprofit, because we can just pay for all of that stuff and we don't have to worry about it. And that's it. Are the ferrets aggressive? Sometimes. Yeah, they fight. They're little warriors. And when they fight with each other, they, they determine social standing as a result of that. Also, they don't stay in the cages at all times. We'll go pull up the video here so you can see this. Let's go grab this one. Oop, boop. There we go. Whoop. As you can see, they run around. They have their own nodes in different areas and, and fun playtime stuff. And their activities change every single day. And with that, you get to watch them anytime they do playtime. You get to watch them all day. It's a full 24-7 stream. Yeah, they have a ball pit. Going wild. Going crazy. There's Mouse. Oh my god, Mouse is laying down. She's being so cute. That was yesterday. Or it was five days ago, actually. They look so funny in the tunnels. Yeah, they love the tunnels. Tunnels are their favorite. They love the tunnels. Link to stream? Sure. Yeah, let me go pull this up for you. Yeah, you can see them at any time. And it's ferrets.live or twitch.tv slash ferret software. New house needs a GoPro stream. We actually want to add a bunch of different camera angles. Um, especially when we get the new facility all built, that's going to take a while, right? We're going to try and build the facility over the next year. It's going to be a whole thing. Uh, but that all comes down to this. Just watch the channel. 
that's all you have to do. Do you let people adopt? No. A lot of them have, have uh, medical care issues, so they take very specific care. They stay with us. When someone relinquishes a ferret, they surrender a ferret to us, they stay with us forever. We also work with the Humane Society here in, in uh, Washington, in Pierce County, so we can get ferrets from them in case of uh, animals coming in from abuse cases or anything like that. They come to us, largely. Yeah. Why is it black and white? This is actually currently in night vision mode. And the reason we're having, I'm running a night vision mode, that room is completely dark during most hours of the day because it helps increase the amount of melatonin naturally produced by the ferrets, which helps fight adrenal disease. Adrenal disease is a huge problem for ferrets that causes them to go bald, causes them to have uh, other hormonal issues, and they, they largely die from this. So by doing this, it's, uh, it allows them to live longer. Yeah, it's good for them. They also sleep 18 hours a day, by the way. Yeah. Can't ferret see infrared? Sometimes. It's about one in three can, and it's a genetic abnormality, and we've tested it with all the ferrets that we have, and none of them can. None of ours can, anyway. So I don't know what genetic population was tested with that, but they found it's like one in three. Yeah. You're saying, Thor? No, I'm just, I just like ferrets a lot. Basically, if you don't know this, uh, you guys have given me a shitload of money in the last, like, four or five months for this stream and I'm not going to lie about it. It's a shitload of money. It's more than I've ever made doing anything else in my entire life in the amount of time that it is. It's crazy. So I'm trying to do everything that I can to do stuff with that that I find to be positive. So the first thing I'm doing is I started a corporation which is resolving soon. I keep having to keep up on it and find out what the hell is going on because we had to change a bunch of stuff. That is going to allow me to hire the moderators and that will allow me to give benefits and healthcare to the moderators. A. I actually already built the benefits account, so there's already money in that, so it's starting to mature on its own, so that we can actually do that already. So that's number one. Number two, the ferret rescue gets to expand. And the ferret rescue is paying for itself, so like that's fantastic, right? So there's a lot of spinning shit that's going on. Also, we ran the game jam, and I have to give out the um, cash awards for that. It was a $30,000 prize pool from Admiral Baru, Co-Carnage, and myself, $10,000 each, to give as a Kickstarter to the three different winning teams of the game jam, which is wild as shit. Super fun. You're about to win the entire internet over, man? Dude, I just do what I'm doing, and it's... My, my general stance is always this. Be as transparent as possible, show receipts on everything, and do all of it. Here, as an example, you know how people have been talking about the debt the whole stream? Right now, I have finished 47 of your guys' TTS messages. There's 61 in the queue, right? Also, thank you for that rating party of 100 and, 102 Dex Effects. You're awesome as shit. Thank you. So I finished 47, and there's 61 left over. Every time I hit the button, it eats another one of these out of the queue, and I get to keep the money then. You know what happens if I don't get to your message? Let me show you. Every message that gets answered goes into Discord. It gets a timestamp. It gets your name and the message that you asked. So that way, you can go back to me answering your question. The debt tracker actually tracks how many of those I missed. Yesterday, I got to say victory is mine because I got the debt down to zero, which was hilarious. Usually, I don't. You can see every one of these is going that. Let's go into the pinned comments, though. When it gets to a certain amount of money, I actually give it back to charity because I didn't answer your question. I don't get to keep it. So we gave $7,500 to Ferret Dreams Rescue and Adoption. That allows me to go and do that and do something really cool with money that I didn't earn anyway. Hey. Thor's stream is so well organized. It's because we failed a whole bunch and tried to build things out of it. So now when I press this button. Nick Spilil with 500 bits said, Ya cheer 500 good morning for right in chat. Hope you are doing well. What was the most common piece of feedback you guys gave during the game jam and what can peeps do to enact that? It's, it's a little depressing. The most common piece of feedback that we had was you need to test your stuff before you upload it. There were so many submissions where people's games just didn't run or they just uploaded the game design document and no files or they just up uploaded an EXE and there was no data files with it. It was an absurd amount of submissions that just did not function. And it wasn't even like, oh no, like we, we didn't make a game that worked. It was like, I forgot to upload 90% of the game files. Don't wait to the last second. Stop doing that. Some of these people were actually like, we had the game finished a day and a half before and we just didn't submit it. And I was like, why? Like, yeah, standard feedback for a large bull like that. It was very standard. And it's, I think to me, it's depressing because some people were very upset about this because of the fact that this was going on, right? When is the next game jam? Next game jam is going to be in June or July. It's July, actually. Yeah. It sucks. It made me feel really bad, but like that is what it is, right? You live and learn. Yeah. 
Purple Granite with 500 bits said Yart Cheer 500 Hey Thor, I heard you talking about good old rubber duck debugging the other day as a learning technique and wondered if you'd ever come across the see one, do one, teach one approach to learning, and what you thought yeah. of it as an approach. I've never heard that specific approach, but the way that I handle this is anytime I want to learn something, I read about that thing, and then I try to take that and I try to teach it to an inanimate object in the best way possible that I can. Because I won't know the subject very well, but I will try to teach it in layman's terms to an inanimate object. And when I do that, I largely learn more than if I was just doing stuff like flashcards. I know you guys are all saying weird, weird. Here, do you want this? Is this, is this what you want from me? Do you just look now? It doesn't have a tail. Is that what you wanted? Is that what you wanted? It's tailless though. Zero of ten, no tail. Look what you've done. Zero of ten. I can't believe you've done this. Can't believe you. Who here doesn't know that meme? By the way, it's my favorite meme. <laughs> Who doesn't know that meme at all? Who's never heard of this meme? It's very funny. Okay, good. Some of you don't know. So, I can't show it. I go to 4chan. And the reason I go to 4chan all the time is because I like OSINT data, which is counts for open source intelligence. 4chan is going to lie to you. Anything that you read on there is a lie. It's the onion, but without filters, right? Every single time. So, what I do is I go there and I look up information to find out what's going on in the world, realize that all of it's a lie, and then use that as a jumping ground to go and learn something new about a culture or something else that's going on. It's a jumping point for open source intelligence every single time. It t t lets you know what people are talking about, even if what they're talking about is a lie. It's useful, really useful. However, there is one incredibly hilarious poster that uses a Russian flag every time he posts. And every time somebody posts any kind of pornography on the website, he responds with zero of 10, no tail. And then posts a picture of a furry. And it is the funniest goddamn thing. This has been a forced meme for the last, I want to say five plus years. It is just, he just trolls anyone who posts pornography on the, on the board. And it's so funny to me because he's so consistent. Whoever they are, I know who you are out there. I don't know who you are, but I know you. You're fantastic. Keep that up, because it's so goddamn funny to me. It's so funny to me, dude. The Zero of Ten No Tail poster is my favorite human being. Does he ever comment on the furry stuff? No. No, I've never seen that. Is he a bot? Could be a bot. Could be a bot. But it's just the funniest thing on the planet to just see that level of consistency. And my guess is it's not even one poster anymore. My guess is that it's a lot of different posters. My guess is that it's a ton of different people now that have all picked up the torch because they all thought it was hilarious because it's 24-7. It's 100% 24-7. And I think it's hilarious, dude. How do you get a black black background on paint? Oh, you mean like this one? Here, watch. Watch this. Want to see something neat? Did you know that if you take a red cube like this one and then you grab it, you can actually move it into chat? Did you know that? You can actually just put it right in chat. It takes a minute to transfer. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, weird, right? That's pretty weird shit. Oh, here. Here, I'll give you this one, too. You want this? Take your mouse, put it inside of MS Paint, right? Just write in MS Paint. Click it. Hold down spacebar, and then use your arrow keys. It's at your sketch. You didn't know that, did you? Yeah... It's always been etch a sketch. Look at that. Yeah, it's pretty good, right? It's pretty good shit. Look, it's every underground rail system. Fantastic. Now take half of those rails and make them offline. Due to maintenance. Didn't know that? Yeah, it's pretty neat. And then you could shake it up and throw it away. There you go. How do you make it black, though? <laughs> Here's the wizard magic for you. It's so silly. This isn't black. 
It's just the secondary color here. Whatever your secondary color is when you hit delete in MS Paint, it changes to that color. That's it. I've just taken this, which is the standard setup in MS Paint, and I've inverted it. It's not rocket science. <laughs> is that a mod? Oh, I've got a worse one for you. Ready for this? I've got a worse one. You ready? Hold up. Let me find this. There you go. How did he do this one, Chet? How did he do this one? How did he do this? The black background Excel? How could it be? Ooh. 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 How could he have done such a thing? Black magic. Burn the witch. Yeah. By the way, um, for all you programmers out there, I just wanted to let you know, uh, Excel is the best database ever made. That's right. That's right. Most accessible database. Yeah. Never thought about doing that. I did. Every time my eyes bled, every time I looked at Excel. It's great. Yeah, look at chat. Oh, you're so mad. See this? Your tears. Mm. Mm. Oh, Excel is a database. Mm. Delicious. Delicious. Captain Dumpster Man with 500 bits said you said before that you bought a freezer that could store a year's worth of meat for about $100. Yes. I'm not sure if the prices are still the same. How large it. would I need it to be? Also, how do you store your produce if you only shop once a month? Do you avoid so anything that goes bad before then? I do. Uh, I do. Quite a lot, actually. I, I will usually buy a whole bunch of things like bok choy and stuff like that that keep a very long amount of time. I don't eat a lot of fruit most of the time. Sometimes I eat fruit in, like, oranges, stuff like that. Things that'll keep, things that stick around, right? Also, you can freeze oranges, which is nice. Oranges are good. Man's never gonna get scurvy. Hey. Why no fruit? I just don't eat a lot of fruit. I still eat fruit. I just don't eat a lot of fruit, you know? Eat more fruit? I know, eat a, eat a piece of fruit, you piece of shit. Like, I know, I know, I know, I know. But, like, also, also, I don't eat a lot of fruit. I eat some fruit. Yeah. Need me the scurvy joke? Yeah. That song rocks, by the way. You can freeze oranges? Yeah. Yeah, you can. Try fruits in Brazil, they're better. You just want me to go to Brazil. You just want me to go to Brazil. Either Brazil is the most lovely place on the planet, or they're actually a Venus flytrap. It's one of the two. Because Brazil is always taunting you, like, come to Brazil. Come to Brazil. Come to it's like a clarion call. Anytime you say Brazil, it's come to Brazil. It's actually both. I just want the cheese bread. My neighbor has the cheese. My neighbor is Brazilian, and she makes the cheese bread. The little balls, right? Pau de queijo. I want it. I want it all. I want every bit of it, dude. It is so good. I actually trade her, um, what is it called? What is it called? I trade her lion's mane mushrooms. Yeah. Yeah, God, it's good. It's so good. Come to Brazil or else we'll come for you. That's terrifying, actually, but also an admission of something that would get you banned on stream. Yeah. One of the two. I don't know which one. I don't want to know which one. Could be either. Yeah. This isn't that kind of website. Yeah. Unfortunate. But no, I... Jokes aside, I actually do want to go to Brazil eventually. I do. And I, I think the reason why is... I love Brazilian food. So much. I love Brazilian food so, so much. And I just want to go to Brazil. And I want to eat all of it. The entire country. Please avoid the favelas. Well, I mean, I'm going to be real with you. I'm a nerdy, bombastic white dude that's going to be in areas that I don't belong and I can't speak the local language. So I just want to go to the areas where there's the food and then consume the food. Right? Please do not eat Brazil. Mm, you told me I could come to Brazil. You didn't give me context. All right. I'm allowed to, do, if I'm going to go to Brazil, I'm going to do it my way. And part of that's going to be eating Brazil. So. It's not really my fault. You should have clearly defined the role, right? It's not, this is your fault now. So, yeah. Brazil nuts are actually good. It's 
true. Don't eat the ants, they bite. I love the ants. Did you know that I went to college to be an entomologist and insect scientist, specifically in myrmecology? <sighs> love me some cool weird ants. Let me tell you, I'm a big nerd. And it, I could sit down and I could talk to you about ants forever. And you will you will be weirded out by it. Immediately. <laughs> Immediately, actually. No, an entomologist, specifically in myrmecology, which is ants. There are edible ants north of Brazil. Yeah, there's a lot of edible ants all over the world. All over the place. All over the place. Random ant fact, go. Um, do you know there are ants that can actually blind you permanently? Did you know that birds, some birds actually use those ants to clear themselves of mites and ticks? Gross, right? Yeah. Formic acid, my dude. They shoot it like a squirt gun. Did you know that? Did you know they do that? Good day. Good day to you. How's it going? Birds aren't real? Yeah, but the government drones try to cleanse themselves of mites and ticks. So, still fits. All right, next. Rad Thordax with 500 bits said, Mr. Protate Soft, we have been receiving reports that many goblins and protogoblins are seeing you in their shorts on an almost daily basis. Yes. This is baffling. How did you Speaking even get which, there? Why do you then reveal yourself to the victim while wearing their shorts? My shorts, Are you an no. SCP? We believe so. It has been determined that you should be contained in a place that you can check out but can never leave, somewhere along on a dark desert highway. They're on to me, chat. They're on to me. They're figuring out my powers. Don't do it. Don't figure it out. You know nothing. You know nothing. I exist within all timelines. Specifically YouTube ones. But that's fine. That's fine. It's not containment. I can leave it any time. Also, I just realized they don't have a short queued up and they're out. It's supposed to be out in nine minutes. One sec. Oh god. Oh god, the hell is real. That's not the right one. doing it we're doing it okay hold up speed running speed running youtube tags god i totally forgot to do this today i'm a dumbass i'm a dumbass but i'm a genius come on come on rating is submitted you're gonna have ads now go Go, 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 go. Schedule it. Uh, members only public in uh, eight minutes. Please. Please. Scheduled. And it's out. Fantastic. We've done it, chat. The short is out. It is scheduled for now. You're looking at now. First short of Mothman March. First short of Mothman March. That being said, I only have one short left and I'm terrified of that, so I have to go talk to Shadelock the editor and be like, please, please save me. Also, um, it wasn't that long ago we were celebrating 1 million subscribers. We're at 1,450,000 now. I don't know how to explain how insane that is to me. So... Thank you. And I hope you guys keep liking the stuff that I make. Because it blows me away. Really blows me away. We're also at over 600 million views now. Which is bonkers. That's completely bonkers. You're awesome, dude? No, you're awesome. I wouldn't be here without you. You guys made this happen. So thank you for sharing all my stuff around. Thank you for enjoying the things that I do. Thanks for kicking ass. Because this, this kind of stuff... You have to understand, streamers content creators on the internet. We live or die based on you. Your actions create this. I'm just a shitty Captain Planet you summoned into the internet. And now I exist on the internet because of you. So thank you. Thank you very, very much. <sighs> You're not shitty? I'm a shitty Captain Planet, though, let's be honest. I'm not even green. 
I don't have green hair. I don't, doesn't he have, like, blue skin? See, I don't even know what Captain Planet looks like. That's how shitty of a Captain Planet I am. Ridiculous. Terrible Captain Planet. Do you know Lua? I do. Unfortunately. <laughs> uh, Lua is really useful for some stuff. You can use it for Roblox. You can use it for World of Warcraft add-ons. You can use it to cry when it's used as part of a chaining system to take over, you know, a computer through RCE. It's upsetting. It's upsetting all the time. Why, unfortunately, though? Because it's just, it's just a mess. It's used for all kinds of shit. You're Don Cheadle's arch nemesis. Dude, I don't think Don Cheadle knows anything about me. Do you know that Roblox ported React 17 to Lua? What? That is wild. Why ferrets are not cats? I just like ferrets. I think the thing is, is it's really easy because some people... Some people have actually said things like, Why are you saving ferrets and not other human beings? It's like, because I want to save ferrets. Because no one else is, right? There's very few other rescues that do this. And a lot of those rescues haven't really broken out into the internet where people don't know about them. And they're kind of stuck in this way of running things locally. And a lot of them are slowly atrophying because of this. I'm trying to do something new where we effectively crowdfund using ad revenue to take care of animals. Which I haven't seen a huge amount of that anywhere, really. Which is crazy. And... My hope is that this becomes more common as a result of me finding this stuff and showing it to people that it can be done. And I I just want to do that, you know? I, I largely feel that jobs are split up into two halves. You have your job and you have the work. A lot of people love the work. They love this. They love the thing that they do and they hate their job. The job is everything outside of that. It's your commute. It's the pay. It's your boss. It's the coworkers. It's the Christmas party. It's all the shit that has nothing to do with the work. And you love the work. A lot of people do. That's why you get in that field. That's why you wanted that job, right? And sometimes people leave a job and then they apply that hate to the work. They're like, well, I'm going to leave this field. I'm never going to work there again. I don't want to, I never want to be a programmer ever again because I had one bad experience. No, you love the work. That's why you got into it. You hate the job. That's okay, right? It's okay to hate the job because there's a lot of other ones out there. Don't hate the work, right? Don't do that. And I think for me, the way that I split this up is I have my job and I have the work and I get emotional fulfillment from the ferret rescue and I get financial fulfillment so I can keep doing the things from stuff like the stream and the game sales. That allows me to do all these things. And it works really well, especially because the ferrets are self-sustaining now, which makes it even more outrageous for me. It's kind of nice. It's really nice. Do you really have a philosophy? No. All that shit's life experience, my dude. Hey, look, it's Bezos. Earth, fire, wind, water, fart. Oh, wait, no. Oh, shit. You made Thor. You misspelled... Said the last one wrong, and now it's... Now it's all messed up. That's how you mess up. You don't get Captain Planet, you get Thor. It's different. Yeah, the fart element, dude. Sucks. You're watching the ferrets right now? Thank you for doing so. How long has ferret software been self-sustaining? Since the first week it became affiliate. <laughs> which was like a week in. Which was hilarious. I was like, what? Yeah, no, the ad revenue was enormous. Like, right off the bat, I was like, what the hell? Gonna take pollution down to zero? Yeah, dude. You gotta get those songs from Fern Gully, though. Gotta get Batty in there. Just start mixing it all together. I think when we were kids, there was a lot of media that was like, protect the environment kind of stuff. You had Captain Planet. You had Fern Gully. There's so much shit that was like that. That was like, take care of the world. And we grew up, and now it's like, buh. <laughs> it's like, not a lot of that anymore. Did you order that Domino's yet? No, I don't like drinking my pizza. Fringully was awesome. Price check on prune juice? Yeah. No, don't look at me. We're not getting Domino's. I was telling them I don't want to drink my pizza. Why do you look so sad? Do you want pizza? We could make pizza. Do you want to make pizza? Do you want me to make pizza? Do you want me to make you a pizza? 
So you don't have to do any of the work and you get to eat the pizza. Yeah, I'm asking you, do you want me to make you a pizza? Do you want me to make you a pizza? Simple. Do you, do you want me to make a pizza? Okay, thank you. Eric, we will make a pizza today. Yeah. I'll sleep first. Oh. I have a meeting, Chet. I have a meeting. Chet. I have an announcement. So, uh, the internet man, the internet ISP man, they have a quote for me today on how much money it's going to cost to run the fiber line to the new house. I am terrified of this number. <clears throat> I don't know how much this is going to cost. However, this entire system would come with what is called an SLA, meaning that they have a service level agreement to run that internet and make sure that it stays operational or they have to pay me money. It's probably going to be a lot of money. It's probably going to be a lot. So we're going to wait and see. We're going to wait and see. I don't know how many dollars it's going to be. However, however amount of money that it is, I'm going to start doing ridiculous streams until I hit that goal. Whatever it's going to be. Like subathons, all that, sh anything I can to reach that goal. Because it's incredibly important to do this. Because then we can run the ferret rescue from the location. So. For how long is the agreement? For the lifetime of this service. A. Hey. So one stream? No. That's what I'm going to do though. I'm going to let you guys know what the, qu the cost is. And then we're going to do it. I don't even know how much it's going to cost. I have no clue. Thank you for the $10 to the moderators, by the way. Tommy, it's very nice of you. New world records every day? No, no, no. I'll just stream a long time. Even if it's the normal amount of donations, even if it's the normal bits, or just you guys watching so we generate it through ad revenue, I'm just going to do it a lot. I'm just going to stream and work a lot, right? Is the whole idea with that. I don't know how much it's going to cost, but we're going to find out maybe today. So, I'm excited for that. Call Iron Mouse. Iron Mouse is awesome. She's cool as shit. In any case, chat, I've been streaming for 11 hours, and I was up for 12 hours before that. So we're at 23 hours of me being awake. And I have to go into a meeting now, on the phone, in which I find out how much money I have to throw into a hole so that I can have internet at a new place. <laughs> when you move? Um, whenever I want, frankly. I'm not sure. Hopefully the house resolves by the 8th of March. We have seven days to figure it out. I'm scared. I'm scared. It's, it's always this critical moment. It's terrifying. It's a terrifying moment. Oh, wait. What does it say? Okay, I have to get more information. Do 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 All right. I have to go do things. So, let's go find someone to raid, because I have to go talk to the loan man to make sure all the loan things go through, because they want me to do the loan things. Uh, who are we going to raid today? Who's going to be, man? I don't know who I'm going to raid. Is Jackie on? Is Jackie Codes on? Do you guys want a pixel artist or a programmer? Pixel or programmer? Pixel artist or programmer? Oh, wait, Pixel Art Bro is not doing Pixel Art right now. Programmer is not doing programming right now. Hmm. 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 Panda Man? Is Panda Man on? Why isn't it showing me Panda Man? Oh, it is showing me Panda Man. You know what? We're, we're rating Mad Burbaro. He's playing Final Fantasy. We're rating Admiral Barrow. Admiral Barrow, let's go. Admiral Barrow is awesome. Oh, I could have done Limu too. Lime Malicious is awesome. We're rating, we're admir rating Admiral Barrow. Admiral Barrow is a good buddy of mine. He's awesome as hell. His community is fantastic. So when you get there, fill the chat with bongos. A billion of them. Blot out the sun, chat. And I will see you all tomorrow. Goodbye, everybody. Thank <laughs> you.